specific, which Counter Strike? What the fuck? Source. Well, see, I think that's just awful. Mm -hmm. The game, I mean. That's why it's not here anymore. Oh. Killing people at a video game is the worst thing you could do to them. I feel like I haven't Wait, played a competitive shooter in 10 million years. I don't... I mean, we play Modern Warfare. Oh, I remember that short-lived yeah. thing. That's what still going, right? Money. And it's like 10,000 gigabytes to install it. <laughs> <laughs> it, it sucks, right? Because like, as you go on with, with technology as a person who's been doing it for ages, you're like, oh man, I've finally gotten like a 10 terabyte hard drive. Like, this is the future. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be fine. It's like, video game is one terabyte now. And you're like, wait. <laughs> Hang on, no. Cheating. Wait, what video game is that? Uh, well, no, I don't think any video game is a terabyte right now, but Call of Duty is 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 wowing audiences with its. Uh, what, what's the latest size? Is it over three hundred gigabytes now? No, I think two hundred and thirty, maybe. It's fucking hilarious, is what it is. It's wowing people by being big, being big chunks. Long game bad. And uh, yeah, you know, Whoa. some people just don't have the heart. In fact, there probably is someone out there who couldn't actually keep playing it because they didn't have enough space, right? Like this, this must have happened. Which that happens definitely to people on console. What happened <laughs> that oh, that yeah, game that... needs to be so unreasonably huge? Wouldn't it be the I same don't... space take up on, on console? Like, there would be no reason for it to be reduced, right? Or would it be? My PS5 has like, got no... Oh, no, sorry, my PS4. No, I don't have... PS5 isn't out. Uh, my PS4 has, like, no space. You just let it slip that you have an early version of the PS5. Everyone knows now. Oh, right. Jay is planning on becoming a PS5 review channel. I'm sorry you found out this way, everyone. What? Wait, as in reviewing the PS5? Or yeah, he just continuously yeah, every, reviews every the PS5. Every video reviews the P <laughs> is a review on the PS5. You're like, today we'll be talking about the, the audio PS5 settings. aesthetic review. Welcome no, no, no. to the 17th unboxing of no, the no, PS5. No, every, no, every review, every video is a full review of the PS5. <laughs> every video you put it all back in the box just as you found it. <laughs> Thank you let's see how it let's see what it's like today <laughs> maybe it's <laughs> changed <laughs> i mean it's an important bit of work you're doing there um so yeah hello everyone because we're live now by the way guys oh we're live oh so cool sorry. oh so we're gonna tell them about the drama with rags <laughs> why would you say that <laughs> Rags is gonna randomly show up, and be like, "What drama? What? What? <laughs> what have you been saying?" Rags isn't here yet. He's um. He's saying that I... he'll be here in any moment. I'm sure of it. And we will we will begin the usual festivities. Um. Until then, festivities. I suppose festivities. we'll just have to talk to chat and ourselves each other about uh the recent events, the huge recent event that happened, us getting into this call. I, I thought it would be really funny to introduce the stream with like, because just rags can't be here. I thought it'd be really funny to start the stream with like, so unfortunately, there's been some behind the scenes stuff going on, and rags uh, won't be appearing in EFAT for a while, possibly not ever. But uh, I think it'd be funny to just drop it like, he will not be appearing ever again. Because <laughs> <laughs> it would just be like, oh shit. And it'd be like, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> he shall be replaced just... by, and then just like a fifth person joins. It's just someone no one's ever heard of. And he's like, hello! <laughs> My name is John. I like, refuse to ever talk about it. And like immediately, it's super cringe. He sends himself a super chat saying, "Hi, John." He's like, "Hi." <laughs> oh, hey, look how popular I am. <laughs> John, stop! No. <laughs> Guys, then... when Rex gets here, everyone super chat. Hi, John. <laughs> when... it, would, it would be funny if like the whole like community took to John immediately. <laughs> like John's such a great <laughs> guest. Such a fantastic improvement on the show. No, so John is, John is a host, idiot, not a guest. Um. Well, uh, he he would be officialized moments after being a guest. You have to. That's in the it's in the constitution. You have to be a guest before you host. Yeah, even for a minute though, and that's fine. Okay. It's like the president has to be born in the U.S. Yes, you have to be a guest on EFAP to be a host on EFAP. Wait. But you so, were never a guest on EFAP. Yeah, no, the first episode we introduce um, ourselves um, as guests um. and then we have immediately officialize as hosts. Today our guest, psych, I'm actually the host. <laughs> John is the third best guest. Who's the best two guests? I'm gonna guess it's Fringy and... Guest to guest. <laughs> um, it wouldn't be Matt or... Hmm. 
No, I'm awful. Who's Rags? See, people have already forgotten him. Damn. <laughs> so like a, a like a long time ago in the deep lore of EFAP, he was like this guy who said some stuff sometimes. Yeah. Hashtag bring back John. <laughs> <laughs> because we yeah, do that we... like a few months later, John is gone. I'm like, fuck John, he was a shit guest. Rags is back. Yeah. We're just like, what? <laughs> and John's in the chat, like, hey. <laughs> I think I'm still gonna watch the show. Anyone call John in the chat? We are talking about you. Specifically, <laughs> yes. You, John yeah, yeah. Smith. There's probably at least one John Smith, right? You know who you are. You, John, listening now, um, it's you we're talking about. John Leguizamo. I want to actually look in chat, see if any usernames with John pop up. Like, oh my god. Well, most of them aren't even their names. You got re weird ones like Da Love, yeah, but... Doctor. Um, cartoon Some of them man. are. Okay, Some of them are that name. Stupid to go by your real name on the internet. Oh, no one would do that. That'd be retarded. Nobody. Metal. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a <laughs> legal name. <laughs> Obviously. He's from the family of commanders. John is ah, Coke. Prussian bloodline, man. Yeah. Release the John supercut. Release the John <laughs> cut of Ethan. <laughs> So, I don't yeah, think people um, are ready for that yet. We uh we, we we did a stream last last night relative to my tisms or this morning actually about uh the boys season two finale. That was fun. It's like five AM I saw the the mention on Discord's like yeah. Yeah, the episode came out early. Uh so we we watched it and I was like, I guess I guess we mm. could stream talking about it. Uh Jay Logbo popped in. She's been banned from Twitter temporarily. Oh, no. <laughs> what did she do? Um I think That's... because a fly landed on Mike Pence uh, Mark Hamill put out a tweet saying that's his only black friend, and then <laughs> uh, she quote tweeted that and used one of the many naughty words uh, and got oh, it. No. <laughs> Pretty um, racist on Twitter, I'm not gonna lie. Was it a naughty word she was allowed to say, or a th naughty I word can't she remember wasn't what she said? I think it was a naughty word she's allowed to say, but not anymore. You got to be careful. Oh, Twitter should know better than not banned for that. Yeah, that gets them in trouble then. Yeah. We are all John. <laughs> John is among us. I believe John. John I... is imposter. John wouldn't. John impost. is acting sus. John is a cuck. Imagine this wow. someone out there who's played a shit ton of Among Us games and they actually haven't been imposter like ever. I was just thinking like statistically that's probably happened. Yeah. How annoying that would be. You'd be so shit at, at, at being the imposter once you finally get it. And like um, every single game, you're like, okay, this time for sure, because <laughs> the odds are like, surely I can't be the human like this many times That's in a row. That's not how statistics work. Yes, it is. Yeah. Or how probability works. Fallacy, I know. Even yeah. It's a you mean, yeah. Jay, you're being mean. It's it's like when I say I'm right because I have this authority. That's a good thing. That means I've done it Respect right. Pick my authority. I love fallacies. Hey, Theo, yeah, something I want to ask. You'll, you'll, you'll know, know this. Um, we know the fallacious form of appeal to authority, which is like, Metal says, I know more about this than you because I'm a scientist when we're talking about which Lego fits in this place. Uh, and, and, and it's just like, that's you're just appealing to your authority. You're not actually making an argument. Um, is, is it a fallacy when I'm like, which microbe is the oogle boogle? And then he's like, I'm a microbiologist, it's that one. Well, it, that's, well, um, I... it, that's like, it, you need more context, because it's like, if two people are making points, and then you go, well, that person's a microbiologist, so they're right. Like, that is, that's not an argument, even though it, it does, like, swing that's things. That's what I was going to say, is that, that still an appeal to authority, but it's like, less... Bad. Oh well, yeah, because it's like um, appeal appeal for for uh, to authority exists for a reason. Like, if neither, like, if you don't know who's right, then probably go with the microbiologist. Oh yeah, that's you know? yeah, but it would but still like, be well, you wouldn't say they're right. You would say they're more likely to be right, right? Yeah, yeah. the thing is, like, you should never depend on it as an argument because then you don't have an argument if you're depending on appeal to authority. And as in that your sense, it would still lost. be a fallacy, right? Yeah. Yeah, an informal fallacy, it's but... Like you, you should never need to say, I'm right because I know more about this than you. You should just be able to say the stuff you know. Oh man, John's here. <laughs> there's oh, also there's cool. also the other part of the appeal to authority, which is using something as an authority that the other person doesn't even accept. Like, a dictionary is where that pops up often. Mm. I found this one dictionary entry for something. 
So therefore, I'm correct. Like when uh, Joseph Anderson used the dictionary to explain what subjective meant definitively, and that same dictionary had the word object or phrase objective opinion in there as a valid yeah. thing, and he was like, oh, <laughs> no, <laughs> can't use this dictionary anymore. I need another dictionary. I need a dictionary that confirms my biases. <laughs> I'll write the dictionary. Aren't we all? I'll write the dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this is I'll the right one, I myself. swear. It's actually called deriving the style. dictionary. Dictionaries are full of lies. Dictionaries are the only, well, that's a funny They're thing, you because the only, um, the only arguments that you can make for the definitions of words Words like being correct uh, appeal to authority or appeal appeal to uh, popularity. Dude, there's so much love for no, John in chat. There's no like universal. <laughs> there's no like universal like rules as to what words mean. It is just oh, that's unfortunately or popularity. Works. Yeah. So like I, don't I mean, think it, I don't is... think you're appealing to any authority. Like it's just a normative structure language. Well, no, there is there is authority for stuff like uh, Plut is Pluto a planet? Well. NASA says no. That's like, a NASA scientific designation, not necessarily use of language, though, right? I guess so. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's but, still I mean, a label. Still, like, that is still where the language comes from, right? That's where, like, you know, that, that, that is, people will cite that as the meaning of the word. Yeah. But, like, yeah, there's no, there's no, yeah. like, definitive objective definition of a word. If people are disagreeing about it, then no one's, like, factually right. Yeah, we do the best we can. Language is just an expression yeah. of ideas to another person. They try and understand what you're saying. Good old Normativity language. Activity a bitch. Which is a really good segue. Not really, but into <laughs> how shit Kimiko is in The Boys Season 2. <laughs> oh, are we live? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so what was weird is that I didn't get, like, any of the notifications or anything for this room. Oh. So, I, I was sitting here just sort of waiting... And it just didn't, nothing popped up for me or did anything. I yeah, had to go I tried, look and I tried the my room. list. I don't, I don't, I don't DM. I, I, uh, Discord being a little bitch. <laughs> shitty. Being, being, being a little bit tis me. Oh, they can discard. So, oh, and, uh, and uh, Sophistic Autistic wanted me to mention that in year one of EFAP, we had the Quinton TRO part one, part two. In the second year of EFAP, we had the Yezen uh, video and then debate part one, part two, and now this year of EFAP we've got Willem's part one, part two. And uh, it wanted to mention that apparently we do this yearly without even realizing it. How, how neat is that? It's pretty cringe. Yeah, I think that's completely yeah, cringe. Like, oh, that's We're going to have to avoid it in future. That was the, the Jack Saint two-parter as well. That was also a two-parter, yeah, that's true. So maybe it's not as difficult. I feel like we've and done more than... The... We did the yeah, Aiden Paladin's with, first uh, yeah, episode. Was Aiden, Aiden. Part, yeah, that was part one, part two. So yeah, maybe there's more to it than than such a thing. Cringe. Wow, double cringe. Um, That's so much cringe, dude. So the first thing yeah, I was going to yeah. bring up is this really is a part two, right? So we've we've recovered from the fallout of the three nuclear hot takes that struck the earth from the previous episode with a Whoa. secret bonus one. That was the true damage. You see, the three hot takes opened up Earth's core, and then Fringy sent a bonus hot take into the Earth's <laughs> center that blew up the entire thing. Um, for those who were saying live they weren't hot takes, check the comment section. <laughs> <laughs> people don't like me over there. People don't like Eddie. Seriously. Like, no, people aren't pleased. So yeah. shut up. They were hot takes. Oh, yeah, Mando was a part one, part two as well. Mm hmm. Can we, like. What? What are the other hot? What like? Let's just. What is? What are some other hot takes? Well, I was gonna talk about the 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 ones we gave because there's, there's a bit of like, oh, we did it. Let's see what no, it works out. No, no, I reject oh. that as a topic. Sorry. Matt sorry, we're not said. talking about space balls. I'm so sorry. It's just not funny. <gasps> oh my ha god! Haven't the EFAB audience taken enough damage, Jay? <laughs> they were so happy to see Jod. Now look at this. The hot takes everywhere. I I I want. I'm really curious. Like. Oh, that would be a fun thing to do as like a straw poll is like, what's the least popular hot take among the audience and go through like Atla, the boys, Bojack Horseman, Spaceballs, all My of that. My guess is it would be Atla. Uh, second might be Clone Wars. I, it's really hard to tell because everybody is diff like angry in different ways. <laughs> <laughs> or it's like, yeah, which, which group has actually got the most people in it and which one group has actually just, just got the angriest people in it? Mm. 
<laughs> Literally, like, that someone said that they were hot because you were wrong, and then next time, Theo, you're right, so it's not a hot take. <laughs> uh, here we it's go all again. over the place. The duality Look, of chat. People. It's wonderful. Um, so, yeah, I was gonna say that the super hot take, the, the nuclear one, was actually Sonic the Hedgehog is shit. That, that one pissed off a shit ton of people. Wait, what was that? That shocked me. That y'all care Shadow about. The Hedgehog. It yeah, was that, it was that, a casual that, thing yeah. said by Fringy while I was playing Sonic Heroes, and uh, chat got very upset, and then he doubled down, and it was all over from that point. It was done. Mm. Fringy will not be reappearing on Eve. <laughs> 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 He's too controversial. We can't have him saying the stuff like Edgy the Hedgy is, is a is a worthless character. That's gonna fuck up everything. Edgy the Hedgy. Edgy the Hedgy. I um I don't know anything about Sonic really at all. So I don't actually care at all, like whether or not he's shit. I just always see the cutscenes and the quotes, and always like, oh man, it it does seem <laughs> funny. Uh, I guess there's some people out there who just really think that's so fucking cool. Well, I'm he's sure there's elements to old. it that are actually good, but I I do doubt, which is my fucking right, <laughs> that uh, <laughs> yeah. Edgy the Hedgy is any good. I doubt it. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna make a kofefe. I'll be right back. Hmm. Oh, um, cringe, Trump. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, but yeah, it was funny because everyone was really mad at him. But I think he was on Among Us, for the the Among Us stream, just saying like, "Yeah, I don't know anything about Shadow. Screw you," sort of thing. Wow. More power to wow. Him. Wow. Well, do, wow. Do you guys have any opinions on it? Nope. Uh, I've never had an opinion. My opinion lines up with Fringies. <laughs> Come on, look at him. Have you seen Shadow? My opinion well, lines first up with your name is Shadow. Listener. Yeah. Start right there. Just work backwards. Did any of us, any of us here play Shadow? Shadow the thing is really upset. Mode of transportation? Motorcycle. All right. Has, like, has weapons? All right. Hey, Black cool. and red color scheme? Okay. You're saying Dark it like it's not cool. rival character? Well, like. I think that all we've concluded is Fringy hates hog people. Like, that's, like, the only thing that we can really gain, because he's not really got, you know, all the context to really hate him properly. So, kind of fucked up. Hog. We don't support bigotry on the podcast. Fringy's out. Simple as that. Wait, we don't? Oh, I mean, yeah, 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 we don't. Yeah, mm -hmm, right. Because mm -hmm. um, if, like, if he hates hog people, like, there's several people we can't have on the show at that point if he's there. It's like Stormfront. Just, you know, can't, can't support the racisms. Um... Next up was probably, like I said, the Clone Wars for next for next hot one. Lots of discussion. Maybe it's because it's a Star Wars style community, but uh, lots yeah. of conversation. Uh, what do you have to say for yourself, Theo? You fuck up. <laughs> yeah. Put me on the spot like that. Um, well, my explanation was never the best because, like, I keep saying to you people, I'm not great <laughs> live, but <laughs> I mean, trust, no, like nobody's okay. gonna nail it live. That's like why yeah. videos and streams are different things. Here's the one thing I implore all of you Clone Wars fans who hate me in the chat to do. Like, because mm. pretty much everyone I've talked to on the Discord or anywhere else on the internet who has watched the show and says they love it or think it's really good oh, yeah. have not seen it in like over a year, over two years, probably. So I implore you to just go back and watch it with a critical eye, please. Damn. Please. So Theo just said, you guys don't realize how wrong you are. Oh. No, you don't. Oh. <laughs> get, get, some, Mom. get some fucking pushback <laughs> on that one. Um, yeah, is, I, I just saw loads of discussion that was like, he's wrong, he's right, he's wrong, he's right, he's wrong. It's just like, yeah. okay then. A lot of the things people picked me up on that I was wrong about were very much minor to my overall points, though. I do want to mention that as well. I mean, if there's anything you want to, this is your opportunity if you wanted to correct any records. You want to repent, sinner. So yeah. apparently, Talzin is force bullshit, so. Oh, the magic stuff? News to me. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, I think that's some EU stuff, because I don't think that's explained in the show. I could be wrong on that as well, though, so who knows? And, uh. Mm. <laughs> wow. I don't know, man. Uh, I'm better in a more focused environment. Like, like I said, the offer still stands. Anyone who wants to chat shit about it can jump into the Discord and talk to me about the show. I'm perfectly happy to just get mad at it there. 
I legit thought you were just I saying so yes, yeah, I'm, I'm better and more focused, so. Yeah, I am really cool. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, Doddy said, let Theo finish his list of complaints from last time. Did you, did, were you not finished? No. I was finished in as much as I was finished as I was able to articulate in a live environment. Mm -hmm. I could probably pick up more things off the cuff, but it would just be like jumping back and forth all the time throughout like the entire show, mm. which would be no different from how it structures itself. You just want to hate more is what you want to do. Yeah, there's plenty I could rant about. It's fucked up. The hate flow through you. Show's really bad. <gasps> what if I don't want it to flow through me? Well, see, look uh, at the damage you've done, you Jay. Will you time. watch the Clone Wars after Theo has said it's bad? Uh, I wasn't going to watch it anyway. See, we will no longer watch it when he was planning <laughs> to because of Theo. This is the damage my, that wait. Theo has done. Do I get to be a fun killer like Mauler now? No, it's my job. Yeah, but... <laughs> Give it back. <laughs> it seems like fun, right? No. Well, it depends. How deep are the themes of the Clone Wars? There aren't any. Seven. Oh, so, like, it doesn't matter that you killed Fun. Like... Then. Like I told you, the show's allergic to nuance. Allergic, damn. Um, so yeah, you know, not much we can do. It's just uh, just be like, yeah, that was the hot take. People took it. Conversation has mm. moved forward. It's Don't worry, it's not going to be etched into a so commandment like that the clone was bad. Because Theo said so. Good little clown boy. The we were werewolf. Go wild. Get what you fucking deserve. <laughs> Odd. My nose. Uh, that film's more than a year old for... now. Yay. Yay. Happy first birthday. Remember job, cinema? Joker. No. <laughs> Ugly. Stop it. Um, I mean, I mean, fuck you. The next one, I guess, is Bojack. The, uh, the, the, the thing I saw about that was that people are really upset that Fringy and I consider Rick and Morty to be better than Bojack. And I guess it's worth mentioning that I don't think Rick and Morty is bad because of a community making memes about it. That's retarded. The show itself is pretty awesome. Got lots of very well made jokes and some decent character writing in there. In fact, quite a bit, as well as some nice little life lessons mixed in with 20 minute injections of adventures. Um, the is really well written. The idea and... that it's bad because too many people shared the Pickle Rick meme. Like, I just don't I don't fall. Uh, I've always said on EFAB and different parts that it's like, it sucks that it seems to have been ruined because it got popular. Like, a lot of people are like, Ew, Rick and Morty. It's just like, it's good though. Uh, I don't know what else to say. It is good. Bojack's not. <laughs> so, yes, I put mm. one over the other. They compared it to uh, Shakespeare in Love beating Saving Private Ryan, which uh, I don't even know where to begin with that one, like, as a comparison. It's, uh, it's pretty interesting. <sighs> I guess Harvey Weinstein um, didn't like Bojack, and so he forced me to put it below Rick and Morty. Um, well, it's not the worst way to be forced below Harvey Weinstein. Yeah, yeah that's, that's fair. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the story, though. He, like, he pushed for Gwyneth Paltrow to be his new person that is starring in things and winning awards, and that's how Shakespeare in Love beat. Um, I, I, I watched a video on it, it was really interesting, because Saving Private Ryan to like the entire world was something that would beat Shakespeare in Love. There's just no way Oh yeah, that's one of the that's one of the most commonly cited the Oscars are bullshit things. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and that leads to the the final of the hot takes. Speaking of appeal to authority, which, <laughs> which, uh, so the boys is not as bad as Batwoman. Um, I think did we say that the worst of the boys season two is as bad as Batwoman? Uh, I, I it, I it we, definitely yeah. gets to Batwoman levels. I don't know but if we said the, the whole problem, thing. Was. The whole thing? Um, I don't know about that. I, I, no, I, I, don't, I don't know why either. Thing. It might be a, a tad higher. Uh, the problem is that it isn't nearly as entertaining. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I would <laughs> agree true. with that. Um, we like, did a... Batwoman doesn't frustrate us in a frustrating way. We enjoy the fact that it's just terrible and it's enjoyably terrible and it's wonderful to watch. But the boys, when it's bad... It's just frustratingly bad, and it's baffling, and we um, expect more from it because it's um, not a CW show. Do you want to do you want to read out this uh, this commentary on on our our take on the boys, Rex? See what you think. Uh, yeah, let's take a look. Um, all right. Every now and then, EFAP has a take that's just bad. I'm not saying the show is flawless, but to claim it's terrible, even season two, 
is just wrong. It's not perfect, but it's great. I'll agree there are some contrivances, <laughs> but not story ruining. <laughs> the characters are all really damn solid. Homelander is one of the best characters on television. <laughs> Storylines are tight, and it's genuinely entertaining. Theo's Clone Wars take was pretty bad as well. <laughs> it happens from time to time. Um, Got to squeeze that in at the very end. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, uh, I would argue Here's there the thing, is... I a, fucking hate Theo. ...an insane <laughs> frequency of contrivances, and they absolutely destroy the story. And uh, there are no characters I like at the end of Season 2. They all kind of... Have lots yeah, of I don't like anybody. Yeah, they can all go suck my asshole. Homelander and that's... Butcher are both fucked. That seems like a huge overstatement of Homelander. Like, I think he's good, but that good? I don't know, dude. Well, we went over it in, uh, in the stream last morning slash night. I was gonna make that that's public on Mula, then I was thinking we're probably gonna end up repeating a lot of what we said in that video when we make the EVAP for the boy season two, so there's no real reason to have, like, a double up. Mm. That was more just, like, a... Venting yeah, stream. Um, mm -hmm. sort of. And we focus mostly on the last episode. We'll mm -hmm. go over the last episode again on the dedicated The Boys stream, which mm -hmm. hopefully we can get through faster than Mandalorian, which I think we will. Oh, yes. In fact, I will I will ensure it. Uh, oh. So um, <laughs> it's if not going to be a two-parter. We're going to try and nail this in one stream. Yeah. Um, but I'm afraid we're going to try to put more work and effort into the boys EFAP than yeah. the writers of the boys put into the show. So in the chat said, Dab, you guys like to cherry pick comments. You could easily counter. Like, what do you mean? We didn't even counter this comment. This comment's got an opinion and we <laughs> disagree with the opinion. They'd have to make. Wow, argument? you just picked a comment that you could easily counter. That's not a comment that's easily counterable. It's barely yeah, anything even said. Make... <laughs> It's just making oh, no, a claim, so we can only comment, counter that with our own claim. We could easily counter, was easy to counter. Well, yeah, um, it probably makes sense that we're not going to be getting to the meat of all of it until we get to the actual The Boys stream. Um, I'm simply highlighting this as evidence that what we've said is apparently very controversial, and so we're going to have to prove it. Which we're totally on board with doing. It's going to be fun. Yeah. We did it to Mandalorian. That show was uh, knocked right the fuck down by our two streams. We're coming for the boys next. We're gonna yeah. beat it Cringe, up. And opinion. I promise you, as I said last night, the Mandalorian gets worse the more you look at it. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm just finding more wrong with it and not all that much that brings it up. Um, well, so you're trying to destroy people's enjoyment. Correct. And then Not only that, but I want to get paid for it, too. I'm double evil. Oh, money is bad. It is. It's the worst thing ever. And Profiting then off um, of money. the misery of others. So the, there's, uh, the, the, there's, there's a comment that's that said about Via Braggs' uh, finale stream. The stuff they're complaining about aren't really issues. Uh, the Why? many people during the stream said we were nitpicking, and it's really fascinating to me because we bring up the same problems that are like present in other things we criticize. But like the boys, much like Mando and some other things, just get this weird pass. Like well, nah, nitpicking it's... if it's if it's nitpicking if it's something you like. So uh, that's kind of the that that seems to be the operating definition for some people out there who still have yet to realize that we hold everything to the same standard. Well, to give you an example, as much as it bothers them, um, a there was a, a wanted criminal, an ex uh, superhero, that's been like given the, the essentially criminalized as well, but both in the middle of a street talking to a famous, uh, well, you know, quote unquote good guy superhero about another superhero being evil, and he hands them a bunch of files about how they can prove she's evil if they use these. And there's several people walking by them as they have this this conversation. We highlighted that as just absolutely fucking stupid. Like, everyone involved in that is so stupid. They're all world famous. Um, it's consistent with the rest of the episodes. No, of course. Well, the, but what I'm saying is we brought that up, and then we had, like, more than two people in chat being like, oof, this is, you're kind of nitpicking at this point. And it just, uh, it, it blows my mind a little bit sometimes. It's just like, more, if it allows the plot to happen, it is out of nitpick territory. Um, and yeah, so uh, the, the other thing I wanted to address, because this is about the, the finale we, stream we did, someone said, 
Here's a recipe for how to make an EFAP. Pick a scene, uh, say, I don't understand it, infer something bullshit instead, and have another guess saying, oh yeah, I don't know, maybe, and then sometimes someone will actually correct the actual thing that happened, and then rinse and repeat. Well, uh... That's, uh, that's that a happen? bold claim to make without any references. <laughs> they had a reference. They gave, they gave one reference in their comment, and it was about when we were talking about the PSA uh, scene at the beginning of the finale. And, um, the, the, the summary of that was, I asked... If the if because it's an allegory for school shooting, are they implying that there's kids running around with supervillain powers that are that are hitting people in schools? And then you and say, I said, no, I don't it's, think so. It's going to be supervillains are attacking schools. And then I say, is that happening enough that the universe has to have a PSA about this shit? Um, and if it's happening enough, like why the hell haven't we been shown it? Like I don't remember a single time where a school was attacked by by supervillains or whatever, and that the world is acting as though supervillains are this huge problem when we really haven't seen it at all except for the telekinetic i was like there's got to be other examples i assume or is it just happening and we're just told it is and that's just it and it's like hmm. um in which case it's like a really weird scene i don't think they properly earned it even though its entirely existence is to just be satire and and to be like look a teacher has a gun as a response to this now things are getting ridiculous like homelander and stormfront building up hatred in the country through demonizing a group of people like that's the point they're making and so i was talking about how mechanically it sits upon like a world that hasn't been properly built for it and that's an example of how we don't understand the scene and we just make shit up yeah we went through three sort of different ideas we're not even being in agreement and then discussing what it might be referring to and like i <sighs> We pro I think we gave that scene more thought than the show writers did. Absolutely. I really think for them, it was just and like a one-off, half-jokey parody thing. Yeah, and... and uh, but it still I, exists in that world, I would so. want to caution people that that was our discussion after having seen the episode, like, a few minutes prior. I, I would just be like, that's just discussion. I don't know what else you want from us. <laughs> we, until we are able to make a video where we've, you know, combed over a scene, uh, that's that's what you're going to get. Speculation we've and... We've combed over a scene. Wait, oh. I didn't say that. But yeah. Um, I, I, as someone who's not seen this show, that's the only thing I can contribute here. I'm sorry. It's okay. Uh, we're, we're almost done. I was just saying the, the boys will get its day in court. Okay? That's that's the spooky yeah. thing I can say. And uh, more than likely going to be next week. And it'll probably be uh, Metal, Myself, Rags, and Free. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna yeah, give the it the Yeah, the charge old... is sucking. It will plead guilty. <laughs> gonna give it a good plunging. Plunge. Um, that will be Saturday then again then, right? Uh, probably. Yeah, we'll figure that out. Uh, and we'll All let right. people know. So it's uh, gonna be another weekend full of FIFA. All right. <laughs> that that's all I, I had in terms of catching up stuff. Anyone want to talk about anything, John? John yeah, John. Thanks again, John. <laughs> yeah. It'll Thanks, John. John is just fucking great. Good talk. He's the best man. Was so was the John thing like um did that start while I was um not here yet? Oh yeah, uh, a, nobody it's... tell him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. John will not be appearing on the podcast again. Yeah, so we have some differences the uh, behind the scenes. Right, the John was your replacement when you were gone. He came on. He was pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, all right. Right, so we we'll just uh, share a comment in the Discord he was from that stream where it says it's pretty suspect how hard Rags and Bowler are put off by Nazi stuff. What? Hey, <laughs> what? I have you the got show us. too. Yeah, no, you you got us. We we what? are we're secret. We're we're Nazi lovers. That's us. We what just we just like, love Nazis. Yeah, like, like, the implication us. is we don't like that they're making fun of Nazis. <laughs> <laughs> the, it, the the issue here is that the people who write this show think that I'm a Nazi. Yeah, so well, when they yeah. make fun of Nazis, they're trying to use that as a backended way of making fun of me because they have no fucking clue. It's it's cartoonish in the show, and again, we'll we'll, yeah, we'll be able to go into it more. But um, fascinating, absolutely fascinating, and it's funny to me as well because the ratio of of things we talked about that were like trying to figure out if there were problems versus things we were very definitive about in terms of like structural writing issues was pretty lopsided to to the our favor. I would say it was even fucking chat were uh, coming up with problems that we hadn't even necessarily spotted. For example, the the arrival of Maeve in the finale, we were just like, wait, yeah, fuck, we hadn't even thought how, of that, how, how, how did she get know, there? How, uh, yeah, yeah, that's one of my notes. And uh, the best <laughs> we could come up with is she, the best we could come up with is she super jumped.
Maze? Well. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, that would be the most, I, I, I say most reasonable thing, but yeah, in the very first scene of hers, we see her jumping from the street up to like the, the side of a building, running on it for a little bit, and then jumping down. And there's a lot of cuts here, so you have to imply a lot about what's happening between the scenes. Mm-hmm. But um, she super speed doesn't seem to be her thing, but she could jump well. She could jump well. There you go. Jump. Yeah. She's a high jumper. That doesn't actually She's account a for the issue, though. Jumper, it's, yeah. If someone flies off she at possibly the speed of sound, how does she chase them with super jumping, exactly? It's like, huh! You ain't huh. catching her. <laughs> You ain't catch it reminds it. me of Mulan keeping up with an eagle somehow by running across a roof. Like I don't, I don't, Mulan. I don't, I don't see that. Um, but she runs fast. Which, by the way, I still want to highlight. Almost just, it just, it's just so strange to me. Uh, the live count for people watching Mulan was fucking crazy. You guys really hate Mulan. Um, <laughs> I, I, I wonder why. Which is fine. So <laughs> by the I'm way, doing, the uh, I'm doing the video. I'm doing a v- Thank you. What? What? I'm doing a mm-hmm. video on the thing that we're talking about. Oh it's yeah, the, out. the thing, yeah. the movie, John Carpenter's the thing. Oh, that's yeah. a good yeah. movie. Yeah, it's good stuff, man. Yeah. Do you well, like that? Um, Have you? Do you like that? Have you seen that movie? Uh, the thing. Oh, fuck off! It, if you he? haven't seen the thing, he hasn't seen it, has he? Rags. I can't. But be- you haven't seen the thing. Rags, what do you mean? <laughs> Wait, Rags, you you've dealt with this before. We all say, yeah, I haven't seen it. What's the problem? What's the thing I haven't seen. <laughs> Rags yeah, but it's rags. like the, yeah, but the thing. Come on. <laughs> Why is that this more is like shocking Lord of the Rings. than Lord of the Rings? Yeah, Lord of the Rings is the shocking one. It's just like it's just like it's such a generic title. Like, what's it about? A thing? Okay, cool. Oh, I will show you more. That's stop, the problem. Jay. That's no, why stop I it. it. Stop. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I'm trying to protect you here. Yeah, stop keep it. on digging. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes. Um. Jay's going to release a video on Mulan, talking about why Mulan is an incredible uh, remake of the original, and the original is kind of wonky, if you think about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Way overrated. They so think uh, we're putting in the, the witch who, uh, like, is oppressed, and that's a thing, and then she becomes a bird and dies. That's really important. It's symbolic of um, witches. Yeah. yeah, the original was just a bunch of tuneless warbling. Yeah, man. Oh, no, yeah, like, the comedy like, is cringy. It was, like, it was animated, which is, like, pretty childish and cringe. Mm-hmm. I'm glad they kind of, they matured it up a bit, because, uh... Matured. Getting a bit cringy there, Disney, with your child content, but now... Feeling... Feeling good. But yeah, I guess that yeah, leads nice. us into today's couverage, which is good old Mr. Willems. Because we got no hot takes today. No new hot takes to lead to. I'm so sorry. Hooray! Oh, is that a good thing now? Yes. You hate hot takes. You hater of hot takes. You always burn my hand on them. I'm like, sure oh. someone could think of another hot take if you needed one. You know? Do you got any hot takes? Uh, KOTOR has bad gameplay. That's... I think you've done that before on UFAB. Yeah, that should If that's a hot take, that shouldn't be hot. Let's see how chat feels about that. KOTOR has, ga- has bad Wait, gameplay. Wait, KOTOR 1 and 2 or just 1? I've not played Kotor 2. Gameplay is the same between the them, so... and Kotor 1. The Eagle Suicide in the 2020 version genuinely made me burst out into uncontrollable laughter. Yeah, that's because you're a child. <laughs> you don't oh, no. you don't understand the sacrifices <laughs> that Eagle made. You that's don't understand Bird Witch sacrifices. I knew everyone would be laughing. And it would like ruin it for their fan. You know, I do have a moment of feeling bad. If the director was like serious about that movie and really tried, and then they, the whole audience laugh at that bit when it's trying to be an emotional impact, you'd be like, fuck, I have screwed up big time. Well, maybe when they were filming that next to the concentration camps that the Communist Party of China runs, uh, maybe all the people were looking through the fences and maybe they laughed at it. So the director was like, oh, well, they liked it, so everyone else will. That's oh, that's like a test yeah, on thing. It's like, that's good. I don't, imagine you, I don't imagine you can become like an Access Hollywood director. Uh, without, while, like, giving a shit about the sanctity of your work. Jay, everyone wants clarification. You think the story's good, though, right? Of KOTOR? Mm-hmm. I fucking know I can get through the fucking gameplay. <laughs> <laughs> it, remember chat, his comment was about the gameplay. He didn't say anything about the game as a whole. They just... just a, like, the gameplay is a brick wall to try and get through. I'm like, oh, there's a good story in here, apparently. I can't wait to find out in a million years. After I got through all these bullet sponge dogs. Oh, I just. I don't think 
I think real time with pause is kind of criminal. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Real what about Dragon Age Origins? I can't say I've ever played it, so I don't know. Been meaning to get to it for a long time. Never Ooh, have. Cool. Someone in chat saying Kotor story is not good. I could believe it with the number of like Star Wars universe stories that people just make excuses for. <laughs> um, I yeah, I don't know if this is a hot take, but the I'm Star Wars like... community is very forgiving of like <laughs> I would say the, the time between the OT and the prequels, and if many years after that, like anything that came out Star Wars wise gets a lot of uh, like bonus points just in general. It seems because even you know Star Wars Bounty Hunter the game, like I like it. There's loads of problems, and like when I had finished playing it, loads of people were like, "Oh, that game is like one of the best Star Wars games." It's just like I, I mean. Calm is, down. It, is it just because of when it released that people feel this way? I don't know. Because like, well, a lot of people said that Fallen Order was like insanely good, like nine out of ten stuff, and I'm like, it's like fine, I guess. Hmm. I never even played it. I was never interested in that game. My clunky. Wow, that makes you cool. <laughs> I'm such a hipster. Mel, what's your hot take? Go. I I I, I thought I was in the boys. No, you gotta get a new one. New one. What? You said you didn't like carrion. I didn't enjoy it. Oh, Don't think it's a bad game. Rip him apart, no, Jay. How it's terrible. What? I did not say that. <laughs> Liar. Shut up. Liar. J J J J so Metal's hot take is that all 2D games suck. That's for Tia. Oh yeah, that's an actual what? Of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is your is is he retarded? It's oh, no, uh, he he would correct it too. He doesn't like any two D games. That's that's weird because yeah, it's would... such a huge swath of games. It's everything yeah. from Mario to Advanced Wars. It's um, it's funny because I think his stock would plummet if he said that lie. <laughs> People would be like, "What the fuck." <laughs> So now that that's, he knows that, that is... Everett will find that to be an insane take, he'll probably be like, no, no. Well, wait, he played Among Us, right? That's 2D. Yeah. Correct. So, it's kind of selective. We'll have to see what he says, but um, he, I, knew he, I knew he has an aversion to it. Um, also, <laughs> Weekend Warrior wants to cameo because of Jay's hot take. No. Oh. Uh -oh. Let him. Let him. I don't know what he's gonna say. I'm scared. I'm sorry, Jay. You got a cobweb on you now. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, this is good. Okay, this is something that I. This is this is me. Someone is is like rags colon. All right. First off, you, how, you're not colon. good enough for you're not good enough for my colon. All right. But oh. they said rags. I can okay. tell Bojack is bad because I didn't agree with the jokes in one episode. Yeah. I don't think that's the position. <laughs> so Somehow my not... position is that everything that I've seen of Bojack has been shit. The discussion that I've heard makes me never want to see it. And the one episode that I have seen was so horrendously bad, I didn't want to finish it. I almost quit it, and I never want to see any more of the show ever. And for clarification, so that people understand, you could do that with Buffy. Uh, someone could talk about Buffy in a way that makes it sound really shit. They could show Rags, be a bad, or um, the robot demon episode in season one, and he could be like, yeah, this show looks fucking terrible and I'm not going anywhere near it. And I'd be like, that's fair that you'd have that conclusion at that point, though I would want to push you to watch it still. Um, all of my positions are tentative anyway, but, like, sure, I guess it's possible that BoJack is actually really amazing, but after all that I've heard of it, and I've heard a lot of stuff from listening to, like, Fringy and Mahler talk about it, and I've, I've seen you know, bits and stuff and show me things, I, no, I, I don't want to go anywhere near that show, it sounds like a horrible waste of my time. Weekend Warrior, you're enjoying your cameo. Hello, Weekend Warrior. Hey, my just... Hey, my lad. Hello, lads. I have just stopped working to just tell Jay off and that he's wrong about Kotor. That, that's the gameplay? It. That, that's the tweet! And Ewoks... I, was, I, was, uh, <laughs> I think I, I'm worried about Kotor, actually. <laughs> I had a heated gamer moment. Oh my Jay God. was like, I, I was typing out the script and then you, you said that and I, I like rose from my desk and like... Did, did you call Jay, Jay the N-word? Yeah, how no. can you have a gamer moment? No, he is, I, but I, the I was having... The experience feels like an Ewok 
moment. You know, like, did Jay just say that? Jay, what? Why? Why did you say that? Since I'm here, and so um, I remember I got like I got bored of Kotor when like there was this huge open area full of like, I can't, I can't remember what, like creatures they were specifically. I like I remember there was like doggy kind of things. They were like four-legged brown things, right? <laughs> Horses. Um, what planet is this? Do you remember? Or... Uh, the, the one with grass everywhere. Volusia? Oh God, Endor? No, <laughs> Wait, uh, you, you finished the, the first... The Yavin? Off I, you, warm. you finished... So you got off the first planet, right? And you became yeah, yeah. a Jedi. Okay, okay. Yeah. Well, spoilers. Yeah. Wow. Oh, like, um... oh, fuck off. It's like 20 years old. <laughs> <laughs> you ruined it. Guys, I'm very heated right now. <laughs> so... But it's like, I'm trying to understand Jay. Yeah. It might have been the planet where you become a Jedi. I, I think uh -huh. it's yeah, where you start yeah. like encountering, um, like really start encountering dark side users. But they're all these fucking like, are they like, are like, yeah, they are four like like animal creatures, right? And they're just fucking everywhere. And they're Antoine, just tedious to get. Are saying that might be. Hang on, let me Google images it. Uh, Antoine, that's the one that Leia tried to get exploded. Dantooine. What about Dantooine? Yeah. That looks about right. Uh... Oh, titties. Mm. So nice. Indeed. Show it, show it. Tatooine. I'll forgive you, Jay. <laughs> well, that was easy. Mm. That was um, easy. Yeah, yeah, I win, yeah. as always. Yeah. I've never been wrong. 100 um. 0. Uh, let's see if I can get a good picture of this. The suspense. I no, I mean, I, I mean, it doesn't like. Why, why didn't you like the, these dog things? Like, because there were like what? a million of them, and they were bullet sponges, and there was like no. It, it was just like the same thing over and over again to kill what was these your party animals. Comp? Oh yeah, it's 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 in the first. It's in the Jedi planet, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh wait, no, is it? Is it the Jedi That's one thing I do hate in games is bullet sponges, yeah. bullet spongy enemies. And there was like, and it's not just that they're bullet sponges. It's like, it's like, oh, you have to walk, like, to just walk through this place and explore. You have to kill like loads of them over and over and over again. It's the same. But that isn't that RPG things where you just kill kill stuff, gain XP. It's these RPG. things. I found okay, so the, the way in which you do. Yeah, that but I don't want to be forced to. Because like you, you just to get through this place and navigate the map and explore and find the stuff that you need to find, you need to kill loads of these fucking creatures, and it's super annoying. But but you're in the Jedi, and it's a space adventure, so you gotta kill helpless animals <laughs> <laughs> against the might of the Jedi. They should have let you do the the taken the TLJ path where you save all these animals, but you. You just they kill the all kids. The slave children. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're probably weaker anyway. They probably don't have nearly as many hit points. Yeah, I would probably prefer <laughs> to play the game at that point. Wait, what? What? What class did you use? Or, or it doesn't matter. It, I, for you, it doesn't matter. It's just that killing these enemies is a chore for you. I don't remember anymore. Um, mm. it was a while ago that I played it, and I just remember how tedious it got at this part. Oh, it's like, I I don't know what to say, man. It's like. RPG 101, or you grind. Well, like, uh, so the, the, the combat grind. being a grind? Uh, no, I mean, you grind to get plus, levels. That's this, what I was uh, saying. This I isn't don't even to get that. levels. This was to navigate the map. You had to kill these creatures. Like, no, I like wasn't... a lot of RPGs, and grinding for levels is not something in any of them that I like. Um, everything from Guild Wars 2 to Divinity Original Sin to all that stuff, I that's not. You mean grinding for levels on that? I enjoyed the mission I, um, where yeah, you have to. Where you, I enjoyed like leaving the first planet. Yeah, that was fun. where you have to steal a ship before uh, the planet gets blown up. Uh huh. That was really fun. The guy you have to like fight there. That was fun. Still wasn't like top notch gameplay, you know, but uh, I enjoyed it. I don't know what to say, Jay. I, I don't <laughs> mind it. Is the problem? It's you like... said you had an angry gamer moment and you stopped working. Yeah, I did. I did. It was like... I'm uh, pretty weak. I'm oh, we can more. How do you <laughs> feel? You're getting called oh. out by metal. <laughs> Whoa, what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> wow. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, just... How do you feel? You're getting like, called if, out if... by Mauler. 
<laughs> I call up people uh, constantly. <laughs> I, it's like a personal taste thing. I don't mind killing helpless things on the way to the story. You know, just just me. <laughs> just, just, just means that Jay doesn't I'm have the stomach to kill like, lesser beings. You know, I'm just, just imagining saying. you like now on on your way to a cinema with a sword. Like, yeah, like, on your way. You're yeah, running like killing... an RPG character. Yeah, killing the cats on the way. Like, <laughs> like you're, you're, running, you're running through streets with a sword, murdering yeah. people, like picking change out of their pockets. Like, I've got to grind so I can get into the cinema. Exactly. I've got to, I've it, got to unlock the story by killing NPCs. Exactly, so, Jay, you someone get in it. the chat said, uh, uh, let's see, Rag, stop being contrarian. You know Jay is wrong. But here's the thing. <laughs> if, Jay is, if Jay's oh, correct but... in what he's saying... Then I agree with him, but I can't remember. It has been yeah. so long since I touched wait, these games. I but, cannot no, remember. Like, rags, no, wait, 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 wait. So, I, 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 perspective, okay, I, I, wait, 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 wait. Perspective A is presented. Okay. Perspective A is countered. I, rags chose one side, and he's called yeah. contrarian. That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> All I said is that I don't like a, a large amount of bullet spongy rep repetitious enemies. When there are two opposing that doesn't sound sides presented, fun, and someone which... sides with one of them. It's contrarian. When there are two opposing perspectives presented, you can't side. You can't not be a contrarian to one. Yeah. Of those. Also, I can. By definition, yeah, yeah. This is this is not a plot but... hole. This is consistent with Rags' character. He he, in the bosses in Killing Floor Two, he's not a fan of because they're bullet sponges and they just run around. That's right. it's the game. Yeah, it's it's more that the mechanics don't uh, of the fights and the attacks they make. I don't think owe mm -hmm. themselves well to Killing Floor style, but also that yeah, they are bullet spongy. No, I don't see. I don't know if I could critique Jay because he's bad at the game, or he just he doesn't like the grind, the grindy killing enemies. Do you, do you get that? Like, there, there's an optimal. There's probably like a strength build with the Jedi Knight, and you just. I'm sure after all this time, there things. are meta builds yeah. for that game, and that yeah. game is Frank super is broken. Yeah. Yeah, he knows all this shit. Yeah. So, hmm, I got triggered. <laughs> like it's a visceral emotional response i really love the story of Kotor, but but yeah jay just said he doesn't like the gameplay so story is really good yeah sorry no i think I'm jay bulletproof no one can touch me space balls isn't fucking funny someone said oh. honestly um when i come someone said honestly oh. rack like some awful games but that's all good name three Name three Legion two eight eight five. Oh no! <laughs> the terrible games that I oh, like. Oh god, you're getting called isn't, out. Yeah, isn't like these no. aren't these enemies easy though? Like like these enemies aren't they easy to kill? Supposed they're supposed to be like this is the early part of the game. Shouldn't you just be killing them easy? Someone someone said rags. The end of Hellblade is wave after wave of random damage sponge enemies. What do you think of that? So I don't think I I hate to say you're playing the game wrong. However, what you're referring to, the damage that the enemies do to you and their health is literally irrelevant to how that fight is supposed to happen. Um, oh, yeah. I will, uh, so that is not that is not a good example that you should be using, my dude. You're supposed to say my dude, Arena. But I will, I will agree that the Hellblade gameplay is like 5 out of 10. It's pretty 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 meh pretty mediocre it's the atmosphere and the characters and the story and the acting in that game that i think is so insanely good i love so this right conversation the new order. I, I don't like wolfenstein new order new order was that game you like i don't like wolfenstein new order no you like breeders of nephilim i've never played breeders of nephilim but it's on your wish list that? that means you like yeah that was a that was a joke Joke. Oh, in so many quotes, a joke. Um, it really was a joke. I have no interest in that game of, or playing it or anything. It's, the comment, it's so gay, Rags. The did Ra says, didn't Rags make a favorable review of a bad Wolfenstein? Oh yeah, Youngblood? Oh yeah, I think un I think Youngblood is unfairly maligned. Yeah. <gasps> That's I good. think gameplay-wise, I think gameplay-wise it's quite good. I think the what? characters and story are ridiculously bad. Which one and I think the environments are some of the best I've ever seen. Is that the one where we laughed at the trailer for it on stream? I think so. Um, with the like the women in like the gold and silver spandex or something. I can't remember. Someone said the Guild Wars is grind. So we're talking about the grind in combat. Guild Wars combat isn't a grind. 
No, oh, yeah. you will, especially if it's end game stuff, you will grind for like crafting materials and things of that nature, sure, to get certain things, but the combat itself is not a grind. Also, someone said, I love these conversations with EFAB about things they don't know anything about because they can't even articulate their arguments. So, oh. what's been discussed is a part of the game that put Jay off, right? And then now we're talking about mechanically so what it is, look, where it's good, where I it's bad. I don't know much about it. I, like, then, I stopped playing because of it a year ago and never tried again. Like, that's, yeah, that's I'll follow into that. I don't know a huge amount about yeah, it. Yeah, but you're talking about something specific. You can do that. You don't actually need to know the whole game to talk about that part. Yeah, and then we it's fine to say you didn't like an aspect of the gameplay. It's fine. Yeah. Thing, like, it's possible that someone could be like, oh, you're, like, here's a tactic that you can use to, to get this like way easier, and uh, be like, oh, okay, cool. Like, that's that's, yeah, that's possible, because I didn't like try again yeah, or anything. It. I tried to figure out how to properly get through it. I yeah, just I mean, couldn't be fucked like, with it. Like, I, that's what I said, that's what I meant when I said that I can't really get mad at Jay because he didn't really, like, study the game to get better at it. Does that make sense, Jay? Yeah. Is, is that, is I that never a studied fair? the Blade. Yeah, yeah, you never study. unlike me, you never studied the Blade, Jay. So then, I, I, can, uh, like, I can forgive your trespass for, for, for your ignorant comment. But I even, like, you. if the yeah. gameplay works, like, perfectly in that yeah. game. Yeah, yeah. Like even I think I think it maxes out at like a four out of ten because oh, uh... like, it's <laughs> wait like, the gameplay the gameplay yeah the gameplay right? the gameplay, the gameplay. Okay. It's, it's like this like very simple turn based stuff that uh not even turn based it's, it's, it's not like, so, real it's time like a with real time with pause shit like, you know what I mean I had, had to, yeah, yeah 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 where you, yeah, you yeah. basically can't do anything. Um, you're, you're just standing around until your turn starts again, but it's in real time. Yeah. Yeah. I get that. That's someone uh, said Final Four, Final Fantasy fourteen isn't bad. Rax is just blind with Guild Wars. I'm not. Guild Wars has problems to it, but I I could not get into Final Fantasy fourteen. I didn't enjoy it. I didn't like the world. I didn't like the. I I, I couldn't get into that game. It just did not. It did not at all mesh with me. Minecraft is a really no. bad survival game. So I said, for me, getting to level 80 is the grind. I'd, I would say the reverse. Getting to 80 is f relatively quick and easy. After that, you have the grinds for the masteries and your ascended gear and things of that nature. And the collections can be grindy and descended trinkets in particular. But like, yeah, I so, some of these uh, some of these comments are a little interesting. I'm wow. really enjoying seeing the people ranking on Koto's story in chat. Like yeah, I don't I don't yeah. even know. Like I didn't get far enough through it, but no, it's but just like you've that, it's, it's unfortunate because I really like I, I think Kotor has one of the best twists in in gameplay history, in, in video game history. And th that's all I have to say actually for, for Oh I wanna for... finish it now. What wow. the weekend. You made us all want to play it. Um, I, I, oh fuck! I, I I want to make a hot take since everyone has a hot take, but I can't think of anything right now. So, just say, so, what's uh, the most beloved thing you think is terrible? Hmm. <laughs> the most nah, beloved yeah, thing I think is terrible. But, well, I. Mm. But I love everyone. Well, well, that's not true. But. Wow. Well, see, weekend just doesn't want to lose stock. He wants to. He wants to maintain yeah. his position. What a bitch! Hey, wait, weekend. What's a, What's an anime that you think is bad that most people think is good? Hmm, an anime that a lot of people think is good, but I don't like. Sure. Huh. Wait. That... Oh, I think some parts of JoJo are overrated. Yeah. Oh, what a weak take. Like, fuck off. Like, it's a really <laughs> well thought out argument. Like, you, you, you know what? I, I think, I I think some parts some of it show. aren't as good as people say. Just <laughs> Oh, go harder, we can say something shit. Wait, do it. I, wait, I'm really thinking though. So I'll, say I, the same I, thing in a more inflammatory way. That'll do it. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, just be like, a lot of parts of JoJo are really fucking overrated. Like people are, are wrong about it. like oh. they just think it's way better than it is. Just say it like that. That's how it's done. Shit. You're good. Someone, someone saying Rags and Mahler, RE4 has aged terribly. <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> Ooh, I definitely funny. disagree with that. that. That's that's wrong because RE4, the gameplay of, of the RE4 is the basis for all for most of the games after that. I think it holds up really well. It is yeah. Resident Evil 4 is a shockingly consistent game. Yeah. When um, it comes 
I suppose you could argue going after her, the best after you can. Jesus. Yeah, the best you can do is like I don't like tank controls. Like okay, but they function. Like all of it is. Yeah, they function. They function really damn well. The the combat and the enemies and how they respond to your hits is extremely consistent and learnable. That's mm -hmm. a, that's an excellent game for committing yourself to and learning like all of the stuff about it. And eventually Dude. you can almost exploit the game because of how consistent it is there's eventually a, there's a reason why it's like survived years and years and years later Fucking chat um, your yeah. hostess takes that you're the most confident in oh now we want yeah, the, the only thing that's takes? aged poorly oh, no. yeah, yeah, for is some of the i want to see what they say I let's do see. it chat Give throw me, out your heart. Oh. most unpopular opinion that you know is right and you're oh, it's gonna be terrible i want to see <laughs> wait Somebody made art already, Mauler. Wait, I'll, I'll, I'll send it to you in Twitter. Jesus Christ. Oh, is it the one where you're going off to kill people? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we said it in our, uh, in our chat. And it said it, oh wait, yeah. M-A-H is bad, what is that? My Hero and, Academia. My Hero Academia. That's also incorrect, so... Ooh. But, ooh. Oh fuck, it's going so Here fast. Come. Oh the Jesus. Now is overrate. <laughs> the poop tastes good. EFAB e 84 was good. <laughs> no, Dark Souls second half falls apart. That's not. That's not that hot. I think uh, Jay is bad. That... <laughs> <laughs> Mootal stream is Wait, the I'm, true EFAB I'm gaming. really thinking. Oh, wow, really someone said, cool. someone in chat's like, The Witcher is a bad series. Oh. So, no, here's the thing if you're talking about the show, I don't know, I haven't seen the show. I've played the second Witcher and the third, and they're both quite good. Like, really good. Witcher 2 is difficult in, to the point where it, I wouldn't... I, uh, as good as Witcher 2 is, it is definitely not a hand-holdy sort of game. It's a difficult game uh, to the point where it can be frustrating, and I wouldn't easily recommend it to everybody um, like I would the third, but they're both quite good. Well, someone said Civil War is garbage. That's not a yeah, hot take. Wrong. Loads of people think Civil War is garbage. They're all wrong. They Jesus. are wrong. Dracula Untold is a masterpiece. <laughs> <laughs> it's certainly entertaining. Breath of the Wild sucks. Uh, well, a lot of people are coming out to go after Witcher 3 now. Bull Guys sucks, sure. but I still play it. I completely agree. Yeah, no, Season 2 was so terrible. I want to make a video on it, but I have other stuff Season to do. 2 might have pissed me off enough to never play that game again. Yeah, like season two. Like that the would be the a addition fine, like... of content has pissed me off. Like it's it had the complete reverse reaction to, for me because um they've, yeah, they've added like three new maps and a couple right. color variations and some accessories it's and stuff. Not, it's not even that. Like they've added like two minor variations on a one of which is a copy of the worst fucking game mode in the game, by the way, Egg oh. Scramble. Oh. Like this this is surely not a hot take. Surely everyone agrees that Fall Guys season two is fucking pathetic. Probably not. Like, okay, they copied Egg Scramble, cloned it, changed the map slightly. It was like, ugh, new game. They um, changed yeah. the maps for the Hoops game mode, which still isn't a great game, game mode, a mini game. Um, just made a new map for it and they put it out like, oh, new game. They made a new, like, a single new race gauntlet. Like, you should be able to pump out so many fucking race gauntlets for that game. It should be such a simple process to make race tracks for that game. Just give, um, they, people, they, they, just give the people workshop abilities. Yeah. Let them make their own maps and you exactly. go. Um, they added, and they're never going to do that, by the way, I feel, because then, like, if there's new maps coming constantly, there's never going to be hype for the official added. But, um, yeah, I have. Just, I, but then, I, then, uh, oh, what else? Shit. Uh, uh, what was the other thing they added? Oh, they added one new game mode. It's like the same. Simple challenge, copy and pasted four times. Oh, and then they added a new quote unquote game mode, which just removes content from the existing game. Um, and then you can, so you can play the game without some of the content because there was already so much content that somebody just removed. <clears throat> oh, okay. Well, back me up. I've been, I know I mean, you agree. Well, like I said, the they added stuff and re by revealing that this was their big content drop it like actually annoyed me to the point where i just don't even want to play it even though it's in a better state now than it was before the update technically speaking but it's not in any way good enough and so i'm out um we we've gotten some takes iron man has no arc interstellar is shit 
Dark Knight Rises is better than Civil War. Buffy sucks. There's no good Sonic games. Lord of the Rings lore is awful. God of War 4 is bad. It's like, no. Well, yeah, someone called Devil May Cry 1 bad and we have words. <laughs> uh, it is not bad. Not bad. A lot of people think it's aged really poorly. Why don't you know, one has bad gameplay? I saw that too. I what? was about to say. Like, it ain't great, but it's pretty good. <laughs> Soba isn't a horror game. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. It's true, though. It's dropping back. 2001 is based on one of the most boring films I've ever seen. That's pretty reasonable. I think those are weaker takes when you describe a feeling. When you're like, oh, I found it boring. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. meh. Yeah. It's like people, people, it's like the kind of like people like Ralph will go, what? You, you think it's boring? Dumb. Yeah. You know it's boring? Um, you know it's boring? 80% of Among Us when you're playing through it. <laughs> That's actually That's the amount of times that you're the um unless the yeah it, you're like you're waiting for accusations to happen which I think is the fun stuff in Among Us or you're actually the imposter where you're planning how what to kill these people. We can worry it. going up what? to a wall, pressing download, waiting for a bar to move across the screen, and then walking to another wall. A height of entertainment. I it feels feel like, like you know you know those pop up ads. It feels like that. <laughs> I, someone, somebody pop-up tweeted ads. that out. Like th- that's the me. Th- that's what it reminded me of. Oh, and and that made me like, oh, it's kind of boring if if it's nothing nothing's happening, right? The the fun part in Among Us is the social aspect of it, and it only gets used when people are gonna die or people have died and, and people are accusing each other. So, yeah. But I, I'm, I'm happy that their game blew up, but like 80% of it is like, oh, I'm just... I still really love the game, though. Doing my chores, so yeah. I still really love the game. Mm-hmm. Um, that's it. Um, okay. Justify that. <laughs> All right, then. No, yeah, but yeah, it's just walking through that. I think it's like a build-up. Yeah, Smash is hot. Uh, Smash is hot, yeah. <laughs> okay. What? Smash is hot. Horizon Zero Dawn isn't a fun game. Oof. I have no idea. So I played it. Bleach is Garbo. That's the Bleach only heard I've taken about. Uh, yeah. Take I've heard about Bleach. Well, it's it's correct though. <laughs> like, EFAP is a wonderful podcast with wonderful people. It's like, yeah, Darkest that's Dungeon is garbage. Uh, go terrible people. Still like Movie Bob in many ways. What? Please elaborate on that, oh, no. General Kenobi. I'm very <laughs> curious as to what you mean. Ooh, this is one. Uh, Solo is better than Return of the Jedi. No. Mm. That's, uh, mm. Mm. No. No, that's no, I, I, I think oh, the oh, Emperor, God. Vader, and Luke stuff in Return of the Jedi destroys anything in Solo. I, I agree. Like, that's no an standard. Because, like, Solo's yeah. plot is still as broken as, like, the first half. Yeah, I wouldn't want to yeah. underestimate, like, especially the big payoff where everyone betrays each other. None of it makes any sense. Like, what are the motivations here? Um, hang on. What? Hang on. I found it really funny because it's, uh, it's too confusing for you to like keep track of how none of it makes sense. Yeah. So you watch it and you go, "Oh, I guess this probably makes sense, right?" Like you don't. It's it's too. It's it's like too much for your brain to keep track of at once. <laughs> so when people you're watching, saying you don't no. realize stuff. <laughs> no. Okay. How about uh, Marvel movies are a whole are entertaining, but the, the impact they left on cinema is bad. How wh- which is- ones? Like I, like, I guess I don't have clarification on that one. Which one? Like, sorry. Like the the need for the protagonist to be this snarky asshole. I think that's, that's been popping up. Like, but that's just, like through... so that mm. is that a Marvel thing, or or a society thing, or a culture thing? Society. I would probably okay. say that. Yeah, I guess a lot of people are trying to do like. Like Iron Man is really good in that aspect, mm-hmm. yeah, but people want their Iron Man without working for it. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, person in chat. Return of the Jedi is convoluted. Is not a. Is that's not a. Not a... Huh? That's just okay. Just right. so, but here's like, the thing. That doesn't make it worse than Solo. Clone Wars, Wars is the Solo only Wars. great thing from Star Wars. Ugh. What? <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. That's possibly the worst take I've seen today. Damn, Watch this isn't week. That good. Do you mean the film or the comic? Because like one of those I can support as like a very valid perspective. It's it. Here's one. I agree with it, but Joker is better than Taxi Driver. That's true, though. <laughs> so, yeah, Joker is better than Taxi Driver. Marvel is better. I don't even think it's close. Cringe. 
Marvel is what? The death of movies. I, no, I don't agree what? with that. What is that? that what you, Marvel that would need unpacking. Probably, like five out of ten. I would, I would just need them to explain what they mean. Do they mean, they mean that lots I, of? I'm very confident that they probably mean. Um, Marvel has introduced some tropes to uh, Hollywood that other films have tried to copy because they have no ideas of their own. That's not Marvel's fault. Bad. Yeah. That's well, like no, the Dark that, Souls like, that argument. Would still be their impact, but it's like those films were never going to be good. Like the shitty copycat films, like the you know. Um, the DCEU, <laughs> yeah, the DCEU shit like that. That's just like patchworks of whatever's popular in Hollywood at the time isn't going to be good anyway. The fact that they're influenced by Marvel because those are the popular films right now doesn't mean that it's Marvel's fault that they're bad. Like it's just that's the easiest thing for them to latch onto and copy because they have no original ideas of their own. This one's interesting. Uh, Rags, uh, Seven Days to Die is meh at best. So, I think I described Seven Days to Die as, like, the, the, it's probably the best example I have of a really broken, janky game that's still really fun, but there's a lot of subjective stuff about what, like, I really like it, but I could absolutely see why someone would, would hate it, but I, I really like it. I dig it. I think there's a lot of stuff in there. I think it's mechanically rich. I think there's a lot of interesting things to do and build up and see and but i but a lot of it's really it, it's got a lot of stuff going on in there and it ain't all great in fact very little of it is great it's it's how all the pieces combine but yeah i could see how someone would really hate seven days to die but i really like it i always i'd always recommend it to people i just saw um aquaman is better than any marvel movie <laughs> oh fuck <laughs> off wow aquaman. that isn't even real aquaman's so bad uh, okay, I so saw Captain Marvel is better than Kotor. I think we're someone trolling there. We're entering into a, a new phase of hot take where it's just things being said. So yeah, I think people are Dark Knight. The inflammatory at this point. <laughs> oh yeah, that's um, it. Terminator see. Salvation yeah, is a great that was, film. That was kind of fun. Um, oh yeah, I like Terminator Sal. That, that's where can I spoil it? Since the franchise is dead. <laughs> Wait, spoil what? Sorry. Spoil. Spoil Terminator Salvation. Oh, sure, yeah. yeah that, that's that's your... If you care about that, you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, Salvation isn't that bad. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a good yeah. move. It's better than whatever the fuck happened after that. Well, that's what, right, so I agree with the second part of what you just said. What, what, what we say is it's the best of the Terminator sequels, meaning everything after 2. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. you know, clarification. But uh, Salvation still has loads of issues, unfortunately. Someone said Bioshock 2 is better than Infinite. That that ain't a hot take at all. That's, that's correct. That's just true. That's yeah. <laughs> Bioshock 2 is a mechanically excellent game that takes place in a really super interesting world with a story that's meh. Story. But I just can't it out. a story that's stapled onto the first one. It's like they really want to have more. And then Infinite yeah. is just shit. Uh, uh, someone said Blade is the best Marvel movie. <laughs> Halo is mediocre, especially the first one. Someone who said a couple uh, of times Red Light Media is a shit channel. Like, I can't damn. tell I can't yeah, tell which of these takes are uh, are trolls now. Uh Attack of the Clones see. is worse than Rise of Skywalker. That's a no. hard sell. <laughs> Sorry. I hate the prequels and that's a hard sell. The, the gray is so a five like... out of ten. Damn. Oof. Let's see. Uh let da, 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 da. um Thingo, oh, here's what Theo and Fringy are desperate attention seekers and copycats who want to copy Mahler's hot takes with their own hot takes. Their hot takes wow. aren't even the same as mine. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry. Adam Sandler makes better movies than Christopher Nolan. Sp Spider Man 2 is way better than the entire MCU. I'll listen to you if you didn't watch it when you were a kid. Oh. <laughs> Jay, so mean. Jay. Do you think that Spider-Man 2 is a bad movie, Jay? No, no. I no. just think it's really, like, overrated. overrated. Mm. And, like, don't get me wrong. It's a very good movie. But people fucking suck its dick, like, to the end. Like, I, I would so, struggle so to you... find movies that are as good as people say Spider-Man 2 is. So you agree with Spider-Man 2 is phenomenal. I think it's pretty damn good. Yeah. Spider-Man 2 is one of the best superhero movies ever made. Yeah. It is really good. I would agree that it is very good, but like gets 
like it has like a sort of uh camp yeah oh yeah like it's the... realistically designed to be that way right i think it's, i think my issue is that i've just watched the high top films video on it not just now but i mean like i've watched that didn't we cover his video we co on we it? Covered, no we covered cosmos raimi videos and we covered high tops videos on the uh homecoming i think Should cover oh, okay. his um cover his his spider-man one video i think because it's like um he goes so overboard with the praise it's insane like he's talking about the uh the mise-en-scene of uh of like peter's room he's like talking about all like little props that are that are put in there and he's describing like oh there's a periodic table on his wall there's pencils on his desk it's like he describes like a few objects like that and it's like uh it's like this is a nerdy kid's room this attention to detail has never been matched by other films and you're like calm down, okay. calm down yeah he said that no way <laughs> he said that really he, was he joking or or, no, or was he like playing his straight <laughs> what this is just he's just so into those movies someone in chat i don't know I top was right about some stuff he just went bonkers <laughs> That's the way to put it. Bonkers. Bonkers. Um, uh, do you guys remember, um, did you guys ever play Star Fox Assault? No. Is that the adventure type the one? GameCube. Where, where you walk around as the actual character? Uh, so there was adventures where you do that, but Assault combined the... It had both. It had going around on the ground and shooting things in person, but also the vehicle stuff. And... I remember quite liking it. I think it worked pretty well. For being a shooter on GameCube, I remember it working pretty well. Hmm. Hot but, take, uh, this segment of AFAP is the worst segment ever. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm about to rename the title. It'll, it'll just be uh, you know, Hot Take Avalanche and then the, the other stuff. <laughs> you should drive if um, you're a grown up. I, I, I'm thinking... <laughs> Someone here said Devilman Crybaby is terrible. Ooh. I know oh, you're, we can, you we can wrong, Warrior made a video about that. You I've never seen it. But it was very <laughs> controversial, by my understanding. It's a it's a good it's a good anime, and what did he say exactly, Rags? That's Devil terrible. Me. Oh, he's wrong. Well, so anyway, yeah, we, we're gonna, gonna, the I things that happen are terrible, crazy. but Oof, yeah. Right. Mm. So we I can can't check, think we of can a hot take video. Is that, is that what we're going <laughs> to at some point? Also, we can worry. Stay. Oh. Don't do work. Oh, yeah. Fuck. Uh, yeah, oh, I have to work. I have no. a video coming out on the Baldur's Gate, which is fun. Wait, if, fun. if all of chat says you should stay for the Patrick Holmes video, will you stay? No, because I have to work. <laughs> Why are you don't. so mean? I don't. <laughs> If, chat, if you're, if chat, your this is a hot is... take. Adults have to work, okay? No, no. Chat, just... are, you, are you talking about working on a video? Yeah, so it's not okay. work. So, so here's the thing. Making yeah, videos is, is a way to grow your channel, as is participating on a relatively popular live stream. There you go. This is, <laughs> this is like nah. adjacent to your own videos, right? No, it is no. running parallel with your own goals. Raxus. Raxus, I already gave a super chat. I said I was gonna work while you were in the background, but Jay had a hot take, so I made a cameo. Look so. at all the work. Look at all the tears fun. in chat. This is horseshit. Yeah, this, doing right yeah now. I have this to say it's fun. Yeah, work. I agree. Look this at, is labor. Reading some of these work. takes, labor. We, we can look at chat. Look at the look at how they're crying. Don't leave oh, them. Oh, okay. This is my hot take. I'm gonna leave. Okay, how about that? No. Chat, fuck, fuck hey. off, chat. Wow. Just chat, just kidding. Don't, don't. Chat, I'm sorry. I have to work, chat. Someone's going to stay and I'll donate to you. Chat. That's what I'm someone like, said. I'm, I'm expecting crying emojis in, in a second. Oh, no. Chat, sorry, I have to put you down. Chat. Wait, what? I, I'm <laughs> on my way to work, chat. Chat, I'm on my way to work. So. They, they said they'll unsubscribe if you leave. No, don't do that shit. <laughs> don't want it. I'll, I'll stay. You can donate to me, though. That's okay. Oh, there you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> See? Metal. Go to metal. Look at them, they're all crying. I can't believe you did this. Yeah, too bad. Too bad, chat. Mm. Ha! Nah, I'm just... I, I really want to stay, but I want to... I, I want to release this while, while the release is hot. How how about... do we, Can we compromise where you, you stay for a little bit? I will stay then... for a little bit. <gasps> okay. okay. See, there we, we go. go. I'm, 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 the, I'm the master uh, negotiator. I'm like Trump. 
right? Oh, I, this is this trade deal is probably one of the best trade deals in the history of yeah, trade chat, deals. Appreciate that trade that deal, one. okay? Oh. Come on. I think this is a pretty good one as far as they all go. I will um, say for a little bit, fine. So, side note. Uh, we were talking about the Marvel movies. Uh, I just ran into this character in Guild Wars. I was just playing while we're, we've, been, we've been chatting, and this oh, character's yeah. name was quite good, <laughs> so I enjoy it. Why is yeah. Gamora? <laughs> Homecoming is at least as good as Spider-Man Two. <gasps> I already know that's a hot take. Uh, Chat's gonna be very upset with you for just. But they're both so you. good. Yeah. I know they're both really, 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 really. really I good. think Homecoming's better. But they're both so good, I don't even yeah. care. <laughs> Just I, like, I don't even care. I think it's great. so close for me that I'd have to deep dive into both of them. Also, Into the Spider Verse. I've said this before, those three are my top Spider Man movies, and it's I hard still to choose between seen them. That. I hear it's great. It's very good. Um, very, very good. Southpaw's been dealing with someone who's been shitting on it recently, I've heard. Uh, it's, it sounds amusing. Perhaps we shall, we shall cover that someday, chat. Would you like that? Would you like us to oh. get away from hot takes yeah. and start talking about how like Into the Spider Verse is good? Is that what you want? Is that <laughs> what you fucking deserve? Um, also, that's the link to the watch together. If everybody wants to jump right I think in, you've already sent us one. Oh, oh, I, I, gotta... It's the same one. It's just for weekend. Okay, good. Okay, oh, I got, yeah, it. I got it. Get that, a bunch that of works. Yeah, that works. during my my streams and on the YouTube, it's like oh, I was holding it to the to the to, to weep rabbit I was like, it's a thing. I've been watching anime since I was young, but I do it in phases, so I don't talk about it every goddamn day of my life. Yeah. You're not, you're not the kind of person who talks about anime. nothing but anime with like an anime girl PFP. I know, ironic, shut up. Uh, but <laughs> so people forget, oh, hey, he's actually, he might actually watch anime. Yeah. Weird. I, do, uh, I, I, I do that. I've, I've been addicted to Genshin. That's why I get it. As, uh, hmm. I'm playing it on stream. It's like, mm -hmm. sweep. No. Bola shills the MCU too much. Yes, Bola, who says, <laughs> ah! like, there's five good ones. <laughs> You shill. <laughs> you fucking shill. Yeah, I just find it funny that people say that. It's like, oh, yeah, whatever. I always have to remind them. It's like, majority of my content Why online in relation Which to one? the MCU is shitting on it. But, uh, Do yeah, I say that Homecoming is really good, and they're like, wow, MCU shill. Yeah, like, when I when you take all the MCU movies and average them out, it's like 5 out of 10. Uh, yeah, that's yeah, that's probably... I don't, I'm not even sure if it's that high. There's a lot of really bad ones that bring Which that score down. I most of those are more recent, though, aren't they? Um, Iron Man and the Wasp is, but was okay. It's not well, great. I don't know if Iron Man 3 counts as new. And then you got Thor point. 2, which is pretty ghastly. But then, yeah, uh, Captain it's Marvel. Is Thor always... 2 actually bad? Because, yes. Like... yes, I can confirm it's, it's bad. Just... I rewatched it. It's Wait, really hard Jane, to remember it, but there's fucking stupid yeah, the, writing in it, too. Is, like, I've never just been able to remember what fucking happens <laughs> in it. Like, I have An no elf. idea if it's bad, because it's... Elfman bad, Jay. That, that's Elfman bad. bad. Yeah. Oh, sure, yeah. the Dark Elves are bad. Ooh. <laughs> Thor likes to, you know... Yeah, he's got some interesting ideas about elves. <laughs> to, be, to be fair, your only praise video is an MCU movie. How is that a fair representation of my channel? I've got praises for all kinds of things. Well, no, uh, no, that means that's the only good movie. Yeah, yeah actually, that would just bolster that me. That's it. The <laughs> yeah. other, all the others are shit. Um, yeah, so that, like, how come Amnesia and Soba don't get considered in my like praises? Uh, all yeah, the, all the like, streams. That. Is, it, is it not allowed games? Videos. Um, Chat watches but... videos. That those were good. The Soma vids were good. Oh, thank you. Very they nice. are really good. They are very good. Soma's a I... fucking masterpiece. Everyone should play it. Yeah, yeah that's some top tier. Previously. Oh, jeez. All right. So, oh, no. chat, it's we're officially bad. out of the hot take territory. You are now, yep. it's now illegal to make a hot take as well as talk about someone else's hot take. That is now illegal. Right. We're going to listen to Patrick talk about what we want from a Star Wars movie part two. You see, part one didn't quite answer the question, so now we get to know the true answer. Yeah, didn't quite understand. I, I wonder where he's going to go. I mean, he, he he's already waking up on a beach here. <laughs> but, so. He's a filmmaker. <laughs> Where does where does he live? I guess he lives by a beach somewhere. He does he live in, in Palm like... Springs? That's the that? Is I that guess. Florida or California or? I have no fucking clue. I just said. It. Wait, wait. He, I'm just scratching. Patrick I'm Williams is like the quintessential Californian, though. Mola was wait, wrong scratching. about Black Panther. I know. I didn't oh, even go sorry hard enough on it. Californians in chat, listening to that. Guys, uh, so the if I am assuming correctly, the first part is just 
Willem setting up this part, right? Because from what I gather, he doesn't really answer the question. I would say the summary of part one is the fans want the experience of what they remember from the OT. That's that's what I think the takeaway was. Which and that's is being very charitable. riveting, isn't it? Well, I was gonna say it's a really boring take. Like, oh, you guys just want what you liked. You're like, okay. People just want to <laughs> have. I would say people that people, people, want, people want to have their encyclopedia of trivia. Oh, that like, too, justified. Yeah. People want the things they like. What? Oh no! Well, that's not allowed. Yeah, yeah to can you believe for... it took him as long as it did for him to get to that point? Um, <laughs> the takeaway might also be shut up. TLJ is good. Oh, well, that yeah, was a big part yeah. of it too. But I do want to. He really fellates that movie. And just that, yeah. uh, back up what Rags just said about the whole like. So he thinks that when the original shit came out, it was it had problems, but we accepted them all as just that is Star Wars, and now problems are unacceptable because it is not. It's new. It's like supposed to be new. <laughs> um, so yeah, I guess we'll we'll have a look see. Beyond Patrick H. Willems. Uh, how was your vacation? I don't want to talk about it. The um, coconut. Am I supposed this to be is Charles. Charles. I felt like we needed some new supporting cast members. Charles. That's that's a character called Charles. It's odd. It is odd, but comedy, I suppose. It's an odd name for a coconut. I think that's the joke: is that it's not really a proper name. Yeah, hmm. yeah, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, this is good. Huge improvement. This is weird. Why are we doing this? Look, guys, I have a that's long a list of ways to improve the channel this year. First that's a good two, question, I guys. <laughs> why are we doing this? Uh, that's a good question, though. Yeah, like strong why? shit. That's... Oh god, this is thirty-one minutes. So hey, is this is this, self, is this self-aware cringe that we're is that is this the self-aware cringe section? Where... Mm, well, like... when mm. when did this trend of wearing t-shirts underneath blazers begin? Uh, I yes, like that. I think it can look. It's all the right. laziest kind of indecisive formal I can think of. Why is it indecisive? Why because you're wearing a t-shirt wear a under jacket? a blazer. Well, what's wrong with that? That's just Not the style there. rags. I, yeah. I guess that just became. I'm asking where it came from. It's just people. Uh, I think it should end. I I don't I, I don't think, think that t-shirts have... should be worn with blazers. Oh. I think you should. Like, have... no, no more hot takes. A yeah, take. No more hot takes. <laughs> <laughs> I think anyone should be allowed to wear whatever they want, Rex. That's my hot. Take. Oh yeah, yeah. You're you're allowed to. You know. <laughs> you, you just said you want to make them stop. <laughs> <laughs> I I would like to well I mean like I I want them to stop right <laughs> but I'm not going to I mean I I have a fairly libertarian position on t-shirts with blazers but I don't like it <laughs> but that's I just think like up, dress right? nice or dress casual don't mix them that's yeah. my get up well, it is a casual look <laughs> It's like, yeah, it's a casual look. Casual no, it's lazy blazer. casual. It's like, ooh, no, I put on a blazer. What? No, that's not why lazy it, casual. No, why is it lazy? It's just the style, Rags. It's just, just the style. It's just shit style. No, I, I, just, I just say that, you say lazy Imagine formal. Imagine just being a dog wear... and like, that's your yeah. entire avatar. Yeah. Like how, if I wanted to be formal, I'll suit it up, right? If I, <laughs> if I just want, like, it's, to say it's lazy, it's just, oh, I just want to wear a blazer today. What, how is that lazy? Because you're it, you're you're not committing it, to either. How is it no, lazier yeah, than wearing a jacket? It, you're committing to the like side just of the jacket blazer. with nothing beneath it. Okay, okay like how, like how is it lazier <laughs> to wear a blazer and a t-shirt than just to wear like a t-shirt with a jacket? Because you ain't committing. You're trying to straddle the line, and it don't look you good. You are committing. You've made a decision to wear a t-shirt with a blazer. Like, what that if my is yeah, like, that's what I have a problem what, with. What if my white shirt goes lazy. well with my black ja black blazer? Right? Black, what if, well, a black jacket with a blade? What kind of jacket are we talking about? Oh, shit. The, blazer. the Shadow Vest he regularly wears shirts with a blazer. Well, he needs <laughs> yeah, to know. Exactly, exactly. I don't Traffic fucking rag. care. I don't care. Why is it, I don't no, care. Why, why is it lazy? <laughs> I, I don't understand why it's fucking lazy, though. Like, Despicable. It's, it's it? a crime against fashion. It's a crime why? against fashion. <laughs> Not everyone. <laughs> Every, fashionable people wear this shit, Rags. No, 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 no. They don't. By definition. I, like, okay, you're saying that, and like Patrick Willems is doing it on screen. No, but I'm wearing it. It's fine. Willems mm. is just. Oh, yeah, that's the point. That's your profile picture. Like, yeah, that's why he's yeah, so offended. Profile pic. I I don't understand. 
She's like, I've always... Yeah, but you don't I, even I, wear pants. I, I, I I've always thought that like, I, your, I, your profile picture was like a tweed jacket. Yeah, I never, oh, I never like, thought like that to be a blazer. It's, it doesn't even look like one. Even on the picture you posted, that's not a blazer. That's just a brown jacket. How is that different from the blazer doesn't have the, the, the lines on it? So all, all blazers are jackets? Not all jackets are blazers. It's like boars and pigs. Yeah, but I have blazers also, and I wear them, so I don't understand. Well, I was specifically talking about your avatar. I it never struck me as blazery, and if it is, now I can't unsee it, and I don't like it. <laughs> See, Rags, you no, don't it's... even wear clothes. So what do you know? <laughs> yeah, you're wearing a pumpkin. Wait, so the bla wait, so I am blazer... wearing a pumpkin. Wait, so the blazer doesn't have the thing, the line thing. What line thing? Is that, the is line that thing. it? The line thing, like. Oh, can we just talk about the video? So I just think, <laughs> as someone who doesn't wear clothes, I seem to have the best grasp on fashion here. Is no, no, we, no, you don't. Be poll. Yeah, because straw shades poll. are an accessory; they're not clothing. No, I'm making a straw just, poll now. No, it's just weird to say it's lazy. It's you know? weird how much you're clinging onto it. I, I think no, it's, it no, isn't it's lazy weird. or wrong. That's not weird. Why? Why is it? It's just weird to say that you don't like it because it's lazy. What if a no, it's person like, it's like, decides oh, it's that it's like when you're leaving your house? Fit. It's like when you're leaving your house to go to an event and you're wearing a T-shirt and then you remember, oh right, it's supposed to be nice, and no, then you just like, throw on a blazer assuming, like an asshole assuming, and then you walk out the door. You're assuming the uh, motivation here. What if you? Yeah. Someone like looks. People in the don't mirror. have to want to be lazy to be lazy. <laughs> what? Hang Not on, look. everyone what if that looks in the mirror. They go through like all of their clothes and they think, I think the best. Yeah, the best fit this is this blazer. And this blazer. Yeah. That's not yeah. laziness. That's just oh, then, that, that, then that's a different problem. problem. Arguably worse. Why? <laughs> because he chose to do that, Rags? Is that oh, going to be your may, Yeah, may, maybe <laughs> making the affirmative decision after checking it is even worse than laziness. Then again, that could probably be cured, but laziness is hard to cure, so I don't know. Maybe it is better. I'm, right, I'm making a straw poll now, and it's going in chat. I don't care. It doesn't mean anything. It's an argument for popularity. <laughs> Wait, I what's, prefer my what are, argument what are the from the declaration, the which is that it's, it's, right, it's there's no there's no like there's no factual basis by which to act, argue yeah, fashion. It, it's, that. Just, it's intrinsic to the universe that it is cringe fashion. <laughs> 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 what what word would you use to describe it? Not uh, like this t-shirt with a blazer is a bad look. It's unfashionable. No, it's lazy. I think Rag says it's stop. lazy. Just commit. Is... Don't straddle the line like a fucking filthy fashion centrist, right? <laughs> fucking commit. To be fair, I do. I don't. I don't like centrist. It's the worst ideology. So that means you don't like blazers with t-shirts. Centrism's an idea. Have you seen? Yeah. Have, you seen um, have you seen the virgin centrist versus the sad trust? Uh, the, the sad. The sad. The, the, the sad centrist. The sad centrist versus the, 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 the virgin centrist. That's all there is. Versus the Chad centrist uh, policy. Implying that like you're just a happy virgin. Actually, I'm pretty sure I've. If you've seen this, I'm pretty sure I've shown you. Shown you? Shut up. <laughs> um, Where's this poll? We so, need it. So oh, yeah, I, I I don't even really care that much. I don't have any real investment in this. I just want to see you don't like. Rex, you see you don't like it. I I'm offended when well, you I don't say like it. it's lazy formal. Oh, okay? Me not liking it is a subset of the fact that it's awful. Yeah, but your basis for it is it's lazy, truth. and some the people just don't think it's lazy. It's not intrinsic. It is a fundamental like... attribute of existence in and of itself. It is inseparable so from reality. So you mean the atoms have like the it's it's etched this goes there. Beyond atoms. This Lasers goes and shirts and bad. Am I right? Am I right, Rags? Is that what you're saying? Right, way beyond atoms. We have to go. This is past the quantum. All right. So in the Big Bang, it's like there Bef before the world was created. Right. Here's, uh, it's so going, here's the thing. I don't know. Right if before the, the Big Bang is even a thing, but <laughs> the chat's know. moving too fast for like this to show up. Here's the straw poll. Trevor, we're slow down. We're trying to see. Make a video about is a t-shirt with a blazer is. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hang on. For fuck's sake. <laughs> no, Jay, that's fine. Uh, that's I mean, fine. you could discuss it amongst yourselves if you wish, but I, I don't know. Ha! Huh, winning. The yeah. results are pouring in. Ooh, oh my ooh, god! It's, ooh, it's like they're uh, touching each other. Chat, don't yeah. disappoint me now. I, I stayed mean, for you, Chat. each other like a t-shirt and a blazer shouldn't. Remember, do it for Shad, do it for Weekend. <laughs> I 
can't believe this shit. Like, it's lazy. What the fuck is that? <laughs> it's, it's not fucking lazy if you decide to do it. It looks good. The fuck is that shit? A book look? What the fuck is this shit? Chat, I'm so disappointed, chat. How did I Jay, type what? that? How did Why I type that? Yeah, How Jay, it's a book look. What the fuck? <laughs> A book look? Would... Okay. <laughs> a book look? <laughs> a book look? People, on, people know what it means, I assume. Jay, you're making us the Blazer shirt team look bad, Jay. A book look? God damn it. I could remake it. Um... <laughs> the fuck is a book look? <laughs> Wait, wait, I'm gonna send something, since this is, like, happening right now, right? Oh, okay. <laughs> I might be tired than I thought. <laughs> you think? What? No, wait. See, the I thing mean, is, as I was look. typing this out, was at the same time that I was, like, fucking up, like, saying the virgin centrist versus the sad <laughs> trenchist. Trench? What? Trenchist? thing that I was typing is a t-shirt with a blue that is a book look. <laughs> <laughs> it's a book look. <laughs> <laughs> Truly the greatest question of the age. And it looks as if we have a definitive answer. It is a book look. It is a book look. After Christmas versus Halloween is settled, this should be the question. Is well, just getting people's raw, unfiltered thoughts <laughs> on a t-shirt with a blazer. Like, is it good? They're just like, oof. I don't know. They tell you it's a is book it, look. Is it good or is it book? <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> a book look. God damn it, Jay. Like... <laughs> I don't know if that, like, made people choose it more or less. I don't know what the bias is. <laughs> I would think be. more, yeah. Wait, I'm I gonna think more. Yeah. Because a good say... look was winning, and then we noticed a book look and, like, pointed it out, and then it started winning. Or people just, you know. All the all the the people who hate it got into the thing later. You know that could easily explain it too. What I think this answer is trend? Jay. You've lost. It's a bad look. I'm sorry. Like how could you how could you possibly? It's nine vote difference. That's the world well, speaking to you. Crying and shaking right now. Yeah, me too. <laughs> literally. <laughs> Wait, I saw. Open there as well. Did you did you guys see it? I sent something on Discord. I did. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, so I guess we can carry on with the video now that that's been settled. Chat oh, settled we got it. Sent, we got sent some art. Cool. Oh, yeah? yeah, it is. Is it about a book look? Um, no. Oh. About the gang. Oh, it's cute. Wow. Wearing the superior look. <laughs> what am I? What am I reading? You're reading. So you're reading. Uh, psychology. 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 <laughs> Why am I shooting myself a tism gun? Why wouldn't you be? <laughs> it's more. It's more of a tism angle. <laughs> it's an angle. I can shoot my jaw off. <laughs> is is everyone sort of looking on at rags because of his book look take? Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Bad rags. <laughs> Must be an imposter. <laughs> <laughs> Rags, that's... Rags looking sus. Yeah, Rags that's the title of this. Blazers is a book look. Yeah. Wrong. Because when I said book look, I was hacked. You, you, they're not gonna drop book look, by the way, Jay. No, I know. That's that's fine. Let's edge to... into EFAP history. It's quite a mistake because you didn't even use A or D, you just went with... <laughs> well, like, I assume I, com I combined the words bad and look. Yeah, but A and D didn't even look. get in there. They were just unwelcome. Yeah. Mm. So anyway, are you guys ready to go back to the video? It's a book clash. Yeah, we can check out... Uh, what, do, what do we cover? Oh, yeah, that's right. Patrick Willems yeah. made a video, uh, part two. Book. We made it half a minute. He's I giving the V sign to the camera. All Britland people, be oh, offended. Wow. I am offended. Items on that list: Matt and Jake. Your personal branding—it's a mess. If we're all gonna be skinny white guys with facial hair, either you can tell that these props that they because they just took them out of the box and put them on because they still have that big obvious crease going down the mm. middle. So like they're, they're doing a bit. We each have a distinct aesthetic, like modern X-Men, or we go for consistent uniformity, like classic 1960s X-Men. Pat, what's wrong with the clothes that I wear, like, every day? 
everything, Jake. Everything. Look, I have to go to a meeting right now. While I'm out, I want you each to brainstorm at least 15 potential catch. Did they suck all of his hair out to themselves? I don't know if that's how it works, but maybe. I'd they absorbed it into the hair creature. Yeah. <laughs> Catchphrases for yourselves. Okay, something like, uh-oh, it's Matt, but funnier. Hey. Jay, Imagine this how is... long he had to brainstorm that. I'm sorry, what? Jay, this is self-aware cringe, though, right? Yeah. I mean, it is, but, but it's like, it's not like, it's not funny. Yeah, it's not funny. Bad. It's like just being like, if I just went like, ooh, ooh, lol, like, okay. <laughs> I think it's no, but funny. that was funny, Jay. Though, right? Jay, yeah. this is this is the team you joined up with. Well, this is this is what's called safe. Is that you're trying to? It's it's supposed to be self-aware cringe, but it isn't actually funny. But you could say, oh, but it's supposed to be unfunny because it's being silly in and of itself. Like you can't win, you can't lose with it. It's perfectly safe. You can't touch it. Also, someone said uh, they thought you were referring to the people when you said they were props, right? And I was like, that's actually fair. They are kind of just props, right? In the video. Oh, the actually, yeah. Yeah. So actually, that was them. that was the subtext of Rang's comment. See, Red it's all about themes. In chat. Oh god damn it! <laughs> Why would you say uh oh? Oh, what if we do striped shirts but they're different colors? Jake, that, that crease has gone on their shirts. Did... Keep it up. We're gonna look like Alvin in the chat. No, so oh, the other ones isn't. That's weird. Yeah. And by the way, here while I'm out, uh, buy yourself some tasty treats. And, um, I want, like, 15 ideas each by the time I get back. Do you think horizontal stripes make me look fat? He dropped something. Can we just get to the it's part where he talks about- oh, What movie? Fuck. You should value the fact that this is stuff we can just watch and then not even have to cover, you know? <laughs> yeah, but it's yeah. hard not to talk about it, There's though, a story. Right? There's a story here. Yeah, no, I was gonna say, get invested. The, yeah, they're it's gonna like decide whose facial hair is Bottom right. tier sitcom See? comedy. No. You're just jealous oh, that you can't do more. this good with your sitcoms. Oh, I'm not even sitting right now. Oh. Seems like... Are you coming? Star Wars. Coming. The new one. The date is December 19th, 2019. Why would he still have a ticket for that old thing? If I had to guess, I would say this is some sort of memento mori. Do you remember the night he came back from this very film? Yeah, he said, fuck you, J.J. Abrams. <laughs> yeah, he tweeted it out. <laughs> he said, J.J., how fucking dare you? I'll yeah. have you know. Okay, well, still, it was really funny. Sad and distraught he was, how miserable, stinking drunk, talking yeah, but... about how this film broke his heart. Oh my God. Why is so he upset? Saying, it's a space is film for wizards and children. Space film for wizards. Space film for wizards. Contrary to the popular belief that Harry Potter is a film for wizards. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is why make them upset. They get it Harry all wrong. Harry Potter is still a film about wizards for children, and Star Wars is a film about films for children. Where's for? Where yes. does Harry fit yeah, into what all that? Uh, Star Wars is a wizard about films for Stop. Stop. <laughs> I'm right now. Wizard That's Wars. No, Play I'm not Wars saying today. I'm just oh, saying. But... That whole vacation to Mexico where he comes back talking like he took a seminar from Ty Lopez. He has an imaginary friend Coconut with googly eyes. I think this film broke him. What is this? <laughs> what? Yeah. He's, also, he's, what an incredible profile, but <laughs> I, why? He's trying like, to is, make, he's trying to. This is what YouTubers do. He's this trying is the to thing you do. He's trying to recreate that night where he made the tweet into some sort of artsy experience or funny experience, I guess. But it's self-aware cringe. It can't be artsy and self-aware cringe, can it? It's just like oh, the, the art of cringe. Oh, oh, yeah, of it's face. sort of like um. I feel like this is expired humor. You know, this is the kind of stuff that. <laughs> wow, I've not heard it referred to that way before, but I like it. Hmm. Expired you know humor. I mean, like, <laughs> it's gone past those... its sell-by date. <laughs> There was <laughs> throw it in the bin. There was a time for jokes like these, and that was like at least ten years ago. Yeah. Well, like, I can I can agree it's expired because I haven't so much as smiled yet. Yeah, but you're mean. You're a big mean. You take feelings away from people. That's probably why. Milan was funnier than this. The new one. That was unintentional. <laughs> yeah. It's actually well, true. Both of them were. Both of them were right. Both of them. Yeah. One more earnestly funny than the other. Yeah. 
I would, yeah, I'd say they both are more funny than this. I, I agree with that. I mean, I didn't laugh yeah, once yeah. at the new Mulan. Um, you watched it alone. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, I feel like you. That's would've... definitely why. Oh, we laughed a whole bunch. <laughs> oh yeah. Was there a weird Star Wars song in the background? I don't know. What, because guys, what the video the... character Moodle. What if the first ten minutes is just the skit? Good. Oh. He's wearing a directed by Ryan Johnson shirt. How embarrassing. Why though? Why people will just think that you're shit. <laughs> you were directed by Ryan Johnson. So you're directed by Ugh. I think we should take a break. Starting to Star Wars. Oh, that's the joke! Wow spoilers. I hate this fucking skit. Guys, if you're gonna do skits, be funny. He he's Why? just He's a at dude. least when Why? at least when nostalgia critic does skits, they're like bizarrely interesting. I know I would call this very bizarrely interesting. It's like I'm morbidly curious, I guess. Not for me. I just not, I couldn't care less in, at this point. I'm not even engaged. Like it can be interesting and engaging. Well, have you met the right person? <laughs> I'm sorry. <sighs> Maybe I'm Maybe. complaining about bad jokes, and then I say that. Mm. No, it's uh, fine. Fine, Jay. I'll forgive no, you. No, no, no. Don't no. forgive. There is no I'll forgiveness. Forgive only death. Okay. okay, kick Jay. <laughs> Careful of music. Oh, good point. Surely he would do. Tism free. He, yeah, this is probably some like um, some common bit. Yeah. It's, I mean, like you kind of. Ha it's uh, it's almost like oblig. An obligatory for you to be, you know, to, to to do the YouTube video thing and have that be the case with something. Like, I'll care about something. Like, loads of people have done the bit. Did the stream die back with. Um, we are saved. Okay, good. We're good. I think we're back. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, did the stream oh, did die? Was it the music? Uh, yeah, someone probably. said music, but I don't know if. More yeah. So the, if. It if it's the music, then no. it is licensed, right? That would be what that mean, Aruz. Well, hopefully he doesn't oh use it God. again, <laughs> if, if it was the music. Um... God right. damn it. We've all got relationships with those somethings. We care. We can't help but care. Sometimes those things we care about, they let us down. They... Well, why don't you Dude. mute it and we'll tell you what he's saying. Fucking tell me about it. What, did it go back? Did it go down in, in the stream? What huh? happened? Huh? No, it should be fine. Well, wait, what did you say, Jay? Why don't you, why don't you, um, you, you mute it on your end and we'll tell you what he's saying. <clears throat> well, no, like, he's talking now, so it should be okay. The music isn't loud enough, um, to go uh, I just thought but it was interesting I, I that he says... Funny we could, like, we could say things that he's not really saying, like, haha, I'm a dumb dumb, and then it would be really funny. He, he said it, the series will sometimes let you down, and we're all just sitting here after TLJ, like, hmm. Interesting okay. thought. Mm. What's the line? They go down a path we can't follow. That's like Leia. Why did he... No, Padme. Yeah, oh, the, the Padme. Music's getting yeah. loud Padma. again, by the way. What? Oh, oh. Music's getting loud again. Oh. I can I can mute while it's playing. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Oh, okay, oh. top five things I'm gonna miss about Star Wars. Mm. Number one, that opening blast of John Williams' score, where even if the movie turns out to be bad, it starts out feeling like the best movie ever. Uh, Number two, whenever a weird new puppet okay. alien shows up and all the humans act like it's totally normal. Number I three, forgot that he has just like all of these weird things. Like, I don't know. Well, like, I'm assuming... Yeah, like he loves the Luke milking thing. He thinks it's <laughs> fucking great. Um, like, uh, in fairness, this, I think he's doing like a uh, a breakup thing, right? Like, like, oh, what I'm gonna miss yeah. about this person, and these are just arbitrary random things, I imagine. I guess I I wish he'd put less time into his stupid unfunny skits and more time oh thinking. Oh, <laughs> oh, see, see, Mahler, this is why EFAP is said to be forefront of harassment against <laughs> directors Max and being fellow mean. YouTubers. The, well, these these comments, oh my god! Like, well, that means you're at the full front too. Just saying. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're I'm associating with row. me. I'm in the front row. So mother. if we go down, we go down together. <laughs> yeah. Mother, we all going down. I'll hey, drag chat, you you're with all me, coming with us. and screaming in my little fucking yeah. pumpkin. 
We're all going to internet jail. Everyone here. There's room oh, in this pumpkin for both of us. Horny jail. I'm sorry. Hell yeah. You're what? Horny jail? Yeah. Horny I'm jail. Crazy. That's the only kind I'm of horny jail. Horny jail. Me on the inside. I thought it was yeah. called the jail of the horn. Like that's the respectable term. <laughs> uh, yeah, but we're not respectable people here. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Think again, idiot. Just, Just being there, pawn, pawn doing stuff, rolums. making wookie sounds. Aww. Number four. The jumps to light speed. <laughs> And everything pauses, and the stars stretch out, and you realize that you breathe in every time it happens. And number five. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't. I, I mean, it takes so long for him to do it, I assume a breath is taken in that time, yeah, but yeah. probably about as far as I'd Just, go. I feel Let like him... this is the kind of thing that sounds smart and observational, because you don't think about whether or not it's true when you Let listen. Gosh, like, God, sure. he just wants to talk about it. I'm, I'm waiting for the more, you know, interesting part. This is more than just weird part. Maybe, maybe he really does. does. Maybe Four he minutes really does do that. Star Wars sounds. That humming buzz of the lightsabers, the way Kylo Ren's has that little crackle, the way TIE Fighters scream as they fly in. I, I'm noticing that all of this is very superficial stuff. Yeah. Very surface level, very superficial, very brain just notices lights and sounds kind of thing. Star Wars has the all-time best sounds yeah. in all of cinema. I wouldn't go that far. Over the years, <laughs> no. Star Wars and I have our own... I mean, I wouldn't want to go that far with, like, anything. It's, it's a bit of a bold claim, you know? It, well, they've got like, good yeah, sound design. Especially I about agree. sound design. Yeah. I would, I would, like... If you said most iconic, I could be, like... There's definitely an argument there. Sure. Yeah, iconic sounds. I'm thinking stuff like the T-Rex's roar from the Jurassic that's, franchise. Yeah, but that's nowhere near, like, the hum of a lightsaber. Well, no, but the, it would be in that category is what I'm saying. Like, the, I was going to yeah. name a bunch, but then I realized that there's no point. <laughs> you, you, we already know which ones I'm talking about, but yeah. But two years our relationship was the best it's ever been. I felt so optimistic about the future. Of course, not everyone. Like, Patrick Willem's the kind of N-word who watches TLJ, and he's like, yeah, optimism. I feel incredible optimism. The, end, the ending of The Last Jedi is just so, opt I just feel so optimistic about Star Wars. Well, um, it burns in the background and smolders. On the, yeah. on the surface, they tell you it is. Like, at the end, they're like, we're going to rebuild the rebellion, and Luke died a hero. Yeah. While we're all like, Jesus, what just happened? What well, yeah, it's that? like the whole, well, obviously Poe is incorrect because Leia slapped him and said he was wrong, so that must be the truth. He actually was incorrect at the end, <laughs> where he just ditched everyone. He was like, fuck it, our only hope of winning, uh, despite being a relative suicide mission, we're just going to call it off halfway through it because people are dying, which was always what we expected. That crate is such a disaster. But yeah, uh, TLJ is a very depressing film. Um very depressing. It's like, oh, it provides you hope. I just be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> like even the end of uh, the Empire Strikes Back, you know, I got um, I got my, <laughs> I got, I got my, I got my hand back. We're gonna go rescue Han. You know, we still got our group of people together. We got our spaceships. You know, I, I can go train with Yoda. Like we got stuff to do. Things are gonna happen. It's not all over. <laughs> I like that, but I'm saving that. Inside note, Buddha just sent me the ending of The Boys is so bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucking weird finale, honestly. But yeah. Everyone did. The fandom split into factions, and it was clear people wanted wildly different things from Star Wars. I made a whole video. Did you just say people wanted a wildly different things? I don't think I so, but maybe. Yeah, that's just a weird sentence. Or... Oh, he did? It's, it's weird, because he goes through the trouble of going to a fucking subway to film this shit, but he can't get sentences <laughs> it's right. It's symbolic, so... Rags. What do you it's, think, what do you think he's telling you visually? That we're stuck in a dark tunnel with this man? <laughs> <laughs> it's a crossroads, and look at the dark and light contrast. Don't you get it? Wow, that's so fucking artsy. You just don't appreciate Sorry. filmmaking. That's you. That's what you are. I hate films. Please All of them. We're actually going to talk about audience expectations this time. He's at a crossroads. He's at a. Is he going to take a train? Where is he going to go? Is he going to leave Star Wars well, behind? He, Who knows? He references his last video, and I think we got four different variants of what he was trying to say with that last video <laughs> from us. Look, TLJ's good. Shut oh, up. Well. Yeah, TLJ's good. Shut up about it, trying to understand how the relationship between a series of movies and its fans could change so dramatically. And then, yeah, the movie shit. over the past mm -hmm. two years, my own relationship with Star Wars changed. Was it me? 
was it? What is, why is... No, it's uh, your it's your ability to analyze media accurately is shockingly bad. It just feels weird that he's doing this format. Like, what happened between me and Star Wars? Like, why, why can't you just be like a normal talk person? about what happens and why it's bad or not. You have to, why do you have to do it this way? Star Wars? What happened? I think the only way to figure this out is to look back over the past couple of years and see how things changed. So, okay. in the words of our greatest modern poets, the band Coldplay, I'm going back <laughs> to the start. Didn't you do that in the first I'm one? I'm going back to the start is not quotable. That's such a mundane thing to say. <laughs> I'm going back to the start. That's like saying, ah, yes. Like Albert Einstein said, I'm going to the bathroom. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's the joke. Like Abraham Lincoln said, the. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. And the Did wise words that? of, I don't know, F Ernest Hemingway. Oh, just a water. <laughs> <laughs> just, um, so like, uh, the first video he had like a history lesson, quote unquote. Uh, why would we do this again, Patrick? Just where is, where is the beginning of this timeline? Is it the OT or is it TLJ? I don't know. Let's see. I just uh, and the wise quick. words of my grandma. Shut the door! I'm trying to poop. You. <laughs> Disclaimer. Me. In this video, I'm going to occasionally say positive things about The Last Jedi. Lol. <laughs> Lol. You try, to you try to squeeze that into all of your fucking Star Wars videos because you have to try and win everybody over in this losing battle. I'm, well, I'm starting to actually believe that. Is that the point of every Star Wars video we ever make? Is to just try and be like, you know... He's like Custer at Little Bighorn, trying his best, knowing he's fighting a losing battle. <laughs> Is good though. Which I personally think is an excellent movie. Mm -hmm. Now, for some of you, that one opinion about one movie is a total deal breaker that renders anything else I might have to say ir No, it's just informative about it's... how you make your other opinions, that's all. Yeah, mm -hmm. like it, it automatically gives me, oh, we've gone to the black and white and he's wearing proper attire. That's good, that's a good start. Proper However, attire. However, yeah, proper attire, because he's, he's got a... Yeah. yeah. Go, he still has. Tie, he still tie, doesn't have a tie, which is you know. It's, I mean, we're progress of a kind. No, no, no. You know, we'll ties, ties are fucking like they've expired. No. <laughs> the time of have you gone outside? The time of ties is over. That's <laughs> the nice. time of that's, ties that's, is that's over. Wrong. The time of no ties is over. Free neck time has begun. <laughs> I I'm okay with ties. I like ties. I like ties, ties are, are great. Cool. And if you're and if you're not gonna wear a tie, don't have your top button buttoned. Like a fucking imbecile. But that's the style, Rex. Honestly, Rex, I'm not a fan of button up that top button ever. Really, I'm just. It's just. I don't know. It looks too. Well, in a tie, you, you like should. Ties. In a tie, you should because it keeps the stuff behind the tie all neat and uh, tidy. Tidy. <laughs> tidy whiteies. In, in high school, uh, that was the the uniform. The uniform was a button down shirt and a tie. That was the. Same was for tie. same for mine, but uh, none of us yeah. buttoned the top button. It was too lame. I'm sorry. Yeah, we typically arms. would. We're individuals. It's a cool look to have the tie and also have it not be full, 100% formal. It's like, oh, look at you, rebel. Oh, like in high. Oh, and the other thing that high school kids do is they the ones because that's the that's the eight. Well, I don't know who you hung out with, but a lot of the times they would because that's the age where you kind of get that your your first car generally, except for Mahler. So people would get their <laughs> car mean. keys. And they would get that big old loop that you attach to your car keys, and they'd they'd have that loop sticking out of their pocket, and it would sag really, really low, and it'd be super obvious because they're like, "Yeah, that's right, I've got keys for a car because I drive, and that's so fucking cool." Yeah. Do you you that that's pretty cool. No uniform, best uniform. Hmm. Did you not have a uniform either? What in high school? Yeah. No, we had one. Oh, cringe. Everywhere I've gone to school, except for college, was, there was a uniform. The uniform in college was just, like, clothes. <laughs> <laughs> you must wear clothes. Peeny away. This is officially the fashion EFAP, okay? <laughs> we had to do it eventually. My, school, my high school had no uniforms. Okay. That explains oh, a lot. What does it explain? <laughs> Even the football team, it was very confusing out there on the field. It, just... <laughs> it explains why you chose a goth look for Halloween, because you just, you just, everything's warped. You just don't know what uniforms are. Oh. I don't understand the concept of uniformity. Yeah. 
You see, a, I know I do understand. I just don't like it. A bloodied hockey mask hanging out inside a pumpkin and a vampire. That's all on point. A goth though, it's like, what are you doing? Hang on, a hockey mask inside a pumpkin and a vampire. Yeah. What was that confusing? So you're silent because now you understand pick. how wrong Next you were. Profile. And you please profile pic. Weekend Warrior is quite a good Halloween little image there too, with the thumbs up. It's it's trying to invite you to a level of safety, but really he's going to kill you. <laughs> well, Weekend's got yeah, a cool Halloween image, there. but he's not using it on Discord. You think it's a red shirt? It's actually a white shirt covered in blood. Oh yeah, I can use my yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Out She Hit Me, who made my I'll change it for for the occasion. Who hit you? A fucking free fashion to pause. Yeah. Wait, sorry. Do you say someone made you a Halloween thing? Yeah, in my Twitter. So oh. I think it's just... so where the fuck is it? Yeah, I want to see. Gonna, I'm, yeah, I'm uploading it. Theo's... Oh, you just got it. Oh, okay. I thought you like I had one, but I. Theo's Halloween. I'm using mine from last year. year. I've got I've got one that's for tomorrow. So. I'm just uploading it. We can. What about the one you've been yeah, using? Yeah, this is smaller. I'm afraid. Yeah, I'm, it's, you can. It's, it's the thing I'm going to use now. So. You can put uh, the image in paint and draw some blood on it. Yeah, but I don't want to. Draw some blood on the on the mouse mouse mouth. The mouse. Yeah, yeah. I'll draw some blood on the mouse in that picture. No. Oh. No. No. <laughs> Case, I recommend you save yourself some time and just stop watching now. No. All right, see ya. Oh, damn it. Patrick, you need yeah, to teach us where He's really upset wrong. he can't convince people that TLJ is actually good. Oh, he convinced one or two. One, maybe. Okay, fine. You're right, but that's the single change. arguments. <laughs> that's good. It's really distracting from my ability to give him any benefit of the doubt, the fact that he just cannot stop, like, <laughs> pushing that one. I'm sure they'd say yeah, the same in reverse, we cannot stop ripping into TLJ or something. Because we hate all of the movies. Well, shit, we can prove it. Yeah, because I bring up TLJ all the time. That's true, we don't necessarily, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It, you could probably get a comp compilation of all the times we've done it, but it would still only be like 2% of EFAB or some shit. I promise, there's plenty of stuff on YouTube by people who share your exact opinions on Star Wars. Oh, he's upset. Me more, please. He's, he's upset. He's bitter. You could you could yeah. tell how yeah. bitter he is that he can't I feel convince as people that this shit movie's good. Might be looking a little into this, but I feel as though that was a little bit of a slight against the idea that like everyone's uniform on hating it. There's not like an interesting discussion going on. It's more of a just boo TLJ, and he's like, yeah, your exact perspective is all the way out there. Go have fun. Mm. It sounds like know. oh you hate my take. Go search for your confirmation bias somewhere. Yeah, go yeah. back to your your okay. echo chamber for Star Thanks. Wars. Yeah, what? Also, that's a, that's a nice little you got a little crucifix. Like, imagine, Are you getting attacked by something, yeah. weekend? Like Perhaps. imagine imagine you know the the humble version. Now if Jake, um, if you hearing hmm? you could have... you you you, oh, like... you dropped out. Yeah, Imagine like the drop. actual gracious version of this video where he says something. <laughs> now uh, I'm gonna I'm a... <sighs> here gonna we go. Yeah. Imagine the actual gracious version of this video where he says something along the lines of, "Oh hey, I'm gonna be positive about TLJ. If that puts you off, then I applaud you for like actually sticking with something you disagree with and listening. Maybe not that dick sucky, but you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Like good yeah, for yeah. you for actually listening to alternative rather than going." Uh... Um, <laughs> well, it's he's improved. Remember back in the day, he'd be like, "If you want to go listen to a four-hour angry man ranting about the film, then go ahead." It's like, well, that, no, no, wait, that, well, that's not what he said. No. Um, oh well, it's I was giving him more credit. Let me give him a little credit. Yeah, okay. I think it was a little worse than that, wasn't it? It was a little bit worse than that, but I'm I'm trying to make him look a little better. Okay, come on. Patrick needs it. He's trying to. Trying to convince us about that was that was what he said in the lead up to this is a, a movie about space wizards for children. Yeah, he it did. Was he, like, um... the, the actual quote is something more on the lines of if people are recommending that I go and check out some angry rant for four hours, which is not something he's going to do, which I'm pretty yeah, sure was me. If, if you're suggesting I go check out some angry four hour rant on YouTube, then let me tell you, this is a movie about space wizards for children. I'm like, okay, thanks, Patrick. And then this video is him like, what happened between me and Star Wars? Like, oh, also, I, I can't. Isn't the same. I can't imagining starting out my Mando video with this. Like, what, there's like, like I, I could like with what he said about you know just go watch shit that you agree with. <laughs> well, that's where that's where the bitter perspective comes in, right? Well, yeah, right. it's like, like I'd be like, guys, I know this is unpopular like, uh... opinion. Stick with me. 
it's okay if you like it, but you know, stick with I me. Think I, I think I can convince you. Just give me a chance. I could see you doing it as like a joke. Like a like a, like a sort of poking the fire sort of thing. Like, you know. Um essentially, I don't know. I don't know. Like you would you would be quite you, you would say it with like a lot of conviction to sort of rail people up, I think, is something you would do. Hmm. That, that is something you do, right? You say stuff with like a lot of conviction. Uh, where I've said things with a lot of conviction, even though it's clearly a joke and people take it seriously and won't get off my dick. Yeah, pe people have done that in the past, yeah. Oh yeah, Rax, you did say I can't imagining. Everyone, everyone's <laughs> fucking ripping into you for it. Well done, idiot. Uh, cringe, bro. That's that's a book look, man. Yeah, that is a book look. <laughs> yeah. Book look, yeah. look. Did I say I cannot imagining? Interesting. Course. to leave a comment on your way out about how I don't know anything about movies <laughs> and have a great day. I mean, I mean, I guess you know what That's they cool. are. But... Get on with it. We all get yeah, told get that. All reviewers get told they don't know a fuck yeah. all about movies. So welcome to the club. Buddy. Uh, actually, uh, actually, you got it wrong. Yeah, <gasps> you, there is dead. always some idiot in your comments who thinks they know better than you. Shut up, Theo. You don't know yeah. anything about movies. <laughs> I don't yeah. know if I trust French fries that are 99 cents. Yeah, it's fair. Oh, <laughs> that fright How many times are we going to do this? Like, I feel like we still haven't started the video. We're far in. Yeah. I like this movie. So much beating around. Why are we do? Shut up. <laughs> For fuck's sake, dude. I don't care. So he, is he talking about the rise of Skywalker now? No, no, or... TLJ. Well, he's talking okay. about. Apparently, right. it starts with TLJ. That's where our story starts, right. and he okay. likes it. Right. It's like that's fine. It's okay. We, it was made legal by John Adams, fucking hundred years ago. <laughs> some shit. You're fine. The Last Jedi was the Star Wars movie I didn't know I wanted until I saw it. It gave me all the stuff I generally want to see in a Star Wars movie. Space battles, lightsaber fights, all my favorite characters, funny droids and aliens. I mean, goddamn puppet Yoda shows up in this thing. Very it's like a 12 year old talking okay. to me. <sighs> and then there was that bit where Iron Man punched the silver Iron Man. And I thought that was that so cool. There it were like two Iron Mans fighting each other. That was so cool. They just I'm, need sure, old... I'm sure we'll get into deeper stuff. Let's, yeah. let's give him the chance to do yeah. that. Yeah, so... It's been. <laughs> Thing. It didn't noise. just recycle the greatest hits of the original What's he trilogy. Eating? I want to judge him. It had a new perspective on what Star Wars could be and what just recycled the. I'm getting some weird tism with the video. What's yeah, eating? I need a to hot roll dog. it back. To like... It's a hot dog. He took one bite and all that distance. I'm. I'm just gonna oh, find out with cold. his jacket. His shirt just says "Directed by John." No, it's in John. Oh yeah, it <laughs> is. By John. <laughs> I like no, no, he's the he's Tell the brother of that one himself, Huckleberry huh? Finn character. John, no, John is uh, the host John of who was on Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, I, I guess he's. They give me all the stuff I generally want to see in a Star Wars movie: space battles, lightsaber fights, all my favorite characters, funny droids and aliens. I mean, goddamn puppet Yoda shows up in this thing. But it didn't just recycle the greatest hits of the original trilogy. It had a new perspective on what Star Wars could be and what it could do. It felt. It could do exactly the opposite of what it did before. <laughs> what it could be and what it could do. Okay. Yeah, it's it certainly did uh, that. Yeah. Have okay. But have you considered, like, what if the thing you weren't expecting, though? Yeah, it was have shit. You, you didn't expect yeah, it to be shit, so it must be good. Have you guys considered, yeah, but what if nothing? Oh. Yeah. What if, what if it was nothing? Wow. aesthetically like a part of the series while bringing in new filmmaking influences. The end of this movie left us with Star Wars in a place it had never been before. You're, well... <laughs> I, I, I agree. Mean... <laughs> yeah, you're right. Like, I mean, every, movie, every movie has done that. That's a really, like... Unless he's gonna qualify depressing? that. Uh, depressing dead end. Like, yeah. yeah. Even the at the Revenge of the Sith, after you watch all the Jedi get fucking slaughtered and the temp and the Empire take over the galaxy, you're like, this is still less depressing than the end of the Last Jedi. <laughs> you know what? You know what? You know what it goes into, though. True. It leads to the wonderful OT where Emperor Tism Teen gets thrown down a hole. Not we barely though. got to see Yaddle. True. Ed and in his place, a conflicted, complex character moving into the role. No. <laughs> yeah, most people describe yes. him as complex because they don't know what else to say about Kylo. <laughs> he's, 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 he's complex. He's, well, you, you ask people to follow that up with something. Yeah. They say, oh, he's so complex. And you're like, oh, go on.
He makes unpredictable decisions. That means he's complex. <laughs> he often yes. goes against what we understand to be his goals. He is complex. You know that you know that joke in The Simpsons, where you know you know the one I'm referencing, it, where no, no, no. Um, the bullies uh, the school bullies are scared of Bart, and then like later in the episode they start beating him up, beating him up, and they like I was like like Jimbo says, weren't we afraid of him like a day ago? And one of the other ones just says, we're complex, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the way to, that's the way to say it. Central antagonist, with the primary hero moving beyond the old-fashioned ways of the Jedi and the... The old-fashioned uh, ways, they were good so for, like, thousands of years, and she's just amazing now. Whoa, so I don't know if it's statement you can sum it up like that. So give, me, give me some examples. Yeah, please. moving past oh, the ways of the Jedi, what even... Like, in honest really? good faith, I'm not even sure what he's referring to, like, the fact that... Like what is she? What is he talking about? She moved past the ways of the like, Jedi. The movie play pays lip service to the idea that hey, maybe pressing your emotions is bad, and then it's like that doesn't inform any of the decisions of the characters for the for the rest of the story, right? That's just sort of like, hey, this was bad. Uh, I mean, it form it informs Luke's decision of why he's there, but like, it's not something that's really examined. It's just, it's it's the you know, it's hot take. The Jedi were bad. Well, yeah, I always felt like it was garbage in NTLJ that the the assessment of events of the prequels and the Jedi's involvement in them was so one sided. It's fucking hilarious. Like the 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 idea the Jedi created Darth Vader, you know, it's like fuck off. Like, what? what how could you sum it up like that? That's uh. It was a Sith who created Darth Vader. Nope, it was the Jedi well, that trained him. It, like, if you think about it, Hitler was also the guy who. Well. Maybe it was the Jedi because they completely ignored Anakin when he was, you know. No, nah, it was definitely part of the big the, problems. The problem is that, well, and Ray tries in the script to be like, Luke, what you're saying is fucking nonsense when she's like, uh, a Jedi is who trained Darth Vader. And she's like, a Jedi also defeated him or, or brought him back. And Luke's like, hmm. <laughs> it's like, what? That's cringe, Ray. Ray, uh, I disagree. <laughs> Uh, I'm I'm the authority on this subject. I've read all the books. Agree to disagree. Right, bro. The binary light side dark side concept with the democratization of the force and the idea. Well, yeah, no, the, the EU had that shit. We all just scrubbed it. What does it mean to have the force be democratized? Yes, uh, it's a democracy now. Oh, oh no. 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 Uh, the, we vote on who has the force. <laughs> democratize. Uh, to make something accessible to everyone, which is something we knew from the fucking beginning. I was gonna say, it, yeah. I, I assume it wouldn't mean that because that's we already had that. I don't know, so it's a weird one. Like that's and that's the, the misconception. It's like it's not new. It's just um, people confuse the idea that now it doesn't take any effort. Now it, it's open to anyone. Yeah, which yeah, wasn't exactly. cool with the fans. It's like, whoa, you can't just have Jedi flying around all over the place doing all kinds of crazy things. You're supposed to you're supposed to be more special than that. But okay. And. Democracy. W wasn't, he, wasn't he saying earlier before the democratization part that it's like the light side, dark side? Was he saying that? Is he talking Did about how it right? breaks away from the binary of the light side and dark side? Which Which actually, I, it's something I'm okay with, but like it doesn't really does, does it? it. Well, does it, that does stuff it, existed it, in the yeah. Star Wars universe before Disney decanonized all that. No, and the problem is the dark side, light side thing still happens at the end of the movie. The democratization of Jedi powers isn't because of the 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 split the the, the go going away quote unquote of the light side dark side in fact at the end of the movie there is a clear light side and dark side still yeah and uh, that's actually a lot of people's he, problem with it was the the most yeah. interesting thing was Ray and Kylo possibly teaming up and making this binary a little more blurry but it was just like nah lol yeah and then that didn't happen at all yeah that didn't happen <laughs> And the and the it's thing like they, he's they, like they teased oh. that they might do something and then didn't yeah. and then confirm no actually no no not at all. And the thing he's so You're proud of instead of, of what you expected. Sorry, yeah, and okay. the democ the democratization Sorry, thing it's it's like the default. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. And the, the yeah, and like what everyone said, the democratization of the Jedi powers is already the default part in. No, nope, you had to have Lord. special blood, yeah. apparently. That's how it worked. <laughs> Even though everyone yeah. criticizes the Jedi for not being able to level have children, it comes from a special bloodline. That makes total sense. Yeah. yeah. Anyone can special, not just those descended from certain bloodlines. Hey. Star Wars. Oh, you said the thing that's wrong. Trilogy. 
Well, no, the TLJ introduced that. It's really cool that it introduced that. It's so well, cool. Patrick, it's almost like people aren't just mad that you like a film, but are like annoyed that you defend it by saying shit that isn't true. Why are we doing nah, this? Nah, it can't be that. No. The video of all... what do we want from a Star Wars movie? Why are we doing this? <laughs> no, no, I was gonna say, no, was... Why are we fucking eating hot dogs on the street and you're wasting our time? What he wants from a Star Wars movie is The Last Jedi. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say, uh, let, he's doing his he's doing his preamble. He's got to understand. You gotta understand. TLJ is good, and then we will be able to understand the rest. Yeah. Sponsored time. It's here's it. Here's, hi, hi guys. It's Patrick Willems. It's four a.m. Time for your time for another why TLJ is good video. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait for the day where you understand it. You're like, okay. I think, man, I was so into it. I. Okay. Okay then. Okay. Good, How long has he been wearing you. that shirt? Like for film purposes. Oh, stock footage of a that city. Fucking amazing. For about five months, and then suddenly, there was another stock. Whoa, what is on the frame? Is this camera supposed to be dirty? Is my micro is my my, my screen dirty? <laughs> yeah. Wait, let's. I'm, I'm tapped out. Let me look. Look oh. at the, there's oh. little there's little gloops. Oh no, that's just a that's such a big fishy in the sea. No, it's this. Is he even a different? He didn't. Oh dude. my god. Whale. Is he using a different camera too? So sorry, guys. Patrick. The frame. Do you know the framing device of this film? It reminds me of of this short essay thing that Patrick Williams is doing. It reminds me of How I Met Your Mother and flashback movies where he's talking about the breakup of her relationship. It feels like that. Doesn't doesn't it? Or that could it be what he's going for. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, documentary vibes. Like he's trying to ape the old documentary. Yeah, but documentaries have information. Yeah, they do, which is kind of the key distinction. No, no, but some of them are, some of them are kind of meaningful to what they're trying to say. Like, there's, uh, Rex, there's, like, there's documentaries about the flat Earth. Come on. That was, those are funny, though. I, yeah. I, I, mean, I mean, real documentaries. Because the Earth is flat. What the fuck, Jay? <laughs> like, if we get shots of. The Look person, at this shot. The world is flat. You can tell. Like, going somewhere, not just wandering around. Where are we, Patrick? <laughs> Star Wars. <laughs> so soon? Yeah. It seemed weird. Solo, a Star Wars story, is less a He's, Star Wars yeah, story his camera's just and dirty. more a series of Star Wars answers to Star Wars questions that no one was really asking. Over what? the course of two hours oh, and guess, 15 yeah, minutes, right there, the movie really. lets us know yeah, how Han Solo got his last name. Yeah, I, I can agree with this, yeah. Yeah. How yeah. he met Chewbacca, how he met Lando, how he got the Millennium Falcon, how the Millennium Falcon got that little gap missing at the front, and what the Kessel Run is. I think the movie itself is fine. It looks no, great. There's some. See, like, you, like oh, the nice. movie. Like, it totally, looks great. It was super dark. I totally believe. Yeah, like, most people hate how it looked. I totally, I totally believe. Like, the thing is that you've already got all those details established in Star Wars. So, if you made a good story that effectively utilizes like the Castle Run and the fucking Millennium Falcon's gap, <laughs> then what you've done is you've utilized pre-established things to. Uh, enhance your story, but unfortunately, yeah. that's not what they did. They treated it like a tour around. Yeah. Like, hey, look, and here's the next thing you recognize. I I was surprised that anybody didn't like in production be like, you know, the the Han Solo naming thing. That's really cringe, dude. Let's not do that. No, yeah, so I don't think they know not... the word cringe in Disney. Oh, oh, that's not allowed. That's that's an illegal word. <laughs> your social word. credit Disney score will be deducted. No. When you... Like negative thoughts, yeah. There's some negative fun thoughts. stuff in it. I can't hate yeah. any movie with a train heist, but if you're only going to make okay. one Star Wars okay. movie right. every year or so, why is this the one you choose to make? This story Thank could you, have been man. told as a novel or a comic book miniseries, or honestly... No, they don't like that stuff. They don't even... They, Reading? They yeah. until they make your... <laughs> is there anything wrong with making it a film? Yeah, um, maybe no, he, yeah, is he yeah, suggesting yeah. It, it, it took a space where something more interesting could have been? Is that what he's saying? Yeah, I think no. it is. Yeah, and I agree with that take. Good um, one, Patrick. Yeah. I mean, oh, wow. I agree, but like, I don't think it's hard to understand why they did it. They're like, oh, everyone loves Han Solo. This will be a pure yeah. win. And it's like, mm. yeah, money. Well, yeah, but like, is he saying that he doesn't understand why they did it, or is he saying that they shouldn't have done it? Because those are very different stances. I, didn't he just and ask why? One of them is. Well, I can go. Can you skip back? I can't do that, and I will. One Star hard Wars movie every year or so. Why is this the one you choose to make? This story could have been told as a novel okay, or a so comic I, book mini. Yeah. Um, 
I guess the good faith interpretation is still that he's using it as a rhetorical advice to be like, okay, well, maybe, why have, like, of all the good stories you could tell, you choose this one, why? Come on, like, maybe, I would I assume that, that is what he's meaning here. Well, yeah, but uh, maybe he would respond to the money argument as like, come on, any of them would have made money, or something like that. Yeah, Except this one. Know. Well, that's the funny <laughs> thing, is that the safe money-making one didn't manage mm. to get the money it was supposed to, so. Series or just an article on Wikipedia, but Oof. by making it a movie, the message it sends is that Star Wars is more interested in its past than its future. That it would rather I, fill in little gaps in. I mean, it's a prequel. Yeah, I I don't think that. Yeah, I wouldn't I, say that George Lucas is more interested in Star Wars past than its future because he made the prequels. Like, I'm like, fine with the ideas of prequels and what they do. This one just seemed super unnecessary. I've got to say, I'm on, I'm on Team Patrick here. Like, uh. I feel like what he's saying makes a lot of sense. It's like it's going through being like, hey, remember the thing? Here's how it happened. It's like the prequels themselves, despite their flaws, are interested in telling their own story. Like yeah. they would, uh, whereas Solo is just a tour around things you recognize. Like you there, know, are, there are things well, that are, they, they right. do stuff in Solo that's beyond just filling in mm -hmm. origins and gaps. If you list them, there's like seven or whatever, but that doesn't cover even like 10% of the film. Do you remember the scene where they do an origin for his gun Han calling not his gun for Chewbacca? That's long. <laughs> I can't call you all of that. You're going to need some kind of nickname. Hmm. Yeah. What do I call you? you? That's Thank what I mean. Like filling in that gap, I could never have seen how that might happen organically. So, if I'd attribute anything wrong with this film to high concept. Like, I think you can do some story from Han Solo's past. I think that's fine. It's just they, the film's bad. Yeah, I would say the plot yeah. line is filled with problems. But like, it's yeah, but like, it, it is sort of obsessed with going over, like, hey, remember this? Well, they have, like, you know, I, I don't want to be in the position where I'm defending Han Solo, but they have, like, a, a Star Wars well, mafia. They have the train right now, defending Solo or defending Patrick Willems. I'm, yeah, I'm <laughs> defending Pat Patrick Solo from Willems and you. <laughs> Words. So, uh, what, what I'm suggesting is that the film was trying to do some new shit, uh, despite being a prequel. We can meme on it forever about all the stupid decisions it made to fill in past plots, but we can't pretend that that's the only thing in the film. There's plenty of other things. We go to plenty new places. Yeah, sure. We meet new people. We got a brand new character in Han Solo's history that she's tied in with. And you could be like, it's tied in with Darth Maul. See, they're obsessed with the past. It's like, I mean, storyline-wise, in canon, he's alive at this point, and this is the story they've got for him. So I don't know that that counts as doing obsessing over the old rather than telling something that we haven't seen yet. Like, I, I don't know how we categorize that exactly. Because uh, right. I agree the superficial, like, you're Han Solo, that's your name now. Oh, that's how he got the name. Oh, God. Versus, what's Darth Maul up to then? What's he doing? Like, he's got a whole organization, he's planning on stealing stuff from people, and I don't know. Like, I think it's all cringe, but uh, I just don't know that it's like, oh, you're obsessed with the past. Like, this is a prequel, of course there's going to be past shit in it. <laughs> but, like, it is fucking obsessed with going through and, like, touring. Like, that, that's such a motive, it's like, such a blatant motivation. Is it, are they focusing on nostalgia because of the reaction that the old fans got to the previous movie, which was The Last Jedi? I think this movie was almost done by the time TLJ came out, right. so. Oh, okay, it's it's okay. more TFA-like kind of stuff. It's like, hey, okay. look at this. It, it is, it's just a parade. I mean, I agree, because um, the sequel trilogy is a lot of like, remember the OT while we stab it in the back? It's just like, okay, it's a very conflicted interest, but... uh. Yeah, I think they would have considered this safe, but there's still stuff in there that goes beyond "Hey, remember Star Wars." Yeah, there is. I like a giant with that. Cthulhu space monster. I'm not gonna say that uh, that was a good choice, though. It was a weird choice. I, I think it could have made the pre. You know, like whatever. I think I agree that you could make a good story out of this. It's just that the way they told it was pretty bad. Like, yeah, but Darth Maul turned on his double lightsaber and it, it was, was so cool. cool. Yeah, even though it was the force projection, right? He turned on the double lightsaber <laughs> that intimidated the high music. Music. Hey, I'm gonna use this on you when we meet up in future if you don't do what I say, okay? Maybe, it's maybe like, he'll use it 
force lightning on her even though he's a projection because they could do that now. <laughs> he can do it's, that, yeah. it's weird. It's like if I was calling someone to try and intimidate them and I just randomly cocked my gun to try and oh, like really the intimidate them. <laughs> like, oh shit, this guy oh, is really oh. means business. This what guy's is fucking from? serious. Right. Have you just been holding a gun this entire yeah, time? Of course. Oh no no yeah. no no no. It it I always keep it next to me. I, I just, oh, I've got two next to me. In but case this of one's internet just Nazis. This Only one's just two? more handy. Um, I mean, I picked it up like a couple seconds before I spoke. Because he knew what he was going to say. I, see? Yeah, I, plan, I planned ahead. That's good writing. I'm, I'm practicing yeah, that's, that's safe trigger writing, discipline right. and all that good stuff. You know? Some people call that a plot hole. I think that's perfectly set up. We already knew he had yeah. guns. You know, um, that's true, yeah. It's consistent with his character. I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I approve. The problem now is that since it was loaded, now I have to take the magazine out and I have to put the crown back into the magazine and then I have to rip. But you know, it was all worth it. It's all in service of a point, which mm -hmm. is fine. Hey, Ray, um, shoot your monitor. No, do, it. do it. Shoot your monitor. No, no, screenshot the, or the bullets no, will come no. out of the screen. No, it's expensive and it's illegal to discharge a firearm within city limits. But do it anyway. Boogie. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh no. Wait, oh, is, no. it, is it actually within city limits? Like, you can't have a shooting range with. No, so if you have it, you can have a shooting range within city limits, but those are like special places. You can't All like right. go out and just shoot within yeah, city limits. Like, uh, uh, having a, like, uh, this gun store I normally go to, Arkansas Armory, they have, uh, they have an indoor shooting range there, but that's like its special thing. And you probably have to get like permits and they have to check it and make sure it's safe and all that stuff. But, uh, yeah, you can't go plinking out in your backyard. That, that's that's a good defense. sensible law. I approve. That is a good sensible law. Yeah, well done, okay. I'd say it's a sensible what? good law. There, there's a lot. There's a lot of rules involving guns. Why? Rags, how about <laughs> why? Rags, <laughs> why? I have a question. Rags, Rags, I have a question. What if it's to for self defense? And yeah, it, if if limits. you're if you're using it for a legitimate self defense purpose, you could yeah yeah you you could discharge it within city limits, and that's. You know, if, it's, if it's a justified defense situation, then yeah, you're you're all good. They're not going to be like, yeah, but it was in the city, so gonna have to write you up. Um, Thank goodness you're still alive, so you can pay this fine. <laughs> you know, it's not like that. About would it whole... be a, would it be a fine if you uh, if you just just charge your gun right now? Yeah. So I'd probably get in trouble with um, the people who own the building because mm -hmm. I rent. Um, I would get in trouble with the police because I discharged a firearm. In a residential area, um, obviously there'd be a safety concern if it went out the window and kept going and hit something or damaged someone else's property or hit somebody else or something like that. Um, and that would make it, yeah. Then, then that would be bad. Uh, I don't know exactly what would happen in terms of would I still be able to own guns? Would I get, you know, da da da? It depends. But for something like that, like if I just shot a bullet out my window, then yeah, then I they probably wouldn't be able to own guns anymore. I was gonna say about the whole lightning through uh, the the hologram. Um, we know that you can use the force through it, like Vader does it. Yeah. And, and I was curious if Darth Vader was to be strangling someone, and then someone on the other end switches the hologram off, does it stop? <laughs> it's like <laughs> you, uh -huh. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> Good work. If you had the remote controller in your hand whenever he's about to do it, and you're like, yeah, ah, uh -huh. ah, uh -huh. don't do it. It's, uh, it's the best protection. Backstory, then move forward. I'm honestly kind of relieved it wasn't a hit, because it saved us from getting a whole wave of prequel movies about young Yoda and young Tarkin and young Dexter Jetster. I mean, hey, but those things could be really good. Yeah, they yeah. could be yeah. good. Also, remember you—you you said you liked Solo. He—you seem to say some pretty nice things about it. I thought you did, yeah. Um, I. Like it being something from the past doesn't alter like the idea that if Star Wars were a full real thing, I'm sure Yoda's history is probably pretty fucking interesting. Same for Tarkin. He's 900 years old. Yeah, a lot it's of just shit probably happened. Dependent on the people telling the story to make yeah. it fucking I interesting. I want to see how Yoda and Yaddle met. Exactly. I want. I guess. And that uh, in chat, how many guns do I have? I have about 20. Um, I already have an 1911, so that's all set. I want to see Jar Jar getting exiled for being clumsy. We need that story. Oh yeah, I do too. I would honestly, what, the, what did you do? What did you do that was so clumsy you got exiled from a city? Well, it's like, if, uh, has anyone here seen Misfits? I know Mola. Has. No. It's where um, there's a there's a guy who tells a story in that where he um, community service. 
stealing some pick and mix. Which do you do you have pick and mix? Do you know what that is? No. Mm. So that's like um just like at a store. A uh, buffet like, of sweets and you have a limit yeah, on weight. Yeah. And you, okay. you get charged by weight. You like you scoop them into a little bag, you get charged by and he's okay. like calm now. He's on he's doing community service uh, as a young offender. And like the story he tells is always, Oh yeah, I got caught for just like eating some pick and mix out of the out of the tub. I was like everyone's like, Oh, that's bullshit. You wouldn't get a you wouldn't get you wouldn't get a community service just for doing that. And then like you you see the actual thing happen in like a prequel episode where he get he eats some pick and mix and then he manages to escalate the situation where he gets called out for it to a point where he stabs the guy who calls out for it in the hat. <laughs> um and you're like, Oh yeah, that makes I think I imagine Jar Jar, where he like he knocks over a vase or something and some guy's like Hey, uh, could you pay for that face? And Jar Jar uh, throttles him to death. That's what I want to think happened. It would add a new dimension to that. Would to be Jar a new character. dimension. I agree. It would make him complex. That is so true. Kylo. I mean, we've talked about it a lot. I think Disney Star Wars should give J and I a million dollar budget, and we can make a Jar Jar prequel movie. It would be genuinely better than half the shit you've made. Actually, Garrett. I'm cool with it being a Jar Jar sequel movie. Like, we'll put him into the sequel universe, and we'll just follow him around. He's gonna be—it's gonna be really good. Trust yeah. me. Um, well, like, I'm pretty sure, like, um, like a goal. If you were writing the sequel trilogy, a goal would be to build, bring back Jar Jar, and have the audience like think it's funny instead of like go, "What the fuck are you doing?" Pretty sure the audience, at least the EFAP audience, are more endeared to Jar Jar than they are any character from the sequel trilogy. So. They would be relatively yeah. happy to see him. No, Jar Jar's just like, obnoxious. He's not going destroy like, anything. I feel like I'm endeared to more the, to Poe than to Jar Jar. Poe? Meh. Poe? Mm. Poe. Oh, Poe is meh. Poe is pretty meh. Yeah, but like, Jar Jar is negative. When it's I, being negative. I mean, I like, know, man, yeah. In the world of the sequels, it, I don't know. I would, like, just, I would be, it would put a smile on my face to literally see him. Yeah. Yeah, I'd like to if see I him. If I see Poe, I'm like, hmm. And like, you know how like proud the actor is of his character, of his work during Jar Jar? Um, like how, he got, how disappointed he got when uh, people didn't like the character. He Aww. put so much effort to it. I, 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 I wonder if his chance. Hmm? I just feel, I, I'm shocked he thought people would like it. <laughs> yeah, I think he was as well. Um, Right, I don't revel in his misery, but I'm I'm shocked that he thought people would like it. Yeah, I mean, you just you see his um, you see him talk like interview about it. Oh, yeah, I really liked it. What he was he but he, what what if he did it all in Jar Jar's voice? He's really trying to <laughs> nail the the complex character that Jar Jar was. He was staying in He's character. Like the whole interview in Jar Jar's yeah. voice. Right. Mr. No, understand why I said they didn't like some my character. Well, there's a part in that interview where he talked about his attempted suicide. Yeah. <laughs> that in Jar Jar's right. voice would be something interesting. I don't think the world is ready for that kind of juxtaposition. But nobody gonna be upset when I kiss them myself. But yeah, I, he seems like a really nice dude. Yeah, I'm sure he's probably a nice guy. Yeah. Yeah, it just sucks that. I want to give him his. I want to give him his uh, his his chance in this. Ball. Jar Jar Redemption arc. Make Jar Jar a grizzled oh, Jar Jar veteran. Bring the voice down some pitching and and make him like actually act in favor of some good decisions. And we got it. You can actually, do interesting yeah. stuff with like Jar Jar's character. Seeing him like blame himself for his part in the rise of the Empire. Like come oh, yeah. to terms with that. You could have an interesting story. Fight me. But can you pull that off with his voice though? You could, yeah. It depends on what words he's saying. That's the thing. Like, it's because the whole thing about it's not just his accent that's goofy. It's what he's saying that's goofy. Okay. If he, you would think that his time in the Senate, being in that super cosmopolitan, uh, po uh, political kind of environment, would teach him how to speak like a non imbecile. So right. after years of that, when he talks like a reasonable, intelligent person. Then, but he still has the accent. I'd be totally fine with it if he was saying stuff that's really 
Like, why? Because Yoda did the same thing. Yoda yeah. talks in a weird, silly way, but what he says stuff, it's serious and it's meaningful. Oh, okay. He's still going to say, like, Misa thinks. I'm fine with that. I'm fine. If he if if that's followed up by, you know, Misa thinks and then something that's insightful or interesting that informs his character in some in, in some neat way, I'd be fine with it starting with Misa thinks. It's like because people people like I feel um, un, like underestimate what you can do with like something goofy. Like Wally is pretty goofy, but like you've got great payoffs in that. Like um, the, Wally is entirely composed. Of <laughs> robots that say their own name and people who are like too obese to stand up. That's that sounds like it should be goofy as fuck, but like there's real emotional beats in that film. I'm glad you all agree. <laughs> How fucking big are the mosquitoes around there? <laughs> they, they just keep getting in. I'm gonna need a like, have you got a spare Jesus. shotgun? You're gonna you're gonna need a shotgun to take out those things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the timing of that with Jay finishing his sentence. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, like he's away. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks everyone for listening. He hops on his motorbike. Oh boy. We could have gotten a movie like, of sexy is, chief. Unironically, like if um. If we wrote that, um, I feel like we could genuinely make something that's better than any Disney Star Wars film. Look how vain Jay is. No, no, I'm not saying that it would be like really good. I'm saying the of a low standard, mm -hmm. and I would put effort into my thing. Like I, like you could reach um, the a standard above the Disney Star Wars films by having standards and putting in effort. Yeah, I mean, that's the overall meme here, is that with just Jar Jar, I feel we could do better than what they gave us in the sequel trilogy. It's like, the less experience you have, the more time and effort you have to spend on it, the more revisions you probably have to do. Like, I, if, I, I would probably... If I was writing my first script, I probably wouldn't feel comfortable like doing fewer than like 10 revisions and going over it again. Would you call, again the, movie, or... would you call the movie Jar Jar? Jar Jar, a Star Wars story. Or Binks, I think, I don't know. Maybe just jaw. Um, <laughs> Bing uh, sounds see. like a slur. Uh, how about Jar Jar's got a gun gun? One man, two jars. <laughs> I don't know. What's the name of the planet that they were on? Like Naboo? Naboo? Sons of Naboo. A Sons Jar Jar Naboo. story. Yeah, like the scattered remnants of the, the species of Jar Jar in, in the galaxy. Something like that. And they're <laughs> all blaming was. him. Me Jar Wars. Unite. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a series of movies where he's like in wars. That's sick, he's like the Shaka Zulu of his people, and through Zulu. bloody conquest, he, he unites all the tribes and creates a mighty Gungan Empire. <laughs> Citizen, yeah. Citizen yeah. Binks, I think, a is a good one. A parody that's based on the sequel trilogies, where like Jar Jar, is, like it reveals that for like all of the sequel trilogies, Jar Jar was screen. Like, uh, causing the events to happen in the sequels. Oh, dude, yeah, we would write the shit out of that. It would take ages, but I'd love it. I'd love to find reasonable ways for, to put him in all of it. <laughs> Turns out Palpatine was the real puppet. Mm -hmm. It makes it was all Jar Jar. Everything make more sense with Jar Jar's inclusion. He's a complex character. <laughs> top, top Gun Gun. <laughs> top Gun Gun. I like it. <laughs> Jar yeah. Jargon of a cod. Jargon of a cod. <laughs> the Gungalorian. I fucking like it. I fucking That's... like it. Jar Jar Unchained. I like it. Star Jar Wars Wick. Episode 10. Jar, 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 Jar commits a war cry. Star Wars, Wars. Wars. <laughs> The Gungan story. Gungan Lagan. 12 angry Gungans. <laughs> uh, Misa died before. It looks like Jar Jar. Mm. Dances with Gungans. <laughs> the Gungan with the dragon dead. Yeah, Citizen Binks. That's, that's high up there. <laughs> the Lion, the Witch, and the Jar Jar. <laughs> <sighs> the Gun uh, and Jar Knight. Gun Gone with the Wind. <laughs> 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 the Good, the Bad, and the Gungan. <laughs> uh, he's pretty good. 
means are pretty good. Help it's just roaming around. It's just roaming around. It's like never seen a gun gun on the horse before. <laughs> A hit because it saved us from getting a whole wave of people <laughs> movies about Misa, Misa thinking of ending things. <laughs> <laughs> now that would be a 10 out of 10. That's fucking good. Jostle. Charge your ass. Jark. Jarassic. Jarrack. Jarrack. is. <laughs> Too uh, easy. <laughs> it's too good. Jaws. Nightmare on Bink Street. <laughs> <laughs> oh, some of these are good. The Gungans of Navarone. Fucking good. Very good. The Messiah. Messiah. <laughs> <laughs> Jar, but not for Gungan. <laughs> <laughs> Gun. Big trouble in Little Jar Jar. <laughs> Misa, myself, and Irene. <laughs> oh. 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 That's pretty good. How Misa met your mother. <laughs> <laughs> My jaw actually hurts from smiling currently. <laughs> it is mine too. Good data. Uh, <laughs> uh, Captain Jarvel. <laughs> hmm. Young Yoda, young Tarkin, and young Dexter Jetster. I mean, hey, we could have gotten a movie about sexy Chief Palpatine having kids. <sighs> we'll get back to that. All right, why? I don't want to. Ooh. Oh, when I hear Star people Wars say fun. The Mandalorian is the best thing to come out of the Disney era of Star Wars and shows yeah. why Jon Favreau should be put in charge of this franchise, I am just no. baffled. Like, totally... Yeah, me too, man. I'm not ba I'm not baffled. I totally understand I why people have that wrong thing. opinion. <laughs> okay, <laughs> actually, yeah, I agree with that. It could be one of the best things to come out of Disney Star Wars. I um, mean, I guess relatively? But hmm. no... So the, the, the full, it's better full than roster the is the five. And Rise of Skywalker and The Force Awakens. Yeah, five movies and The Mandalorian. Is that our that's our pick? Oh, I think Rogue One is probably better than The Mandalorian. I've not seen The Mandalorian. Yeah, I need probably. To see Rogue One again. Yeah. I'm guessing. I'll tentatively say that it is. Yeah. Because the like Rogue One would have to be terrible to be worse than The Mandalorian. Rogue One like holds up in a lot of ways. Well, careful. It, that's a hot take. Cause, cause Mando's like three out of ten, like it's really bad. Um, but I would still say Rogue One's probably better. Like I said, I just don't remember enough of it. We need to watch it again. Yeah, but uh, yeah. Mm. Profound used. Well, okay, I'm not really that confused because I think I understand. I just disagree. The Mandalorian is the kind of Star Wars story we always said we wanted to see. About a bounty hunter kicking ass through the galaxy, meeting alien scumbags, exploring new planets in a time we haven't seen before. But, at least for me, it turned out to be a lot less exciting than I imagined. This all gets back to- It just- this thing- Mandalorian doesn't shit all over Star Wars. That's why yeah. people really like it, and, and a huge deal of it is that. It's that, whether it's subconscious or they're fully aware of it, Mando doesn't distri- wow. Mando doesn't destroy <laughs> characters. Mando doesn't ruin anything, really. Um, Mando's relatively self-contained, tracking fobs aside. Yeah. So you can easily just look at Mando and be like, oh, wait, these, even though the individual stories are really poorly written and the characters are shit, and there's a lot of plot problems, um, and the narrative is confusing, there, it, it's, and it's inoffensively bad. It's not shitting on Luke. It's not destroying beloved characters or force. messing with the universe the or the force. Space. That's why it seems so good, and I think why it's so beloved. Oh yeah, you got to listen to all of this. Thinking the thing that he, the reason that he thinks that Mando is the best thing to come out of Disney Star Wars is a bad take. Is he's thinking, well, like, okay, it's good, but like clearly TLJ is better. <laughs> of course, yeah, that, I, that would be his yeah. issue. But that's uh, the vibe I'm getting. At the same time, he says it's just not that exciting. Is his issue? Which is like, all right. Is that is that a 
I think this is just an extension of him defending the last Jedi. That's just me. I think I think I agree with Jay. Here. Imagine my shock. If if, yeah. the, if the take was it's the second best thing behind TLJ is the best Star Wars content, he'd probably be like, yeah, that's true. Um, for Disney's era, uh, anyway. I don't know where I don't know so, what he rates like Solo and TF uh, and TFA and Rogue One. Someone said, Rags, what about the introduction of force healing? So I just said Mando was a three out of ten. So that, yeah. you, you said it was like self-contained and didn't damage the other like the other parts of Star Wars yeah, most. Not and, as much. I, I mean, mean there in terms of release, it actually introduced force healing before Rise of Skywalker did too. So Yeah. They set that up to sort of, I think, soften the blow. Mm -hmm. Um, the way that they time that all out. But yeah, it's definitely a problem. But it's not, it, it is, it, it does cause issues with the world. Like, I have a whole section on how tracking fobs basically ruin every episode of Star Wars. Um, um, uh, someone just switched out, it would be relevant. How is, how is Mando a three? If TLJ is a three, when Mando is definitely better. Oh, um, so, it's so there, we have ten, right? We have a, a, you can't be a zero, because that wouldn't qualify as a movie to be, you have to be at least something. So you have one to ten, theoretical ten. Right. No, there are so thousands you have... upon thousands of films, yes. hundreds of thousands. So to fit them all in, we're looking at high threes and low threes are all going to be called yeah. three. Yeah, it's not exact. They're not like all threes aren't exactly identical, uh, but they're still threes. Like Mando isn't good enough to be bumped up to the what I consider the forest rank. Because remember, we only have ten little pips on this scale of ours that we're mm -hmm. using. That whole out of ten thing is is very non-exact. Right. Um, it's just so that if we're using in the this... simplest way, whereabouts we place it. Yeah, like if we we're if we're turning this into an out of one hundred, you know, you'd have TLJ, which could be you know like a twenty nine, and you could have Mando, which is a thirty four, right? Yeah. And they'd both be three out of ten. I would caution uh, Mando really is like we went through all of it. Structurally, it's a disaster, but it's just not as offensively bad. It doesn't piss you off as much. I would argue. Uh, a lot of a three is really low rags, really low. Be careful. Like, no, it's a three. Yeah, we're, we're pretty it's, confident. It's, it's <laughs> full of issues. Yeah, absolutely. It's not an episode I, that I, isn't I, riddled with problems. It's only we're trying to be fair. Like that's that's just yeah. what the rating is. And again, people like it should be that TLJ is a two. It's like guys, two. We're, we're looking at Batwoman, where basically nothing is fucking functioning anymore, but the reality of the world is still intact. And then one is where that gets broken too. Yeah, that's a Crisis on Infinite Earth, where you pretty much just have the definition of a story, essentially, is all that's intact, but it's otherwise nonsensical. And yeah, of course, so people are asking, like, so high three, is it 3.5 plus? Would it be the four then? It's like, no, so high three would be I mean, 3.4, low three is 2.6. They're both bad, okay? <laughs> <laughs> that's the point we're trying to make here. So yeah, said, I, I don't can... know if this is a very objective scoring system. I know. It's just a stand-in. It's, it's a something out of 10. It's a stand-in system. It's not supposed to be yeah. some kind of like... It, it's, it's a quick way of us explaining in a, in a very simplistic way, just, just quickly, kind of, just a, what, what do we think of something? Well, so the only way to give an objective like rating out of 10 is if you... You can't... Is if you, is if we the only the only way to give like an objective rating out of ten would be if you very clearly define standards and how something meets those standards. You can't just be like, "This is objectively a four out of ten. What well, are your standards?" That's well, how then good every it time. Is. Well, it would be every time someone asked, we'd have to go through every single individual problem with it, and that's just not that you can't do that. So yes, we, we just simplify it by well, I mean, it's logically possible, but it's not realistically going to happen. Why? Because I got weak. shit to do. Yeah, we're already the longest people on the internet, right? So <laughs> seems like you're just a lazy person, Rex. <gasps> yeah. Look at my math stuff. Uh, no, a, a twenty-nine would be a three out of ten because it's way closer to the three. It's closer mm -hmm. to well, the thirty. It depends three. if you're rounding or like we're not in this. Well, no, you just what you're. And if we is went rounding. around, then it would just then you just move the fucking decimal point over. But generally, when people do out of ten, it doesn't matter. This is all pointless. This is how this this is dumb. I'm not going to entertain this conversation any further. To what we want from Star Wars. <laughs> Chill out. Hang on. So yeah, the simpler the simplest version is just yeah. There are threes that don't mean the they're of equal quality. That's all we wanted to say, or at least not from our perception. If something hits a three, and something else hits a three, it doesn't mean they're exactly the same. Um, though I would caution that 
the vitriol for TLJ is probably generated by not just its failures of writing, but also the kind of failures. They're very annoying. Makes you angry. Because uh, Batwoman makes <coughs> us very happy, and yet it rates lower than a lot of things that we find fucking god-awful. It's like, yeah, because that's how bad it is. Um, and like I said, it's just a, just a stand-in, just a, a quick guide where, where the thing slots in the spectrum, and uh, it's usually based on just how many and how significant problems we find with it. Because um, someone was saying, like, surely TLJ's reality doesn't uh, work, so that would be a one. It's like, we're talking literally in, in infinitisms, they they stop the concept of time and space. Like, TLJ's not going that far. It's dumb. Yeah, to make but... this theory work, we're going to have to ignore the concepts of time and space. Yeah, uh, yeah. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the Mandalorian is exactly what a lot of people want. It's about a guy who looks just like Boba Fett, so he's basically Boba Fett, and he teams up. With no, a... he's an incompetent buffoon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but so he's a fucking Boba idiot. Fett. He's actually yeah, he might yeah, legitimately like... be retarded. B Boba Fett. Well, Boba Fett has like... one moment of incompetence, and it's more so really bad luck that his jetpack is activated by someone slapping it with a spear thing stick. That's, you can't that's prove that divorce. Boba Fett isn't incompetent. What? What? You can huh? Boba Fett's totally competent in Empire. No. Is? No. He's a, he's what does he do like, that's incompetent? Oh, yeah, he yeah. wears a stupid hat. Oh. That's oh, fucked up. That's the hottest thing it's here. It's a helmet, guys. it's not a hat. Please. Show I'm some respect. Up, on, that is a up. lazy I'm categorization, hang on. Jay. Hang on. Hat. Definition. I don't accept the, uh, I don't, I don't accept the dictionary as a, as an authority, as an authority on the matter. Yeah, I guess it's not a hat. Hey. Oh, no shit. A droid who looks just like IG-88. So it's basically IG-88. And they protect a little baby Yoda, who's oh. like Yoda, except he's a cute little baby. It's like a new paint job on the action figures you already have. The Mandalorian doesn't mess with the really important- I don't agree at all with that. I think they're just familiar aspects of something old, but Can it's you... it's super it's totally superficial. They, they this... function totally differently. Can you do this oh, with I TLJ? I think that might be what he means. Can you do this with TLJ though? You'd be like, think... oh, look at look at crate. It's just Hoth with a different paint job. Uh, look at the space battles. It's just space battles with a different paint job. Uh, look at Luke. He's Luke with a different paint job. <laughs> Guys, I think I know where he's going with this. Oh no. It it's it's old stuff, but I want the old stuff with new ideas or something like that. Kind of like what TLJ did. Oh. I think that's the, oh, I think that's just going to Oh my god. This is just an this is the TLJ is good trilogy from Willems, right? <laughs> like the first the first part of his trilogy was his was his video essay on TLJ. The second part was part one of this duology, and this is the final part of the trilogy. TLJ is good, actually. Ah. Yeah, that, that's, that's, that's the A name video, of the trilogy. I say. Right? Yeah, that, that's it. Important stuff. Touch any of the original characters or impact the grander story. It's like watching a Boba Fett action figure walk around classic Star Wars playsets. What is the difference between a Boba Fett action figure walking around playsets and a Mandalorian walking around actual Star Wars places? Like, how do you distinguish these two? Because you just... It seems as like everything could be called that. He's like, oh, it's like a figurine. I guess he's saying that it's superficial and doesn't have much meaning. It's just yeah. That's it's my good just, faith interpretation. Words. He's. I guess he's trying to. Well, it's very clearly trying to imply that this is just a marketable thing. Um, <sighs> I just mean. I just mean that you could probably do this with everything. Just saying. Yeah, it's like, you stuff. could. But I feel like I feel like he is making the point that it's just um, it's just a superficial thing that it. Doesn't do anything well i'm not sure where i sit on that out of the box because um mandalorians do exist they would be bounty hunting we're following one of them i don't understand why that would like there's nothing it's not contrived even it's um, very simplistic i would say i think he's he would argue that uh mando isn't subversive oh i mean my expectations think... were for a a really competent bounty hunter to to have his actions match his reputation, and my expectations are certainly subverted. 
I mean, what's more contrived is the fact that Mando <laughs> is standing right where he is in this clip, walking into the exact same place. Well then. There you go. Do things you always wanted to see. It's pressing those pleasure buttons that make you go, ah, yes. This resembles that Star Wars feeling I enjoy. It's pressing those and pleasure I do buttons sort that of make you go, oh, yeah. <laughs> but as long as it makes sense, I'm fine with it. I don't care if it's fan stuff, if it makes sense in the universe. Like, if it's reasonable to expect that kind of thing to happen, I don't care if it's just there to push pleasure buttons. Oh, right. It's just got to make sense. You're kind of wearing a t-shirt and a blazer there, buddy. What's going on? That's not me. Oh, really? It's kind of oh, racist right. that you think that every dog... Wow. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. It looks just like you. I'm so sorry. Kind of fucked up, dude. Ah, mm. I thought better of you. Yeah, I will say my, that the my... shades aren't pixelated, so that is interesting. That I would yeah. that's, my, that's my cousin. Um, how about, how about these guys? And... Rogs. 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 The cooler rags. Rags. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, right? <sighs> How do you feel? Uh, what is, is this wearing boys, slippers? No, Those penny loafers? <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh my god. But he's not even practicing good trigger discipline. <laughs> who's this loser? Wait, who's... The 80s murder. They're Miami Vice, I think, from oh. the 80s. Someone Ugh. said it to me. Man, <laughs> look at uh, that guy on the left. He's dressed like a lesbian. So wrong with dressing like a lesbian now? Yeah, it's dumb. Wow. I bet you wear yeah. Crocs with socks. Yeah, with those pointy shoulders and your no socks and your slipper shoes. You're just really like a lesbian guns, if you are a lesbian. Nope. Oh. Uh -uh. Damn. No one can. These rules are hard to follow, but I'm glad we're getting them all out in this one EFAB. Yeah. <laughs> they, yeah. Mm -hmm. As like a travelogue through the galaxy. Much of the show reminds me of the Vader scene What's at the end of music? Rogue One. I said this in a video from two years ago, that it's like an HD remake of a PlayStation 1 game. I still don't. <laughs> um, okay, <laughs> is that bad? Still, I don't even it's... get it though, because like, this is not something we've seen Vader do before. Like, he's fought mm -hmm. individuals, but he's never slaughtered a group of people. Like, yeah. Even, All this makes sense. Everything in the scene makes sense. I guess you you could argue we saw it in the prequels, but like not Vader, rather like than Anakin. I guess to Steelman his point, I think it would be saying all of this is stuff that uh, was implied by the original Star Wars. So that's like, already too far away could from the point. You could assume that all of this kind of stuff would happen all the time and it didn't do anything. But what does that have to do with the PS One remaster, though? Because I think he's suggesting that it's just like, it's it's the milk toast Star Wars. It's like show. a dumb like, game. Ooh, they just animated a dumb video game. Like I don't, whatever you can steel man him into, it'll just push him further away from that point of it's like a PS One rebass. So I was like, what are you, like, <laughs> is he implying like they couldn't have done this in the OT, showing Vader slaughtering people? It's like, like, of course they could. It's a weird one. Come here. It's stuff you recognize doing- Oh my god. What? <laughs> that tweet, that's wonderful. Hang on, let's see if I can pull that up. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm fucking retweeting that shit. That's so true. Fucking bravo. <laughs> so, um, in, in The Boys Season 2, before Stormfront goes full Nazi, she's like, um, she's criticizing how shit The Boys movie- Oh, sorry, not The Boys movie, The, the Seven uh, movie is gonna be. And she says, like, she, she's like a bit of a, a thing about it, but she's got loads of suggestions she wants to make and she's holding them all up. And uh, uh, CJ just put out a tweet saying, why do they have to make the character who cared about good writing a Nazi though? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, she likes memes. <laughs> look, it's, it's us. It's this show. Look, look how evil we all look. Seriously. It's because I'm German. That's fucked up, man. Yeah, well, the truth hurts. What can I say? Does it hurt? Is this a spoiler? I mean... No. I would... Kind of. No. I mean... I mean, technically... Because you only learn that she's a Nazi... <laughs> and slightly she's later... A, she's the one who mentions just... PewDiePie as well. Yeah, it's... it's... <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, isn't that great? Wait, what? 
Yeah, he do don't you watch PewDiePie? He says to the, to the kid. Yeah. Yeah, which is yeah that implies friend. that he's a he's a no Nazi. 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 Yeah. Nazi. What you expect, but shinier. And for a lot of fans, that's what they want. The Mandalorian is digestible Star Wars comfort food. Debatable. Which is not necessarily bad at all. Yeah, I, I was yeah. I was confused as to what my culture was going to be on that. I was like, is that a problem? I'm guessing he's saying it's not I a guess problem. He would say, yeah, it's like, it's not a problem, but it's like milk toast is what I would interpret that as. <laughs> Why would you pull milk on your toast? Yes. I'm, I'm all for ambition and ambitious projects. I value that quite highly, but not everything has to be. Yeah, I don't think he's saying that it has to be. Right? It doesn't seems to be like, like significantly lesser because of it. Like I, I. Well, I think I think there's something riding it. I think something well executed that's just generic is, I don't know, is it is something that's well executed but generic less uh, lesser than something that's well executed and ambitious. The thing with that would be how often do you call something generic when it is well executed? Um, we, we I almost call said that about uh, Hill House, House. Yeah. quite generic. Like I, I remember, I think um, when we were talking about that, I said that it's like it feels like the kind of thing that would originate the tropes, hmm. but it's like it's new is the thing. Like you know, when you watch the original trilogy, you like see, oh, that's where all these fucking tropes came from. Yeah. Um. I, like Hill House feels like that, but the tropes already existed when it came out. Right, yeah. We still wouldn't... Uh, well, I, I value Hill House super highly, so like, I, I don't know, yeah. it's like, I guess I do think it's fine to be generic if you're executed well. Like, being ambitious mm. and complex is, is cool, too. But, my question is, like, is it lesser to be generic than well, to be ambitious? I assume that's just an appeal to what we recognize. We're like, oh, this stuff has come before, versus yeah. it hasn't. And that's not necessarily yeah. good or bad. Oh, even being generic, would you call Hill House unambitious? No, that's a good point. Hill House is very ambitious. Like episode um, six is yeah, just, in a concept. I don't know if it's an ambitious concept. It's just executed extremely well, except yeah. for the end. Yeah, what would you describe as the ambitious part of Hill House? Episode six is where I'd go. As well as um, like it, it's... oh, on like on a technical level. Um, yeah, I was mainly talking about writing, but you could still make that. Oh yeah, the amount, the amount I, I would agree. I agree with it. Like, I agree. It, episode six is technically ambitious. It is like it a, it's a it's a neatly woven fucking tapestry. You cut out tapestry. It's a very it's like a neatly woven fucking tapestry of character. It's it's very ambitious with all of like it's a five way like oh no sorry six way seven way at points character dynamic, um and it's like all of the different characters have got relationships and they all interact with each other uh, as they would and it's it's. I mean, how many how many relationships is that? Like seven times seven. I wonder if that's considered ambitious. No, but it, is it seven really times seven writing? relationships? Is what yeah. I'm asking. I think it's less. Yeah, it's, um, yeah it's, I don't know. No, it's, I... less, it's less than that. It's a complicated. Yeah, I guess it's just about how thing. we. Yeah. yeah, how we talk about what is and isn't ambitious and where. Yeah, like I get well, what like, you're yeah, saying though. There are all of these. Like there are so many very detailed and very neatly relationships, which is huge ambition. It's like. Would Hill House still be like? Would it be lesser if it was like two very well uh, crafted characters um, who just you know who go through a similar story, but it's you know it's just the two of them? I imagine if you're spending that much time on just two with really good writers, you could probably make it really amazing. I guess I don't know. I guess you know it's it. Yeah, I agree with that. But like then. Being a good Would writer be... is ambitious. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Let's leave it at that. All right. Good. Music, be beware. <laughs> I'm hoping it's all royalty-free stuff. I just like... The, the, the portrayal is like, oh, here we go, the bad one. It's like, what do you mean? <laughs> <sighs> the bad one. <laughs> well, where's his modem? I think it's still there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
put a cupboard there. No, we, we, we can, we can explore. We can explore. Around. We've got the, you got the Batmobile here. Mm. You know, we got uh, some Lego mini figurines on a little stand. Um, he's oh, got course, a dictionary. A <laughs> oh yeah, of course, of course. Um, that couch can't decide if it wants to be a bed or not. <laughs> maybe this is where he sleeps i don't know maybe but yeah I, I i don't know where the the i don't know if the modem's still on the floor or not his bottle is dedicated to james he's got a speaker just that's propped up on the back end of the couch on the the back left there of the couch that's uh i mean, it works i suppose hmm. wait what's propped up on what the speaker oh, see oh yeah oh, whoa i didn't even see that that's such a what that oh. could fall on your. That could fall on his head so easily. Yeah, not where I'd put it, but. Yeah, hmm. what? That's Maybe a strange place issues, for yeah. that. That is an odd space. Yeah. Be careful, Patrick. Yeah. We're trying to help you. Just put it near the oh. Batmobile. Put it on top of the vinyl player. We know you don't use it. <laughs> no, I fully believe he uses that. Come on. <laughs> so that he can say that he uses it. Did he spill something on his couch? What? Come. No, I think no so. he doesn't do that. They're right there oh, to the no, it's yeah. between him and the bottle. He got some on his, his couch bed. Coomed. Oh no. Terrible. It's Agile. And then <laughs> there's the rise of Skywalker. If you liked this movie, that's awesome. <laughs> He's so sad. Why do they always need to? He's Just got a Babu it. Frick shirt on. It's fine. But, uh, that, that, shut the fuck up. In fairness, it's good that he said that because uh, John Adams didn't actually say it was okay to like Rise of Skywalker, I don't think. Yeah. So, right. Most people don't know about this. But, um... He's... He buys all the merch. It's, it's like the YouTube thing. Your shirt has to be the merch. To be connected. I, I, I would I like, so... genuinely like to get, like, to start doing a thing where for do I just get like a you're gonna have to start shirt. over? We missed like half. I, I'd love to do a thing for like where every mo like just movie review I do, I get like a generic white shirt and just like fucking get a sharpie and crudely draw on the logo of the film. Oh, it, like, it just it, you just trope. write the word Star Wars shirt on it. Yeah, yeah. Star Wars shirt. That's yeah. You should do that. That would that that's. I think that would be funny. I I would. I uh, I approve I of a shirt that, that says self aware cringe on it. <laughs> it's like the, the the fucking trope of saying you're allowed to like this movie is so uh dude what was the john adams made, be made that was like early efap wasn't it? Was early days that was early yeah that's uh that's gen one memory people yeah. have been telling you it's okay to like stuff for so long they just have that's to keep a, saying it and then that's a classic it, like b drill because we don't say it people will be like you know that they think it's like okay and not okay to like things right yeah, because they're fucking retarded if they say that. There you go. <sighs> you wish you don't that say I you're did. not a Nazi every day. No, you're a Nazi. It's the same fucking thing. Hear that, Shut chat? Fuck Nazis bad, all right? You fuck. Yeah, yeah, we said it. Nazis are bad. And I'm German, I say that. I get executed <laughs> tomorrow. Oh, my God. Also, good writing is Nazi, okay? Yes. You fuck. <laughs> but watching this movie was the moment I realized Star Wars and I we're not on the same wavelength anymore. This is not a video about why I think Rise of Skywalker is bad. If that's what you want, just go to the top of the page. It's shocking for me to I'm, think that this is only 11 minutes in. I know, it so, feels like a nightmare lifetime. I'm just like, I'm just absorbing the fact that he's treating Star Wars like it's one whole entity rather than just like a few films and then loads of slapped on additions by well, separate different people. Yeah, particular creators. It's like, I'm not a fan of J.J. Abrams' Star Wars, is what he could say. But yeah, I mean, you know, he's acting like... He's acting like Star Wars is an entity that moved away from... I mean, it, it is, you know, but it's characterizing it as that sort of puts it in a frame that it doesn't really exist in. Because it's not like... You know, it's not like the decisions flowed through from one to the next and then it ended up in a place he didn't like. Someone else fucking hijacked the thing he liked and went... <laughs> <laughs>
That is a point right there. I agree. And type Rise of Sky the search bar. You'll get plenty of results. Jenny Nicholson's video is pretty comprehensive. But putting aside that I think um, the writing and I'm Pardon? sure it's very good. She makes really I'm good sure videos. In... Yeah, she is I'm very powerful. analytical and very accurate with her points. And I, mm, I yeah. Rise of Skywalker's sure message. Does anyone here message. have a good Rise of Skywalker? No. Uh, no. Theo, you made a Rise of Skywalker one, right? <laughs> yeah, of course. Oh, there you go. <laughs> He's the authority on the Rise of Skywalker. Yeah. As it says in the dictionary. The conversation on it storytelling in this movie are subpar, that it's all plot and barely any actual story. I want it's all plot, all plot and barely and any story. story. What does that mean? It's all plot and barely any story. Hey. I, I'd like <laughs> I to know understand. how he categorizes that. Yeah. I understand I what I think he's trying to say. Story. Please elaborate. Go for it. Well, it's like how every fucking scene in Rise of Skywalker is just, and then another thing happens. Yeah, it's the story. That's the story. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm saying I know what he, I'm, I, I'm saying I know what I think he's trying to say. He said can it you, well. Can you translate that for the rest of us? Um, well, like I assume that he for means it's Nazis who care about good writing, and in a way that it does, it excludes TLJ. <laughs> no. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> the the yeah, simplest way I've thought of it is to make sense of. I, I assume he means um, like it just. It, like there's no time to breathe. There's no like reflecting with characters. It's all just, and then another thing happens, and then another thing happens, and then another thing happens. Oh, Mahler is that a Gadelp quote? Yeah, I'm doing it now. <laughs> it's because st story's not a um some prestigious like label you get to have to me. I'm like story. You, it's a story or it's oh, not. That doesn't. I don't really like. Ooh, um, Rise of Skywalker is totally a story. To say like it doesn't have story, it has plot. I'd be like. I, I mean, I don't want to be defending that movie, but if you want me to find you character stuff in it, I can. If you want to find you will building stuff in it, I can. Or if you find you thematic stuff in it, I can. It has all of the things. I don't understand. Like, oh, it's just plot. It's just things happening. It's like, oh yeah, like going to fucking Canto Bite and then getting caught and then finding someone to get you out of there and then going back to the team you just left with accomplishing nothing. I saw something really. I guess that'd be what he's trying to say, I suppose. I assume the... he's saying like most of it is just I mean... kind of meh. Like we could go, we could be without it. It doesn't really assist the overall Star oh. Wars Star Wars landscape. I, I was going with in terms of it being more plot than story. In in that it is more concerned with like beat to beat to beat. Uh, I suppose causal chain events that go forward in the story, as opposed to. As opposed to, I guess, scenes that develop, like, scenes that aren't necessarily as plot relevant, but still contribute something meaningful. Like, characters discussing how they feel about certain things? Because, again, we got things that. Things like that. There's not much yeah. of it in there, I'll agree. But and like, that's what he's going for, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know why yeah, he wouldn't you have just figure said, out like, how it, was... it applies to one and not the other. I, yeah, I would have just. I don't know why he wouldn't just say like, "There's just not much character in the film" or something like that. But we already know that he <laughs> thinks there is because he hates it for how it changed uh, TLJ's characters and their trajectory. Yeah. It's a weird one, but all right. I want to talk about for Star Wars as a whole. This is a movie. I just wanted to mention that I saw um, a YouTube video very recently, like a couple of days ago, I think. And it was a fan-made Star Wars Episode Ten trailer called "The Resurrection of Vader," and mm. like the comment, there was like a top comment on the video with forty thumbs up, like "Oh my god, I really wish this was a real trailer," and it made me really unhappy. Yeah. And it was all clip. It was like Rogue One clips of Vader, and then like clips of Rey that from deleted scenes with her lightsaber ready to. It's like after she has a yellow lightsaber. And I'm like, why do people want this? Can can you not can you can you not want these things, please? Why no? Stop, <laughs> please. This is a movie that has no new ideas and nothing to say. Oh. Every time it had oh, to like make a decision, ones? whether Call it's it. what should be the main conflict, how the hero should be rescued, or what the final scene should be, it had the same answer. Just do a thing Which we've was... seen before. Uh, they did force healing to escape. A situation can, yeah it's brand new it's um, funny you can like but you can just say this about tlj just did the other way around they've introduced resurrection what? like pretty hard what's something um you can do this with tlj though 
just the literally the the opposite way around. Every time any, they get into a situation, oh, what's going to happen? Oh, the film just goes, oh, just do something. Do the last thing the audience would expect. It's like that one isn't meaning more meaningful than the other, just by virtue of that. Yeah, but he's wrong Arguably, anyway. things are more sensical if you can expect it to a degree. How would Death Star yeah. destroy us in David, the thousands uh, in a planet controlled by Palpatine's resurrected clone thing? Like, how is that all? Like, oh, we've seen I, all this I, I, before. I feel nope, like, they did that in Solo. I feel like, though, that um, oh, like bringing true. back Palpatine and bringing back Death Star lasers, even if it's a different context, is sort of like, hey. Well, but this highlights the issue. Whether or not it's new isn't the problem. Like, the idea that, like, oh, we've seen Palpatine before, but we haven't seen clone Palpatine before. We've seen Death Stars and Star Destroyers before, but we haven't seen Death Star Destroyers before. I'd just be like, I don't care if we've seen it before. It's more about what it is. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And how they did it, yeah. The previous movie ended with a new status quo. Kylo Ren killed the wrinkly old bad guy. He was already in fucking charge for the first two movies, yeah. except one dude who could say, hey, don't do that thing. But he never did anyway, so whatever. Yeah, he went from... Yeah, not, not a, he went from mostly in charge a lateral to fully move. in charge. Yeah. And when I say mostly in charge, we're talking 99% in charge to 100% in charge. It's like, whoa, what a change. Eye on the throne, became the supreme leader of the First Order, and was now the main villain. Cool, right? Nope, the movie ditches all of that, puts Kylo right back to where he was two movies ago, and brings so back he didn't the wrinkly change. old. So, so, Wait, was so he suggesting he... that he was supposed to be a villain? Like, hardcore? He is the villain. Because uh, I, was, I was about to say, like, he kind of is, right, until Han Solo's memory yeah, goes to visit him. He's saying that it's, he's supposed to be the the main antagonist of the film. Being sad about being a villain doesn't make you not a villain. <laughs> True. I guess he's, yeah, he's just sad that the Emperor was brought in instead of it being focused on Kylo, that's probably what he's saying. Yeah. It's just nobody could take Kylo seriously as a main villain, I'm sorry. It is! It's JJ going, oh, but I had, like, this plan where Kylo is redeemed and overthrows his master, but JJ, oh, sorry, I am JJ, um, Ryan killed the guy I wanted to do that story with. Uh, I guess I'll just introduce a new one real quick. Well. He could, bring, he could have brought back Snoke, and I think he was just like, fuck it, if I'm going to bring someone back, it may as well be Palpatine. Yeah. The old bad guy on a throne from the original trilogy. But didn't that guy get thrown down an energy shaft and a... Dude. Dude. You're actually appealing <laughs> to things making sense, Facebook. really. <laughs> it's a movie about space wizards, Patrick. I never get yeah. like I never get tired of this. When it's their thing, they like they start appealing to just conventions of course. Sense and logic. Yeah. yeah, it's a fucking classic. Explode, and then the whole space station he was on exploded. Yeah, the force. Get over it. Wow, that's yep. ridiculous. Wow, yeah, they, they stay in the movie. It's clearly explained the film's rules. That why are you taking this so bad. seriously? It's just fan stuff. Yeah, that's it's just for kids. For wizards. You can't do this, Patrick. Yeah. <laughs> you can't do this to us. Fit into like tiny molecules. I guess that just doesn't matter. He's back with no oh, explanation. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh some, someone appears. Someone appears with no explanation. Wow, that would be weird. Yeah, I can't imagine, imagine criticizing someone important just showing up randomly for no. Yeah, you know, yeah, no, I doubt it. Was it was weird one. Doesn't matter. I agree with Patrick. Mm -hmm. Anyone complaining about things making sense is just an idiot. Uh, I mean, well, no, wait, sorry, a smart man. <laughs> So confusing. Hmm. If only. <laughs> Come on. This is so blatant. No, it's, it's fine. Patrick. Standards Shush. exist now. It calls me out. It's fine. Pa Patrick doesn't just... like a film and no standards exist. So a year ago, not necessarily to this day, but close, we covered Patrick Williams telling us that it was a space was a film for children, and now uh, he's telling us. Was that two years ago? Fuck, that was two years ago, and now he's telling us. That um, it sucks that this film doesn't make sense <laughs> compared to TLJ or the, the AOT. Like, wow, he's that's got a so character close, arc. That's so close to like a pilling, but it's not. Well, yeah, like, the only this was he's always been like this. It's just stuff that he likes and stuff he dislikes. He will pull them out respectively. Yeah, he doesn't have consistent standards, but like this, like that, that could be the story of him of him getting red pilled. Maybe um. Patrick, if you want to come on uh, to EFAB and talk about how bad the Rise of Skywalker is, we'll welcome you. 
He's not going to do that. <laughs> he can talk about how bad it is and how much it doesn't make sense. Do it. Damn. I'm just going to die again because people liked that one. Okay, so how do we conclude Ray's journey of self-discovery? I guess we're just going to re- So that is generous. Um, oh, hang on. Wait, so what's what's going on here? What is this? Mel, explain. I just got that uh, sent like by Odin on Twitter. Is so. this... Why are you you're holding a sack of tisms? Oh my god. That's super cool. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. Act. Ba boom I like on that screen. it's lore now that I just wear this shirt all the time. <laughs> Good. Oh, like, like, I was hacked and, like, you're a hacker slasher. Oh, ooh, big smart. His themes. Is it just body parts in your bag of tisms? I uh, I think so. I hope so. Fucking scary, bro. Eat something to eat. Yeah, that is that is really cool. <laughs> you gonna you gonna swap to it just for the stream? You gonna, uh, gonna leave it alone? I think I will. Oh my god. As as right. I have a That's a remo. Take it away. <sighs> Reveal that she related to that same wrinkly old bad guy, and that explains how she can do all the stuff she can do. But doesn't that totally undercut her growth from the previous movie as well? No, she didn't have any. <laughs> what growth? <laughs> what growth? Like, yeah. Actually, what growth? <laughs> yeah, what growth? Like, what do you mean? She found out that she wasn't related to anyone, um... And then she and cried. And she... This didn't inform her decisions or character. Yeah, I, that's what I mean. They, oh, they, they think about this movie that doesn't exist, and I'm always just like, wait, point to the thing. They're just like, it's in my head. Leave me alone. No. As well as it's hymns. <laughs> nope. That doesn't matter. All that's really important here is that we have a name that we've heard before. Okay, how do we save the day during the final battle? We bring back Lando Calrissian. How do we conclude Kylo Ren's arc of redemption? We bring back Han Solo. For the final scene of the entire nine movie saga, how do we end this? We're gonna have Rey go to Luke's childhood home, call herself Rey Skywalker, even though she only knew Luke for a few days. I mean, he's spitting facts, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I, I agree. He's not substantiating any of this stuff, though, as yeah, well. Yeah, we agree like, with the conclusionary the statements. The film he is describing could have been amazing, right? Like, he is not like, yeah, if you, I, I mean, I guess maybe if you ignore TLG as well, I'm not sure, like, but of the on, entire let's... nine movies can do, but doesn't that totally undercut so her? Group? How, do, how does how does the battle at the end get they bring back Lando? Well, how does Kylo get redeemed? They bring back Han. How does uh, and then Ray goes back to Luke's family home? You know, like, if um, if that had been preceded by two good films, they bring back Sam he's describing. <laughs> could have been fucking incredible. Like, all of those things could happen in a good film. I, I just, just want to say, I don't understand why Willems is so mad about a movie intended for children. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of weird. Leave him alone. Yeah, it's he has really passion. weird. It's just really strange. You just intercut that. It's like, <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. Well, you're oh, taking yeah, you a could, space movie for children too seriously. You could really, like, uh... You, I, I assume someone could make a really good, like, uh, Patrick Willems versus Patrick Willems. 2018 Patrick uh, versus like, 2020 Patrick. Yeah, oh, man. Like, fucking do it. The, I've watched the, the opinion of that. Patrick Willems do not represent the opinions of Patrick Willems. <laughs> <laughs> I just like that he's applying this level of forethought and, and, and conclusion about uh, Tross, but he would never do it for TLJ because he just likes it so much. Like, and his Twitter bio should be opinions of my own. Maybe. My opinions aren't my growth from the movie as well as its core themes. Nope, that doesn't matter. All that's really important here is that we have a name that we've heard before. Okay, how do we save the day during the final battle? We bring back Lando Calrissi. Yeah, I see what you mean now, Jake. It's like, yeah, that is, uh, it's stupid, but that alone isn't stupid. The, the specifics of it are stupid. That, um, yeah, that's we... just, that's literally just, you know, oh, how do we save the day in... Uh, they, fucking oh luke and Le vader have a lightsaber in okay. the entire history of the saga of star wars there wasn't a worse scenario for people to come and help people in and what i mean by that is you're 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 a you know planet owner umbak saheo or something like that and they're like lando's like i need your help i need your squadron of blah 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 to come with us to fight on Exegol. And you're like what is it and it's a planet where you cannot hyperspace because of the dangers of the the, the atmosphere and you can't even tell which way is up and there's a series of about a thousand ships that can all blow up planets individually. 
and thousands upon thousands of TIE Fighters, and our team is getting slaughtered there. We just need you because otherwise we're probably going to lose. I'd be like, um, gonna say no on that one. <laughs> gonna decline. Uh, but I like you, Lando. And then he's like, you like me so much you'll come anyway. And you're like, you're right. And then everyone does, because Lando is so cool. <laughs> There's no arc to earn it either. It's like, it, this stuff all fucking happens off screen. It's like, there's a line, there's a throwaway line about Lando go, And then, um, the fucking final space battle has this big swelling music as if it's earned some big payoff where everyone comes to save the day. And it's like, who are these people? You know, it's like, it's like in, uh, it's like in A New Hope where Han comes back to save the day and, because that's his arc, and like the film earned that. Mm -hmm. But it's just like, imagine if Han, you know, was barely in the film, and then you had that moment. <laughs> the, they only met him briefly in the cantina where they went to someone else to eventually drive them, and he was like, I overheard you talking, and I decided I'd help <laughs> it in the end. <laughs> no, no, there's, okay. there's a line halfway through where, like, uh, uh, Luke says to 3PO, 3PO, see if you can send a signal to Han. Ugh. And that justifies it. It's like, oh, so meaningful. Where, yay. But no, like, the, the, fact, the fact that Lando comes to... Patrick criticizes this by saying, Lando saves the day in the final fight. That's fine. That, that could be good. But this is the thing. If we agree not... with the conclusions, we're just going to let him sort of slide on these. Which like, mm -hmm. I, I could envision many 10 out of 10 sequel uh, episode 9 ending involves Lando saving the day in the final No, because it was made by J.J. Abrams so it would have been bad anyway Not made by J.J. Abrams Made by Jojo Binks <laughs> <laughs> Made by uh, Who would be the best currently working director to do a sequel trilogy? Jimbo Baggins I agree Russo Brothers could probably do something if, yeah. they really I, 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 if they try really hard. If they try really hard. What about Edgar Wright? That could be cool. Could be cool. Or not. Did he, oh. did he write the Cornetto trilogy? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was him and Simon Pegg and someone else, I think, were the main people involved in writing it. How do we include Kylo Ren's arc of redemption? We bring back Han Solo Art. for the final uh. scene of the entire nine movie saga. How do we end this? We're gonna have Rey go to Luke's childhood home, call herself Rey Skywalker, even though she only knew Luke for a few days, and then recreate the most famous you. shot from the Look original you, movie. They did that in TLJ too, just saying. Yeah, also, I, I assume you're fine with Han being her father figure, even though she knew her <laughs> him for hours? Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Stay away from thinking too much about the other ones, okay? But isn't Tatooine the place Luke hated and wanted to leave? You can't do this to me, Patrick. You're bringing up, like, <laughs> arguments when you never do it for the other ones. It's just like, ugh. Yeah, where Annoying. is this Where is this Patrick Willems? Yeah. When we need him. Where's, where was Chad William Willems <laughs> when Chad Will DLJ was coming out? Hmm? Isn't Leia spent a few Chad days Williams. as a slave to a giant slug? And what's Rey's relationship to this planet she's never been to? Hey, that doesn't matter. If the audience recognizes it, it's good enough. What J.J. Abrams does throughout this entire movie is mistake nostalgia for storytelling. He thinks just because the audience has an existing emotional connection to a character or a location or an image, then all you need for a successful movie is to string a bunch of those together. Surely you agree, Patrick, that it was successful. He's identified, he's identified J.J. Abrams. I mean, yeah, this is the the, the J.J. Abrams take, I think, everyone has. Mm. It's Star Trek Into Darkness all over again. Remember in that movie when Benedict Cumberbatch reveals that he's Khan, and the audience gasps because we know who that is. But then we realize that here, Kirk and Spock don't. They've never met him before, that name means nothing to them. And so the momentary emotional rush, because we recognize a reference, immediately reveals itself to be- I would say that that's, um, they knew that when they made it, that these mm. guys don't, mm. but we do, and that is, you can make that dynamic work, the audience being aware okay. of something that the characters are not. Well, dramatic irony. Yeah. It's a common device. Because uh, I think the problems with Into Darkness are going to go beyond whether or not the characters knew who Khan was when they met him. <laughs> I think the criticism that- sorry, go on. 
I was just gonna say that like Star Trek fans fucking despise this movie from what I understand. Uh, um, well, I don't like it, and I like TNG, but I don't like the. Oh shit! Did you just say you don't like the original series? Oh, I mean, no, okay, no, actually, I actually misphrased that. I don't like care about the original series. All right. Like I don't. I'm not invested in it. I don't. I I, I don't dislike it. I've just never really given oh it Oh my god, time. someone in chat just said, is there an EFAP stream archive? Yes! <laughs> it's Ooh, got I am so glad you asked! <laughs> I don't even know if we've had that question before. It's it's in the description, check it out. There's 103 uh -huh. episodes other than this one. You'll be covered for... No, welcome to EFAP, that. friend. There's way more than 103 episodes. Well, of this particular format. Um... Mainline, we have a bunch of spin-offs, mm -hmm. uh, but there's 103 or so and Some mainline. of the spin-offs are more successful uh... somehow than the main podcast. <laughs> People hate yeah. more, uh, more on the way as well. <laughs> Moron. Moron yeah, is on the way. The thing we recorded, Mubla. Wait, what? Are we allowed to talk about the thing we recorded? <laughs> Um, I don't see why not. It's just that telling people about it makes them perpetually invested in when it's going to release, which I don't have a date for, so I'd, I usually make it a surprise until it's completed and ready to go and almost has a date to go. That's when I like to tell people about it so that they don't get sad. You hear that, chat? I don't want you to be sad. I want you to be sad. We've, we, <laughs> uh, wait, well, we've mentioned Torchwood like a million times. I'm assuming you're not referring to that. Uh, let's go with I am referring to that. Alright, yeah, Torchwood will be out, what, Christmas? <laughs> Yay! You'll yes. finally see myself, oh, Rags, yeah, I forgot Jay, about and... That. Is it Messel is the fourth in that one? Wait, it's, wait, it's a fucking... One... I can't remember, it was 12 years ago. I was gonna say, it's actually gonna... The only video that'll be released out of continuity in terms of the format, unless I re-render it, which I can't be fucking bothered to do, so... Was that a really weird episode of, of TV? Yeah. <laughs> TV yeah. Like... For some reason, I got dragged into it. Yeah, I will. The sex alien. Yes, I remember that. You, you guys will have fun with that. That's that's a funny. It's like a thirty-minute video, I think. But we're just, uh, yeah, we're it's surprised. Good. It's a good one. It's gonna be one of those, even more than the other ones, where watchers like I don't remember anything of this. I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't let's see. Because <laughs> you recorded it like two years ago when it's coming out. Yeah. Guys, if you thought the holder maneuver broke cat and it into darkness, they cured death. Well, that's probably going to change some stuff. Oh, yeah, I forgot they did that. Be empty. So imagine if Return of the Jedi had ended with Luke traveling to Yoda's home planet, wherever that is, to bury Yoda's cane. And the final shot... That's so very meaningful, I would love it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Shot yeah, it's was so him thematic. looking off at, I don't know, the ocean or something? Everyone in the audience would be like, what the fuck is this? I don't know, but no. I don't. I don't think that would uh, be the reaction. They would actually. I think they. I think they'd probably be like. I think that. I mean, there would be. There'd be meaning there, you know. Yeah, it would be. It would be weird. I would be like, why are we focusing so heavily on Yoda's influence rather than everyone's? Um, because of course Ben. You'd think maybe Ben would be there as a ghost, being like, "Hey, we did it." And then I would just be like, I feel like they're focusing a little too hard on Yoda rather than everyone's efforts. But at the same time, it wouldn't be like. Out of place like Ray and fucking Tatooine was. I I I think it can make a lot of sense. He spent a while with Yoda. Yeah. And he died with like Yoda died with him. I, I, I... Also, everything he's been listing so far was the the problem for him was that the the refer to something we know and then it doesn't make sense. This would be like a whole new thing without any reference. I think the problem there would be oh how did he know where his planet is I guess. Or if it just goes to Oh yeah, that would there would be some mechanical it. issues there, but like the important part being what Yoda means to Luke versus what Luke means to Ray. It's like there's two yeah, completely exactly. different relationships. Yeah, because they train forever together. So well, if Luke got trained by Yoda, Yoda wasn't doing any training, he was like five million years old. So that Luke slowly sinking into the swamp would be great. What? <laughs> <laughs> He just stands there and slowly sinks and the credits come up we're like, what happened? Help. <laughs> What's this place? Why is that the final scene? And that's essentially what Rise of Skywalker is doing. If you strip away all the nostalgia for the audience, you're left with a meaningless scene for the characters. Hmm. The one identifiable theme Rise of Skywalker <laughs> has is the idea that we're not defined by our family legacy and that we can choose a new family. So, why does the movie end with Rey, who has just wanted to belong somewhere her whole life, 
alone on a desert planet she has no connection to. This she's, is the, she's alone in that moment. I mean, she's but she's not like she's it, never going to speak to anybody again. I guess he's talking about it in a, like a visual filmmaking sense. Like we should have it end with her being surrounded by the people she's chosen to be with or something like that. But I mean, Luke and Leia are there. Just saying. It probably would improve it if like Poe and Finn were with her, but like not really because they don't have meaningful relationships. Who did we lose? <laughs> I see what you mean, yeah. Beacon Warrior. Oh shit, he's gone. Oh. Now he's alone. Now he's gone. No, no. Thematically speaking, he is Ray. Weekend Skywalker. No one's ever really gone. Weekend Except. Skywalker. Yeah. Weekend Sky Warrior. Sky Perfect Warrior time to went. underline that theme and show Rey together with the new family she has formed over the trilogy. But the movie- I don't disagree with that, really. I just- it's just funny mechanically yeah. because of their relationships being so shit. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, Nothing to- These meaningful relationships we built up. No. Someone says she's not alone, she has BB-8. <laughs> well, she had the old lady. The old lady was her uh, mum, I guess, maybe. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Ray Skywalker. It's like, that means oh, nothing yeah. to me, young lady. Yeah. What the fuck are you? If the film, fucking, if the film ended with, um, <laughs> with the, the old lady going, Who the fuck are you? And oh, then she goes, good. Ray Skywalker. Are you allowed to be here? And the old lady just goes, Okay. That would be better. Let me say it now. My name is Ray. Ray. And she goes, No, first name's fine. Don't need anything else. <laughs> He is more interested in giving us that empty nostalgia hit. And what makes it even weirder is that according to multiple reports, Abram shot an ending that had Rey together with her friends. And then he scrapped it. Friends. Right to the end, <laughs> yeah. he chose nostalgia over story. Rise of Skywalker is- surprise you? <laughs> yeah, yeah I like, was... I don't- Yeah, I- uh, Duh? <laughs> I just wanted to see that original ending, just out of curiosity, if anything. Yeah, maybe it's better. Sure. It's not about yes. any ideas. It's not about the characters. It's only about Star Wars. What was ex uh, I still don't really know what you mean by that. Mm -hmm. Like, it's about Star Wars as an I. It's no. Yeah, th there's problems with what he said because categorization issues with what he just said. There's, technically, it's all going to always be Star Wars. There's always going to be something that you could be like, see? They're just trying to be like, ooh, look at us with Star Wars. Stabbies. It's about Star Wars rather than the characters of Star Wars. Be like, okay. Oh, but, oh. Exciting about Star Wars originally was the way it combined so many different influences. Westerns with samurai movies with pulp sci-fi adventure. Rise of Skywalker's only influence is other Star Wars. It's just recycling itself, turning into a human centipede cloaked in Jedi robes. Star Wars is supposed to that, be that was Luke Skywalker. Well, Looking out at the horizon, oh, yearning to- Oh, okay. Actually, simile. Um, I mean, I, I feel that way about the whole sequel trilogy, not just Rise of Skywalker, so... I don't yeah, know. yeah. That started way earlier. ...to go out there and have adventures and new experiences. But over the past couple of years, Star Wars has felt more like if Luke had just stayed inside and played with his toys. George what? Lucas said it himself. In Disney CEO Bob Iger's recent memoir, he writes that when Lucas saw The Force Awakens, he felt betrayed. Not yeah. because it deviated- Of course. <laughs> yeah, of course. You shat on the characters in the universe. Yeah. Yeah, it, it I, does... I would feel betrayed too if I get- Yeah, it's shitting all over my stuff. You literally smeared right, feces like... all over my work. It's like, damn. No, but what's her face said he'll pr she'll protect the characters of George Lucas, right guys? We'll protect Their idea of George. the word protect is different from everyone else's, I think. Yeah. Kill! <laughs> Kill. Hey, Friggy Fr 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 just sent me a DM saying, had Homelander just killed Maeve, wouldn't everything not work in the finale? <laughs> yes. I, the, both the payoffs, yeah, I, I guess, the th I don't want to go too much into it, but I'm guessing. She'd be like, oh, the, the footage will be released if I'm dead or not. I, I can't remember if she said that or not, but I'm assuming he's referring to the other part so. of it as well. Had Homelander been there when Stormfront was doing autism. Sorry, didn't mean to deviate. Go back to whatever you guys were talking about, your little little children's show, whatever. You know those can't remember. <laughs> well, guys. 
I, I it's almost six a.m. So I think I'm gonna. Head you said out you now. were gonna hang out for a little bit. What the fuck? It's, it's yeah. like it's been three hours. Jesus it's been Christ. like a couple like, of minutes. What the shit. hell? It's, it's like a blink of an eye. It's been sixteen yeah. minutes for seconds. What are you talking about? Every <laughs> time right there. It's just sixteen minutes. Jesus Christ! Sixteen minutes, and the point he's going to make is that they should have stuck with the last Jedi approach. That is what he's doing. God damn it! You're so predictable, bald man. Like, <laughs> you will never know if you leave after fifteen minutes. No, I'm I'm calling it. I am confident in in calling it that. Maybe maybe just stick with new ideas. <gasps> maybe explore themes and subversion. Uh, yeah, they should do shitty new yeah. things. I think he's gonna go there. I, I and I just hate that he's going. Uh, he's just he can't accept that the movie he likes destroyed the franchise he loves. Apparently, like it's just so. How I don't know. Like he's at the like what you guys said earlier. The things he's talking about. The complaints about. The Rise of Skywalker, we could easily have applied it to the earlier movies, right? He just doesn't do it. Because... <laughs> so, it's like he had, it, he's almost at the cusp of the door, but he doesn't want to open it. Or, or he can't find the handle, something like that. <laughs> Where is it? Yeah, like, oh! He's just trying to push at a pull door. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Um, well, before That's you go... a good metaphor, Jay. Yeah. Do you wanna do you wanna plug that sexy channel of yours? Yes, my sexy channel is Weekend Warrior, the one with the cute guy and not the frog, because the frog is extremely political. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't so go to that you're guy. Saying look for the political one is what you is what you're saying. Yes, exactly. The one with the red shirt, because you know the reds are like the right or some or something, and. It, it, this was fun hanging out, and as usual, Willems can't really just get over The Last Jedi. He's still simping for The Last Jedi. Take it to the grave. <laughs> I mean, it seems like yeah. he's making progress, sort of. You know, a little. He's like, sort he's come of. a long way. It's a it's small way, but it's a long way. Character oh, the out there. It is the most convoluted, uh, disingenuous defense of The Last Jedi. This is the impression I'm getting from this video. So. That's it, guys. Uh, good hanging out. Bye, chat. Bye, bye, bye. guys. Bye. Later on. Bye. 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 Goodbye. Bye. Good night. Good morning. Wherever you are. Take care. Toodles. Bye. Subscribe to Weekend Warrior. Thank you. Good night. <laughs> Do I it. can't find the exit. It's okay. You'll get there eventually. It's the big red button. <laughs> Doesn't want me to leave. <laughs> big red button. You can do it. There you go. Also, um, I will be right back. There is no reason why you guys cannot continue, though, and I will I will listen to it as I go and sort something out to make sure I don't miss anything, all right? How long will you be? Like, 15 minutes, possibly, at most. All well, right. That's the sure. longest you ever left in it. You should hang up so the rest of the stream doesn't get to hear. <laughs> that's true. I could do that. I could end the stream until I'm back, but I trust you guys <laughs> will be able to handle whatever perspective he, he decides to roll out. I'm sure you've got this. Yeah. All right. I think we'll uh, we'll see in a bit. Be right back. You know, I'm thinking like, I'm thinking like what? Patrick Willems, based on what he said in this video, compared to what he said before, he is a complex character. He's <laughs> very complex. I couldn't begin <laughs> to try and the, make a diagram of all of his thoughts and his journey. Because you never know. Like, at least with a lot of people, like, um, let's say you have prequel fanboys. You at least can identify that, yeah, their blind spot is the prequel movies, right? It's really simple. You could at least understand it. But with him, you have no idea. There's just no rhyme or reason to what he finds acceptable and not acceptable. I'll never know if he's going to like something or not. Last Jedi, good. No, I think generally the more pretentious something is, the more likely it is to like yeah, it. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Like, the more miserable it makes you feel, the more he likes it. Oh, you can send this, but we can't put it on stream, because Moopla. Do you have a take on Joker? I don't remember. Oh yeah, he, he can catch up when he comes back for that. The only yeah. way for us to put images on screen now would be to render them into a video, upload that video, <laughs> uh, and then put that video in the watch together. I'll stop. Yeah, that would be, um, that's true. We could put anything on screen we want. Mm. That's true. Oh my god. 
you know, like like on YouTube, you could you could take videos of like horses fucking, right? Then that's oh. all right. But if you draw two horses fucking, you're not allowed to show that. Really? <laughs> well, yeah, it's 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 like pornographic art. But you can hang on. To what? Come on, silence is cancer. You can't be doing this. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, Jay, something. what are you talking about, Jay? Use silence for me. Oh. I don't, I don't get how that works. I don't get how you're allowed to have like literal video of something, but not drawings of it. Yeah. Well, Mahler's left for two minutes. We're always already talking about horses fucking. So let's <laughs> continue like, with uh, Patrick sounds, Willems. Sounds like my streams. Like, what's your favorite kind um, of horse cock? I don't. I don't know. The are there different like colors? I, sure, let's go with that. How, black? Oh. <laughs> oh. Man. I mean, I, I, I guess if I had to choose. <laughs> Maybe I love them all equally, Jay. Yeah, see, that's the correct yeah, answer. Racist. I'm designed to trick you up. <laughs> no, but the real answer is black. So let us continue. Characters, but because, in Lucas's words, there's nothing new. There's nothing new to... Well, let's back up a bit before we had our thing, because I'm curious yeah. what the context of him saying this is. So, it's 1619. As saw The Force Awakens, he felt betrayed. Not because it deviated from his plans for the characters, but because, in Lucas's words, there's nothing new. So, George Lucas continues to confuse me. I Because we assumed, a moment ago, a very reasonable assumption that he hated TFA because it shits all over his stuff. It ruins Han. It ruins the world building of what happened after the return of the Jedi. He's probably fairly aware of generally what the EU and the expanded canon had been. Um, I would assume that would be why he didn't, he, he didn't like it, but I guess it's because he thought there was nothing new. And, and I totally understand that they didn't, ex I guess in George's mind, because they didn't expand what he started, he, he gave them this gift, essentially. They sold it, but he gave them this opportunity to expand and grow Star Wars, and that's what they did with it. And it was basically a repeat, a, a shitty remake of A New Hope. That's what disappointed him. Yeah. So, yeah, all right, yeah. I still do think they should have gone with his original. Rags is wrong about the ATST and ship problem. No, I'm not. You do not want to defend that. I promise you. I you don't. Problem? Oh, I guess he's talking about in episode four, or how the, why why didn't Mando in the Razor Crest just blow up the ATST in a single shot from his spaceship? Are we talking about Mando now? That yeah, someone brought it up. <laughs> like you, you're fucking wrong about this. Do do not defend that. You oh, cannot. No. I've heard the defenses of it. They're all trash. Don't do it. If you're gonna die on a hill for Mando, don't let it be anything in episode four. Okay. Carrying go, on, die, go die on the cuties hill. Go die on um, the cuties hill. It arguably makes more sense, I guess. I don't even know. No, no don't die on the cuties hill. That, disclaimer, don't do that. that. It was important to him to present new worlds, new stories, new characters, and new technologies. Oh, he must have fucking loved the hyperspace kamikaze then. In the, in the, in the hyperspace tracker. I wonder well, how George Lucas would rate all of the different. I would, uh, I, you cut out after different. All of the different sequel movies. Like, I wonder which uh, George Lucas considers the best and the worst. Oh, sorry, I wonder which he considers, like, the worst and the most worst. I would be very curious to get his opinion. Yeah, because I, I couldn't hazard a guess. Yeah, I could, um, like, I could be like, oh, if he said, like, oh, TLJ is my favorite because it does the most stuff of I believe that. This is an enigma to me. I don't know, like, I don't know what he'd go for. I feel like it's probably not a good way to describe Lucas. Because he made, he, he partially made the OT and then he made the prequels. So you just don't know what's going on. <laughs> um, so, oof. He made the hmm. OT, then he special editioned the OT, and then he made the prequels. Yeah. Um, I, I would guess. Down. I would guess that of the the three sequel movies, I I I think he would like TFA the most. I, I feel like it might be. 
uh, might be Rise of Skywalker because it's got the most like campy prequel shit in it, and he loves that. Like that's what he wanted Star Wars. But to be. I don't, I don't think that the campiness of the prequels was intended to be campy. I think George Lucas meant that to be like a like a theatrical kind of style. I think TLJ maybe could have fooled him. I think it might be TLJ. I don't think he would be okay with the Luke Skywalker bit. I would hope he wouldn't be. Yeah. But, I, I'm but not you never sure. know. That's the thing with yeah. Lucas. You have no idea. Well. I don't know, but but if if someone out there has a secret recording of him talking about which one's his favorite, please send it our way. I would be extremely interested. As interested as even more interested than Ben Shapiro's ranking of the Star Wars. <laughs> Theo is so wrong about everything in Star Wars. He doesn't even know EU law. Yeah, that, the EU. That, that fuck make off. A copy pasta. Yeah, make it a copy pasta. Theo's critiques are poor. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though, the EU can go away. It's not in the films. Whose opinions of yeah. the sequel trilogy would you be most interested to? Say that one more time. Whose opinions of the sequel trilogy would you be most interested to learn? Um. Uh, it might be Lucas. Um, of anyone living or dead. Living or dead? Lucas. Hitler. <laughs> Stalin? I just... I, I, but pro honestly, it's probably George Lucas. Um, he would probably be the number one person that I would want to sit down with and listen to and have him explain what the sequels did to him. You know, what? It, did they make him feel positive, <laughs> negative? Did he feel betrayed by Disney? Which I'm almost certain he feels betrayed. But even then, why did he feel betrayed? Yeah. So I think the why is much more meaningful. Yeah, yeah. If, I would love to pick his brain about it. Yeah. I'd like so I know, George I Lucas said he didn't like TFA. Him. Yeah, we just covered that in the video. But, um, yeah. That Someone said mean apparently he hates the most. I don't know if that's true, but I could see it being true. Uh, and over the past years, that's exactly what Star Wars hasn't done. We all know George Lucas loves it when stories rhyme. Well, he's 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 saying there's not new characters, not new stories, not new technology. Well, I I'm gonna back it up a second time. I just want to make yeah. sure that I'm the only George Lucas quote that anyone knows. It's like poetry. It rhymes. It rhymes. And Jar Jar Sakita, all this. <laughs> Jar Jar is the key to all this. New characters and new technologies. And over the past couple of years, that's exactly what Star Wars hasn't done. We all. That's so interesting. How could you say that? Like, watch? one of the biggest problems okay. with Star Wars now is the introduction of lore shattering new technology. Yeah, yeah. Do things that break how things are established to work or how things worked prior. And the reason the old characters are basically sacrificed is to prop up the new characters and to hurry them along in their quasi journeys. Mm. Um and the I I'm baffled by the statement. Is this I, like I can't see how it's possibly true. Is this like a tacit admission that the new characters and such like aren't able to hold any weight because he just looked straight past them to all of the old things in the secret trilogy? That would be something that he might say in an offhanded way like here, but he I bet if he pressed on it, he'd try and go back on it. Yeah. But I could but but Patrick Willems, he did, he's not the person with the presence of mind to be aware of that sort of thing. Hmm. He's too busy buying hot dogs and shooting himself down in downtown Brooklyn or whatever. Beach with the Star Wars. Like I meant it earlier when I said less. You need he needs to put less work in random shots of him at the pier, and more attention to like his script and what he's actually saying and cross referencing mm -hmm. it with what he said in the past and trying to get that to align. And if it doesn't, explain why he's changed. That's another thing I'd love to know. How often? How like? how long he spends on a given script, roughly speaking, and just his process in general. Five to ten minutes. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I'm thinking about... We, we saw it in the last one where he goes into the woods and he travels around, and in this one he goes to a, 
He goes to a pier. He goes downtown to a hot dog joint. He goes to some bar randomly and he gets the permission of these random people or maybe they're people he knows to film them for his YouTube video. Like that's got it. That, that takes effort, right? You have to go out and actively do all of those things. Mm -hmm. You have to get the camera. You have to travel to the locations. Well, and I imagine in Brooklyn, it, I guess he's in New York. Someone said it's not all that easy for him to. And, and someone say, well, you could tell by the skyline. To, no, I can't tell this guy. No, um, but that takes work and effort and planning. But what he says is worthless. Yeah, it's completely thoughtless. I have returned. returned. Huh? Mahler, go is away. Back. I was listening I'm, to that, and I'm baffled by that point that Patrick would even want to entertain it for a second. No new characters, no new uh, technology. Yeah. It's weird. It's bizarre. Patrick, he's just like a he's like a, a Rubik's cube. That's all jangled we're strictly, up. We're strictly talking about TFA, right? Not the no new trilogy. characters, no new story, no new technology. Because, well, I'm going to say that regardless, uh, he's wrong, but it's more interesting oh, yeah. if it's just TFA because I guess Patrick considers like Kylo to be shit until TLJ. And I, I don't get how you wouldn't consider him a new character. Like, we would even give them that. It's like, yeah, they're new characters. They're not very well realized, but they're new characters. Um, technology for TFA. You got. Uh, Hyperspace tracking is not in it. Um, what technology for a new technology in uh, TFA? Star, Star Killer Base could count, right? Yeah, I, I'd say Star Killer Base is new yeah. technology. Absolutely. Um, what else is there? I feel like I'm missing something. Is there new technology other than that? Um, I I would say that's the big one that comes to mind. Um, it's big enough though. Oh yeah, um, sure. And, um, I guess yeah, it just we the have the same chance of the thing. lightsaber. It's not new, but it's new-ish on an old thing. The 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 little the little like fuzzy stick that blocks the lightsaber, right? Oh, oh no, Grievous's mm. guard had those kind of. <laughs> yeah, they did. They had the little vibro electro mace staffs. Yeah. Um, what we have the force powers of um, stopping a a laser bolt in the air. I'm cool. Chat, I haven't seen that before. Oh, BB-8. Chat, I was saying, Chat should be good at this. BB-8, hyperspace space tracker. That was in TLJ, you fool. The baton. You fool! They said that was in TFA. That was an actual thing someone said. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to assume that they... TFA, but they listed it here. I'm right. going to assume that they just... Well, regardless, uh, I guess I'm interested to see how this progresses, because I can't see how Patrick could agree with, with George, like, at all, but... Um, someone also, said phasma armor, so it doesn't get confirmed that that is actually armor, um, because stormtrooper armor is storm stormtrooper quote unquote armor. It's really just more of a very impractical uniform, but uh, it, that only blocks stuff in TLJ. I don't think it's in the Force Awakens that it uh, reflects a shot. Yeah, unclear on that one. Um, but apparently it is from one of the with those Naboo ships. It's made out of the stuff from that. So it's technically it's been in the, the movie. Even though that thing doesn't doesn't reflect blasters. So. Well, dude, if it did do that, like surely it would be on all ships. Or at least Well yeah, that's maybe... the thing. I it it's even in my Mando script. Like I'm baffled by all of the things we see are clearly blaster resistant. How nobody wears armor, because we just have to have our baddies you can one tap. I'm guessing that maybe blasters from like rifles and pistols aren't the same as blasters from ships. Maybe they're more powerful or different. I don't know. Maybe, but you I think just... the plating would be way thicker. <sighs> I'm, yeah. In fact, I'm almost certain it would be. I'm confused by the suggestion that there should be new technology in a Star Wars movie, though, when it's like the Star Wars universe is fairly clearly established. You have like stagnant technology. I I don't agree. Uh, the reason is that I don't because this is actually almost something I say verbatim in my um my. The, my video on Mando, my script is we have about um, like 20 something hours of mainline Star Wars movies. The idea that we've seen all the technology in the universe right. is, yeah, it's, it's highly unlikely that we have. So mm -hmm. I'm fine with the new things being introduced it, with the assumption that it's been around all along. We just haven't seen it yet. It's the, the problem comes in with, right. of course, okay. the, the, yeah, does it solve a, create oh, problems no, for it's, like it's a new combination of existing to technologies yeah. like you yeah know, yeah you design a um, ship whatever. like it, like if a faction just had teleporters we'd be like dude oh yeah, yeah i feel like that cringe. fucks up a lot of stuff it's like no only these guys ever used it you're like what <laughs> someone asks why did naboo fighter pilots wear goggles in space and in a cockpit 
That's, That's a, a good, good question. question. <laughs> That's a good question. Um, um, that, could, could you argue it's just standard gear and that it's actually useful for an atmosphere? So um, yeah, potentially it would be useful for in atmosphere if the cockpit was damaged. However, you would need to breathe. So I, the idea that, mm. you, so I would say the guy, if I was going to be super stretching it, um, I think it's just an aesthetic thing, but I think if I was going to super stretch it, I'd say that it's actually like a heads up display on the inside of the goggles. Right. And it's yeah, linked that, to the that, ship. I feel like that's writing the film for it. That is, it absolutely is. Yeah. Um, Though but, theoretically, yeah. you could have that be the case in like a newer edition. Just say like, yeah, that's what it was the whole time. You just couldn't see it from the angles that they were shown. Yeah, um, like the like the Tie uh, pilots. Uh, the inside of a Tie fighter doesn't have it, it's not like pressurized or anything like that. That's their life support system that they wear individually hmm. um, on them. So that explains that. That's the explanation for why they have the helmets and the tubes and everything. Um, so, no. Yeah. Maybe they have ju just really aggressive AC. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They're like, fuck, it's cold in here. <laughs> we'll know the George Lucas really... loves it when stories rhyme. But there's. Well, someone said it could protect their eyes from sunlight and stuff. Like, it's designed for this, so it's, any source it looks of sunlight like that clear, are intense. Though. Star Wars, I mean, like, Star Wars space battles are always treated like in atmosphere, like, in so many ways. Mm. Like, they all have a clear, like, a lot of them have a clear up and down. A lot of them have, uh, I mean, like all of them have sound. I can believe I can believe in a clear up and down, though. Um, it would, ma I think, it would make sense that navigation systems would be standardized to have a, a a direction that ships would be able to meet each other in, that the ships would kind of auto use. Because remember, like, um, like there was an autopilot on Anakin's uh, fighter in the Phantom Menace. You know, that, that would probably follow a designated, agreed upon up and down for navigation systems. And this, having those be standardized would, would be important for a galaxy. Yeah, but do you think it would benefit ships to be the same way up? Or do you think it would yes. benefit just like. Yeah, it would. Um, so almost all of ship interactions in the Star Wars universe would be in a, it, for friendly reasons, almost always for like commerce and stuff like that. And if you're going to dock with other ships and if you're going to meet them, it would probably be standard protocol. If for any other reason, just it'd be simplicity and for decorum reasons that you're both oriented the same way because ships are designed with an aesthetic and you want to be on the same, you know, quote unquote level as the people that you're talking to and hailing. I feel like strategy incorporates you, you going in like, you know, a different orient. Like, you're not going to keep the common courtesy of staying the same way up for a battle. Like, well, then, yeah, in a battle, yeah. They, once as long as it doesn't, like, if ever there was an opportunity to go off of what could be the standard navigation to benefit them. It looks like they do that. Yeah, and but, um, this is and, very and you would want to... The, it, it makes sense for soldiers in a battle, even in a space battle, to have a sense of direction. Yeah. But so like that, it would. Like so a... they would probably anchor themselves, uh, even if they weren't... If they were doing this totally, like, without any computer guidance, then they would naturally use a planet or a large spaceship as their anchor point, quote-unquote, yeah. to orient themselves like that could be a huge skill though is like is uh you know uh navigating with no like reference for up or down and that's like a, this is as well like and you don't get ships you don't get ships ever like turning different ways up as part of their strategies or whatever it's just yeah it's it's presented time. in a very what we do see ships are the <sighs> I th there's there's definitely a lot of spectacle that goes into it. I think uh, one of the best examples would probably be the beginning of Revenge of the Sith. Like, there's no way ships would ever get that close to each other. That's preposterous. Mm -hmm. And in a big clusterfuck like that. I always um, thought they were trying to imply that things were just fucked at that point, as in, like, the ships were getting so close to Coruscant that the best way to try and even stop them was just put park the Republic ships in front of them. Yeah. I so I'm saying I'm trying to write hard for the movies. No, I understand this isn't in the movies. This is me just like if I had was in charge of it, if I was writing it, if this was my universe, that would be what it is. Um, so I have no understanding of space. I would love for you to explain to me which part of what I've said shows that I don't understand space. Well, funnily enough, someone in the Discord actually explained that some of what you said is uh, real to space. There's apparently six directions for space travel, and they're called... Prograde, retrograde, normal, anti-normal, and radial and anti-radial, and they refer to up, down, left, right, in, and out. 
Yeah, yeah like, a, like it, it, it only makes sense for the purposes of intergalactic commerce and space travel and directionisms. You would have some kind of a standardization like we have on Earth, just on a galactic scale. I mean, it makes sense that every culture and planet or small system would have their own stuff, but there would also be a, a standardized galactic unit that everyone could use to get around because every you have to it's like cars on a road you all have to be cooperating as a galaxy or well, else you have problems with space travel you've got to remember though that like ships may be traveling in completely different directions like you know a, a ship may be um like you know like let's say you've got three star destroyers right mm -hmm. the two of them are like are sitting nice and firmly next to each other and they're the same way up but one of them is traveling in a direction that makes the same orientation impossible so like let's say they're both facing one direction and the third one is face is like traveling in the direction that from their perspective would be up well they it faces the way it's going so from uh from their perspective it can't be the same way up it, well it can't be the same way up of the, well know. i'm i imagine that well that that's totally logically possible within the universe undoubtedly i feel like especially in a in, in a martial sense having formations would be extremely important in space <laughs> Then there's um there's stuff as well like it never they never use it deliberately like there's a comic called Second Empire I wouldn't recommend it but uh it does this it, it, well it has um space battles where for example bombers um like for the space battle they orient like with the bottom of the ship towards the enemy wherever the enemy are because, like the weapon they're designed for like planetary bombardment and the weapons yeah. are on the bottom of the ship so uh, and, yeah. like, all of the ships are like oriented differently for strategy and like it, it's actually thought through oh this is what space battles might be like if a ship can even detect another ship they would be insanely close no i don't think so what? not at all no, would that absolutely be? not would that be the case? yeah i like for instance um the the idea that with given the so things are generally built for purpose especially things that are related to the military right so if you have ships in space, then you're not going to be building them for the rules of in atmosphere and stuff like that. You've got to be aware of the fact that things can come in from every direction. So you got to be able to shoot from every direction or you build them so that they're supposed to support each other. Um, you build them so that they can engage at insanely long distances, um, like hundreds of thousands of kilometers, things like that. Just insanely long distances because there's no atmosphere. Um, and that's how you would probably start space battles space battles wouldn't get close i mean obviously this is like a non-star wars you're this is a star wars edges adjacent hypothetical sort of mm -hmm. thing but yeah. like you would build a you would build a ship and that's supposed to be doing space battles understanding the rules of how like space works and the potentials for that. i saw a great youtube video about this and i can't remember uh chat help me out there's a great youtube video explaining how space battles likely really work they were to actually happen and talks about how um spaceships would be like so far apart that you probably wouldn't be able to see the ships you're fighting against not and with the naked with, eye um, yeah and with uh one of the main weapons would be attrition by heat so like because uh heat doesn't radiate uh, because the only way you're losing heat in space is via radiation which is very slow um your if if you're like shot with a heat weapon, it's going to heat up the, whole and like there's going to be very little way to get rid of that heat. So by just heating each other up, you you can fuck up your opponents. So that would likely be a very significant weapon. What, of, wouldn't uh, heat wouldn't heat be lost uh, someone very find... very quickly without a well like hmm? Someone yeah, I, I guess if there's it. nothing for it to there see, I, yeah, I, that's interesting. I'd I'd be super curious about how that works. Um. But yeah, the, the idea that I, I, if I was going to really sit down and come up with a sci-fi universe and think about how a space battle would function, then you'd have to really stop and think, how would the tactics of space work? Yeah. How would ships actually destroy other ships? Um, would it be like, like, like in Mass Effect, they talk about how warships just have these armies of essentially armies of hackers on each ship that try to fuck around with the other ship and get past their firewalls and things like that. And that could be an explanation for, if you want your, like, like the, again, uh, the beginning of Revenge of the Sith, you have clone troopers who are sitting on these 
manned uh like old school artillery machines on the sides of ships shooting manually right so w which doesn't make any sense in the context of a space battle uh however if you think about well because hacking is going to be such a big thing in the future and firewalls are important you'd want to have everything hardwired and if it's not uh, if it doesn't need to be part of like a ship's network then it shouldn't be that mm -hmm. could be your excuse for having a lot of things be physically manned by soldiers to give that kind of look and feel there's a lot of stuff you could do with it but i think especially in star wars's sense a lot of it's just done for the look and the feel and the aesthetics of you know battles and yeah. making it super easy for us to comprehend that doesn't need an explanation to just show it in the moment and to give that feel of you know old stuff in a new setting things that are very familiar to us that don't necessarily make sense in its setting chat found the video by the way it's uh because science is the channel i'm not sure about the specific video but i remember as the channel so uh that's, that's funny by the way uh, putting this kind of effort mm -hmm. into figuring out the the stuff beyond uh, before you reach like an actual expert and stuff it's like you you could go this far you might not have to go this far you could still have your stuff so it's like but please do more than saying you can't go up that's when you've hit rock bottom <laughs> it's like yeah and obviously this is built this is all built off of a point that we've strayed far from but it's I, just interesting to talk about i think mm -hmm. just interesting you know I'll roll Patrick back a bit until we can get back on the rails. It was important to him to present new worlds, new stories, new characters, and new technologies. And over the past couple years, that's exactly what Star Wars hasn't done. We all know... George when he says the past oh, couple of years, years, he's right. Oh, he doesn't think TLJ did it or... He said couple of years, one. didn't he? Did he? I thought he said four. I, could, I, th I think he's very being careful to say couple because that doesn't include TLJ. Let's, let's try again. Leo. new characters and new technologies and over the past couple of years oh, oh, how did i hear four what the fuck i don't know you're taking him out of context you're straw manning him this is why the live format cannot work jay <laughs> what do you have to say for yourself yeah you're racist oh. i'm gonna say i got a piece i'll be right back oh my God. well uh, i'm probably not gonna last much longer in this stream by the way i'm i'm oh. dying it's okay. We'll see it I through. I got halfway the through the video this time. Attention. Just people are getting less. What? What? <laughs> exactly what Star Wars hasn't done. We all know George Lucas loves it when stories rhyme, but there's a difference between rhyming and just repeating repeating stuff we've heard before. But <laughs> Babu Frick, though, a legend. Stop. You couldn't even do that. <laughs> Couldn't even Come do that on. without being cringy. Come on, Patrick, I believe in you. Music, be careful. Music Again, it's got to be generic. They all sound generic. Like they don't sound like actual songs. Now, what makes this all more complicated is the Colin Trevorrow of it all. Oh. A quick refresher in case you Wait, forgot. What? Colin Trevorrow, a director of Jurassic oh, World and The Book of Henry, was originally set to direct and co-write Star Wars Episode Nine. In September 2017, three months before The Last Jedi was even released, he and Lucasfilm parted ways, and a week later, it was announced that J.J. Abrams would be taking his place. Now, I've made it clear in the past that I'm not a huge Trevorrow fan, and I'm kind of ashamed of how happy I was when he left the project. But... Well, don't be ashamed of that! What the fuck? Okay. Yeah, you don't have to that's fine, I man. Gotta work on something I care about. Oh no, I'm happy. No, that's fine. I mean, Feel it was JJ Abrams. Or, or did you know it was going to be JJ Abrams? Because then maybe. I suppose, yeah, you could feel upset at that point. Recently, I hold of a copy of the script he co wrote with Derek Connolly for episode 9, at least the draft that existed in December 2016. And while I have problems with it, I genuinely think it's better than what Rise of Skywalker ended up being. Doesn't That's everyone feel that way? That's what I've heard. Is that the script the has problems, but it's the... no, like the the the, the, the Trevorrow the... script because it's a whole different thing. But people like just prefer it by far to what we got in Rise of Skywalker. Oh, you all. You... All you had to say was whole different thing, and I'm on board. Yeah, yeah. That's, I'm pretty sure most people felt that, because nobody really... There's no fans of Rise of Skywalker, really. They're, they're a small contingent. Rise of Skywalker has no good faith. Not really. 
And the thing is, it's not just that it's a better, more functional piece of writing, it's that it actually continues and builds upon the ideas introduced in The Last Jedi. It tries to move Star Wars forward. Instead of spending the whole movie screaming Rey's name and saying he has to tell her something that he never ends up actually telling her, here Finn completes the arc he had been on over the past two films, getting other stormtroopers oh, yeah. to turn against the First Order and leading an uprising of the lower classes on... <laughs> that's, what? that's the shot of him saying, Ray! Ray! Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah. Which shot of him saying Ray? That. <laughs> That's actually, isn't that the Rise of Skywalker one? I can't remember. Maybe he's got post jacket on. Well, I, I don't. I don't know that he does. It looks more like they took his face and then they've just got goop. Because that looks like goop. E -goop. But I can't. I can't exactly remember. But I just find. Sure, goop. Um, but yeah, the idea of him leading a stormtrooper uprising is already more enticing. Uh, I'd yeah. be concerned about execution, but again, much more enticing than nothing for Finn. Coruscant. There's no Palpatine. Kylo Ren remains the main villain of the story, turning further toward the dark side. And Rey, who is also not related to Palpatine, moves beyond the old Jedi ways, becoming, as Leia puts it on page 39, something new. Even the fan service makes more sense. You know how some fans have spent decades Wait, complaining it's good about, it makes sense? about how. What? Um, how dare you? Um, is I mean, that like, his I position? Would... Go ahead. I just, I, I, I mean, fan service is good if it makes sense is more our position, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but we're talking about the rise of Skywalker, so it's okay for him to say that. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Patrick Willems is a complex character. Yeah, he really is. Very complex, yeah. How Chewie didn't get out of a... Also, I just... What's up with the lighting? <laughs> he keeps doing the one side of him is dark, one side of him is light. Because yeah. the, the green... Star. It's like he's sitting in a sewer. Oh god. <laughs> represent his inner well, he does live in New York. Oh, fair yeah. enough. Oh shit, at me. End of a new hope. Well here, he does get a medal at the end, but it's for his heroic actions in the Battle of Coruscant in this movie. In Rise of Skywalker, Maz Kanata just hands him a medal at the end for no reason. No one else gets a medal. Just Chewie. I don't know exactly and it, and it was Han's medal, wasn't it? I think so. Wasn't it Leia? No. Leia. <coughs> Maz. Leia, Leia was holding Stewie it when she died, right? Han's medal. Um, I can't remember. The film's not explicit about it, right? You'd have to go to like third party shit to find out whose medal um, it was specifically. Maz Kanata. I'm guessing it was medal. Han's. Chewbacca. Let me let me Google this really quick. Um. Uh. Do 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 do. do. So, um, uh, just a second. Mm -hmm. Behind the scenes, um, <laughs> Chewbacca not being awarded a medal in the film was a source of discontent for many Star Wars fans. In an interview recorded shortly after the release of A New Hope, Lucas explained that Wookiee species don't care for medals, but that a large contingent of Alliant officers were sent to Kashyyyk for a memorable celebration due to Chewie's efforts. Blah, 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 blah. As a reference to the controversy, Maus Kanata gave Chewie Han Solo's Medal of Bravery left to him by Leia at the end of The Rise of Skywalker. So Maz gave Chewie Han's medal that was left to him by Leia. All right, then. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Why Trevorrow left the project? Maybe Lucasfilm didn't like his script. Maybe they didn't get along with him. I don't know. But what I have here is a script that feels like a continuation and ending to the story that was being told across the trilogy. Oh, that's a shame. And... I don't like the light hmm. keeps flickering. Hang on, the Annoying story me. that was being told across this trilogy, which one, TLJ or TFA? <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, mm. Instead, what got made was a movie that threw out all of that that had no interest in moving forward, that ran off of pure nostalgia and an obsession with the past. I know Lucasfilm is a company within a massive media conglomerate, with tons of people working there, each with their own thoughts and opinions. I hate to ascribe one perspective to the whole organization, but all I have to evaluate here I is think what it's... they- Yeah, the light is flickering. It, it's distracting. It's annoying I, mean, I, I, I doubt I'm losing anything of value by 
not paying attention to his words. It might be that the light is getting kind of blocked out if his right hand kind of moves in front of it. Like, it, the light is really close, but it's dim. Mm -hmm. I think so, that's what it is. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hop. I've survived. You're gonna hop? Patrick, yeah, I'm gonna hop. All right, I, where to? Uh, or just so, up in, in place? Yeah, in place. No, I've survived 20 minutes of Patrick, and that's enough for me. Good night. Hmm. Uh, why don't you tell people about what you are doing on your channel? I'm doing a, a video about original good Mulan compared to bad 20. Did I cut out there? Yeah. I'm doing a video about good 1998 Mulan, why it's good compared to 2020 Mulan, and why it's bad, and it's really fucking bad. Have you, have you noticed that in the action scenes where they quick cut, everything they quick cut over is nonsense? It's really funny. It is. Thank hmm. you. So, uh, I, I, part, I feel like it's too late. We already had Mulan EFAP movies on it. Everyone knows it's bad. It's too late. You guys, you know the part where Mulan uh, gets disarmed and, like, loses her sword? Jumbo. Uh, so they, they quick cut in that bit, so you don't really notice what happens if you, re if you, if you don't, like, look hard. But, uh, so she pushes, um, she pushes, uh, what's his name, Mr. Khan. Uh, she pushes him, and then it cuts to him falling away, and the next scene is her just throwing her sword. And it's like, oh, why did why did she do that? Well, so, because yeah. the sword was preventing her from winning. Oh, fuck. She needed an yeah, arrow. Uh, holding an or it's a sword, she can't kick an arrow into him, so... Hey, Jay, someone in chat said, eh, the 98 one isn't that good, it's funny, though. What do you think? Uh, it's really good. Wait, it's, of what? Got some issues, but it's really good. Mulan. Well, yeah, the ninety-eight one's great. No, like it's, it's got, it's got like, it's got like two points where the plot uh, has like something dumb in it, but neither of the plot never depends on either. Of them. Well, what would those points be? So uh, I'm talking about like the the point where uh, Mulan falls off a cliff. Mulan and her horse fall off a cliff, and they're able to pull them back up by a. Rope. Yeah, like, that's ridiculous. Yeah. The the thing is, they never needed to fall off a cliff in the first. Place. For the story to happen so it's just like oh yeah we could like that's a bit dumb but like you can just ignore it because the rest none of the rest of this it just happens yeah it's it's silly that like and then chin po picks everybody up and yeah. you know danny delito as he's holding the arrow and all that stuff yeah. and then the second thing is that um the soldiers are ramming down the door and mulan is like wait i have a faster idea and then it cuts to them all like in full drag, like oh yeah, sure. I'm sure. Like they had to acquire all that. Stuff. They had to find it and get it, and then convince. Yeah. You know, they had, to, they had to find like loads of makeup and dresses that fit. You no, know, even Chinpo, <laughs> uh, like the most giant character in the. What whole, makes you like, think he didn't just rip a curtain off and wrap it around himself? It, no, it's like a full on dress. That's what a curtain is. Oh, <laughs> then uh, like you know they have to get their makeup. Uh, I assume none of them have done makeup before. Uh, it's just a guess, though. And then they have to, you know, they have to get in, get in their dresses, and this is apparently faster than... And the disguises don't even do fucking anything for the story, because they end up just fighting the guards anyway. Those are the two worst parts about the line. Original. Now, say the list of things that are bad about the new one. I can't... I, um... I'll clever be, ploy to keep him here forever. Yeah, <laughs> I'll, I'll just, that's just you asking me to stay. Fine, um, I'll go to Patrick Willems for my input, not you. Troll. Uh, wait, uh, wait, I don't have to. I'm making a whole video about it. Just watch. <gasps> <Yes. laughs> Subscribe to Jaxi to find out more about whether or not Mulan 98 is terrible, as he will try and prove. Thank you, Gibby. Gibby. Bye bye. He's kicking himself. No. Uh -huh. Oh, thank God. Down to four now when we were a solid 17 once. 17? When did that happen? Shut that up. Is... Okay, I'm sorry. Take it away, Patrick. And the message I take from their releases over the past two years is that right now, Star Wars is only interested in recycling the past. It has no interest in moving forward. And that's... I just want to say this music is weird. It is. <laughs> but... It's like a bad knockoff of um, 
what's the what's the spooky ghost city in Pokemon? Lavender Town. Is that yeah? I think that yeah. it makes me th feel that, but discount. Hmm. Discount spooky. Which mm -hmm. is it's bad to have a discount version of Pokemon music. That's pretty. That's pretty bad because that that music is very simple in the games. Not bad, mm -hmm. but very simple. I like the the I love me boss some fight music. <laughs> But it is simple, you're right. <laughs> That's simple. And somehow they managed to do worse than Pokemon all those years later for a high budget TV show. Well, maybe it's not high budget, I don't know. Definitely not high quality. It's really what I'm interested in. Right now, it seems like Star Wars isn't really for me. I'm not a huge fan of the Star Wars prequels. I don't think they're very good movies, but I accept the general story developments. If you tell me that in Attack of the Clones, Anakin and Padme begin a secret forbidden love affair, and then a civil war breaks out in the galaxy, I'm like, sure, sounds cool. I may not like the execution, but I'm fine with what it adds to the overall story of the series. But it's different with Rise of Skywalker. The execution Why? is obviously much better. The acting is better, the dialogue is better, the visual storytelling is better, Babu Frick is there. But in this movie, what are the main- That's a horrible shirt to wear. You shouldn't wear that shirt. <laughs> you should be ashamed that you even created it. Let alone wear it. You should be ashamed of that. Well, like, that's me... an insanely stupid thing. To, the whole This is I a movie I... about space wizards intended for children. I'm pretty sure that's a bit of this thing again. He's like, yeah. shut up, all of you. It's, it's funny. Or, I don't know. Because this counters, like, almost all of his points about why he doesn't like The Rise of Skywalker. Mm, but he, I this is Patrick Will, he, he has no self-awareness. And as for the prequels, the writing's better than the sequels, I'm sorry. Yeah, it is. ...story developments. So it reveals that Palpatine is somehow alive and apparently has manipulated everything over the past 30 years. Also that Rey, who is really his granddaughter, can perform a ritual with- Also, of course, Patrick Willems uses a Mac. Mm. ...where he'll take over her body. But then she kills him, and the Star Wars are over. The story over the past two movies has been about the Resistance at war with the First Order. And this doesn't seem like an ending to that story. It just seems... broken. Palpatine re I completely agree, Patrick. It's yeah, nice that you're finally nonsense. realizing it. <laughs> I suppose he thinks he's already referring to The Rise of Skywalker, though. Turning makes the original trilogy worse, because it takes away the impact of Vader's action at the end of Return of the Jedi. God. Now, him turning against Palpatine is essentially meaningless, since it didn't work. I mean, I, would, I don't know if I want to go as far as meaningless. Um, it's still something he chose to do. It still means something that Vader did that. The, the, it just it just cancels out his legacy of having defeated the Empire almost single-handedly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like I don't. If I'm being as honest as possible, it's still. If we were to treat it as canon when we watch Return of the Jedi, it's like Vader still did what he did. Um, mm. But you know, I'm 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 mostly on Patrick's team with that one. I'll give you a thumbs up. It makes Palpatine's character worse, since instead of a man consumed by his hunger for political power by any means necessary, he's just a wizard obsessed with the magic ritual. Um... So, here's the thing. Those two aren't, like, incongruous. I feel like, yeah, I feel like he's still a magic wizard in the prequels, too, if you're going to be derogatory. Yeah, he was still a Sith. Sith. He yeah. shot lightning from his hands. Like, I don't... Like you, you know, you if you are in a world where you have the force, space magic, right? If you have that, you can use that to get to your goal of galactic domination. That's what, he's a Sith. That's kind of the idea. Yeah, it's a it's a weird way to put it. It makes Rey worse because it undoes the idea that she can come from nothing and become someone great. Instead, attributing everything special about her to her bloodline, and it makes the entire saga feel smaller and insular. How we did you not get that from the first two as well? Not just Rise of Skywalker. Yeah, it's it's really bad. Yeah. It's like, oh, this is when you when the, the the switch was flipped for him. It's like, did you see the other movies? <laughs> a story spanning a whole galaxy that's really just about two families fighting over decades. 
So when I think about this movie, how much I disagree with its major choices, and the degree to which I think it damages the entire series, for the first time in my life, I don't accept what a Star Wars movie does. And I realize now that my entire relationship with Star Wars has changed. Well, Bear with me. It's intended for children, so I'd swear that you had a relationship with it anyway, you but man he, child. He also <laughs> needs himself away because, like, he was talking about people like that in the previous video, like, as if he was commenting on their crazy existence as being people who tell the creators what is and isn't Star Wars and what is and isn't working and what they accept. And I, I'm guessing now he's having an existential crisis because he's one of those people after Rise of Skywalker. I don't know. Um... Poor guy on this tangent because I promise it will make sense. All right. So I love I'm superhero excited. comics. The Marvel and DC universes are these wacky ongoing stories that have been running for decades, with countless writers and artists adding to them and building on each other's work. So the story of Spider-Man is this one story that's been going since 1962, and that one ongoing story is made up of thousands of smaller stories. And sometimes there's a story that you look at and just go, nope. In 2004, Marvel published a story across six issues of Amazing Spider-Man called Sin's Past. This story revealed that years earlier, Gwen Stacy, the love of Peter Parker's life, had an affair with Norman Osborn, aka the Green Goblin, who would famously kill her by throwing her off a bridge. And because of this affair, she secretly gave birth to twins who, because of Osborn's weird DNA, aged rapidly and eventually tried to kill Peter Parker and... Whatever. It's a dumb story, so let's leave it at that. I, that sounds wacky. I don't take yeah, I, I don't take your word for it generally <laughs> on whether or not things are dumb or not. You you are the last person who is qualified to make those kinds of statements. Um Yeah, I am gonna keep an eye on chat because I, I got no context for those comics, but we'll see if everyone is it considered a terrible one, chat? Um certainly weren't many questionable decisions with with how he just summed it up. This is a bad comic. Um, doo -doo -doo. Sounds pretty dumb. The comic meant for kids. <laughs> this comic is almost as bad as One More Day. Hippo Shrug? Oh my god. That Spider-Man arc is horrible. He's definitely mm. right on it. It's infamous. <laughs> okay. It's pretty bad, pretty terrible. Yeah, it's terrible. It's infamous. Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah. yeah. Cool. I Man, it's, hated it's this shocking story. How long the I delay on YouTube is, by the way. Oh, yeah. Um, my choices with YouTube are to have quicker sort of upload or better quality upload. And I was like, I guess I'll choose better quality. Mm. Um, but who knows if how much of a difference there is. I think most I people did. It, it felt like character assassination for Gwen Stacy. This girl who'd always been presented as a good person was now cheating on Peter with his friend's gross evil dad and having secret love children. Superhero comics might basically be soap operas, okay. but this is a step too far. All right. Now that story okay. was published 15 years ago, and after I read it, I did what a lot of people did. I chose to ignore it. Sure, it might technically be a part of Marvel Comics canon, but personally, I don't acknowledge it as part of Gwen Stacy's history. When a character has been right, appearing so, um... <laughs> I don't know what to say to this. Like, yeah, personal canon versus official and IP stuff. I don't know. Yeah, I, I guess if we're just... A, I mean, are, are we just going to call it denial? I guess so. Uh, there are different continuities. Maybe it's a part of a comic... a, a line that you can actually... Like, reasonably ignore, like, Elseworlds kind of shit? I, I don't know. In a monthly comic for 50 years, you're going to get some bad stories that mess things up. What do you mean, bad stories, Willems? What do you mean? What's yeah, a bad story? Yeah, stories can be bad. <laughs> That's some dangerous, uh, there's some dangerous lingo you're slinging around there, implying and stories those, can be bad. In those cases, the best thing to do is just to ignore it and brush it under the rug. And hey, Maybe down the road, another writer will come along and write a story that undoes it. That happens a lot in comics. And it happened in fucking Rise of Skywalker. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't reference that. Maybe he will. Does he actually acknowledge yet that, that it's a bad movie? Or did he always say, I'm disagreeing and I'm not accepting what's in the movie? Because I'm not sure if that he actually said, oh, this is a bad movie. Um... 
Did he say the Rise of Skywalker was bad? I can't remember. I'm pretty sure we know he thinks that, but yeah. I, I, I'm just wondering if he says it. If I don't think he said it. Yeah, me neither. It's just like, hmm. <laughs> me. How I feel about Star Wars now. I'm not on board with this chapter in the story, so you know what? I'm just going to ignore it. I'm going to move on with my life. There is a. You could have done that anyway. You will I never let. You will never move on from TLJ. Whether or not you consider Rise of Skywalker canon, you can move on with your life. It's okay. Yeah, It'll be fine. Like we accept that TLJ is canon. Like um, that's not the yeah. Like we accept yeah. that it's shit. We've said before, like it's that's canon. our issue with it being canon yeah. is, is sad because it's so bad. Yeah, we wouldn't care if it was some random person's fan fiction on deviant art. Like we wouldn't give a shit. Because there's a lot of those already that we don't talk about. Yay. Yay. Decent tr I'm never going to watch Rise of Skywalker again. So what do right. I do now? Sure, I could spend the next year of my life obsessing over how much I hated the Rise of Skywalker. Oh, there it is. Oh, That's us, right. guys. Hey, there it is. There's That's... that Patrick Willems snark. He's, he's, he's making the attack. So I could start a petition to remake it, or uh, to get Lucasfilm to wipe it from- Because starting a petition that's easy to sign is something that just takes up so much of your life, you know? Just starting it up and then leaving it alone forever. It's like that sh- oh, what are you, obsessed? You weirdo. Canon. I could make weekly videos detailing every little thing wrong with it. I could spend my day- Well, you could do that. You could talk about all kinds of media that way. Forever. Yeah. On a podcast. Crazy. And bring in guests. And have back and forths. And go for the- you know, all kinds of big talking points. You could do that, but of course you have a life, Patrick, so you wouldn't. Hey, is starting fights with people online who like starting fights. <laughs> oh, starting man. fights, discussion, all discussions are fights regardless of context. If you say you're wrong about something, you're starting a fight. Leave me alone. Stop punching me. It's the movie because how dare they like a thing that hey, I. Hey, there it is. He's hitting I all the wanna... beats. He's hitting all the beats. Yep. Yeah, how. I just want to be able to safely snipe from my YouTube channel. This could be done from a script. Like, oh, you're not allowed to like it. It's like, John Adams made it legal. Like, why does this have to keep coming up? <laughs> you don't even know the Constitution. It's embarrassing. He is American. I didn't. But that sounds like a really shitty, unhealthy way to spend... <laughs> Shut the I fuck up, you asshole. You are the embodiment of unhealthy criticism. Yeah, what the fuck? Oh All you do is confuse We have made shit so out of many friends. Viewers. Going to talk about what we want from a Star Wars movie now. That sounds <laughs> unhealthy. It's unhealthy. Oh. Turn off the podcast right now. Go offline. Where, uh, where's my Godalb notes? It's unhealthy to discuss media. <laughs> Someone just wrote his filling <laughs> up bingo card quickly. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean he's one of the one of the big bingos. I would say he's always gonna do that. But yeah. I uh, hate to break it to you folks, uh, especially the cast here, like especially us, but chat too. All of you are unhealthy. So, uh... Really? Because I've been, like, no. uh... I, I, I... No. I don't know. Well, let me I ask you this, my... Rags. Is it okay for someone to enjoy something? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's funny because that's not even a broad enough que uh, a close enough question. It's like, is it okay to enjoy TLJ? That is the ultimate. And, of course, the answer is no. It's the only thing you can like. Yeah. yeah, if you if you end up liking it, what are you, unhealthy? What the fuck? In my time. I'm an adult, and these are movies about space wizards intended for children. You can't say that no. after everything you just said in this video, they're I'm not, sorry. Yeah, they're, they're not, though. They're, they're not movies about space wizards intended for children. That's just false. <laughs> and is, that, is this his version of embracing the meme in quotes? Oh yeah, this well, is, it, that was definitely an attempt no, at it. It's so weird to see a YouTuber who talks about movies just devalue their own craft so brazenly. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> like, I guess if that's what you want to do, like, okay. I care about them, and I take them seriously, but they're not worth staying angry about. You take a movie about space wizards <laughs> intended for children seriously? Oh, man, what kind of Patrick. a worthless man-child are you with You're all of your fucking dolls everywhere on your desk? He's stepping all over all over himself. That's the problem. He's, uh, yeah. he's just it's not hard smart to get enough a, to see it. It's hard, it's hard to get a through line from him. exactly what what is childish, what is mature, what is unhealthy. I don't know, but True. apparently, it's it involves staying angry, like some kind of ball of frustration. I don't know. I heard this one time that 
anger leads to hate, and then hate leads to suffering, and... Fuck off. No one wants that. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> Fuck off. Uh, so in this weird new post-Episode 9 world, what is Star Wars? Well, is it one big vinyl. series? Of I, I, I kind of do feel like this is funny, because he said it... I'm pretty yeah. sure he uses it to say that he used as it. That's how it works. <laughs> of nine movies? Is it a shared universe full of countless different stories? I honestly don't really know. We all want something different from Star Wars, and there's a Star Wars for whatever each of us wants. So we can each curate our own Star Wars experience. Was that lightsaber always on the desk? No. He no. moved the remote too, in he between takes. It. I mean, I guess. And, and he's got a different... Like, the... His process, because he's wearing the old shirt, but he's in the old place, but it's a new day because things are moved around, and I guess he changed his clothes, and the light's different. Does he just decide to tack things on like he doesn't actually have a plan? You just don't understand the plan. I That's correct. I do not understand the plan. Uh, oh, well. We pick our perfect Star Wars mixtape. Just the songs we love, none of the ones we don't. So this isn't new. If he's really referring to the fact that it's like, yeah, I like these Star Wars movies, I'm not a huge fan of these ones. Like, we've been doing that since the dawn of fucking time. Like, that's just, that's yeah. just yeah. how it works. The idea yeah. is like, I no, mean, you, pre you tell yourself that these are canon and these aren't. And you're like, uh, uh, they're all canon. It's just, I like ones and I don't like others. How do you... <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, it's all very strange. Um, doesn't TLJ fall apart if everything else isn't canon? Except for The Rise of Skywalker, and of course Rise of Skywalker will fall apart if everything else isn't canon, because it's all based on, it's, I don't know, it's a really weird line of thought. Don't, and hopefully, over time, we can add some new ones. For my whole life, the only Star Wars I cared about were the movies. But since lately the movies aren't really giving me the Star Wars experience I would like, I finally decided to Just branch out best. and dive into the animated shows. I know you shows. want to say it! Just Ooh. have the fucking walls already! <laughs> I don't agree with the Shut the It wasn't what I was looking for. He, do he delved into the animated shows, um, let's, let's hear his take. Theo, get ready. I don't Star Wars, I don't agree with it. Yeah, it's just fucking terrible, that is why. Maybe you can actually move on then, and not just say it. Fucking hell, dude. I've I been watching the first, and I just okay. got to the part where it starts getting really good. Some of the recent Star Wars comics uh -oh. from Marvel have been great, <laughs> and I'm really digging the new series by Charles Soule and Jesus Saiz. Maybe one day, I was the told Star the Wars I used to love- really good would come. Yeah, I- so, the, the thing here is that this is all worthless, because this is the wor- this is the most unqualified judge of quality that I could probably think of. It's, uh... Like, I- like, he's worse than randomness. If I just flipped a coin on things, it would probably do better to average out than his takes on what's good or bad. It is hard to figure it out. <laughs> Stop moving. Love will reap. Maybe one day, destiny will bring us back together. Hey, that's definitely Fuck. copyrighted. Probably. <laughs> <sighs> I don't expect that to happen anytime soon, but I'm okay with that. Okay. <laughs> Stop playing the fucking music. Okay. Oh man, look at him go. No. Oh god, oh, this will be video. funny. I'm back. How are those catchphrases coming? They're coming along real great. Hey, Patrick. Look, I know we never really talked about uh, Star Wars. I mean, you doing all right? You wanna, you wanna talk about that? It's so Is that fuzzy. why the erratic behavior's been happening? What? Star Wars? Dude, I got over that shit in like a week. I've moved on from those silly Space Wizards movies to more important, mature, sophisticated- You keep telling yourself that, buddy, as well as yeah. your entire audience. Because yeah. of course, telling people you're over something is the best way to let them know that you're over something over and over again. Yeah, constant like over we in the stream constantly. We've already known he's just gonna try and squirm in. <laughs> TLJ's great. TLJ's great. Y'all are wrong. TLJ. Also, great. I don't care about any of this. It's just stupid space movies. Shut up. It's the guy yeah. in the fucking internet argument who goes, "I don't. I literally don't even care." Lol. It's like, oh, I guess you do. Kated franchises. Have you seen the F9 trailer? 
The only Han Solo I care about is Han Solo. Justice is coming. Salute me familia. Oh, mm. Mm. What's that, Charles? You think I should talk about Skillshare? Oh, Charles, why would you do that? Jesus. Charles, why? Charles a fucking sellout. Yeah. <laughs> the ad read? Fucking Make that idiot. Money? Milk for brains. Good idea. For the past half hour, I've been talking about how frustrating and disappointing it can be when movies no. prioritize fan service and nostalgia. He probably had a solid five minutes of things to say in this half hour video. It's kind of hard to remember what was said. That last ten minutes went right by. Yeah. yeah. Um. Well, yeah, and, and then when I, when I remember this is part two, what was part one about? I was like, oh, that's like a fever dream because his videos are so shit. Yeah, this is an adventure of sorts. Yeah, that's an adventure. Aldra over story. <sighs> Look, good storytelling isn't easy to do. You've what do you... Mm, <laughs> whenever he says it, all the people who make these videos say it, I'm always like, what do you mean by it? You've got to work mm. at it and study and educate yourself. And if you want to learn more about it, allow me to direct you to the Skillshare class called yeah, yeah. Storytelling 101, Character, Conflict, Context, and Craft <sighs> by Daniel uh, Jose Older. What a, what, what a damning... Oh god. Damning uh recommendation for this class that Patrick Willems wants <laughs> us to see it. Like oh Maybe it'll teach you how to make films as good as TLJ. Yay. Uh and here's the thing. Whoa. Daniel Jose Older is one of the writers on the big new secretive transmedia Star Wars project called Project Luminous that's going to be announced next week. So okay. you can learn about the craft of writing from someone who's actually <laughs> working on Star Wars. I don't care. The people who work on Star Wars now are shit. They're the last <laughs> people I want to listen to Star Wars from. Yeah, you just spent the whole video explaining how yeah, fucking I'm Rise of Star Wars. This guy is Star Wars, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to listen to these these well, untalented but, losers. But he just he just said like Star Wars isn't for him anymore. By the way, these people make Star Wars. You could learn from them. <laughs> like, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. You can get at this class and thousands more by joining Skillshare. The first 500 people to click the link in the description will get two get free months job. of a premium membership. Whoa. You can learn wow. about writing or video production. Okay, so black text on a black background. Well, that's gonna, partially that's black, gonna be yeah. something that you Kill wanna hair. avoid. <laughs> That's something. That's something that you catch by a casual glance of your project before yeah. you post hey, it. Hey guys, yeah. have you subscribed to Kill Hair? Yeah, it's kill a great, hair. great hunting hair. Yeah. Kill hair. Get two free how, months of hunting of hair. That's how God of War starts, right? <laughs> or even stuff like cooking. Oh, there you go. There we Classes go. Classes taught hey. by experts and professionals. He fixed it. But now he's got bright green over white. Yeah, not the Stop, combo. Pat. Stop. Oh, come on, Pat. What are you doing? It hurts. Most of also, these he needs to recenter himself now. He needs to move further to the right. Under 60 Percent. minutes with short lessons to fit any schedule. So in two months, you can fit in a lot of classes. Also, he's wearing this outfit to do the Skillshare part. So, like, timeline-wise, how did he construct this video in terms of how he shot it? Did he start oh, off yeah. making this because he's wearing that outfit that he did the skit with? I guess. And then wrapped up the skit with? Yeah, but sure. he, he didn't even... Because he wasn't in the same frame ever as those two guys at the end, so... Hmm, interesting. So again, join Skillshare at the link in the description for two That's free better. months. You get to learn new skills, it helps out the channel, <gasps> everyone wins. We did it. Hello, Even welcome back, and thank you for oh, watching what back. I think is the last Star Wars video I'm ever going to make. I can tell none of you believe sure. me, but I really think this is it. I got what everything I wanted to comes out? Remember, he's not obsessed. <laughs> Stop. Not obsessed, no. It's amazing how he's been able to dupe all these people into giving him money. That's insane. Hey man, what a, what an so empty, insightful. vapid, worthless video that's self-contradictory and lacking in talent in almost all respects. So much effort into, I don't care. I don't care about Star Wars. I nope. don't care. Not me. So anyway, Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> Say into this one. On the second channel, if you didn't know, we have a second channel, so go subscribe. My friend David Chen and I mm -hmm. are doing a commentary discussion about this video, talking about how it was- A commentary about this video. God. Okay. Well, shouldn't okay. you have put that in the video? No, because that's commentary on the commentary that is in the video. That's a whole different thing, Rex. Oh, because I guess my brain just thought that 
this one is so empty and vapid and worthless that we really actually need some more actual content. Go get it from the commentary. Was made and expanding on the tire. It's like a. I was made. You set up a camera places and walked in front of it. Yeah, he's gonna do. Hey, a commentary. you say that as if it's not. It's incredible. Shut up. He probably had to buy that lightsaber for the shot. <laughs> Give it back. Companion piece. We did this for the Zemeckis video, and hopefully we'll do one for each new video, so be sure to check that out. Okay, some people to thank. Adam Lance Garcia for helping me shoot a bunch of this video, and for being a script consultant and letting me bounce ideas. Um... A script consultant? Fire him. Fire <laughs> him. <laughs> He's worthless. ...off of him constantly for weeks, while I tried to figure out what weeks? I wanted to say. Weeks?! <laughs> <laughs> I assumed you did this off the cuff in 10 minutes. Weeks? What? Weeks! Jeez. Uh, thank you, Brian Metolius, for composing the amazing music <clears throat> in the opening scene. Thank you, Dave Wiskus, for helping me though. shoot the scene in the bar. And I want to thank the bar subject uh, that let us film inside. It's a great bar on the Lower East Side. If you were in New York, definitely check it out. Um, these shirts that say this is... No, because they're complicit in your crimes against <laughs> humanity. <laughs> <laughs> movie about space wizards intended for children are available in our merch store. Why would you buy that shit? It's so embarrassing. Why it's would you do that? It is anyone who wears that shirt should be ashamed of themselves. In fact, they if put you the buy shirt that on shirt, people in prison, you are pathetic. They All make right, you, they make you wear it in shame school. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> learn about shame. Or there's a link in the description. You can support this channel on Patreon, where you will also get access to. Early announcements about videos, our Please. Discord server, live stream Q and A's, a bunch of stuff like that. Give me money so, so you can maybe talk that. to me on my Discord server. <laughs> I mean, hey, if it works out, you know. You, don't you want to talk to Patrick Williams? No. Oh. Out. Listen to the podcasts, the Infinity Podcast, and can't get enough of Keanu. Links in the description, of course. New episodes every single week. We have a subreddit, r slash thrillums, where you can talk about the videos or movies or whatever. So go check that. Uh, so go check that out. And I think that is everything. I think that's the end of the what video now. I we'll have know. another one next week. Wow, I can't believe it. I better get to work. Uh, I'll see you then. You don't work hard. Wait, tap to... Okay. Well, we did it, everyone. Well, I still don't know what I want from a Star Wars film. Yeah. What do we... Yeah, um... <laughs> What a worthless pair of videos. It's, it's uh, I mean, I guess the, the rest of us can profit off its terrible example, but... Mm, that was the, uh, waste the, of time. The ultimate conclusion, I guess, is that it's, it's a matter of we just take them as they come, and some of them we take because we want them, and some of them we leave because we don't. Which Sweet. was, again, it feels like the first video where it's like, yeah, we already knew that. <laughs> I don't understand why the... Mm. It's a weird video. Um, but... The Wilhelms has been defeated. I'm sorry, he's gone. <sighs> See you again Bye. in episode 304, Patrick. Vanquished. <laughs> I'm hoping I'm dead by then. Da, 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 da. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, outside of saying that video wasn't very good in a more extreme sense, that's, that's, uh, we did it. That's it. Hooray. Do, no you, one. do you feel accomplished? No. Oh, um, I feel older. Mm -hmm. <laughs> More seasoned in the awful. <sighs> well, I guess it's on to super chats. Yeah, I guess so. Any <laughs> fun stuff? We'll have a look, see at what people are saying. Oh. I'm mm. super curious. Oh gosh, that theme tune in the background. Just uh, give moment. I shall rise them. But uh, yeah, I'm still stuck on that one level in the Halloween part of Sonic, so at least it's thematically relevant. Whether or not I take a million years to get past it. Um, and yeah, this is the time. I suppose we'll do this ones now, attached to the stream, and then as soon as we get past them, yeah, we'll try and catch up. Another picture yeah, go for it. Of Wolfie just now. <laughs> oh, wait, hang on. I'll put it up on Shkrisms. Oh my goodness. Also, this one he sent 
early on. That was kind of funny too. <laughs> Stole my Christmas. <laughs> I mean, I don't think you guys should make fun of Movie Bob and Patrick. They've they've gone through a lot. They've probably been they they're probably yeah, getting look. made fun of a lot, so we shouldn't pile on. Imagine your Halloween was stolen by someone. You wouldn't like that. Good back, hey. It's mine. Come on, Sanic. Come on, screen. Sanic. Gotta go fast. Why hasn't it shown up? I don't know, Mom. Oh, because it's not set right. Sorry, everyone. There she is. Beautiful. All right. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Henry Mancini. What's that? It's the guy who wrote that song. No, I meant What's what the... is that? That is a person. That is a. Uh, ah. He's a. He's a. He's one of them musical. Musicals and. Musicals. One of them. One of them humans. All right. Human. I got him. This one says Muller, yeah. how embarrassing. Dot 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 dot. I think they're starting up the uh, the copy pasta, but they just didn't do any more of it. Uh, how uh, embarrassing! Well, Your critiques mm. are insufficient. Oh my god, you can have ninety nine save files in this game. Wow, oh. impressive. Yeah, not bad. Here you go, guys. You can play ninety nine different Sonics all at once, and you can even progress each of your Sonic teams. Or, or Chaotix, Rose, and Dark Team in each file. So much content. Um, this says, hey cuties. I feel like that, that word is cursed now. Like, when nobody can use it in any other context. It's just really... Very um, I'm only on 83, but I have to see more Wilhelms. Yeah, it was interesting, uh, you know, checking him out, seeing how he was doing, you know? Not much has changed. Oh, I guess he's changed a little bit. He's... he's He's learned about how some things are shit. Um, he just, just get, he keeps getting more and more complex. He's, just, he's having trouble explaining his issues with Rise of Skywalker without coming across as the very people he was trying to criticize in the. Uh, I'm that the movie is bad. I'm, I'm yeah. pretty confident that he never said it's a bad movie. You know he oh, thinks it though. Yeah, was a, I yeah. don't agree with it. I don't accept it. Mm. JJ Abrams, how fucking dare you? <laughs> Fuck you, man. <laughs> You've stolen my Star Wars. Um, Give it a Are you? Um, Shalom, Rags. Oh, hello. Baldur's Gate 3 is around 60 gigabytes and larger than COD. Ooh. Damn. Uh, I thought wow. COD was like 200 and something gigabytes, though. Yeah. How's that that's, not, that's probably a shit ton of content, considering that the other stuff that they make isn't like graphically intensive or anything. Hmm. So that's good to hear. Hopeful to hear, but yeah. Um, I mean, you know, biggest size games is fine. It's just when I think most people agree. It's like when it gets to the absurd. It's like, boy, hang on. It also depends what kind of content you receive. I mean, mm -hmm. I don't mind downloading for a bunch of time if I get some good shit out of it. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, what will the next video you upload be, Mauler? I suppose before we close out, I will talk about that today. Mm -hmm. I said I'd talk about it next week, last week. So now it is those two things have neutralized themselves. It means it is time. Uh, hey, Longman, have you played Call of Cthulhu 2018? Gameplay's just okay, but story and atmosphere are great. Hi, J. Kick Rags. I have played that game. I thought it was fucking terrible, and um, I was so annoyed with it. I went through it all with uh, Mr. Emi, actually. Uh, I hated it so much, I was tempted to make a video, but I was in the middle of a big series at that point, so I was like, I, I can't. But Call of Cthulhu fucking sucks. Um, mechanically, it's garbage. The story is nonsensical. Um, the atmosphere is, like, fine at some points, but I feel like it ruins itself. Any of you guys know what it is? I know of it, but is that that came out last I year? Played it, 2018. I play through all it. I was so not happy weird. with it. Yeah, it's... I mean, I was never interested in it, but uh, yeah, I think Scuff. it would have been good to help me because you you like that shizzies. 
Yeah, I was super interested, and then I was like, this is poo. I demand my poo back. They took it out of my colon and spread it across my screen. Oh, yeah, that was... Uh, so, wait, someone brought this, not a super chat, though, but um, uh, no one's gonna bring up how Patrick said that he trusts Bob Chipman and Bob likes The Rise of Skywalker? Like, hmm. Oh, yeah, ha! Hmm. I don't know if people still want to do things. I forgot like about that. It's insane to me. Also, I just got killed in, like, a casual way, and I'm resetting because I need more lives. That's how serious I'm taking Sonic now. <laughs> oh. I gotta do better than that. I just realized it's the same level from last time. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. I've been stuck on this one for ages. It's, uh, I'm not good at Sonic Heroes. There's probably something I'm missing that's really obvious, but uh, you guys have got to suffer through watching me play Sonic Heroes until I complete it, okay? I'm playing I'm playing my own game. I don't need to do shit. And then ah, Luigi's Mansion is next. At least I'm good at that. Or, well, You've already played I, that one. But yeah, Who but it's Halloween. It? I can play it again. You know how it works, Rags? Right? Spooky game. Play a different spooky game. No. Literally name one other spooky game in the existence of humanity. Resident Evil 4. It's not that spooky. Yeah, I... Uh, it, it's spooky. <laughs> it's just not that spooky. It's not how spooky. Um, like, it's not even a 7 on the spooky scale. I would agree. It's 5 out of 10 spooky. And mm. this isn't even like... Like, even a 10 out of 10 spooky just means it's really spooky it doesn't it even a, mean it's scary yet is it's it not even on a it's on it's not on the scary scale there, there are parts of it that are scary is it uh, as spooky as sonic heroes um it i mean sonic heroes certainly looks horrifying yeah see and it's like oh resident evil 4 is like how is that spooky Poopy. compared to sonic heroes i mean so, you know. if i stream a game it might be that just going through that and answering questions and stuff do it or Dead Space, maybe. Oh yeah, Dead Space is fucking awesome as well. Um, doo -doo -doo. Did Rags find his Yoko Ono? Were you looking for a Yoko Ono? Hmm. Oh, because I was late? They're like, I, I, I found oh. like the Yoko broke, you know, it's Yoko broke up the band, that sort of thing. Which is why I wasn't on EFAP, because I was with my Yoko Ono. Oh my god. But I guess, woman? I don't know, I've never been, I haven't yet been presented with, no, I have, never mind, don't worry about it. I think we're all curious how that sentence is going to end. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Hi, Mola. Hi, Mootle. Hi, Theo. Hi, Rags. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. When he, oh, Rags, when he gets here. Also, kick the statistic. Kick the statistic? What? Is it? That was from Mihai Cheek Sent Mihai. Oh. He hates statistics. Rags replacement will be Patrick Willems. How's that for a twist? Wouldn't that be funny? That would that would certainly be quite a twist. Mm hmm Oh no. No 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 no, don't infinitely kill me. Eh. Oh no. Oh no. Birthday live streams are the best streams. Thanks for the fun tisms. Happy late birthday, El uh, Mola and hello Rags. Why thank you. Oh, hey. And yeah, that What's was fun. I, I like Amnesia a lot. Um, not just from the experience of spooking me, which is, you know, it's less and less able to do that as time goes on. That's only as a result of me knowing the game inside out. Um, and it was fun talking about what I think was really clever with bits of the design and trying to understand uh, the lore ahead of time, because Rebirth is more than likely going to be referencing it. And we'll be streaming that one uh, over on this channel, so you don't have to actually go anywhere. <laughs> but yeah, it's going to be fun. And hopefully, if Rags can play it as well, we'll have ourselves a little discussion about whether or not it's shit. The new Amnesia? Yerp. Oh, yeah, of course I'll play it. Absolutely. Mel, you play it too, okay? No, no, I, I not going to not play the new Frictional game. Yeah, Mel, what the fuck? Sure. You going to? Wait, when does it come out? Uh, 20th. 10 days. Uh, that dep actually depends if I have money for it. <laughs> Fuck it, I'll, 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 I'll gift it to you for- I gift people things on Halloween, not Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with that. No, I had to put down my deposit, uh, this month on my flat, so... Mm. I, well, I can't spend wild money. I mean, yeah, if, you, if you're happy to play it on stream, it could be a lot of fun for discussion to them. Yeah, I'll play it on stream, for sure, then. Sweet! 
There oh, you go, that's time. incentive for you guys to go and find his channel on Twitch and subscrizzle. Or wait for the uploads on YouTube. When, after we watch the thingy tomorrow, should we play more Phasmophobia? Ooh. Ah, we can do that. Well, well sounds interesting. not that I'm well. trying to remain secretive about that thing that we're doing tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know why, I, like, there's no reason, but uh, of the people, I think the p first person to bow out will probably be Fringy or Jay, right? What I'm suggesting is, what do you think you guys are going to be looking like in terms of how much time we can spend? Because we could theoretically do an EFAP gaming. Wait, why um, I mean, Saturday is normally devoted to EFAP anyway, so yeah, it should be. I mean, my my whole weekend was booked out for EFAP this time, mm. so... Uh, yeah, well, probably... you know what? Either way, we'll just see what everybody's willing to do, and we'll, and maybe for tears free, who knows? And stream some Phasmophobia, maybe some golf? Wait, they're stealing all my coins, the fuck? Damn again. I can't follow him again. Follow me again, goddammit! You're not do trying you know hard enough. You can follow him more than once, because he has more than one thing. <laughs> Go to his YouTube. Yeah. Watch his John Wick video. John Wick 3 is not good, PayPal. John Wick. It's not quite bad. New, 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 new. He's even gonna go after John Wick 2 once he's got enough <laughs> time to do. Can. Do the grab. Also, I'm low on rings again. Mm. Don't die. Wrangle okay, that's good. Whoa. Uh. Do another EFAP villain list slash play Shadow the Cringe Hog. <laughs> hey. Shadow the Cringe Hog. I saw someone Shadow said, was... like, when he started out, he was a really good character, but they ruined him as time went on. And I was like, uh. That's such a bizarre thing to hear. They ruined Shadow the Hedgehog. I guess, the yeah, maybe might... they did. It's possible. <laughs> How come, why does that background look so weird? Hang on. I guess it is supposed to look like that. All right, well, you can see Spooky Ghost in the background every once in a while. Oh spooky. my god. Sneaking around, he's doing a spook. Um, I love Eve happened on a Friday. Also, hi, John. Yeah, John's gone now. He'll be back yeah. one day. But only if he apologizes to me. I don't think he will. Yeah, he's a piece um, of shit. The Tick does superhero subversion better than the boys and is more entertaining. Watch that instead. Completely agreed. In fact, I, I would... I think it's sad again. I won... Like, there's a good chance I'll show you that, Rags. The Tick is way better than the boys. So good. Pretty funny. I wonder if you got it too. The... Mm. Do you know anything about the Tick, Rags? No, I just know that it's a character, a superhero character. He's like... His character, if you will, is like he's as strong as Homelander, but he's kind of dumb. And he wants to help people, and he just goes into situations like, I'm gonna beat up the way he talks as well. It's like fucking Captain Quark from uh, Ratchet and Clank. Um, like, I am the tick. You stop there, villain. <laughs> like, it's fucking fun to watch. <laughs> but that shit, that shit gets cancelled. Yeah, that got cancelled after two seasons, uh, and they're fun two seasons to watch, so I recommend. Yeah. I just, I just got a text. I need to head out for like ten minutes or so, and then I will be back. No problem. No problem. Yeah, even Mel gave you permission. Yeah. I'm, I'm. Uh, just a second. Let me confirm this. Car carry on like normal. Let me double check on this thing. I might, have, I might have fired a little too early on that one. I guess it depends. Uh, tell me you guys saw Patrick grow his beard out. I. I think I did. I think someone looks, sent me a photo of it. it probably like... looks as horrific as the facial hair of all the people in his videos. So. Wow. Um, it's, it's like a rule on YouTube it. for some reason that you just have to have terrible facial hair if you make these videos. I did remember thinking it looked weird. I was like, man, him with a beard somehow looks... I don't know. Like I said, weird. Can you just die, giant man? Oh, shit. I would like I... my partner to be able to cut my beard properly again. But they're just un they're not allowed to <laughs> because of the Rona. Damn it! It's really annoying. I'm trying to keep it tame myself, mm -hmm. but it just doesn't look as good if you. Well, do if you just take a buzz saw, um, step one. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I always just walk into a lawnmower. Mower. <laughs> uh, kick Jay. Where is Rags? Rags is here, and Jay has been kicked. Oh. Yeah. All is right with the world. Yeah. Everything is all right. 
Why did you start streaming during my work? You know, sometimes we gotta change things around scheduling wise in well, order to. Why did to... you start working during our stream? Yeah. yeah. Bitch. The ultimate question. I can still hit this guy, right? Yeah. Okay. Aye. A channel called Hello Future Me just made an hour long video praising The Last of Us 2. You should totally spend a couple of months covering it. Maybe sometime <laughs> in the distant future. Yeah, because that game's shit. It's a poopy game. Rags is gone now forever, thankfully. Praise John. Wow. Nope. Oh, by the way, did I did tell you that like a, uh, when I was meeting up with a co-worker, he was trying to talk about The Last of Us 2, but he initiated with... Did you hear people don't like the game because of the lesbians? I was like, no, they don't. What? <laughs> no, I've never heard that. I've, I've like legitimately never heard that. I'm not even... Yeah, I was going to say, I think that's the first time I've heard the straw bad that people only hate it because of lesbians. Yeah, because um, of the strang women and all that shit. I've heard that people hate it because you have to play as a girl, which is a really funny criticism considering you play as Ali in the first one. Yeah, I, I cut him right off. And, and it was like, well, I didn't even play it, so I don't care. It's like, shut the fuck up then. <laughs> yeah. Wanna run my mouth, you see? It's like they, uh, they tried to initiate a conversation with that. I was like, yeah, no, that's not really the issue people have with this, but sure. If it makes you feel better to say that's their issue, then go for it. Um, do, you seen the Fall Guys Flash Kids video? It reminded me of the wholesome family fun content that I remember from Newgrounds. Also, hi John. I have seen that. I've not it's, seen that. Um, it's funny as hell. The, the idea is what happens to the Fall Guys after they fall down the um thing. <laughs> and awesome there's like Mario. this one Fall Guy down there who's eating all of the corpses. <laughs> Good shit. They made one for Among Us as well. I didn't find that one as funny, but I do love all the Flash Kids stuff. They're fucking nuts. In a good way. Oh, stupid ghost. Now I only have one special hoop. Oh, um, we got Hi John, Hi John, Hi John, Hello John, Wick was 2 was good. Wait, what? <laughs> no. Uh, hello, John. Hi, John. So many hi, Johns. John is popular, seriously. I mean, he's the best character, objectively. It's a mm -hmm. shame he can't come back. Yeah, man. Yeah, he's gonna miss him. He's in the ditch somewhere. What? Uh, <laughs> long live Spooky Ween. My name is John, and I am indeed here. Also, hi, Rags. Hey! Surprising how much, uh... John was just liked from the beginning. I didn't expect it, but, you know, there we are. Yeah. Pretty sad he got into that car crash. Yeah. Hey, Mewshly, you still live with family, no? So how come you're never interrupted while streaming? What do you do? Put a sign on the door saying, Do not disturb, fap in progress? If anybody <laughs> in my household wants to get anything, I can hear them coming before they get in, and I'll usually just mute. I mute a surprisingly large amount. It's just that it's a local mixer mute, not um, on screen. So the whole point is that I don't interrupt anything, and you guys think everything's fine. Um, yeah. Which is why sometimes you'll ask me something, and I'll be delayed for a few seconds, and then I'll go, oh, blah, 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 yeah, this is this, because I was muted. Um, but yeah, it's it's just so that, you know, some people out there don't even uh, mute when they're about to burp, you know? They'll, they'll instead turn it into a word, or just try and make it as loud as fuck you, game! As loud as fuck you, game? That's, That's um, that is a type of burp, yeah. So, uh, yeah, um... Just gotta be careful, but you know, interruptions. They happen for us all, be it through phone or a wild animal bursting in. Just gotta try and deal with it. Yeah, it happens. Killed you, annoying thing. Part two, woohoo! Also, hi, John. Hi, John. Glad, is, glad you finally made it on. Hi, John. Yeah, he would have said hi to all of these. He's just not here. He probably would have. Uh, Jay is making sense. Kick Jay. Hi, Rag. <laughs> hey! Yeah, there you go. Um, Alright, must possibly constant- why does this game- why? Like... Hmm. Losing all my lives in this part and it's just like- it's really fucking annoying. Lime, lime green hunk. Uh, they sent this. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Wait, is there a joke there or is oh, it god. just crammed? I Looks funny. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Patrick Willems put this out, yeah? 
I mean, I guess. I just All got right. screenshots. I don't know. I just looked at a picture and it said it was funny enough. It is. It's kind of terrifying. Um, do, do, do. Uh, EFAB on my birthday. Could be. Could there be better timing? Ooh. Have a great stream, Massives. Hello, Raggles, and good day to you, Mola. Anyone else, oh, I guess. Oh, hello. Oh. Really Happy well. birthday. Yeah, and thank you. And, uh, yeah, like I said, it's, it's, I think it's hard for us to go in EFAB now without someone's birthday being happening. And I've just lost three lives in a row. Uh, one of them through in a very embarrassing means. I'm going to be here for a long time, folks. The book doesn't support what I want, so I'll write my own. Hashtag Bible translation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kind of. Yeah. Uh, also, you're a grown-up who can't drive, and your critiques are poor. John is better. <laughs> John is fucking taking over. He's just gonna be more popular than all of us, which is fine, I guess. If things have to go that way. Um, I miss John. Hi, John. Mola, John, help I'm Mootle. Sorry. He is becoming a weeb. He is playing Genshin Impact. Nah, nah, nah. Um, Metal, I'm gonna cast an anti-weeb spell upon you. That's okay, I still play the game. Oh. oh, there we go, I didn't die this time. Thank you, game. <clears throat> I also celebrate my Exodus Virginus today. Hi, John. Exodus Virginus, yeah. A lot of... That's one, I haven't done that one before. Pretty good. It's, uh, it's a good thing to celebrate, you know? Celebrate. Eh. Open annoying. Uh, I also. Oh, wait. Uh, Theo is subjectism, argues against objectivity. Oh my god. Much <laughs> as does many. Yes. I'd say more people do than don't, to be honest. But that's fine. You can be wrong. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, actually, I'll be right. <gasps> About the Clone Wars? <laughs> that too, yeah. Yeah, let's go with that as well. <laughs> that is also shitty. It's like, oh my god. Yeah. Uh, Jay's feminine avatar still triggers me. Well, <laughs> what? who does that say more about? Uh, let's, let's, yeah, how about that? Yeah, sounds like you're a wombo. Pure wombo. Press Whoa. the buttons, team. Come on, Sanic. Do the thing. Okay, good. Oh my god. Let's, let's hope this one works this time. Thank you, Death Perception. Oh, one life no. left. I can do this. It was um, like one or two lives. Rags and Mola should play Struggling for EFAP Gaming. You guys have avoided it. I struggle every day in my life. Oh. <laughs> nah, not really, but that you know. sounds horrifying. Oh, but yeah, I have no idea what that is. It's all spelled in all caps. I don't know if that makes a difference. Ow. Let you me a little googling. Mm -hmm. Struggling or struggle? Struggling. I'm back. Game. What is this? Oh my god, that looks horrifying. <gasps> Physics based core platformer. Physics based? Oh, it's like Portal? Kind of. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's on Steam. This is not Let me check space. Steam hmm. then. It has a horrifying title picture, though. So ready. You're like about to share it. Morphing into each other. Yeah. So not sure what that is. Uh, let's see. Um. Ooh. Ew. I will let the music play. I will be right back again. Shouldn't be too long. But uh, you know, you guys talk about porn or whatever. Uh, yeah. I'm s s looking at struggling. Wait, that's a head flying around? That looks really weird. That could be fun. <laughs> I'm just gonna put this on my wish list. There was a unicorn farting rainbows. Good stuff. Yo, Rags, how was that booty call? That wasn't a booty call. I would have been gone way longer if that was a booty call. You may shorter. <laughs> Or maybe they finished that quick. I don't know. I got an ass like fire, so who knows? Quite a haunted house. Gloopin', 
What's that last tism? Tell me, where is it? <laughs> who the fuck is John? You don't know John? Wow. Wow, I don't even know who John is. Fuck wow. that. Fake fan confirmed. What's Mahler doing? Uh, he's at BRB. Uh, ah! Po Poopin? I don't know. I turned on this the stream now to watch his whatever he's doing. I was like, huh, is he waiting to pull off some incredibly advanced hedgehog maneuver? <laughs> he's waiting for that for that one uh, pattern for the speedrun strats. Come <laughs> young. Ow, yeah. Is Mahler red? No, he's blue. Is Mahler <laughs> red? R E A D? Is Mahler. Maybe they. Is Mahler. Read? <laughs> well read. Are they assuming he can't read because he's Welsh? Oh, it's supposed to be is Mahler dead? Is Mahler <laughs> dead? No, go with red. No, yeah, I think he just had red. to step out for a moment. Coincidentally, when I did. It's I'm very odd. Mm. Shocking. No, you well, the last like time he left, things went well, so... You, you, you did, like, a switcheroo at the exact time, so... Oh. That's... <laughs> We're in cahoots. We had to discuss the next, uh... Our secret plan for the stream. Yeah. What's your favorite... This is Rags, what is your favorite horror level in a non-horror game? Hmm. Um, you'd have to give me a moment to think about that. Hmm. I couldn't tell you one. <laughs> oh. Whoa, that enemy is going nuts. Does Mola is kill? Maybe. Yes. Um. Okay, people watching Mola doing a poop break. Fuck yeah. That's how it there's, does. There's a scene where you go in Baton Katos, Eternal Wings in the Lost Ocean. There's a segment where you go into like a spooky old manor and the enemies are kind of creepy in the way that they look. That might be one. I, I wouldn't say Hellblade is a non-horror game. It's it, It's got some pretty spooky parts to it, definitely. Um, But that's what comes to mind. Um, Trying to think of something more familiar and mainstream, but... Um, nothing in Resident Evil 5 was even remotely approaching scary, so... Oh, Resident Evil 5 is just fun for the co-op. <laughs> uh, hmm. Horror level in a non-horror game. Oh, someone says uh, Raven Home from Half-Life. Oh, cool. yeah, that's not bad. Yeah. Not a bad one. I remember that one vividly, and I haven't played this game in a long time. Next. Um... Yeah, that's good. Um, I'm hospital in Bioshock. That's 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 decent. That's a pretty decent answer. Ravenholm was a good one. Yeah. Um, Hellblade has like a ten minute unskippable intro where like the credits, <clears throat> and they also establish the voices in her head and the things that they say and kind of what she's trying to do. Wow, you're an idiot. <laughs> You like Bait and Kato's Origin? Never played it. Never played it. Someone said the library in Halo CE. That's a good answer. That's actually a really good answer. The first flood mission. Uh, no, not the library. The first mission you find the flood in Halo Combat Evolved. Um, I would say that's a pretty darn good answer. Um, hey, Rags, which Guild War 2 race is objectively the greatest? Char, obviously. Not even close. Um... In a non-horror game. Yeah, Intro of the Flood and OG Halo. Yeah, I would agree. The damn level in COD 1? I, I don't think I ever even played the first COD game. I think 2 was my first one. I'm pretty sure I played them, but I have like zero memory of them because it's been so goddamn long. I'm pretty sure someone brought up Witcher 3. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's some there's some scary stuff in the Witcher 3 stuff that's uh, fairly spooky. Yeah. Oh, it was a thing in one of the DLCs. Uh, I think there was the there was that spooky house in 
Blood and Wine. That was pretty good, I seem to recall. I think I still have to do it. I haven't finished Blood and Wine yet. Uh, okay. But so far, it's been really good. Hmm. Um, let's see. Flood were introduced in 343 Guilty Spark. Then yes, um, that one, yeah. Couldn't remember the, um, couldn't remember the name of the mission. But I recall the mission itself very well. Uh, the Dunwich Building in Fallout 3. Good answer. Good answer. That's, that is a really good answer. Yeah. Surprised I didn't think of that. Someone said the opening of Resident Evil 4. I would, I'd still consider Resident Evil 4 close enough to being a horror game. Yeah, but, already on the Yeah, edge. but it's, it isn't really scary, though. But if I had to pick up the scary segments, they'd basically be the regenerator parts. Two of them, where you first find the regenerators on the island, uh, and you can't, like, proper kill them yet. No, I mean, technically, you could just fill them full of really bullets and eventually it. kill them. It's not worth it, though. But, yeah, it isn't worth it without infinite ammo, basically. Um, and then the segment where the regenerators are in those little cells. Uh, let's see. That's... Dead Money from New Vegas. I don't remember that one. I just got Dunwich again. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, the finale of Heart of Stone. Uh, so, I loved Gontor Odim. I thought he was an excellent villain. I loved Gontor Odim. Uh, it's a shame I've kind of forgotten about him. But, like, in terms of there's so much, but thinking of back and being reminded of him. I loved him as a um, as an antagonist. I thought he's he was a fantastic great. villain. Loved it. Um, that's fantastic. Yeah, just being reminded of Hearts of Stone and how good of a villain he is. Damn, I need to remind myself to never forget him because some of the missions surrounding him and the sprinklings of lore that they give about him are really good and kind of spooky. Yeah, they give you just enough that he's like super unnerving, but they never tip the hand too much. Oh yeah. Much. Oh, we talking about Kylo Ren? We're talking <laughs> about Gontaro Dim, uh, the the one of the pro uh, antagonists of um, the Hearts of Stone DLC for The Witcher Three. Oh. Um, and by the yes, Amani, regenerator breathing is haunting. Mm -hmm. And somebody brought up. Um, let me try to find it. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, I saw it just a second ago. Um, let's see. Someone brought up one. Damn it. Um, the collector level on Mass Effect 2? Nah. Um, oh, yes. The Gary Vaults in Fallout 3. Those were spooky. I agree. I'd agree with that. They were spooky. Are we doing, like, best things that were themed to be spooky or things that are actually scary? Best Best horror parts of non-horror games. Like, would this actually would would this level in Sonic Heroes count, or is it just because it's? <laughs> <laughs> I think like legitimately kind of spooky parts of like games that of aren't a, like horror games. A bit more like of these serious... levels stand out. Hmm. Yeah, because uh, I mean, I really like the Halloween levels in uh, Hit and Run, but not because they're scary. You know. Someone said, what's spooky is Metal Gear Solid 5's lack of content. <laughs> I don't agree that there's a lack of content in Metal Gear Solid 5. There's plenty of content. Just... Somebody apparently said Portal 2 is horrible in chat. That upsets me. Oh, no. Portal 2 is amazing. Frags, have you ever played Amnesia Machine for Pigs? Fucking if hell. so, thoughts? I've played it for like three hours. And I stopped. Um... Is a it's a hollow clone of Amnesia. Yeah, it's mechanically neutered. Um, and the scares are much more superficial. They're not, like, crafted. It's very much just, just cheap spooks. So, like, technically they work, but it ain't the same. It's, la it's lazier horror. But I'll probably go back and finish it eventually. Hmm. The ending that is, this was pretty fun. There's a big speech at the end I remember really liking. Um, but it's a 
It's a weird game that you can tell Frictional didn't make is the problem. Please be good, Rebirth. Gontro Dim equals God, not very subtle. Not God. No. He, he's way closer to being a, like their version of the devil. Hmm. Not God, no. <laughs> Mula, Soba sounds like Robo, which is a boring Mexican movie. <laughs> <laughs> Alright then. <laughs> but he's a death of shame. How unfortunate. Um, yeah, we, uh, we carrying on, or is there more examples we're looking for? Not you can, you can continue, we spent a lot of, um... Sweet. Um... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Where was, what was the last thing I did? Grown up who can't drive and your critiques of poor John is better. I remember saying that. I miss John. Hi, John. I also celebrate my... Oh, yeah, I did read that one. Uh... Oh, struggling. That was the last thing I did. Hot takes. Rags is better than John. Cold take. Jay needs to be kicked. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean... Is it a hot take that Rags is better than John, or is that a cold take? I don't know. I suppose we'll have to let everyone decide. Happy Life Erickson Day, my dudes. Or Leaf Erickson? Leaf. Yeah. yeah. Leaf Erickson Day. You discovered America, right? The Viking? Neat. Well, Leaf's yeah. Um, Shadow the Edgehog is my favorite Sonictism. I think that's it's fair that he's your favorite. He was designed to be liked. I'm sure of it. He's got a gun. A motorcycle. He's all black. And he's brooding and tortured. He's got a he's got a really troubled history. He's like Kylo Ren. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now the shadow fans are like, excuse you. <laughs> like I'm sorry. Motherfucker. Theo didn't bring up lightsaber helicopters, therefore his critiques are poor. Ah. That wasn't in TCW. Oh, was that Rebels? Yeah, that was Rebels. Okay. I have not watched Rebels, I know not if I have the strength. I, it would be weird for you to go for that one when that one's considered shit by Clone Wars fans. It's like, <laughs> we're going to the bottom of the barrel with that one. Um, the best thing about the Clone Wars were the clones. They were the best characters. I won't back ah. down on that. Also, high rags. Also, also oh, Halloween yes, is the best. Yes, but also no. Also who no. The Who's the character? best character in the Clone Wars? Theo. Ah oh, fuck. Um, who the fuck is? You're gonna have to give me a second. <laughs> well, while you think about that, we have this controversial comment. Um, well, the spoops of Mario 64's Ghost House level do not hold up when you play as an adult. Uh. I imagine they're not going to be as scary as when you were a kid, but, you know, the, the spooky piano that tries to eat you is still scary. Okay. Even for 90-year-old mature men. It's probably one of Maul, Hondo, and Cad Bane, just because they're like the only three characters that exhibit character traits. Fuck off, game. Just, this is just so boring. <laughs> oh, I may as well reset because I've lost a life early on. Okay. Not again. <laughs> it's alright. This is the way. That's what they say when things are shit, right? This is the oh, way. God. Can't say that. Um. <clears throat> oh, they did say high rags as well. Um. If you have invulnerable skin, and a bomb goes off in your bum, wouldn't the blast be contained within your body, instead of painting the room? I rags. You know what? That's an insightful comment. That's one that was asked in Eric Kripke's AMA, and if I'm remembering this correctly, he said that you shouldn't let logic get in the way of a good emotional payoff. Mm. How does that work out, Eric? <laughs> <laughs> the show is in shambles. Just say it. But, uh, yeah. I, I hope it's becoming clear how that mindset is poisonous. Like, it'll eventually just infect everything. Yeah, it's also even... <clears throat> Sorry, it's uh, stupid that we got anyways. Just imagine it just explodes from the inside and just crumbles into himself, like... Um, so... It could still be a horrifying scene. 
think you could make it so he blows up and there's just loads of, like, red veins throughout all of his skin on top. As in, like, something clearly has gone wrong inside him. And yeah. he, like, slowly falls over and he just, like, slams down. The only thing you're missing at that point is the visual metaphor of uh, Will Huey choose to get his hands dirty and he's splattered by guts. Is like, the... I mean, yeah. I guess when he explodes from the inside, you can have him, like, have blood explode out of his fucking nose. And... Yeah, you can do that. No problem. I think it'd be cool if he was just walking away, there was this muffled thump, and then he just, like, collapsed and fell over. Because his insides were just scrambled. Um, yeah, that's what we just said is, is totally optional, but, uh, it's just, if the guy was like, you have to do that, but you also have to get Huey covered in blood in some way, it's like, we could still do that, too. Uh, I think that's what they're going for. And that's the process that I think we should value, when you want two things to happen, and you work really hard to, to and when I say two things, I mean, one of them is the emotional payoff, and one of them is the strict adherence to reality, the reality of the universe. The hard part is making them come together. Don't shy away from it just because yeah, you want the explosion. Together is hard part, yeah. yes. Like, it, surely that's like Michael Bay logic. Like, yeah, just get the explosion. Fuck it. <laughs> it's not okay when he does it, but it is when someone we like does it. Like, hmm. That seems wrong to me. Uh, hey, I'm the guy that said that music in Amnesia ruined the game for me. In hindsight, I was being too harsh. I did enjoy the game, but the music kind of made some encounters predictable. I prefer when horror games force you to go into the monster's turf, not the other way around. But they, but you it didn't does. Go into there's the several. Turf in Amnesia? There's several times in the game where um, you're like, I even remember commenting about this. Uh, like it was a big moment when I was playing. I was in the prison for the first time. I was first playing the game, and I was like. I'd moved through the prison, I'd found the glass jar, and I knew that I had to fill it with acid, and I knew I had to go out, back out there to get from the room I'm in to the room I need to go, and through it will be through the prison, where I know there are monsters around. And so I'm just like... <sighs> okay, like I know I can do it, it's just fucking scary, that's all. And so I, I would argue that the, the game definitely, and Soma does it as well, where it's like, you need this thing, it's over there by the way, and you're like, oh... Um, but of course sometimes they do have it so that you're in what could be considered a safe place and then a monster enters it and you're like, oh shit. So, you know. Um, that's why the water monster encounter is so terrifying. You have to go in the water to progress. There's no other option and weird limits are poo. I understand and that's alright. Um, I just think that there's a lot... If you remember, Joseph Anderson said, like, there's no... All the monsters are just the amnesia type in Soma, and he was like fucking categorically wrong. They have a bunch of new ideas for how monsters work. One of them being um, the the dude who like teleports in the down ship that you have to go through. Um, the girl who's almost exclusively based on your making sound, like she's blind, but um, and she sits down. It's just if you walk too fast or you drop something, she gets pissed off. It's like they're clearly trying new things, and that's what I'm hoping for in Amnesia Rebirth is something. Where I go, oh shit, that's a good idea. I didn't even think about that. Mechanically, though. Uh, recently rewatched the Clone Wars, and it's okay. Never thought it was great, but it has its moments. The original Clone Wars miniseries is way better. It doesn't have its moments. <laughs> it has one <laughs> moment. It has one singular moment in its entire runtime that genuinely impressed me. What was that? It's a moment in the Umbara arc. Uh, it wasn't even like that great from a writing perspective. It was just a well orchestrated scene when uh, the, the clones identify and find out that they've been led into basically just team killing each other in a big firefight. It, it was a it was a well done reveal, and that that scene was put together well. They did good. It was the only time the series ever impressed me. Hmm. So props for that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm back. I did. All right. Um, hey, spoiler free, Theo. Tell people what your perspective on Buffy is after the last episode you just watched. Who sent that? Um, <laughs> again. No, uh, I just said that. It wasn't a super chat. Oh, you. oh, oh <laughs> no. super chat. My bad. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, geez. Um, to, to use the word impressive again, <laughs> that was outstandingly so. The show is very capable. There's, it's clear there's very capable people behind it, like, writing it. Even if it's, you know, well, the first couple of seasons. Uh, I'm 
I'm pleased with it. Uh, it's it's good so far. Um, where am I? Just finished The Boys Season 2, Episode 6. Dear God, what a shit show. Some of the worst dialogue I've heard. What a disappointment. Mm. Episode 6, which one's that? <laughs> it all blends together except for Episode 3, 7, and 8. I know that which ones those are. Let me, let me get a look see. What um how many have you seen, Theo? Is it still four? Uh yeah, still four. Oh. Sucky. No, Rory Vesper, I'm actually not that hard to impress with media. I have generally fairly low standards, I oh, think, by episode... comparison to the people here. Episode six. Oh wow. <laughs> what does that mean, Theo? Yeah, Theo. Wait, what's insulting about saying you guys you have think higher we're, standards? Oh, I think than we're a bunch me. of hoity toity. Holier than thou. Bunch of Patrick Willemses. Wait, uh, episode one takes It's the one in the hospital. Oh, the hospital one was shit. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, Theo likes loads of really bad anime, so it's okay, hey. guys. <laughs> How would you even know that? Ah, shit. I guessed it. I'd have probably right. Uh, yeah. Thinking on it, probably, but you know. I like good anime too. Ah. There we go, I didn't even take a hit this time. Guys, we're doing great. We're gonna win. Yeah. Um Hello guy. You guys are starting the new season strong. Rags and Molly, you guys did great on episode one and two, one oh three. Keep it up. Also hi Rags. Oh, hello, and uh, thank you. I'm glad you're really liking it. And I do think they've been some pretty good episodes. Yeah, like I'm happy with the writers so far. Um it's nice to see all the all the guests recurring and the kind of catch up ones that didn't make it on T five one hundred. You know, I, I like what they're doing with the show. I do like it and the production values, man. Those those new graphics, you know, really cool. Good good job, managers slash producers. Um, there are countless anime in different genres written by different authors across the span of decades, and you think it's unlikely for a single one of them to not have certain tropes? Is that directed at me, Rags, or both of us? <laughs> I'm fine with tropes being in things. Yeah. I, I think, didn't I actually say the last time this came up that um, Western TV shows, if you call that a genre, has the exact same thing? Um, for example, the episode where a character is bigoted towards some idea, and by the end of it they realize they were wrong. Like, that'll probably come up in almost all shows ever. Uh, does that mean it's bad? It's like, no. But, um, if you could call it a trope, the whole thinking out loud dialogue shit that anime does, it's like, yeah, I really find that annoying whenever it comes up. Um, but I wouldn't say it's in all of them. And some of it is executed in a way that makes a lot more sense, I would, I would argue. I don't know if that answers whatever the question is sort of like there, but yeah. It's a large genre. Um... The only thing I think was wrong about Theo's take was that he said Anakin went bad when in reality he decided to stay on the weird force planet so he wouldn't become Darth Vader. Well, clearly he didn't stay there. No. Well, I, thought he, I thought you said he died and got like res resurrected. How does it work? Anakin didn't get... Anakin didn't die and get resurrected. Uh, he just... He got that would be him. crazy. <laughs> Fuck off! Why did it kill me? I have three coins! Fuck you! Carry on. <laughs> I, think, I think he was... Yeah, maybe I'm remembering that wrong, because I thought he was in alliance with the sun to go and do things, whatever the sun was up to being, you know, incarnation of the dark side that he is. I didn't think his plan was just to hang out on Force Planet. Uh, so Anakin stayed on the planet because he knew he'd become Darth Vader and he wanted to die, but he doesn't end up dying? He doesn't end up dying, doesn't end up staying on the planet, clearly. Mm. Uh, I don't... I don't remember that being his intention. Maybe, yeah, maybe I'm just stupid and forgot. <laughs> I don't think that was his intention. Um, thank you, Massives, for making Inktober much more fun for me. I can listen to your beautiful voices while I draw. Oh, Yeah, man, uh, EFAP's had a really active time in this month already. We're only a third through. Who knows what other surprises are to come? Uh, hey guys, I know you laugh at the whole not supposed to make sense, but what do you think of genres such as Lovecraftian or Neil Gaiman? So, there are contextual reasons for something to be in appearance as nonsensical. 
Um, like, we talked about this fucking with the uh, contrivances. They're just things that we didn't know why they happened. If they if they could be explained in a way that's like cause and effect. In real life, there will be a context for that. In shows and stuff, it's like it's up to the writer to get us the context we need to understand why it happened versus why it was lucky. Um, uh, the the idea of like Lovecraftian is something that's not meant to be understood doesn't mean it wouldn't be possible. Like in that fiction, that, uh, an entity or, or or a thing that exists that can be comprehended in a very very limited way by the humans or whatever. I don't see how that would be. Um, an impossibility. A lot of uh, people rely on the fact that they don't give information to the audience to get away with stuff not making sense potentially. Like, look at the fucking tracking fobs. The amount of time we took trying to talk to Shad about the potential of what they are and then figure out whether or not they make sense. Because the show is deliberately vague about it because those things can crack Star Wars open in a really bad way. Um, but I still think they do that. Uh, whether or not we can figure out definitively what they are tracking, be it a body signature or a, an area of land or a coordinate, you know? Um, so it's all case by case. Um, of course there's room for things that don't appear to make sense on the surface. Uh, or there's just something that the characters of the world and by extension the audience don't have the context to be able to make sense of it. Um, which is fine, I guess. If, 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 does that cover it? I don't know. I don't know if anyone else has has input on the the idea of things not making sense is something that can make sense. Hmm. I mean, it it sounds cop outy. It's dangerous territory, but I I don't like me in too many hard and fast rules. Like I don't want to rule out like concepts such as absurdism and you know just going really really abstract. But at the same time. I don't know how I would articulate some kind of standard about making sense with relation to those things. I just don't know that Lovecraft is a good example of that, because it's just supposed to be... I don't mean... think Lovecraft is. Yeah, I wouldn't go there. I don't even know who I'd point to. Even in... I mean, what about, like, um, Alice in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass? I wonder if Unreliable Narrator can count as something that doesn't make sense technically speaking, but under a certain lens you can justify it as actually making sense in that it doesn't make sense. An example that I will use um, is Knives Out. In a positive sense, here I go. So when Ransom describes the events, I, I believe when he leaves the room of the house he doesn't do anything with the grandmother, but when his mum, I think, is recanting events, he like puts a hand on her as if to be like, I love you, before he leaves. So we see those two flashbacks, and they're two different flashbacks, but... Oh, I guess TLJ could count as well. Like, hey, aren't those two things incongruous? And you'd be like, oh, well, the context is that they they are being described by two different people who have two different perceptions of the events. So, uh, yeah, I would just need more cases to be able to go over yeah. how I would take it. Maybe things like a race ahead. I don't know. Yeah. Um... Maybe we'll we'll talk about that sort of thing in more depth with in another time with different uh, subjects as they come. Um, I've spent enough time in the bush, busy at hard yakka with my folks, to believe some drongo telling a furfy, probably fringy. Okay. Mola rags and crew are the real boys. I reckon we could take yeah, out a few boy. super heroes. We could fuck them up. They don't stand a chance against us. We'll use the powers of the long. Is that your superpower? The long? Yeah, it's horrifying in the R-rated version. I just elongate people until they break open and everything spills out. Oh, Jesus. That is pretty horrifying. Yes, you know, it's just gotta be done. It's just gotta be done. For the greater good. Uh, okay. Mutually, how dare you nitpick these stories breaking plot elements for shame? <laughs> Hey, you know, it's, I realize now that that's just, it's not even, it's a, it's not even like a special time that sometimes happens, it's just, that's how it goes. Everything that's new that comes out, we will be trying to apply the same template, and I think some people will get very upset about it, depending on what the thing is. And of course we could be wrong, I'm just accounting for the fact that uh, it's an experience when a certain 
uh, outlook that you've been using on one thing to tear it apart is then turned on something that you previously were like, whoa, 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 this is good though. And uh, sometimes it's gonna make people a bit upset, you know. Yeah, sure does. Like this robot. He's upset, but I'm murdering him very slowly. I want to die. I think I'm hitting his feet or something. Hey, Muller, I was listening to EFAP on my phone, and my grandmother overheard and thought you were Howard Stern. Congrats, I guess. How do I sound like Howard Stern? <laughs> yeah, I... I, mm, we I are, don't hear it uh, myself. Yeah, we, our voices aren't even a little bit close, but, um, hey, you know, nice to hear the grandmother uh, compare me to, to, to Howard Stern, I, I, I suppose. You see, EFAP I is guess. the modern Howard Stern show. I guess maybe like you both speak English. Yeah, there's that. The That's accents similarity. are a little bit different. The pitch is a little different. The yeah. context is drastically different. But you know, there's some stuff there. Morley, your Bojack take is trash. I refuse to accept that Rick and Morty is objectively better than Bojack. Just admit your Bojack is subjective. All right. <laughs> um, evil hero Diamond Cat, your uh, Rick and Morty take is trash. I refuse to accept that Bojack is objectively better than Rick and Morty. Just admit that your Rick and Morty take is subjective. There you go. I did it in reverse. Um, Such a weird thing to pull. Just admit it. <laughs> I guess they think I'm like, I know that I'm lying or something. Uh, you know that your criticisms are actually just subjective totally, but you're passing it off as you being objective. Um, I fucking, we, we spent a while ripping into Bojack. I think Fringy bring out a fucking shit ton of good points. And, uh, and I broke down like the biggest drama in the last season is all based on bullshit, so... Uh, Rick and Morty, on the other hand, despite being a completely absurd show, when it does its dramatisms, it's usually maintained pretty strongly. Um, and the characters are very consistent. I, I, I don't know what else to say. Um, I'm, uh, like I said at the beginning, it's sad to me that Rick and Morty is like almost shat on for its quality, just because of the fact that it's just gotten memed a lot, so people don't take it as seriously as they could. Shut up, objective man. Um, Rick and Morty's got some funny shit. I might even show Rags it just to just to so we get some context, see what he thinks. Yeah, I haven't seen it really. Maybe maybe watch the pilot and then you can decide if you want to see more because the pilot's pretty good. Ding, ding, ding. Um, but it's okay. Um, I've seen a lot of people very upset with my Bojack take, and I knew that was going to happen. And it's just that's just how it is. I'm not going to be lying yeah. to you folks. I mean, Bojack seems like trash to me, but... Yeah. He said seems, chat. He said seems. Yeah. <laughs> I think that some people are backspacing. Oh, oh God. Um, well, I should have been listening. Oh, look. The next super chat says Bojack is absolute garbage. Hey. <laughs> oh, <laughs> My boy. kind of people. Another hot take. Eh. Um, My piggers. This is uh, Nipet Park Privet Rags. Oh, Privyet. Hmm. <laughs> Simping for my favorite VTubers, listening to you in the background, lads. Put down Willems with both barrels. That's Weekend Warrior. Jesus. <laughs> wow. Well, you like helped. barrels you, you full of, in. like, like wine, like wine barrels. It takes alcohol to get through his videos. Is that what you meant? That's obviously what he meant. He didn't mean he anything violent. He had to drink violent. two barrels of alcohol to get through a... Yeah, that's probably what he meant. Mm-hmm. It's so narrow here. You're right, Sanic. Oh my god, don't kill me. Okay, we're past the part that I died like three times on with just one life this time. Good, good. Um, I was gonna resub to Prime Video for Boy Season 2, so here's the money to you evilmans instead. Damn. Oh, wow. Well, um, what else is on Prime Video? I was trying to think if it's still worth it. Because, I mean, I can't recommend the boys in any honesty. I'd be like, no. Uh, but there's probably some good shows on there. I just have to look at the library. Hey, you can get Buffy on it. <laughs> there you go. I can't get Angel, though, and that's a crime against humanity. Then again, the fact that using the remaster is kind of a crime against humanity, so... Um, Sonic, there you go, buddy. Oh my god, this is like the best run I've had. Uh, finally, an EFAP on my day off. Hello, Wagsies. Scritches oh, for the hello. good boy. Oh, very. What for the good boy? Scritches. Oh, yeah. I fucking love those. 
There are currently 2,500 viewers, assuming that there is an equal chance of someone being born on any given day, which might not be true, but I don't know, I don't have the statistics on that. Uh, given the above assumptions, there is a 99.89 chance of at least one viewer's birthday being on any given EFAP. In fact, there will most likely be seven or more birthdays per EFAP. Huh. Oh my god. Bet you didn't think about that. It's the tour sticks. Alright, the way you do that is you have to stay back. You can't get, like, even slightly close or it'll fuck up. Okay, so we've done part one of three. Let us do the tails portion. Oh, I'm so excited. Uh, uh, bleh, bleh. I was worried that when Theo starts on Clone Wars, but in the end it didn't bother me as much as I thought it would. But to say Ahsoka becomes a Mary Sue, nah. Like I said, I'm not sure on that one, but... The thought definitely crossed my mind multiple times, specifically in that last arc. Yeah, I got I got no context for that one, but it doesn't surprise yeah. me that people would push back on it. Yeah, she's a beloved character by my understanding. Oh, I... hey. Go ahead. Yeah. I I had heard from people that they were concerned that at first she was a Mary Sue. Mm -hmm. And then she unmary sued eventually. I wouldn't call her a Mary Sue towards the start. She's more kind of obnoxious because she messes like she messes up a bunch. So like that kind of disqualifies from Mary Sue category for the most part, but never gets significantly punished for it. Like nothing happens as a result of any of her mistakes, really. In fact, there's a point where she gets a bunch of clones and then killed and then a cruiser destroyed and is met with just a promotion. <laughs> well, so good job. Fail, fail upwards, man. Yeah. It's a commentary on real life. Uh, it's a commentary yeah. on how terrible the rest of the command of that army is. Like, you only lost one cruiser? Fuck yeah. Good job. Promotion. <laughs> Anakin loses three a week. Poor Anakin. He's Vader. Yeah. You can tell by the Imperial March music. Yeah, they play it every time he does something. There's someone yeah. following him around with horns and everything. <laughs> like, dude, hey, what the are fuck? you playing that music, dude? Which side are you on? That sounds kind of ominous, dude. Jump high, Knuckles. You can do it. There you go, buddy. All right. I still feel like maybe... Oh! This is the furthest I've gotten, and I have three lives. Guys, I'm actually excited right now. Shh, don't jinx it. Um... Have you thought of streaming Phasmophobia? I hear it's really spoopy. Yes, actually, we talked about it uh, not a half hour ago. We, we will yeah. probably do it. If I can touch his arm and I get hurt, it's like, Knuckles, you suck. You're supposed to be the strong one. We, we streamed it yesterday. We didn't... wait. On your stream, do we? Yeah. Fuck, my memory's a sieve. <laughs> yeah, we did play that yesterday with Botia and Voodoo. Oh, I think I'm mixing it up with I played like one random game with Rags and Fortier before like, at one point last night. It was just like out of the blue. It was before the boys. That was yeah. a weird night. That I was a really move. weird night, but I'm glad it worked out that way because it meant that I got to like not uh, if so. Originally, I thought that the boys was going to come out at 3 a.m. my time, and the plan was we watch the boys at three. That takes an hour or so. Then we stream after that. Then. At like seven or so, I had to leave because well, it's Friday. So I had to leave at around seven or so, and I'd probably gone be gone until like noon, noon thirty. So, and then we would have done an EFAP after that. So I would have had a hell of a long day on Friday. But luckily, it released before three, so I had chance to do things like sleep. Yeah, my uh, my sleep schedule ended up benefiting from it. Fuck you. Okay, so I was one bad guy away from completing that section. Um, he hit me, and I bounced off the end of the map, so it's just, it just killed me. Now I've reset to the point where I'm... I didn't even realize the reset was this far, but i got to do the part that I regularly die on again, so... Life is fun. Um, like I said, expect a full EFAP Super Chat catch-up of just Sonic the fucking Hedgehog, alright? It's happening. <laughs> uh, Mulan was such garbage, and seeing you watch the original reminded me of how good it was. How did they turn into such a horrible turd? Uh, <laughs> Disney uh, being incredibly bad at making movies, trying to appeal to China, wanting to just... Uh. I mean, it's, it's crazy that the originals are now considered like downright edgy compared to what they're doing now. And that could have just been normal. Uh, yeah, Disney's lost its, its bite. 
Now it's just like super. It, it, the the obsession with money is becoming clearer and clearer. I, I, I'd say. And Mulan was a huge backfire. That'd be cool to hear the discussions in boardrooms about, wouldn't it? Yeah, like what the fuck? What happened? This was so calculated. This was supposed to work, you fucks. We film next to the concentration camps. We keep the communists happy. Oh god, I hate doing that. Alrighty, back to squid fucking 17. Okay. Ran toward a platform and bounced into it, and it bounced me right, and I just ran off the platform and killed myself. Just, oh, it's just too much fun. I can't handle this much fun. Liar. Uh, any of you Bill and Ted fan, Bill and Ted fans? If so, thoughts on face the music? Uh, Efap one hundred two. I think Southpaw and I talked about it for a little bit. I thought face the music was terrible, and I like the first two Bill and Ted's. I like the second one quite a lot, actually. He's pretty neat. I haven't seen any of those movies. Well, there you go. Got nothing. Um, <clears throat> EFAB movies, Super Mario Bros. I mean, yeah, we could do that at some point. Someone yeah, suggested actually, yeah. um, EFAB movies, Incredibles, and Incredibles 2, and I'd be interested in doing that actually because it's it's kind of like Mulan, not as bad as Mulan, but we can get a lot of discussion about why the first one's good and why the second one fucked up. Um, so that that might be something we'll think about doing at some point. G. Oh, you took all my stupid hoops. My stoops. My stoops. Hoops. Knuckles, can you fuck this guy up? Good. Fuckles. That is his name. I should have used my stupid ulti on that asshole. Ugh. Also, I, I always get hit by a ghost in this part and I got no hoops. I like calling them hoops now. It feels derogatory. Uh isn't that what I... I, yeah, I, I, I would sure call him that without it. even thinking. I, I call him Hoops. Stupid spooky pumpkins. <laughs> oh my god, I nearly killed myself again. Okay, now I have Hoops. Sonic. You fucker, you did it again! Oh my god. <laughs> so, uh... Yeah, I need to remember not to walk into a wall because it will make me instantly throw myself off an infinite platform place, because that's what Sonic does. Sweet. Sonic Heroes! Uh, uh, Rags, on your Mulan stream, you constantly mock Chinese traditions, government, social, and cultural norms. Here's a ton of money, good boy. <laughs> oh, I, I don't think I mock all of the mock uh, all of those. Like China used to be fucking badass and cool, and now I can't separate China from its fucking totalitarian communist regime, which is a shame, because the aesthetics of uh, like you know the imperial era of China, you know the Han Dynasty and stuff like that, is super cool, and a lot of their imagery is really nifty too. But fuck, you just can't look past what they are today. And how it just bleeds into everything, and how China's fucking ruining everything. Yeah, man. Uh, lots of well-founded joker And that's, that's the, part of the enjoyment of ripping into Mulan. In like, look at who you're trying to please, Disney. It's a bit weird. Um, there was only one real hot take last episode. Brussels sprouts are disgusting, Rags. No, okay. not at all. I'm gonna, Brussels here. sprouts are really great. When you roast them and season them, they're legitimately delicious, and I like them quite a bit. I would kind go as far as saying some stuff them. does taste different to some people. And no. The, and the some stuff some people don't like, some stuff other people do like. Brussels sprouts taste like death to me. They always have. Ah. Oh. Every way you've had them? Um, yeah, I don't think there's been a time... Like, there's been times where they're better or worse than others or whatever, mm -hmm. but they mostly fit into that here and Hi. um it's not like i'm anti-vegetable i'm not that star wars girl i don't just eat candy or whatever i in fact there's some vegetables that are pretty sweet and i'm, I'm like you know what you're a cool dude i'm gonna have you over for my birthday but the brussels sprouts aren't them what are you gonna say metal you fuck i forgot wow <laughs> 
because he rudely uh, said things. Was it about Bustle's press? Maybe, I don't know, it just wasn't important, obviously. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't get very far in KOTOR 1 because the gameplay underwhelmed. That was pretty much Jay's take, I think. Oh, I want to team blast this guy. Ew. I'm not gonna. I know, right? It's just like... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> team blast this guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh no. Oh no, infinite death. Yep. I got pulled into him on the first hit, so I couldn't get any of my gay hoops, and then he hit me a second hoops? time before I was able to grab any, so he just killed me. And I'm just gonna reset, because I can't lose that life. I should have used Team Blast all over him. <laughs> Today's been pretty awful, but hoping time with EFAP and chat can cheer me up. Love you guys. Yeah, I hope oh, so. Okay, I hope, I hope tomorrow's better for you, man. Mm, so, and I hope we helped out a bit. Hopefully Don't worry, you no agree with fine. all the hot takes so it felt like a, just a normal day. Yeah. I hope that instead of hating your life, you hate us instead. We'll be, we'll be your lightning rod of hate here at EFAP. <laughs> Yay. Yay. That's what we do. <laughs> Shout out to Drunk 3PO. Hi, Rax. Hello! Um, yeah, I know him. He's, uh, he's a Phantom Menace person, I believe. That's right, yeah. Dude. Also, someone said RE4. Spooky. Pick one, Rags. Those aren't... Okay. RE4 is spooky. Let me clarify for a second here. Spooky to me is totally what RE4 is. Scary yeah. is a different thing. Like... Yeah, it's not scary. It's got a short... It's got a couple short little scary segments. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it's 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 spooky throughout. I happily call it spooky. Yes, it is a spooky to mm -hmm. Um. By the way, EFAB layout isn't spooky. It's cute. That that okay. So well, we scary, don't want to scare our audience away. I would argue scary plus cute equals spooky. I'd say that no, it's spooky. That's like, yeah, I mean, to a degree. Well, I still think that's kind of what spooky is a lot of the time as well, but... No, 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 I, spoopy. I, I wasn't, I, I just, I didn't really use spoopy at all. <laughs> like, but but I guess, let's put it this way, right? If if Our, if I, both um, the EFAP cover would qualify and Resident Evil 4, it can't be called simply cute plus scary because that's not what Resident Evil 4 is, but I would say it's just two halves of the spooky... Uh, look, if you want to call it spoopy, I'm okay with that. That's I, the cute so here's ooh, here's my take. Here's I'm gonna I'm gonna give my opinion on this podcast. Oh right? So I think spoopy. That's what I use when something is not real. Like like our our pumpkin and the little ghost. That's spoopy, right? Like it, it's a it's a cutesy, non-serious use of spooky imagery. That's spooky. Spooky is something that's like legitimately somewhat like it's like Resident Evil 4 is spooky. Right? The ghosts in Super Mario, they're spooky. They're spooky. Right? See what I'm getting at? Yes. I mean, okay. That's what I I'm good. I, th I thought the categorizations <laughs> I made them clear. I was like, so you you would call it spooky where I would just put them all under the, the spooky category because I just didn't even consider spooky I... a description. <laughs> So I think spooky and spoopy, while related and somewhat similar, they're cousins of one another, but they can't legally marry, you know? Right, right, right. Like I said, I just didn't think of spoopy as an actual descriptor, oh, but I'm okay spoopy's... with it. Oh, yeah. Spoopy's real. Um, how would you describe like, my Efap avatar? Spoopy. Spooky, scary, or spoopy? Um... I'm saying that it's not actually, like, trying to scare people. You know, so but it's using scary imagery like the fangs and the blood. So I'd say yours is spoopy. Now mine is going to be spoopy too. Once mine's done, I, I, I. Oh, I would, um, I would I say should... mine's spooky, not spoopy. While well, yours. I think so. Yeah, I mean, look at it. <laughs> well, mine right now, my mine is, I, I, mine's sort of spoopy because it's got the jack lanterns and one of them, especially in the back, is mean. He's like, oh, it was spoopy pumpkin. Mm -hmm. But that's why I'm not inside of him. I'm, I'm in the one. He, he was. <laughs> He, like, this This one in the middle, like, he doesn't regret it. He's just trying to, this is an odd sensation for him, because mm -hmm. he's, like, dark and slippery on the inside, as you pumpkins are. They're kind, of, they're kind of goopy. Recommend the experience to his other pumpkin friends. Maybe. Um, 
So, oh, uh, do, have you ever carved a pumpkin? Is that something you do over in a? Uh, Absolutely. On, on yeah. in whatever yeah. part of the yeah. universe you live in. Walesland, as they call it. Yeah, Walesland. You do, that. you do the jack o' lantern carving. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm. I don't want to toot my own horn here, but You're I'm good pretty carving. good at carving jack o' lanterns. Yeah. Back when I had a, a a job at this hotel, and they'd do the all the departments would do like the contests and stuff. I was the person who would get no matter where I was, I, I would be put in charge of making the department um, jack o' lantern. You don't think that, that was just them trying to show off work to you, right? Like... Well, so here's the thing: I could do that during work. Like they would let, cause, so they would let me. It's like, like I would spend a day, like a, a shift, and I would get a pumpkin, empty out all of its guts, clean out the insides, make the drawing, cut it out with the knives, and that was uh, that was what I did. I, I could do that in place of like my job job. So those are rags is a pumpkin fucker confirmed. <laughs> rags is a pumpkin carving Mary Sue. <laughs> I'm not like that good, but I'm pretty good. Like I can't do anything elaborate, but I can make a I can make a pretty darn good looking simple pumpkin face. I, I and, and even uh, even when I was you know younger and I would do it with you know uh, L M and P, uh, it was uh, they turned out really good. A lot of pumpkin carving skills. Y'all like you like pumpkin pie? Do you like that? I never had a pumpkin pie. Uh, really. I'm not, I, not a I, huge fan. I'm cool with it though. I don't know if I can buy one in Germany. I've never seen anyone uh -huh. sell it. Well, look, look for one. Ask around uh, in uh, Germany. See if anyone has pumpkin pie because it's delicious they, stuff. Is really like is. is fun cool in Germany or no? Nah. No. Mm. Remember the last time they tried to have fun? Yeah. Yeah, it's got a bit out of hand. No, it's cool. it. it's like a but bit yeah, a pumpkin pie people. is delicious. On holiday, and, uh, and uh, like pumpkin oh. spice is something that's really seasonal over here. That's also quite good. Yeah, I wanted to try that shit, but you can't get that shit here. You what? Do you you have uh you just have sauerkraut pies? Yes. <laughs> is that what you have? Yeah. In your in your schnitzel spice. Mm -hmm. Sch in your in your strudel tisms. Schnitzel spice latte. <laughs> Schnitzel spice latte. Mmm. <laughs> Hardy. Mm, I'm gonna sprinkle some breading all over that shit. Um, Mulan witch bird. Slow enough for a human to keep up, fast enough to outpace an arrow. Also, hi, John. It's Mulan. Well, so that part's absurd because the way they show it is the eagle is just constantly moving. But if you think about it, the eagle's goal is to guide Mulan to the Badman. So it's just a matter of filming fuck-ups. Because it's believable that an eagle could have traveled faster than we saw it when it was traveling to show Mulan where to go. It's just a matter of them. <sighs> it's bad. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, overall though, I'm glad that uh, the overall the, the the covering for E5 is considered cute. I am cool with that. It's it is spoopy, yes. Happy Ghost is definitely a spoopy person. Happy Ghost, sir, yes, absolutely, yes. Because you know, you you of course are just having fun with him. He's smiling. You don't think about the fact that he was murdered potentially. It's fine. Or his desire to murder. Um, I think he's hiding a lot behind that smile. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> so. So, someone in chat said, I expected a rags pumpkin just to be a hole with Merry Christmas written on it. <laughs> <laughs> Too true. Uh, quick, let's get down with Thrust Intellectual take on 2D games. I don't know what his take on 2D games is. Um... Here's a hot take. I don't think Zack Snyder is a good storyteller. All style, no context. Plus, he doesn't understand Superman or Batman. See, that's a conversation for, like, other people. All we can do is talk about, like, structurally what the, the films do. The whole, does Zack Snyder understand Batman is not something that I, I just, like, I don't know, maybe. I know a lot of people feel he doesn't, but then a lot of people feel he does. It's, it's just a matter of who you talk to about... It's the Snyder fans versus, I guess, Snyder... Uh, Dare I call them Snyder haters, or just people who don't like Snyder's work? I don't know. Snyders. Fucking Snyders. 
They're like taters. We may be able to do triangle jumps since it's so near. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Sonic's enthusiasm is not infectious. I'm gonna get. I said it. Well, you're not going fast. I collected a bunch of rings and Sonic went, hey, hey. <laughs> He's happy about them rings. Uh, I'll take Star Trek Lower Decks is funny. Oh shit! This is the hot take section, I suppose. Uh, I I've not seen an episode, but I know that people aren't liking it from from what I've heard. Oh, and that's going to be another reason people hate Rick and Morty is that a bunch of animated shows are copying Rick and Morty's art style. So they'll be like, they'll be blaming it. Thank you, game. At least that doesn't send me back too far. This could still be the one. Feels like I'm playing fucking Dark Souls right now. <laughs> Dark Souls. Gotta collect them rings. It's the equivalent of like getting my soul back. Oh god. Um. Hello, Jay. I'm glad to see you're okay. Make a video on Kotor already. Also, hello again, Theo. It's also nice to see you on EFAP. Hello. Uh, wow. yeah, Jay's not gonna make a video on KOTOR. Like, yeah. How far did he get? Did he say a couple of hours? Not uh, far, I don't think. Hmm. Imagine that's the whole video, he just says, I don't like that these enemies are bullet spongy in this area and you have to beat them to get past them. Uh, <laughs> People are like, okay. It's like, what? It's really it changes the competition around KOTOR, and suddenly yeah. he manages to take the game down with that. Yeah, everyone's like, in fairness, have you seen Jay's video? <laughs> like, he's really summarized the big, biggest issue. Uh, yeah, I couldn't, get get, I couldn't get past those space dogs either. To be fair, I don't... I have a sneaking suspicion that it has not aged well at all. Yeah, mayhaps, may well, maybe. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. So I, I have no, no idea. I'm not making a statement of fact. Like I'm, it's not like I'm talking about t-shirts and blazers, so. Mm. Stressed out here if I hit a single pumpkin. Mm -hmm. Ooh. It's hard because of the way the camera is. It makes it so that I have trouble even seeing. Okay, we're good. I want to fight the big man first. No, I don't. I want to do stupid Sonic section first. That's the one. I Ooh, let's remember about suicide. So many thoughts are rushing through my brain right now. This is the most intense gaming session I've ever had on Super Chat Catch Up. And it's fucking Sonic Heroes. Um, <laughs> it's harder than the end of Simpsons Hit and Run. Speaking I like, of animation, I like how casually you you played through Amnesia The Dark Descent, and this is giving <laughs> you all this stress and pain. No, Sonic, you suck. Point in the direction, press A. Sometimes he just doesn't home on. If I mean, only Shadow was here. Shadow be well. I can play as him, but apparently he's hard mode. Whoa! Of course he is. Hardcore mode, more like. Yeah. Team Blast and hard mode. <laughs> Fucking bad. Team, team cool, more like. I haven't been dying on this part recently, so I'm assuming I'm about to, because I just said that. Oh, I didn't. Okay. Oh, uh, I mean, Seriously. yay. There's probably more Halloween levels as well, so this is gonna get even harder. This is, like, this game just, it's about becoming a true Sonic fan, and, like, understanding the mechanics. The real test of your, uh, fandom. Here we go! Level up! Oh, I hate Tails' voice. Is it's Tails like male or female? Good question. Metal? Yes. <laughs> there you go. Pretty sure it's supposed to be male. What about Slippy? <laughs> I don't know what that is. That's the Star Fox character, right? The frog from Star Fox. Oh. Fucking hell, Sonic. Just press the button. <laughs> press the button. We need to find the alien. No, you son of a bitch. Oh, God. How many tries have I got left? Two. Speaking of animation being childish, I remember Cosmonaut Variety Hour liking a tweet of some guy saying animation only managed to trick him as a kid and these new live action remakes are what he needs as an adult. <laughs> what? Um, what a shockingly stupid thing to say. I mean, he only <laughs> Are you sure? But it can't be real. He liked the tweet. He didn't say it. <laughs> so that, this... That's what a like means. I that's mean, yeah, I assume you approve of the message at that point, but... Uh... 
Wow. Wow. You know, as shockingly you? bad as the Lion King 2019 is, and how shockingly bad Milan is. Yeah. Like, fucking hell. Imagine saying animation tricked you. It was all the colors. I swear it just got to me. It was like acid. I thought that if I took it, but it doesn't like acid. Get him, Weekend Warrior. Destroy Jay. Oh my god. Give me like stupid hoops back. Um. Yeah, Jay came on to destroy Jay, but ultimately destroyed Patrick Wilhelms. What an arc. You only stayed for 15 minutes. It was kind of annoying. We can more was like, oh, I'll stay, and you left in like five minutes later. It's like, okay, you didn't really, did you? You're you're a big lying doo doo head. Well, that's because I'm the I'm I'm the greatest deal maker in the history of trade deals. True. You're the greatest deal maker. And you're gonna go and stay for five minutes. Lies. Five minutes. He stayed for, like, what do you, wait, what do you want? I feel What's like you, you just tuned out on the first half of this. You don't know what I'm doing right now. It's fine. Uh, I'm just gonna press the button to go across the coin lands. There we go. I did it. Um, I'm not gonna have my my trade deals so mocked in, in such a fashion. They are incredible. Hey game, don't kill me, okay? Let's make a deal. If you don't kill me, I'll tell people you're good. Wow, you work for IGN or something? Oh my <laughs> god, it's so dodgy. That whole bit is dodgy as fuck, but I did it. Well, I've not done all of it yet. Did you just hit- how did you- you steal my- you- you zap my coins out of my person? That is... That is some form of theft. I don't- like, I'm not happy about this. Who is this spooky also, they place? they introduced his girlfriend in Star Fox 2. Oh, you mean Crystal? You mean the the, the 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 ultimate furry bait character? Wait, for Slippy? No, Crystal. Oh wait, wait, did Slippy get a girlfriend? I thought they were saying that she was Flippy's slip fuck <laughs> frog uh, person. I'm going to explore this. Uh, yeah, let me Google Slippy's apparently Slippy no. has well listen, Slippy can have a girlfriend and still be a girl. No. <laughs> I hate this game. Hate this. Are you gonna not finish this game? No, I can't let it. It's, this is Dark Souls now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's a Sonic Heroes Dark Souls. <laughs> Dark Sonic Souls. Heroes is the Dark Souls <laughs> of Sonic games. What sucks is I could have won at any point if I'd used Team Blast on that retarded giant man on any of the other times I fought him. I just didn't. Now I've got to get to the point where I can land on the platform with him and I win because I know about to remember to do that now But I know that the game's not gonna let me because it knows that I know You had so many rings as well. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter if you fall off. It's just like bye bye <laughs> No. <laughs> Cruelty if you're a game mean. designer and getting getting your character knocked off platforms and insta-killing you is in your game Fucking change it You think so? Yeah like ne Just fucking change it. Never a time where that's any good. No, never a single time ever. Hmm. Not once in the history of forever. I mean, yeah, it could, but just like <laughs> if you if you're designing a game, err on the no, side no, no, of no. caution. Don't have it be a thing. I'm alive. It's okay. <laughs> never hit you. I swear to God, Sonic wants to kill himself in this fucking game. <laughs> it's like, get me out of here. No, no, why? It wasn't aiming forward game, it was aiming to the Don't fucking dude, fuck you, he man. I wish I was with Skeletor on my team. He would- he would cast spells and help me. It seems there's robots, he man. Going to have to use... <laughs> electromagnetic pulses, he man. Look at this fucking gameplay. Pretty sure someone described this as working as intended. In, he's in the thing! <laughs> this is hell. <laughs> Amanda. Yeah, it's an anthropomorphic female frog and the love future wife of Star Fox mechanic Slippy Toad. Yeah. That was my last life. Apparently in the in the star in, a, in the Star Fox comic series, his girlfriend was Crokella. Mm. Crokella. Um, 
This one just says, in Florida for work. Fuck Florida. Damn. Florida. What are the, the freaky states according to Simpsons? Um, are Alaska, Florida, and Hawaii. They're the weird ones, apparently. Is this true, Rags? Wait, say that one more time? Alaska, Florida, and Hawaii are considered the freaky states in a Simpsons episode. Is this true? Uh, I don't know about Alaska. Well, maybe. Yeah, that's yeah. I think California is the one of the freaky ones now, especially. That one's when, fucking nuts. When I go to walk off an edge with Knuckles, or at least in this particular place, they do the thing where they're like, ooh, don't want to go off the edge there, look out, as if you get a few seconds to pull yourself back. But when Sonic fucking does it in that later episode, he just fucking kills himself. What's going on, game? Hmm? Did you build the, the railings different? Is that it? Anyway, I'm alternating between new episodes and old episodes, and the memes are going full circle. Did you plan it all out in advance? Yep. Uh, EFAP has been written from episode 1 to 1000. Uh, we're just actors. We've got a big script yeah. in front of us. I'll tell you what, uh, when they introduced the whole Super Chat Cash Up thing, where I have to play the game according to the script, it's been difficult, but I've been able to pull it off. Because, of course, if I were playing off script, I would have beaten Sonic years ages ago, but apparently the, the producers think it's funny if I get stuck on a game like this, out of all the ones that I've played. Yeah, they did some focus group studies and determined that you're more endearing to a higher percentage of audiences when you're worse at video games. Especially cutesy ones. Yeah. Like, if this, if I was losing on, like, Amnesia or Dark Souls, they'd be like, yeah, that's just, you know, that's almost embarrassing. Yeah, you're supposed to, so... But with, with, with this, it's like, oh, how funny and stupid. So, yeah. Better be working, you fab chat, alright? Because, uh, you know, I'm pretty pro when it comes to Sonic Heroes. This is awkward to pretend I'm not. Um, that was your Bojack take, Rags, don't lie. What? That's it? That's all it says? <laughs> oh, I guess they think that what they originally thought it was really was. Well, I, I gave it to you anyway. This is even pointless. I told you what my take is. That's my take. The one. The, the clarification that I made, that's my position. There you go. Um, I was there when you covered Tonal saying the Bilbo quote. However, the meme was around before EFAP. Where did the meme come from? The, yeah, oh, so the, was, the proto EFAP, yeah. That was uh, Wolf's podcast, and uh, we. It was just a really, really strong meme, so we just carried on. Then we were like, we should probably cover it on EFAP so people can actually see what video we were talking about. Because I'm pretty sure the Bilbo meme was alive and well before we even gave people context for it, you know? People were enjoying the concept of Bilbo having constructed all of these really insightful quotes. And that's our Bilbo. Um, Rags, can you say you gotta destroy Bob's rectum? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> it's fine the way it is. Um, did you guys hear that Bob Chipman liked cuties? Yeah, and he's, uh, people aren't gonna let him forget all the defensive shit he's done for it. Even, um, hasn't he recommended, like, mass reporting channels that that talk about it being, yeah. like, a horrible movie? It's just like, he's, um, he's really testing the powers that be, uh, Bob, in terms of getting himself booted. If Bob had, if Bob considered himself right-leaning, then he would have been banned ages ago. Oh, for sure. Um, I honestly, like, not even memeing, I don't exactly know how he's still not banned. I'm almost certain he's broken several rules several times. All of them. But he is a check mark, so it might help him out. Uh, you can kill two kids in KOTOR 2 on Dantooine, so it's not all bad. Jay is super wrong about KOTOR. It's a really fun game. Jay is just bad at the game. Mmm. <sighs> Maybe. Um, um, yeah, like... Jay, Jay might be bad at video games, that's very true. It's a possibility, yeah. Um, also, Creamy Sheev is saying it's for the meme, that thing that I need to say. What was that about um, how I need to destroy Bob's rectum? The what quote was is, that? you gotta destroy Bob's re rectum. You gotta destroy Bob's rectum. <laughs> hmm. Can't wait for Hopefully that. Hopefully that worked. Yeah, let's uh, <clears throat> have to see that in action. Uh, no. Yeah, I, I don't know remotely enough about KOTOR to, to comment. Um, and, and Jay probably is bad at games. There's a good chance. You know he's not good at Among Us. 
<laughs> and that's the ultimate test of whether or not you're a gamer. I, I, I love this quote. Rags, please say the rectum thing for my meme. It's crucial. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that, just that sentence is hilarious. Hey, guys, are you excited for Guild Wars 2 End of Dragons? What's your favorite profession and class? All class, I guess. Uh, and what now? Uh, end of Dragons. End of Dragons for Guild Wars 2. End of Dragons for... Oh, that's the next uh, update. What's my favorite class? Uh, yeah. Yeah, what's your favorite? Profession um, slash class. So... My main is a is a scourge. Um, however, I've been playing uh, my number two most of the time now, and that's a renegade revenant. Um, and I've been really, really digging that as well. So those would probably be my my two answers. I don't know if I could choose between the two. I used to really like Mesmer back in the day when I used to play. Long time I... ago now. Yeah, I started when it first came out, and I played it for a while, and I enjoyed it. Then I got dis distracted by other stuff, and I just stopped playing it. And it doesn't have a subscription, so I never felt obligated to play it. And then years later, like after both of the expansions had released and everything, um, in, like early this year, like February of this year, I got back into it, and now I play it all the time. In fact, I was playing it just a second ago. Um, but yeah, really digging it. Quite a fan. J, an Guild RPG. Guild Wars 2 is still alive? Yeah. Sorry? Someone said Guild Wars 2 is still alive? It's like, yeah, man. Mm -hmm. It is. Um, a lot of games are like that. You just sort of forget about them. And that's that's what happened with me. I like legitimately forgot it was something that I owned and enjoyed. And I just got reminded of it one day and just delved back into it. It's crazy to me that Dead by Daylight it. is healthy and strong. When, when it first came out, I played it like on release and I thought, like, oh, this game will be dead after a few weeks. Still going. It's like a, you know, full-on common multiplayer game that people check out now. Like, yeah. Someone said, Hail the Char, Glory to the Blood Clan. So, fucking imposter detected. Oh, no. The Blood Clan. The Blood Clan. Wow. The Blood gets Blood Legion. Come on. <laughs> blood Clan. It kind of melts. Eject him from the shipwrecks. Do it. Um, oh, someone said, I wish it was on Steam. I want to get into it. So, it's actually coming to Steam. Ooh. Guild Wars 2 is coming to Steam, yes. That shouldn't really stop you, though. Um, honestly, if the fact it's not on Steam shouldn't stop you from getting it. Um, it uses its own launcher, and I haven't really had issues with it. But, yeah, it's just, it's, it's, I think as far as I know, it's ArenaNet's, the, the company makes it. I think it's their only thing. I think it's all that they do. So, uh, yeah, they use their own launcher, but yeah, it is coming out on Steam. Uh, Jay, an RPG I think you'd like is Rant 6, The Fall of Zeth. Good mechanics, nice combat, and a great story and world. Highly recommend. Anyone know what that is? Nope. No. Nice little lie. Nope. Rags, thoughts on the situation at Rooster Teeth and how quickly they fired two employees? I don't know anything about it. I, I I don't know anything about it. Um, to all, do you think there is a power dynamic between content creator and fan that can be abused? Absolutely. Uh, oh yeah, definitely. And it's often abused by many content creators, and it's really unfortunate. Um, one of the really easy ways to slip into it by accident is uh, fans who like make. So I mean, I don't, it's not like it's going to be unclear what I'm referencing here. So I may as well just be explicit. Um, fan of Hassan Piker made him like highlights of his Twitch streams for his YouTube channel and they, they did it for a, a, a while and he was like open to the idea of paying them and he only eventually did but like an incredible fraction of um, whatever was earned from his YouTube channel and as far as he was concerned that was fair like you get what your pay is based on whatever the video earns on his YouTube channel rather than being paid for the work you make and of course they were just taken by the fact that they were a fan of his work so he was more than happy to do that which is awkward considering his politics, but then the second uh, controversy came out where... <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong, but he said he's going to give his editor the means of control for production 
had uh, that bad getting them a PC to do the work, um, but the pay wasn't again wasn't reflected, and both editors I believe no longer work with them because they got really fucking pissed off at the shitty pay. There are people who've done work for me who've said like. Uh, a lot of content creators will run rates based on whatever the video makes rather than what their rate is, which I just think is a really bad way to go about it. Um, pay them their rates, what they're worth and stuff, and the reason this is always relevant is that a lot of fans will uh, offer work that then becomes mainstay, and there's this awkward moment where the creator is like, um, I guess I'll pay you, and I'll try and do it a limited amount because I want to make the best stuff, for, you know, best situation for myself. It's just like, ooh. And try and, um, but then, of course, there's the more standard ways, like utilizing your audience as a weapon, or um, uh, getting them to like. This is this is a bit of a weird example. I know who I'm thinking about. There's no reason to name names. People who are like trying to win certain things by submitting their work somewhere, and there's a voting system, so they just get their group of fans to vote for them. It's like that's not very uh, fair to the other fucking makers. Damn, I'm dead again. Um, did the PC get seized? No, he said that. To be in line with his socialist uh, ideas, he gave the person, like, he, he provided them a PC, thus they have control of the means of production. That was what his justification was, which is, uh, he had to get told about the means of production being more so the YouTube channel rather than the PC itself, because he thinks that means, like, they're, they're paid up at that point or some shit. It was this whole thing, it was fascinating to read about. Yeah, I, I bet if you ask ten different socialists, what the means of production actually is, you might get 10 different answers. It's a very yeah, it's... amorphous kind of term. Yeah, uh, all I'm suggesting is it's so easy for content creators to both maliciously and accidentally uh, take advantage of fans. You just gotta be careful. Um, I'm pretty sure there's... Like, I, I, I wouldn't even remotely try and name names, but there's the classics of, like, they meet up in real life and then uh, try and get certain things out of fans that, that could be a little more than just uh, work or whatever. Super dodgy too. Good old power dynamics and desperation from fans to be able to do X, Y, and Z. You just have to try and be careful. Treat everybody as you would normal people regardless. And the classic advice, content creators are not gods. Don't treat them that way. <laughs> but, you know, at the same time, um, it's understandable that people can freak out when meeting people that they've uh, found. Like, like, do you know? Have we ever talked about this on EFAP? But like the the idea of meeting someone you've only ever known as someone who's just inspiring to you or entertaining yeah, to you. Be careful when you be careful when you meet your heroes. Yeah. Well, I meant like the good one. Oh, fuck off, Sonic! You shit. So like the 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 good <laughs> results. Well, you meet someone and you're like, they're a really nice person and they're everything you thought of and you can like freak out because it's just like, that's them in flash, holy shit, that sort of thing. People said that about me, not gonna lie. <laughs> well, there you go. Uh, when I met uh, Giles from Buffy in real life, and same for Spike, I, I was having trouble staying composed because it's fucking bizarre to have them on screen for your entire life and then they're in, in front of you, flesh and blood. It's... um. Kind of hard to describe, but of course you do your best to not uh, act like a fucking idiot. That sort of thing. That's actually a story, the Giles one. That was uh, partially embarrassing. I um, I was trying to come up with a good question. I nailed it with with Spike because I had had experience at that point. But with with, with Giles, I uh, I was like, okay, so uh, hmm. Uh, uh, actually, to rewind, it was in. Um, I think I told this story on a different stream, but it wasn't EFAP, so there we go. Uh, in Cardiff, the capital of Wales, it's like a Comic Con thing, and he was there. And um, the queues for him were enormous because Buffy is still beloved to a degree. Same with a, a lot of like cult TV shows. Um, and it looked like we weren't going to be able to uh, see him, which was like the whole fucking reason I was there. So I was very sad. And then uh, everyone broke for lunchtime, so the whole queue left, and he hadn't gone yet. He was just sort of like. Uh, I don't know, just just getting stuff ready to leave. And uh, we were still standing there because we hadn't realized that that was when everyone was supposed to leave. It was uh, me and my sister, who who loved the show as well, and then we were just like, um, we sort of just started moving closer and closer, and then he saw us, he was like, uh, we were like, uh, he was like, do you want to do the, do it, do the thing? <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> uh, okay. 
<laughs> and, uh, I was like stressing out because it, it seemed so random stuff. And he was like, "Do you want some inside? Do you want to get a picture or everything?" I was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." And uh, he was in Buffy and um, Merlin was the other show that he was like he's like well known folks. He was on it for a while. I think he was. Is he King Arthur in that, or was he King Arthur's dad? I forget. Chat's gonna know. Uther. Yeah, he was Uther, I think. Um, and so like that's on the backboard where um, they would be like, this is what this person's known for. And so I had a genius thought. I was like, I'll ask him which of the two shows he liked more. <laughs> and in my head, I thought that was a good question. And I asked him that, and of course, as someone who's there to promote both, and for fans of both, you wouldn't really want to put one above the other. You'd be like, nah, they're, they're both cool. So he was like, yeah, I really enjoy both of them. They're, uh, you know, they're both different characters, they're both a lot of times, so uh, yeah, both. And I was just like, staring at him, like, uh, <laughs> I don't know what else to ask, because <laughs> so, I think he realized pretty quickly that I didn't actually care about that answer, I just wanted him to talk. But, um, yeah, the second time around, I talked to uh, James Masters about Smallville, because I, I know all of his shit about Buffy, so I was just like, what was it like being brought on to play Brainiac, and how many people actually, like, talked to you about it and stuff? It was, uh, pretty cool. Oh my god, I'm autopiloting better now than ever when I'm concentrating. Do you guys ever have that with games? Yes. You autopilot yeah. better than when you're concentrating? Yeah. So fucking annoying. Sometimes when you're concentrating, you decide, well, don't decide, you just start to overthink Yeah. everything. Yeah, meeting people's really cool when it goes well. I guess that's my overall point. <laughs> so. Yeah. That, that's agreeable. Yeah. Oh, Sonic, you did it again! I swear to god, I'm gonna have to pull real far in terms of, like, the analog stick. Okay, so we're no further than we were. Who have you guys met? Anybody? Famous-tisms? Uh, I met George... Uh, George Takai, um, I've met, uh, I, I, uh, I had a long chat with Ario Speedwagon's bus driver once. He was a pretty cool dude. Hmm. Um, uh, let's see, uh, I gotta remember, Michael Sarah. I saw him once, checked him into a hotel. Neat. Um, I, Michael, I, I, let me remember the name. Um, uh, uh, it's really deep here. Be careful. Trevor Collins, is that the name? Uh, no. Uh, I forget. He played the translator in Saving Private Ryan. Uh, oh. He was in Lost as well. Talking about Upham, right? No, no, I'm, I I got the guys. I, I forget. I used to know. He was in other stuff. Uh, it, it's not the guy. I, I got it mixed up. Oh. Um, uh, who else? I don't think anyone else too famous that wasn't like a local personality or something like that. Um, uh, I saw Journey when they were there at the hotel. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, they're pretty nifty. Um, yeah, I, that's all that really comes to mind. Um, Vincente Fox, uh, at the time he was the president of Mexico, saw him. You ever been to like a convention thing to meet any pop culture people? No, um, you just sort of run into them here and there. Um, Theo Mel, have you done any of that? Oh, um, no, I don't think so. Can't believe I forgot. I uh, I delivered some. So you know, Pink. Yeah. I delivered something to her room once. Neat. Yeah. Hi. Uh, we had a some convention here near me once. Uh, there were some people from Battlestar Galactica there. Uh, Galactica. I don't even remember the names. Uh, Christopher Judge was there, that was kind of cool, so a panel of him. He. That's right. As you remember, someone asked him, uh, it was like shortly after some better, uh, not better Galactica, uh, Stargate episodes. And the, uh, someone decided to, uh, that, that TL gets a beard, like a little, little soul patch, I think it was. And someone asked, uh, who, whose idea was that? It was kind of, kind of, 
dumb for something he said, and Chris was just like, actually, it was my idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's always awkward. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of fun. And then they were like, uh, there was like a little after show party. I think we just, just sticked around for, for a little bit. I don't remember it very well. It was like fucking ages ago. Oh, this is so shit. Sorry, it didn't work again. Yeah. I just remember the time was cool because I think we talked a little bit to someone. Because we, we, we were watching the Battlestar Galactica show back then. At least I watched the last season only for some reason. It was really weird. I think my friend watched it and I watched it with him. I was kind of interested. But I don't remember anything from the show, so... I don't know. <laughs> just... Yeah, it was kind of cool. Still. It's like a neat little thing to do. Yeah, yeah. I was saying, it's, um, it's fun to meet these people, and a lot of them can live up to uh, what you're expecting. I, yeah. I misremembered it, I just remembered because I remember being cringier than I was explaining it. I'm pretty sure I asked him if he liked both of the shows. <laughs> Not that if he liked <laughs> filming them, and of course he was he was locked into like one simple answer, and I only realized afterward that I was like, that was probably stupid. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, uh... So, yes, content creators can take advantage of their viewers slash fans very easily. Um, I don't know if we've covered all the different ways or whatever, but um, gotta be careful about it. Especially with the whole, I think more and more people are becoming aware, you see the word floating around, uh, parasocial relationships, as in yeah. people getting like, you're my friends, I've never met you, but you're my friends. <laughs> it's yeah. like... Aiden, Aiden has a really good video on parasocial relationships, and I think she brought it up during one of our... Um... Mm -hmm. EFAPs, the, the topic came up. Yeah, and you want to be careful with that. Um, if I remember, Total Biscuit actually was unhappy with how PewDiePie would do the whole uh, bros and brofist thing, because he was like, you're encouraging people to feel as though that you're someone who's closer to them than you are in reality, and it can fuck with their heads and stuff. I don't know about <clears> that. <throat> yeah, well, trouble with that one. This is the thing, it's... Um, it's like, I don't think either extreme is the right way to go, as in, tell people yeah, constantly, you're um, all my friends, you're all my good friend, versus, no, fuck you all, you you, you know no, knew nothing about me, stay the fuck away. Like, it's like, it's not either of those. Yeah, but I, I think that if, if you're the kind of person who actually thinks that you have some kind of real relationship with someone whose content you like that you've never met and never spoken to or anything like that, you have a problem and you need to get help. Yeah, and I'd say that's probably applicable yeah. whether or not you end a video saying how, it will start with how's it going bros and end on a bro fist. I feel like that's... Yeah, absolutely, yeah. The idea that that leads people to think... I mean, that that's not a standard that you could ever justify, really. Like, oh, you make videos that people like. Well, that's going to increase the chance of people forming parasocial relationships with you. Mm. Yeah, and... Yeah. It would have been interesting to talk to uh, TV about it, like, what do you think the proper handling of it all would be? Um, because I would just be like, it's inevitable, you just try and do what you can here and there. And I think Total Biscuit was fairly... he, he stayed fairly cut off from his fan base, from what I recall. He kind of yeah, kept he was, his distance. Yeah, he was very concerned yeah, he was very... about the potential of people believing that they have a relationship with him beyond consumer of his uh, perspective sort of thing. He just wanted to make sure the line was clear, I think. Yeah, like with me, I heard like sometimes people do come to me in DMs and stuff, and they are, I almost want to say, uh, infatuated almost. But I'm I'm always very very quick to lay down exactly what you know what's going on because I don't want people I don't I don't want people to labor under the impression that we're actually like friends. I take that term pretty seriously. Yeah, I do too. Um, yeah. I want people to like me, sure, and I want to like people, you know. But there is a, like, I don't, I don't know you. I'm glad that you're helping me and supporting me and being part of our audience and supporting the channels and the podcast and everything. But we're not friends. Yeah, it's a complicated uh, connection, and it it doesn't mean it's not meaningful. It's just that you know, don't yeah, like um, I bank on it hugely as some kind of like you because it'll only yeah, like make I, you feel, feel betrayed and it's just like oh no it was never that though yeah I, I think it's safe to say that both Mahler and myself and all of us like we have a legitimate and sincere appreciation for our audience and yeah. we legitimately are happy that our audience enjoys our content but you know there's we don't want to lead you on into some false 
parasocial relationship thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so that was quite a chunky answer. There you go. <laughs> yeah. I think that covered it. Hope so. <laughs> um, I don't even know where I was. Do do do. 2J, what do you think of Minecraft update? Well, <laughs> I don't know what he thinks. Mm -hmm. Yes. I think this is good. Uh, two cat, the cath hounds weren't bullet sponges, Jay. Didn't build his character right. You did nothing wrong, Rags. <laughs> so, um, with a game like KOTOR, much like um, El uh, uh, Dragon Age Origins, much like Hell, uh, uh, Divinity, Original Sin 1 and 2, uh, I could see how you could make a character poorly and that can fuck you over and that can ruin your experience. Especially with Dragon Age Origins, as amazing as that game is, you really can kind of make shitty characters and not get good equipment and you could sort of get fucked uh, by that game. Because that is not an easy game. It is a difficult game. Um, makes it really great to beat but it takes practice and a lot of getting used to the mechanics. It's very rewarding. But I remember my first time sort of playing through that game. It wasn't really like anything else I'd played before, and it kicked my ass. And I really had to learn it and look at builds and make characters a certain way. Um, I would so, want yeah. push back a little on built his character wrong. Is it supposed to be a thing you can build your I mean, character wrong in an RPG? Well, in the sense that you make a character who is extremely underpowered and in a way that's almost like the game doesn't intend for perhaps well if we use dark souls as an example right you're supposed to be able to level technically speaking anything but it does uh sort of peter out eventually so if you put 50 points in and your return is two strength every time you do it and then as soon as you put it to 51 it's one strength as if it's scaling down you're like oh shit you should notice that and so if you carry on plugging into strength instead of taking advantage of how lower levels of other things will give you better benefits, I would consider that like you might be building your character wrong. I just wouldn't wouldn't want to be too hasty on saying you're building a character wrong in a thing that's Yeah, I, I was I wasn't saying like yeah. you in, well, like, incorrect, more sort of super chat. but Oh, alright. Um But yeah, when I said that I meant like a way that is suboptimal to the point of frustration and hmm. a way the game isn't really designed around. Um, but yeah, um, I could see how building a character very poorly can ruin your enjoyment of the game and make you think it's unfair or just getting flat out frustrated by it. Um, obviously we have no context on what Jay was doing, so it's possible. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. Uh, especially if it's your first time. Like I, I, I would be legitimately curious if I could, if I could click my omniscient powers and find out what's the percentage of people who played Dragon Age Origins and they just got fed up with how difficult it was and they weren't familiar with how the game worked or the mechanics or the system and so they gave up thinking that it wasn't a good game you know what percentage of pe you know players experienced that mm -hmm. um I, I would be curious to know Um, or you could do the Dragon Age, or, or sorry, the, the Third Age route, where you could just <laughs> flat out jack of all trades all your characters, and you could still break the game. So, yeah, I don't know what to say about yeah. Third Age. I feel like what we saw was the exploits on like low. Like imagine you plugged all into one thing. I don't know, man. Like it just seems like that game is rife with exploits. Yeah. And yet, yeah. those people were like, "Oh, it's so great! You're being too harsh to it." I'm like, come on. Mm. <laughs> You could just go back to the starting areas and just uh, put one of those uh, high-level weapons. You know, some of those earlier enemies, you could just put them to sleep and just use the other skills that don't deal any damage and just stack and stack and stack the points. Oh, I see what you mean, yeah. Yeah, you could do that pretty much any point in the game as long as you've got um, Idriel healing everyone because some of the enemies are just yeah. too like pitiful to be able to stop you. Um, though I would say, to a degree, that that's alright in that the deterrent is boredom. We think we yeah, talked about this yeah, when I was do doing the Super Chat catch-up, like, it takes a long time to do it, and is that enough of a, like, almost a mechanical balance that, like, yeah, you can make yourself OP if you want to, but it's gonna take a really long time. Um, and it's just not fun to do, you're just pressing A over and over again. Um, I remember in, uh... Final Fantasy X-2 or X-2, I don't know how people actually call it, I don't give a shit. Uh, they had like a weird costume system, I remember that. 
and you could uh, take one of the costumes where you can where you just heal yourself constantly when you move your uh, oh yeah yeah skill. and <laughs> I was I was just reading up I was like huh, how, to, how can I just make this stronger faster and <laughs> top answer was go to an earlier stage get, get go to any enemy put a toothpick in your controller so the X button is pushed down go have lunch come back later <laughs> <laughs> well, <stack. laughs> it's like, oh, okay. That's one way to do it. <laughs> uh, I think I actually did that and had like full scale in that part. <laughs> okay. EFAP chat is rotted. It's supposed to be retarded. Uh, hmm. Stop paying attention to okay. EFAP chat. Signed, a guy whose origin story is being birthed from EFAP chat. Ah, it's. Uh, yeah. I get it. South Pole is like, stay away from EFAP chat, they're retarded, but also. I mean, I agree, but me too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, Alan Moore says superhero movies have blighted cinema and also blighted culture to a degree. They are perfectly good as children's entertainment, but if you try and make them for adult world, then it becomes kind of grotesque. Yeah, I I don't know what other shit opinions Alan Moore has, but uh, there's one of them. Yeah, I was going <laughs> to say, there's so many questions I'd have for that one. Some interesting perspective, but okay. Or a blight on cinema. Fucking hating the MCU is uh, definitely a uh, on vogue. Just like say anything bad about it, you'll probably get some likes. It. it ruined cinema, you see. And you know, you can trace it back to Joss Whedon's Avengers. Joss Whedon's the one who destroyed the MCU and thus cinema. Just saying, you should be killed in a video game. Uh, Oh, oh, I did it faster this time. I'm getting so good at this. Sure. <laughs> I'm gonna be really good at this particular level of Sonic Heroes now, for the rest of my life. Here comes the bit I fucking hate. I'm so excited. Uh, Kotal doesn't have grinding, and most enemies are not bullet spongy. Well, That's a no yeah, you. I, I can't. Yeah, I can't, I can't <laughs> speak. No By you. the way, I don't remember enough. <laughs> Yeah, maybe they are right, and maybe Jay is right. I don't know. Um, I will give Jay a conditional pass on the gameplay only. If I could get the story of KOTOR 1 with the gameplay mechanics of KOTOR 2, I would be a happy man indeed. Well, there you have it. It does seem that some agree with Jay. Some people went as far as saying the story was shit too, apparently, in chat. Jay was interested to see that. That's very controversial. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God, I hate doing that. Wait, my <sighs> Sonic, you suck. And I'm more so referring to the whole game at that point, not just him. But he kind of sucks too. Just Sonic the franchise. Just Sonic, you suck. Yeah, mm. I remember liking Colors a lot more than Heroes, so I'm not going to be too mean. And Generations was kind of neat too. Don't talk about Color again. Yeah, Sonic Colors. It was uh, the LGBT Sonic game. Sonic of Colors. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Still say colored. Heck. This just says wah. I don't know if they're trying to do a Wario impression. Wah. Wah. Uh, wah. Thoughts on the Last Stand Left 4 Dead 2 update? I'm, I haven't played it yet. Yeah, yeah, it. It's not out <laughs> yet, right? Or... Oh, you suck. Fucking fell off after killing a thing. It's like he oh, auto tracks it. onto the fucking cliff side. He's just like, I want to die. You're like, Sonic, please. Sending a Pretty bad sure message to the children who play this game. Pretty sure the update is out though. Is it? For, for a bitch. Yeah. Well, um, I'm sure we can check it out at some point. I'm sure we will. I mean, we've returned to that game to, to some... Jesus, I'm getting tired. <laughs> Words are just not Take in my Take your time, head. honey. It's alright. We will go back to the game eventually anyways, like we tend to do. Oh, there we go. That wasn't that hard. Yes, we'll be we'll be cool with with checking it out at some point. Okay, Sonic. You do you, buddy. Um, Jay, make your Kotal video so we can debunk you. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the peer pressure to be wrong. It's like, please do it. Do it. We need it. I need you to be wrong. Um, what movies slash video games do you guys think are overrated? Oh my! I'm pretty sure we've answered this question before. Uh, yeah. Skyrim, The Last of Us, um, 
Bioshock Infinite. Bioshock Infinite. Yeah. Breath of the uh, Wild. Resident Evil 7, do you think that's overrated? Yes. Sorry, I was angry that I died. Oh, <laughs> it's such a um, uh, well, Most Nolan stuff, even though one of my favorite films of all time is Nolan. Um, hmm. I'm gonna probably regret this, but oh, no. do it. Which is three. You think it's overrated? I think it is a bit overrated. It is talked up like the second coming of Christ in terms of video games. And I, I think it gets away with a lot because of that position. I'm mostly referring to gameplay aspects, like the combat. Yeah, the combat's fine. I lean a bit worse than fine. I think... I think how mediocre it is and how little it matches up with the fantasy the game's presenting in terms of like how a witcher operates that damages my immersion quite heavily i could how say so? at least well because so the witcher is supposed to be someone who like knows a lot and is very knowledgeable and uh has to prepare a lot for the encounters they go into with monsters right mm -hmm. uh but the problem i have with the game is First off, most of this preparation isn't really necessary. So, like, I don't really need to know specific things about a, a monster before I go in to fight it, or it's weak to or anything. That's mostly auxiliary. Unless I'm up to death march, at which point it's kind of mandatory, unless it, I want everything to health sponge forever. And even then, the, like, kind of thing I do in terms of preparation is fairly... Like, it, it doesn't change between specific kinds of monster, because I'm applying the oil that applies to that monster, for example. So, what I'm actually doing hasn't changed at all. So it kind of takes me out of it when I'm just running into every fight with Thunderbolt, Swallow, and Light Attacks, rather than having to, you know, go through the busy work and make sure I'm prepared for what I'm getting into. I don't know if I necessarily want busy work, but I see what you're getting. Like, so do you prefer the second Witcher? Yeah, a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, they, they certainly feel like different games. Playing hmm. Witcher 2 is really good, but it's definitely not nearly as approachable to the normal Absolutely. person. Like, Witcher 2 is hard. Oh, yeah. Like it is a it is a game that while it benefits immensely from you taking your time with it, it is not a game that owes itself to hurrying through and expecting a casual experience of oh I'll just go through this. In that sense, The Witcher Three is much more. Uh, I I don't want to I don't want to say dumbed down, but yeah I don't think that's quite right. Yeah it's it's more it's more accessible. Yeah. Uh, the Witcher 2 feels extremely rewarding when you beat it because it's very tough. Um, mm. You have things like in the Witcher 2 combat, you can't pause. You can't just, like, you can't just pause the game and do stuff for your character. You don't have health regen for the most part unless you know how to get it. And even then, it's not very powerful. Yeah. Um, like when you get a hit and when you get hit in combat in the witcher 2 it's a big deal because chances are you're not getting that health back um it, it's a lot more yeah unforgiving in that aspect and i appreciate that kind of thing in games a lot more generally i don't value accessibility in the sense of systems being really approachable like that i, as I think i I think I had more fun playing The Witcher 3, though. I think for all of the simplification they made, I think it just made the experience more fun for for me. Mm. Um, but I also adore The Witcher 2. I do um, want to clarify just quickly here. Like, I'm not saying the game is bad, far from it. I think the game's still really good. I just think it gets away with stuff because, because it's rated so highly and it has so much prestige. Like the story, um, the atmosphere. Yeah, I think the story, the atmosphere, the characters and dialogue, the it has a very, very, like when The Witcher 3 is one of the best games you could point to for 
can I believe this world is real? Yeah, absolutely. Um, it, it really, like, you when you play Witcher 3, you get sort of surrounded by all of it at once. Hmm. Uh, it all just combines so excellently. Like, even my immersion woes are offset by just how great the world is. Like, just riding through it on Roach. Yeah, it's insane. Uh, the, the amount of screenshots I have for Witcher 3 is nuts. Oh, it's beautiful. But I do think it has its flisms here and there, but could bear with being talked about more. There's a couple other things that are much more specific to me that I wouldn't even really call our issues, just things I pick up on that maybe could have been worth looking at further. Well, there we have it. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of stuff that we consider overrated. I think we've talked about it before, but that's a, that's a good selection. Yeah. Um, it's like a topic that just comes up naturally. Yeah, it's similar out. with like, what's your favorite <laughs> things? What's your most hated things? It's like, hopefully we, Some, we should start. Someone in chat mentioned it, but I'm like, Fall Test was such a great character. Yeah. Uh, I really, really liked Fall Test as a character. Um, uh, he wasn't around for long, spoiler alert. But like, what he was, he's a really, I mean, like, what a Chad. What an interesting character who was, he seemed like such a real person. That's exactly what I was going to say. He felt so tangible in that way oh, you oh yeah so he's like this guy yeah this is a human being yeah. yeah i totally believe that this is like an actual person and i totally respect him flaws and all mm. but he's just like a he's just a cool ass dude um i'm trying to think <laughs> of another game real quick but i guess um Carry, uh, carry on, I suppose. Maybe, yeah. if, maybe if one comes to mind, I'll, I'll mention it. But yeah. we all agree, modern WoW sucks. I don't modern yeah. WoW. So, yeah. I've heard that World of Warcraft has been getting like shit. I think Az plays it. You can ask him. <laughs> he, he'll know. Yeah, I've heard that some of the expansions have been super disappointing, and Blizzard hasn't been doing a good job with it. I don't know. I. I could only play it for like two, three months, and I just stopped. It just wasn't engaging to me or interesting. Um, didn't grab me. I dropped off that train long, long ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You walk a dangerous line, Jay. Be careful in your ratings. Oh my god. That sounds like a threat. Um, Resident Evil 4 is one of the best games ever, but I can understand when the controls throw people off. There's no problem with not liking the gameplay. Yeah, I agree. I, yeah, I get why people would like annoy it. People, I know that. Yeah, but just fucking grow up and play the amazing game. Like, <laughs> fuck, man. As long as you understand its its limits, the game is built yeah, around it's, it. Like, it's, it's purposeful. From the first second that you play the game, like, the controls never change. And I think it's a credit to the game that it makes you choose moving or shooting. Mm -hmm. Which is very like, you have to create windows for yourself and you have to decide do I retreat or do I, you know, shoot the bad guys or do it? You know, it, it really makes you value things like positioning because you, you can't move and shoot. You have to choose one or the other. Um, uh, but yeah, it just. I, I think it's one of those. Some people say it hasn't aged well. I don't agree. I think just people are. Dude, it's one of the best more... aged things. Like, it's. For gaming, it's fucking amazingly aged. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, it, it's shockingly how good it's aged. If I was going to change anything from it, like, I just just graphical updates. Like, a lot of the graphics in it have aged well, poorly. We, as we've talked stuff. about, it might have the best inventory system in terms of just making it engaging and balancing the whole game through it in many ways. Yeah, yeah it's, it's fucking amazing. It's incredible. It's, it's very, very good. Um, for some reason, they didn't clone it. <laughs> they made it different <laughs> in the other games. Yeah. Like, why? We've talked before about how Resident Evil 5 is basically a downgrade from 4 in almost every way except graphical. So how do series do that? Like, strike gold with a system and then just drop it? Like, I'm talking about Dark Souls as well here, with the Estus Flask in 1. Yeah, I don't know. Hit, like, okay, we have essentially the perfect healing system, and now we're going to drop it. 
Also, I want to bring like, up, by um, the way, I just did wait, so well, about? I got an extra life from collecting coins, so it fucking rings. <laughs> uh, it's just three parts to this level that are three insta-kill parts. If I can't get past them, like, I, I have like a 50% completion ratio on each one of them. So really, I'm just <laughs> rolling a big dice and I have to land on a certain number. Do you understand how frustrating that is to me? <laughs> I could have completed this first try if all of those things had lined up, but I'm on try number 7,000 at this point. Cause you're bad! <sighs> okay, oh, it didn't work, but I survived. Oh, feels weird, man. What's the fucking way to kill these things without risking anything? That's all I want to do. Come back to me. Okay. Yeah, Resident Evil 4 is really fucking good. Me and Rex should both replay it and then have a stream about it. <laughs> that's, that's yeah, I will do. gladly play Resident Evil 4 again. I've played, I've played and beaten that game, and many I times. don't even know how many times. Um, What's funny is I, I could probably play some parts of that with I my was fucking eyes closed. In the desert part of it, um, when the crazy GTA 5 take happened, and it's funny that I'll always connect those two that way now. The um, desert. Yeah, like the it was. It, you know, like when you fight the army dudes, um, there's like a you go to like an un underground. Desert is the wrong word. I'm just it's just my brain struggling to. Oh, like the tomb. It. Yeah, like the I tomb area, the catacombs. Yeah, yeah. Um, I got what you mean. Yeah. I was in there when someone in chat said that GTA 5 flopped, and we had this whole. Oh, I, I, was, oh. I was shooing the heads off things. I still remember, and I was just going through all of his arguments like you're insane. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Also, I've done all three of the insta kill things successfully this time. And I've not died once. <laughs> I'm getting good at Sonic Heroes, this is embarrassing. <laughs> it was supposed to be goofy. What happened? Um, though I will admit, I'm a little scared right now, because I've only got the easy path left, and I know that I'm going to fuck it up just because of the fact that it's, I've done all the hard bits. Um, do do do. Hot take, Half-Life 1 and 2 are bad. Oh. Gonna have to disagree with you there, partner. That is pretty hot. Mm. Half-Life 1 super impressed me. One of the earlier games that I played. And I couldn't mm -hmm. quite get over how much fun I was having. Uh, Half-Life 2 is... I don't know that I, I, I want to appeal to this, but Half-Life 2 is kind of in a selection of games like Doom and um, Quake. A couple of others where they were, they were games that were hyper-influential. Dark Souls are probably in there too. Hmm. Everybody wanted to be like Half-Life when it came out, and it had loads of really shitty clones. Um, but yeah, I think Half-Life 1 and 2 are really, really good. Anyone else here got opinions on it? <laughs> um, I mean, Half-Life 2, I understand why it was super influential. Um, I played it, you know, years back and for the first time, and it was fine. You know, I was like, I was like, yeah, it's fine. I'm gonna jump up and down for a good five minutes, so. I think. I've reached the end. I'm very happy about this. <laughs> uh, howdy, Rags. Hey. Thank you guys for the hours of content. It's one of the f uh, one of the things that get me through work. It's like I have friends. Smiley face. Well, it's interesting they brought that up just after oh. we're talking about the whole parasocial thing. It's important they said like, right? Because we do yeah. like to entertain and we do like to have a back and forth, but we wouldn't want it said that we consider everyone in chat friends. It's like, oh, hang on. And, and say things wrong, but I mean, I don't mean to bring that up in, in, in front of you saying you have a lot of fun listening to us and get through work and stuff, that's that's always one of the greatest things to hear, we're, uh, we're happy about it. Yay, look how happy chat are that I managed to beat this level. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the nightmare is over. Not do it again. Nightmare slime. I fucking love, by the way, that the, the time I beat it is when I didn't die once on the whole fucking level too. <sighs> It was like my uh, nine hour try of course for the first time. Yeah. There you go, Chad. I'll play Bloodborne on Super Chat Catch Up. Watch me fail against all the bosses. Um, maybe contrarian was the wrong word to use, but I'm sure I wouldn't have to look very far, very hard to find Rag speaking favorably about Kotor. Well, you haven't played it, right? Yeah, maybe at the time I remember it more than I do at the moment. I it's like I said, I played it years and years and like years and years and years ago, like on the Xbox. <clears throat> so like, I remember know, I liking it, but I I can't. I remember so few details about. I want to stress though, right? So what happened was 
I don't like Co like person A said I don't like Kotor. I got put off it gameplay wise, and the gameplay reference specifically was a bunch of bullet sponge enemies that he had to defeat to get past them. Someone else comes in and says no, and then you decide to say, "Hey, bullet sponge enemies are actually really fucking annoying." Like I don't see how that makes you contrarian. This is, yeah, is it I. We were kind of discussing a binary proposition here, and I've got to take one side. Because I was going to say... Like, it was I very tentative. That's... It was like, well, if what Jay is saying is true, then yeah, that sounds uh, bad. And I wouldn't want to uh, make it sound like it's a simple thing. Like, bullet sponge enemies, there's a lot of requirements to come in that, and a lot of things could be labeled a bullet sponge enemy without them actually being it when you... I got a D, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Gabe. Oh, well, you didn't fail. True, a D is a pass. Um... So, like, someone could be like, oh, this, this enemy sucks bullet sponge, and then you'd be like, oh, you haven't figured out what you're supposed to do X, Y, Z. So it's more so in concept rather than in reference to KOTOR. It's like, if it if it is what it sounds as though Jay is describing it to be, then, yeah, and these are the criticisms of those things. That That's all that was. Rags isn't hating KOTOR because it's popular to be... Well, that wouldn't even make sense. Contrarian is just wants to disagree, right? Yeah, just disagreement yeah, for its own sake. It's just yeah. wanting to go against the grain just because it's going against the grain. Which I don't think makes sense if you've got two people to choose from. How do you contrarian your way through that? I feel like bullet sponginess is very deeply tied to how technical of a fight the enemy is. Yeah, if it's just... If it's if it's like I'm... What's a good example of a... Of a um... When we played Destiny 2, it felt really bullet spongy. And it wasn't fun because the gameplay in that isn't fun. Um, it's just like shooting the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. Um, but if it's a fight that comes in multiple stages and phases and there's different mechanics that are incorporated into it and the fight takes a long time, but it's interesting. I don't I doubt people would call that, you know, like bullet spongy. Yeah. Like if it bullet spongy normally implies a, a kind of monotony mm -hmm. of just doing the same thing over and over and over and over again ad nauseum to kill a boss when you've clearly mastered the mechanic and it's just for time's sake making you do it over and over and over again. Yeah. Like I said, there'd be requirements and then context specific sort of like, oh, but you didn't know that you were supposed to do XYZ and that's what made it that for you and it would have been this. Like there's there's lots of ways it could uh undo but i don't think i don't really think anybody nobody says oh i love bullet sponge enemies i don't think that's a thing right it's usually a the whole point of that criticism is that it's a negative yeah it's almost always it it it, it has it is negative connotation to say yeah. bullet spongy you, you're pointing out that things are taking longer to kill than is interesting why is this the enemy this is fucking horde mode in sonic heroes <laughs> Get your shotgun. Oh Go god. Shot. Which is... And, and that's why I don't like... Um, bullet spongy enemies are probably... They might be my biggest turnoff from playing a lot of games on higher difficulties. Because of how just insanely unfun it is. Um, generally, a good example would be... Like, like uh, let's take the Halo games, right? Halo games aren't meant to be played on Legendary. Uh... It's like a, it's like a, a, a purposefully unfair challenge that's there for you to overcome, hmm. but the game is not designed around legendary difficulty in terms of its balance, right? Um, and enemies can take so many bullets to kill that it's just like I would much I would I would much rather play a game where you're a glass cannon than where you just where where you're basically generally safe and you just have to pour shit into enemies to kill them with relative safety. Um, it just isn't. Is I find that a lot more interesting, a lot more engaging. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, the division, the original division. Um, it, fucking hell, enemies in that game could be shockingly bullet spongy. Um, which didn't gel with the presentation about how this bad guy that I'm shooting at, he's some thug in a beanie, but I have to shoot him ten times in the face with a sniper rifle to kill him. All numbers yeah. pop out of his head and his health bar barely goes down mm. like that was a fucking slog which is a shame because the game was gorgeous and otherwise pretty well done but that was 
what it, that just ruins everything because that's the combat the combat is shooting at lots of bullet spongy enemies which is just not fun yeah man give me a vermintide or a killing floor over that shit any day make me fight a hundred one hit kill enemies at once fucking do that shit that's yeah. fun this fucking level's trying to be cute with how i'm supposed to get between different areas and it would be nice if the game was 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 equipped to deal with me failing to understand what their cute ideas are without having to sacrifice a life because it sends me all the way back to the beginning and it's just like look at this point, Sonic Heroes, you're going to benefit from a Mario-style fucking person in a cloud picking me up with a hook whenever I go off the edge, because at this point, it's just like, I, I don't know what you're trying to do all the time. So when I try and test anything, I end up falling down a chasm. Oh, Sonic, I love you, buddy. So fucking cringy with your homing ability. And I've just lost all my lives. So There's no point, I guess. I should just restart. I love this game. Shut up. <laughs> Uh, Cuphead has a trash art style. Damn. I, wow, I, that, that is a hot, hot take. Style. Yeah, that is a hot take. That is a, that's a, oof. Well, I like Cuphead's art style a lot, actually. I do too, I think it's fucking great. Cool, Sonic, you did it again, buddy. I think that's the last of my life, so it's actually not often we get. It's it's not often we get to hear Mahler's controller. That's true, yeah. It's all lies. I wasn't even using a controller. I'm using VR for Sonic here. <laughs> Monster Hunter World is the worst Monster Hunter game. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> just, just no. <laughs> no way. I've played a few of them, and fuck me, World is, is very much welcome into the Monster Hunter series. Um, hi guys, I'm a new fan of your channel. To show my appreciation, I'd like to recommend a show on Amazon slash Hulu called The Shield. It's legendary, and I feel you guys will love it. Also, hi, Rex. Hello, and uh, welcome to the channel. Thanks yeah, for hello. stopping on by and helping us out. Um, I don't think I've heard of The Shield. I think Southpaw's mentioned it before. I've heard it. He said it's really good. Um, it, I'm assuming that's like a cop procedural show. I don't know. Literally based on barely anything. <laughs> but either way, uh, I maybe I'll check it out at some point. Maybe it'll be a thing that gets recommended a lot, and then one day you guys find out I hate it and you get really upset. That would never happen. No, no, I was just making that up. What a crazy scenario. Uh, Madoka Magica is an overrated garbage fire. No, no. <laughs> what is it? It's an anime. Oh, it could be garbage. We can't trust Theo on anime. <laughs> the hell, man! <laughs> I've actually just, I did just make that up. That's not based on like anything. <laughs> You're tainted yeah, by the anime. That take incorrect. All right. If you say so. Was. Hmm. Hmm. Fuck Is you. Is the game. song? Look at the way I just died. Me. That is some cancer cringe put together. Cancer cringe, super AIDS. Cancer. That's what they call that. Cringer. Oh, Cringer. good job once again. Like, why is this considered fun? By anybody. Team Blast? It, that's only gonna push me forward to the next set of enemies. That's, that's just, that's not dealing with the problem. That's just dealing with a symptom. Is there a moon on the floor? I don't know. See, like, what has happened? It's weird. Why can't Sonic be a good boy? Why is he always a bad man? Oh, no, that's not what I told you to do. Uh, I still play Resident Evil 4. Finished it 20 plus times. Hi, Rag. Hey! Yeah, it's yeah, very man, it, replayable. It, yes, very replayable. It is extremely mechanically tight and predictable in a good way, where you could fucking learn that game, and you can excel at doing good at that game, and it feels good to do good at that game. Mm -hmm. Oh god, these deaths, man. It's all built around how shit the, the Sonic's homing ability is, but like, they want you to use it for that first fight, you can tell it's built that way, because the next round is built for so uh, Knuckles. And I just, I think I might just use Tails. I think Tails is probably the better one at this point. You know that game? I'm choosing Tails over Sonic. How do you feel? Oh my glorms. 
listen to Elite Cena fan. Watch the shield. Oh, that's from Southpaw. There you go. Mm. Um, Minecraft is trash unless heavily modded. I do not agree. I feel like I think vanilla Minecraft is still extremely strong. I guess we're still on hot takes. <laughs> Cause, yeah. yeah, that is a very hot take. Vanilla Minecraft is still an extremely strong mechanically bursting full of just just it's super it's insanely good vanilla minecraft is insanely good like for all the memes and stuff like minecraft is an insanely good video game and i'm glad that a lot of people grew up with it unironically the, it's the video game of rick and morty where everyone's like no it's minecraft I'm like that doesn't still <laughs> Minecraft is a meme. And yeah, a lot of people did grow up with it. It's kind of it's kind of weird cuz uh pretty sure Jay did. And it's just like, oh man. I feel yeah, old. Uh, just talking about it makes me want to fucking play it. And do it Minecraft's right. Don't fucking let your be good. Lost. Like Minecraft, don't get me wrong, Minecraft is a masterpiece. Like unironically, I'm the world is better because of Minecraft. <laughs> wow, you must like Notch. He hasn't had. He hasn't been in charge of Minecraft in a long time. But well, yeah, he made uh, it. <laughs> That's the, the... Yeah, um, but I, I seems like a he. He seems like a based dude. Oh, so he's a Nazi. Okay. He um, I think he said to Mark Brown, like, stop talking about politics, and I'll delete my Twitter account. And then Mark said he would, and so he did. All right. <laughs> really, really weird thing that happened. <laughs> but like, yeah, that's what happened. Oh my god, that one was golden. I think it was on the, um... I think Notch was in the chat when Bro Team played, um... Stranger... Not Stranger Things, uh... What's that? What's the game where you play as the magic time traveling lesbian? <laughs> what? The story one? Strange? Oh, Life uh, is Strange. Life is Strange. Time yeah, when he was playing lesbian. that game and making fun of it, not was like in the chat. You have to appreciate it. By the way, I need to check up with Bro Team Pill because he's insanely funny. You have to realize what you said was 100% accurate, but without knowing about it, it actually sounds fucking stupid as hell. Like, time traveling <laughs> lesbian is the concept. <laughs> like, um. Yeah, wasn't it when Efab, uh, when we, when we had uh, ER on, someone actually super chatted that he's wrong about Life is Strange. And they're gonna make a video on how wrong he was. I, oh, I believe right, that happened, so yeah. Get ready, EFAP slash ER. Um. Oh, baby. Uh. Do -do -do. So, I think. See, so there's a big floomp over there. I don't know if it wants me to go toward it. Um, this thing only takes me to a thing that sends me back over here. Oh, camera, please. Just, just hang hang on. So, um, hey, Sonic fans. What does the game want me to do? Like I said, if I try and experiment, I'll fucking kill myself, and then I have to do it all over again. Oh. I, I must have done something that made this happen. I guess. Good so proud job. of myself. Oh god, this shieldman's. If I had, oh, I have team blast back. I, only just, I thought I just used. It. Okay, whatever, fine. Um, Devil Man Crybaby Netflix version is overrated. There's a Netflix, Netflix DMC. <laughs> not, not <laughs> DMC. Uh, Devil Man Cry. I think it's on Netflix. I don't think that's a Netflix version. Because Devil Man Cry Baby is a loose remake of Devil Man, I think. Fucking worthless. Which, if, if ever you guys want a good laugh, look up Devil Man's dub. It's fucking hilarious. Oh, wait, so I thought people were saying Devil Man to make fun of Devil May Cry. I didn't realize that was an, oh, was, no, an actual no, thing. Devil Man Cry Baby is its own thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> Because because you're you're a guy who likes DMC, right? So I thought people were trying to come yeah. at you with that. Oh, yeah, well, they can they can try. Oh. This is the best game series. The best, bar none. Bar none. Damn. Not talk about God of War. Ah. Huh? 
<laughs> I said, but he's not talking about God of huh? War. What's he saying? Oh no. Oh. What? <laughs> oh yeah, because who? What is your current favorite game, Mel? Uh, oh. So at one point it was God of War 4, wasn't it? God of War, I haven't played it in a long time. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. Oh. Okay, I can't. I legit as can't long as it's Devil May Cry, Theo will leave you alone. Yeah. No. Theo, oh, known for, you know, coming after people. Yeah, I'm gonna play all of the God of War thingies soon. Theo's I got my a field PlayStation stealer. chism back from my friend though, so I can play all the God of Wars again. Shabit. I'm gonna play them all on stream and gonna get so much fun. And you're gonna be like, they're all objectively bad, don't happen. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna happen. Guys, look out, he's to gonna hate talk them about them again. Hmm? Sorry? Me yeah. or <laughs> Oh, right. Never mind. I was just making a stupid joke. Wow. Uh, Alright. Like, I understand that you don't take Metal seriously ever, but he does deserve some consideration, so just constantly making jokes for his perspective. I'm sorry about this, Mel. Normally, Theo's That's very right. respectful. <laughs> Never to me. That's alright. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Why are you doing this? I'm gonna tell everybody you did this. Uh, for my birthday wish, watch Ronald the Barbarian. We got so many consistent requests every EFAP now. I don't know what to do about it. We shouldn't have watched Hardcore Henry Rags, we've opened a, a floodgate. Damn, think of all those super chats. Um, enjoy listening to you guys and girl. Uh, I'm glad. Oh, thanks. Hot take, movie Bob's pancreas functions normally. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's a perfectly normal sized pancreas for a family of four. I... I like the that means they've just taken to the point now where hot take just means lie. <laughs> That's the <laughs> definition. Um, what do you guys think of Pokemon games? I like the old ones, haven't played the new ones. Have you played any of them? So um, I um the old ones, I haven't played any of the new ones. I can't even tell you which is the last one I played. I can I can take the hot take position if you guys want. I think the old I, th Pokemon's... I was actually debating how I was gonna word mine. So Pokemon's kind of trash. I'm sorry. The the overall yeah, I... grind. The grind is the game. The interesting yeah. part of being like, I'm water and they're electric. I should use water move. It's like that's the best you get from Pokemon really. And the stories are incredibly simplistic. Yeah, I I I can see how they. And yeah, to be fair, I loved them yeah. when I was a kid. Uh... Yeah, I loved them when I was a kid too. Um, I I tried to get back into them, like later when I was more i guess mentally developed but i just couldn't they couldn't hold my attention they were just boring grinds uh i like i i guess people really really love them but i think they're super simplistic i think the combat is boring and dull i think the strategy is almost non-existent um the grind is an insane part of the game and it's super unfun and i just don't think they're good, and I think they're insanely boring to play. So, yeah. <laughs> there we go. That's not a hot take. I already saw it. <laughs> it's not a hot take. <laughs> like I've seen people who have Pokemon channels, and they, uh, like Madrai Bread and people like that, who come up with these challenges and stuff. To can you beat the game using only this, or can you beat the game? Like never healing or can you beat the game using only this attack you know just crazy stuff like that and it's interesting to listen to them like formulate strategies about how they're going to beat the game with these parameters knowing these mathematical equations about how the game functions i find that very interesting but that's not because of the game they're playing is pokemon right pokemon is just the vehicle for them to do that stuff um so uh yeah uh not a not a big fan of pokemon i don't hate it like i don't think it like i don't have any animosity towards pokemon i just don't think the games are good oh it, it's the blast changes based on who i'm using that's interesting i don't remember getting a guide on that but i probably did and I don't want to use Team Blast on these guys, because then I can't use it on the next round, which was Horse Hooey. 
Sorry for the harsh language. And I got thrown off the fucking map again! Woo! Only ever kills me in this game through stun locking or throwing me off the map. Which, by the way, yeah. really satisfying as a player to know that every time I get killed, there was fuck all to be done in terms of trying to prevent it. It's just sort of ended up that way. Yeah, it's like what I was saying earlier. If you're making a video game and you're going to have stuff like that in your game, tread fucking carefully. It's everywhere. And they set me all the way back. Like, I'm going to beat this game. It is my Dark Souls, okay? Gonna, it's it's uh, cost for yeah. that. Like, there are some enemies down. in Guild Wars 2 who are... They're heavily reliant on on ceasing players and it crowd controlling uh, players and it is they they are extremely frustrating to play against and everyone in the game knows it and so when those bosses come up or when those bounties are taken a lot of times people are like Ugh, we got to do this one boss you know uh, but like really like players will notice it no one likes no one likes getting hit by one attack that stuns lock stun locks you so you could get hit by another attack and knocked off of a ledge and instant die like no one likes that no just just don't put it in your game <laughs> you don't have to you're the dev you get to make the decisions you don't have to have that stuff in your game yeah how do the pokemon take over in chat are they okay with this oh it uh, seems to be going over fairly well mm. I think the Sonic takes are more hot than the Pokemon ones, which is surprising, to be honest. I, I assumed we'd have lots of people. Yeah, uh, I, 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 I guess Pete. I don't know. You would think that Pokemon's more beloved, but oh well. All right. Yeah. Shows our degenerate audience. I guess. Sonic fans. <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn freaks. Uh, only fun part is the main part. Okay. I don't know what that's in reference to. Fallout 4 is objectively the second best Fallout game. Oh shit, I accidentally chose quit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't actually lose that much progress, that's not so bad. Could be worse. Um, yeah, uh, I've not played through them so I can't really comment, but I know that Fallout 1 and 2 are highly respected. Absolutely. They're beloved. Um, I never played them. Uh, before my time, I guess. Never went back and played them. Um, my first Fallout game, like I would say a lot of people, maybe even most people, was Fallout 3. It's my first Fallout game. I adored it. I loved it. It was maybe the first game that, or one of the first games, uh, it's like along with Minecraft, where I just got lost in, and I, I just fell into that game and got totally absorbed by everything. Um, it Fallout 3 is a special place in my heart. I bet there's some... I, undoubtedly, there's issues with it. It's a Bethesda game. But um, I, I remember it extremely fondly. Yeah, I um, I fully completed Fallout 3. It was definitely an immersive one. Though I did softlock myself in it once, and I got very upset about it. Um, which put me off playing it for ages. But then I went back to it eventually, and I was like, you know what? Just better not do that next time. I'll, I'll deliberately avoid it. It was in Metaton. Uh, Megaton? Sorry, Me Megaton, yeah. Um, I imagine I wasn't the only person who ever did it, but I didn't realize the rules quite clearly yet. And I pissed off everybody because I uh, tried hitting the cow. And the whole place was like, fuck you! And then I ran away and walked through a door, which auto-saved, and I only had one save. Which meant I was trapped in there forever. Um, or I think they come in, right? And I couldn't take them because I was too low. And I was just like getting killed over and over again. It was sad. Don't recommend that experience. But uh, Fallout 3 has been discussed again and again about whether or not it's actually good by many YouTubers. What's uh, that? yeah, I could bet it's. I, I, I'll. If someone told me it's super flawed, I'd take them at their word. Uh,. I think it's H Bomber Guy versus many a true nerd. They're the two people who've uh, making big videos on it. I mean, like I, w I, I, if someone said it was bad, like I don't know if I'd buy that. Would you but, buy that um, for a dollar? Rags, what about the ending? Um, isn't there like more than I? We talking about like yeah, the main game ending? Yeah, I think there's ending. a couple. Yeah, because because you, you restore the 
like the water purifier as so the i almost said the inquest the um rem who are the who are the baddies not the inquest not the remnant is it remnants I don't know. I don't the 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 faction that the president's from someone help me out here um uh what were they called why do i keep wanting calling them inquest the enclave enclave thank you lightning and see um the enclave yeah they're 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 the baddies in that game uh they wanted to put something in the water that would kill like all the ghouls and mutants and stuff uh and they'd fuck with the water and stuff and you had to stop them um but you you should choose not to and that helps like it helps good stuff so yeah um someone says fallout 3 new vegas new vegas absolutely new vegas is uh it's, well, yeah, it's I, good shit this person said that um fallout 4 is the second best objectively and i feel like there's probably gonna be a, there's a tough battle for that game to fight yeah i don't know about that um especially if yeah. one and two are included in that I think so 76 four, is the best. Uh, so Fallout 4 is without like vanilla Fallout 4 is fine but disappointing undoubtedly. With mods, you could really yeah, I mean that game is pretty darn good once you could mod the shit out of it. Uh, I had a lot of fun playing that game with mods. Right, it hurts my soul to hear how little you know about Fallout. Well, it depends. Like I know a lot about Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 4. And I know a fair amount about Fallout 76, but I'm not like a Fallout expert or anything. I know a decent amount. I just never played one or two, and I don't remember three that much. Three um, at the same time? Are you fucking kidding me right now? Is this real life? Why would you do this to me, game? Also, yeah, I'm, I'm not too into uh, Fallout lore, if you will. Neat games, um, but I'm just not the man to ask. Do, do, do. Um, about the boys season two. Spoiler alert: I can't believe you guys didn't notice the massive problem with Maeve basically teleporting at first. That and Becca escaping is what ruined the episode for me. But we did. Hot take: Fallout seventy six is better than Fallout four. No, no. Fallout seventy six was a fucking dumpster fire it was one of the worst games i'd ever played it was uh, it was like imagine a game that like every single part of it is basically terrible right no it's even worse all right the thing that's even it's worse, worse than all of it than being a game terrible. Hear, hear me out hear me out what makes fallout 76 so insanely bad right to play it is because it's like 95 percent horseshit and every once in a while, you see the 5%. Like, there, there are some times where you're in a neat location and the lighting is just right and the atmospheric particles looking really nifty and the light is working nice and, and, and you're in this cool location and it looks nifty and all the details line up and you stop for just a second and you go, man, you know, if they gave a shit, this could have been like a really cool game and then an enemy that's 30 levels above you spawns five feet from you and then you die and then you remember that you're playing fallout 76 like it, there's there's just a little bit a tiny little sliver of good in fallout 76 that shows that it could have had potential to be really nifty maybe downright excellent but then you just remember what you're playing and it's it, it's shit it's terrible Fallout 4 is disappointing. Fallout 76 is trash. And to clarify, I think I asked you this before, but it's not we're not dealing with No Man's Sky, right? It hasn't improved significantly or anything? I hear it's better, but of course it's better. Like you can't make it you I Because it was non functional essentially at first. Kinda. Like borderline? The I, I've said before that Fallout 76 was almost fun to play because of how many bugs you see. Mm -hmm. Like every you like every five minutes you'd run into some crazy weird bug, and it would be entertaining to see how broken it is. Just how can can I walk down this road? How many weird bugs and glitches can entertain me as I just walk around? 
like there, there was a kind of it was mesmerizingly bad for a while oh dude Fifth. that's good for team blast that's satisfying oh i'm getting through this game i'm gonna get there guys have faith we're almost done with the halloween section someone says i'd say the mods for fallout 4 are good not fallout 4 no fallout 4 has good stuff in it it's just that it doesn't all mesh into a good in a good way right um like like if you take a game like seven days to die individually pretty much all the components are not great at all some of them are downright bad some of them are fine but when you mix everything together the base building the enemies the looting the leveling up the mechanics uh, the crafting when you mix it all together it comes together in a very interesting way and it plays unlike anything else and it's fun to play um so yeah a game is definitely more than you know it, it's definitely more than the sum of its parts Um, if you've forgotten a lot about Fallout 3, like, guys, Fallout 3, I played that when it came out, and that was... A while ago. Yeah, let me, let me... Fallout 3 came out in 2008. That shit was, fuck, it's 12 years ago. Like, yeah, a game that I played, essentially, maybe at the latest, I played it in 2010. At the latest. And even then, that's pushing it. So, you... In it, so I'm, I'm going from memory from a 10 year old game. So, yeah. I really just opened the game with dying. It had a bitch in cover, though. <laughs> Alright. Um, yeah, as oh. for the Mave thing, we didn't pick it up on our first watch through, but we definitely caught it in our uh, stream. Um, and I guess I assumed when I first saw it that uh, Mave had just followed the boys or something. Uh, I got I got nothing. But another thing I hadn't thought about was just yeah, if Homelander had dealt with um, the soldiers really fast, then he could have just come out there and killed all of them. Mm -hmm. What if he lasered Maeve without finding out about her leverage? You know, He'd fuck everything up. Fucking Maeve. <laughs> um, so, what are you gonna say? Uh, just so useless. Okay. The Gua 98 rifles are overrated and inferior to the M1903 rifles. Um, so the Gewehr, I, I guess it depends which model of the Gewehr we're talking about. Um, but the M1903 was probably the best bolt action rifle of the Second World War. Oh, wait, I oh, was sorry, the First World War. Um, I mean, there were different variants of the Gewehr, they had the M95s. Um, the M98s and probably some other ones, but those were the two main ones. But yeah, I'd say that the M1903 was the best. The Springfield, I believe, the M1903 Springfield was probably the best bolt action rifle of the First World War. There was plenty of good ones, though, um, but I, I'd say that was probably the best one. I didn't. I don't think that's a controversial thing to say, though. I wouldn't know. Uh, I guess you would. You have you have gun friend. You constantly I mean, talk the about SMLE guns. Is, that is. Yeah. Um. But I mean, the SM SMLE was really good. Um. So, uh, for me though, like, because my 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 father has an SMLE, and I don't know if it's just something with my eyes, but I can't quite use the irons the typical irons of an smle it just doesn't work with my eyes with the way that it focus maybe i just got to spend more time with it but i'm a pretty good shot but just something about the sights don't quite gel with me um but yeah but i'm i'm, I'm gonna go with uh hmm yeah uh but yeah, it could be the SMLE or the M1903, probably now that I think about it. Um, Autist take. Half-Life 2 is the most overrated game ever. It's a needlessly uh, eclectic physics engine snowboat showboat for normies with messiah complexes. <laughs> That's a take, I suppose. Um, I always thought the physics shit in Half-Life 2 was really fascinating when I first played it. I was impressed. I'm pretty sure that was part of what made it very influential. Um, 
I wouldn't be able to tell you more specifics about what makes Half-Life 2 really good, though, because it's just been so long since I've played it, but, uh... I think it's probably a hot take to say a shit, yeah. The AR-15 platform is objectively superior to the AK platform. I would probably agree. Yeah, I, I think I would agree. I would agree with that. Yeah. Like in terms of its mechanics, it just... in yeah. terms of its mechanics, it's yeah. I'm gonna say it. It's reliability, it's modularity, it's weight. Uh, the round, assuming we're comparing AK-47. Well, even if we're even if we're comparing AK-74 to AR-15, which is a much closer comparison, to the point where they're almost interchangeable in some aspects. Um, I, I would say that, yeah, the AR-15 is objectively better desi designed than the AK um, platform. Yeah, I would. I love them both. I've got, like, four of one and two of the other, but three of the other. In fact, I've got an AR-15 right next So, like, but, um, Sonic's teetering on the edge of a platform. I press A to jump, and instead he just chooses to walk off the edge. Like, A yeah. is you, jump, you Sonic. Your shit. Jump your fucking ass out of there. It'll be good for you, I swear. He just doesn't trust me, I don't think. Do you think it's because I'm human? Mm-hmm. Oh well, Sonic's got issues to deal with. Hopefully they get to this point in the story and he, he's no longer bigoted. Because he does kiss a human in Sonic 06. We must get over it. Okay. Um. Ooh. Everything after Pokemon Gen 4 was garbage. That's the kind of thing I was expecting in the Pokemon talk, was that uh, everything past, like, early tisms is, is bad tisms. And they usually reference the, um, the really bad Pokemon designs and names. My personal favorite is Garbodor. He's a garbage thing. I like Gerda. <laughs> it's just a, just a thing with a Gerda. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... What's the one that's just keys? Isn't there just a one that's just a, a, a keys? <laughs> Uh, and there's an ice cream and a chandelier. <laughs> oh no. Pokemon got Run real funny. Oh, oh, I had control over that thing, I didn't even realize. Um, That's what I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of the the model of 1917, uh, Enfield, is what I'm thinking of. I think I was confusing it with that. Yeah, the, but I was... I was I went into this World War One rifle thing because I needed pictures to for me to associate it with. But yeah, the the Enfield 1917 is probably the best one of the First World War. Um, yeah. What's interesting though is the 1903 Springfield that I was thinking of earlier was it was it was like a virtual copy of the Mauser Car 98, um, and I think so. Mauser sued um, the United States. Uh, because the M1903 had a number of patent infringements in it, which compelled the United States to pay a royalty to Mauser for each rifle that was manufactured, even after the United States had declared war. Because business is business, I guess. So that's interesting. I did not know that. That's kind of, uh, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, the cleft key was apparently the key one. Chandelure was the, the chandelier one. Good to learn about Pokemon. You know? Pokemon. Oh, I just I didn't hit that quite well. Rags, right. do you have a grand? No. Um, I only own two rifles from the Second World War or older. One of them is a 1927 Mosin Nagant 9130. Um, and the second is a 19. I forget the year on it. Um, it's a it's a 1895 Nagant revolver. Those are the two I have from that time period, and they're both cheap pieces of shit. But they're kind of fun to shoot. But they're both cheap pieces of shit, um, which is fine. Why cut them? Hottest of all takes. Movie Bob is a good person. No, I can't finish that sentence. It's too much. It's too impossible. Yeah, these limits. Uh, all these disagreements, but I thought EFAP was a circle jerk echo chamber. I mean, yeah. to a degree, all fan bases are, but I'd say that EFAP's got a pretty good precedent of being like, get them perspectives out there and have a discussion. It's okay. No one's gonna kill you. Only a little bit. 
Um, I'd like to think that we don't pander as much as uh, other creators try to with their audiences. Yeah. Fuck chat. Yeah, fuck you, chat. I love you. Yeah. Yep. Um, Halo as a series Think. is poorly written and overrated. Oh my uh, god. I disagree with that. I disagree. I, 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 I'm only going to talk about the Bungie side, but Halo 1, 2, and 3, I think they're written quite well in terms of how the story works. Um, I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but I, I remember it being fairly solid. Yeah, I'm not a Halo man. Uh, I just like, yeah, Halo's neat. I don't know if and it's... And the novels are really good, I think. Uh, at least the first three. Uh, first, uh, The Fall of Reach, The Flood, and First Strike. Really excellent sci-fi novels that I definitely recommend to people. Hmm. Don't know if winning. Hopefully I am. Come on, Sonic. You can do it, buddy. That was a win. Uh, Shadow of the Colossus has bad gameplay because it's inconsistent. How is Shadow of the Colossus inconsistent? What? I would say it's pretty <laughs> consistent in how the grip mechanics work. I, uh, I would assume that's what they're gunning for, rather than... Maybe they're talking about when you go to stab? I don't know. Yeah. But, um, I adore that game. Cool, I bet. I, I would be curious what uh, you're referring to. It's I haven't seen... One of those blocks. What are my controls here? Oh, I can go up and down. Okay. This is great. Yes. Yes. Sonic's so happy. Oh, oh I got a one-up as well. Everything's coming up, Millhouse. Um, I haven't seen TPM in years, but I have listened to Duel of Fates recently and have decided that TPM is objectively good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. No oh boy. that will do it. Uh, oh my god. Oh, I'm okay with getting more hoops. Uh, Return of the Jedi has flaws, but it also has some really great moments. Can you really call it bad overall? Yeah, it might be. Um, I need to see it again. It's a pretty significant yeah, portion of that film has while. Disney in it. I would not yeah. want to talk about Return of the Jedi without mentioning how fucking great the Luke Vader Empire uh, Emperor stuff is, though. And I usually do mention that every time, because... Not be understated. Let you handle this. Fucking Knuckles thinks he's so awesome. I mean, he is, but you know, he's not as cool as Shadow. Shadow is the coolest. I would date Shadow. Not really. He's too edgy for me. Oh. I feel like, yeah, if, if I dated Shadow, then I would die and he'd have to go on a revenge quest. <laughs> yeah. to... <laughs> like, I, I, and anyone back, he's with, so. he's, yeah, anyone he's with is doomed, basically. Uh, here's a hot take. Melee is a terribly made Smash game. Even the original N N64 is more competently made. Oh god, you're so wrong, it's hideous. <laughs> Good luck. That's a Good tough luck. one to Wait, make. Which is the bad one? Fucking, uh, the GameCube one, he's saying. What? Melee? Yeah. Fuck that. Good luck selling that. He's saying that the N64 one is better and it's... Oh god, why would you even... <laughs> like, isn't, isn't Melee the one that, like, all the professionals play? Everyone in the Smash fandom fucking adores Melee from what I know. Yeah. As far yeah, as I know, yeah, like when people, when there, when there are Smash Bros. tournaments, I thought Melee was like the one that they play. I remember when Brawl came out, wasn't it like tripping over yourself is a, was a possibility and everyone fucking hated yeah, it? Yeah, they added a trip mechanic where your character would randomly fucking trip. <laughs> hey, if you're a dev and you want to have characters randomly fucking trip, don't. Maybe don't. In fact, shoot shoot anyone who suggests that. <laughs> shoot anyone? <laughs> hey guys, hey what, guys what if your character just randomly fucking tripped? Great. Um, get out, garbage take. <laughs> so, uh, Shadow's date did die. Doesn't surprise me. Of course. Is that super edgy? My love, I will avenge you. Yeah, Sonic can beat this speed challenge. Oh my god, oh! Oh, I just blew up a whole ship, sweet. Wow, this level is nuts, I'm on top of the world. So cool. Uh, Futas are the best type of woman. Go, These are just more hot takes. I don't know about that. Oh. oh, I can't get to the thing. Boo. Knuckles, Why is it that you're counting on Knuckles when all three of you do this, Sonic? That doesn't make any sense, Sonic. Knuckles would count on you. It's like he's talking to the player. Unacceptable. 
plot hole. Oh. Okay. Do you think we'll get a spiritual successor to New Vegas with Microsoft buying Bethesda and owning Zenimax? Uh. Do is Obsidian a part of that? Uh, I don't know. So, I think the chances are higher with Microsoft in charge. Uh, so, I mean, I ideally, like, Microsoft gets Bethesda's shit together. But I don't know. Um, I don't know. So I guess we'll see. I, we can only hope. Yeah, I dare not hazard a guess when it comes to uh, the future of those, you know, that series, but... Hmm. Um. Ooh, ooh, ooh. EFAP is an echo chamber. Watch this. Hey, Rags, John Wick 2 is a good movie. No, it's not. Hey, Mola, uh, The Last Airbender is an 8 out of 10. No, it's not. <laughs> Wait, those are different opinions. <laughs> what? They just echoed I thought it. you were going to ask the same question to all of us. No, so. <laughs> that doesn't make. The joke is he's going to say controversial things to us that are commonly accepted and we're going to oh, deny them okay and then that the was end, a very the end of this paragraph that... finished off with uh they just echoed it right back to me see oh, he see knew that we wouldn't there. he knew it oh boy that was a ooh, that was a ride yeah roller coaster if you... oh i didn't realize that's what was happening i thought it was a pole oh i died no oh, you dingus death by a thousand insta kills um where am I? Do 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 do. There's type woman. Kyle Rittenhouse did nothing wrong. Um, I mean, I've seen quite a bit of uh, different people breaking it down and stuff. It does seem like you did uh, a lot of things the way you probably want to if you had strong gun control, uh, like control of a weapon. I mean, what is the word for that? Gun discipline. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, I would have done the same if I was in his shoes. Because I'd heard from someone that he was spraying and praying and people were dying 20 feet away from him and i was like jesus christ that sounds horrifying then i looked at it and i was like uh he that's... he was he was shockingly reserved yeah he did a pretty pretty like I, I, it's pretty hard to stay calm under a way like that to shoot as little as he did because you could easily just go boom 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 um yeah that was a that was a whole saga with, with that stuff uh joel is responsible for john <laughs> it's possible for everything. Objectively, Halloween is the best holiday. I know, right? Undertale is a terrible game. Devilman Crybaby is a terrible show. Iron Man 3 is better than 2. <laughs> well, okay. You have a perspective. That is <laughs> that is good that you have a perspective. How oh, is this a hot take? Black Panther is generic trash. It's like, it's high five. Hot take, you should drive if you're a grown-up. Oh my god. Shut up, you don't. Jet Force Gemini was best N64 shooter. I remember that game. I remember Jet Force is, Gemini. Is that a hot take, or...? I guess I mean, the competition is what, GoldenEye? I loved it as a kid. I, I fucking... That was good Most shit. people say that GoldenEye, like, aged really badly. I didn't play it when I was younger, so... I don't remember if I played it. Uh, it's just like the controls are all floompy, I think. Yeah, I guess so. Menu, menu, menu. Hot take, Baldur's Gate isn't Baldur's Gate, it's Divinity Original Sin 3, and that sucks. Okay. Um, um, the changes to the okay. Because <laughs> I remember Divinity Original Sin 2 being insanely good. Um, yeah. So it's not that much of a problem, even if it's true. Yeah, if I don't know much about Baldur's Gate, I don't know anything about Baldur's Gate, in fact. Mm -hmm. But I'm really excited to play it just because it's Larian who's making it. Yeah, and the last two things they've made have been stellar. So, yeah. Oh. Please, game, let me finish this level. Hot take, don't kick Jay. That is way too much of a hot take for me to deal with. You get the fuck out of here.
Hot take. Too many hot takes. Not enough roasting Patrick Willems. Oh, we got there in the end. Yeah. We got there in the end. Any plans to review Rogue One video essays? While the best of Disney Star Wars, I think it gets far more praise than it deserves. Quite possible. And yeah, could happen at some point. As yeah, we often maybe. comment, Rags and I need to brush up on our Rogue One, probably. Yeah, I've only seen it the once. Who knows? Perhaps it's the worst of all of them. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Ah. Oh my god, this is such an in They really went all out on this last level, the Sonic Heroes. All kinds of crazy shit's happening. I don't know if I'm winning yet, though. Oh, I think I am. It's, it's just gotta avoid all the things. DFAP movies into the Spider-Verse. I don't know that that would work. We're mostly just gonna be watching it. I know yeah. a, lot of, a lot of people liked the Mulan one, and I saw comments saying, like, so wholesome to see DFAP laughing at, like, Mushu and stuff. And it's like, yeah, I know, it worked out. It wasn't a guarantee. Um, and you never know with a lot of these movies. Because, um, we could end up recording, and then it's all poopy. It's like, oh no. Also, am I just doing the same thing over and over again right now? Am I insane? Um, but Into the Spider-Verse probably won't be an EFAP movie, so we're probably just gonna watch it and be like, What'd you think? And you'll say, very gay. And I'll be like, oh my god. Okay, this is actually cancer. Can I collect my hoops, please? Fine game. Away I go. Oh god. Um, crying emoji? Oh man. I think that's when Weekend Warrior made the chat cry. Um, I got a notification from Amazon that says the boys are back and badder than ever. Ironic much? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely um. badder than, yeah, yeah. It just, it just has the boys is back, sad face. <laughs> oh. Dishonor on all of you for making me watch that piece of shit Mulan movie. Holy fuck, that was bad. Yeah. It's Mulan. Oh, man. It you Mulan. only got the highlights of us watching it. Imagine, like, poor Jay. He decided yeah. to watch it alone by himself. Got it. Yeah, was, when he was like, oh, it's, uh, it's not really something I laughed at. It's like, you... you... <laughs> It was so much to laugh at, holy shit. And Das Bullshit's editing, uh, with, with all of the, the loading symbols on all the characters that just take 10 years to respond to anything. It was weird how it, that it, was a pattern. Yeah, I, I... I might say that Milan has the worst acting I've ever seen. It's definitely up there. Surprising. Like, every... Look, I, I said it during the, the movie, but it kind of... I, I sort of like reminded myself halfway through the movie about how bad every single line was. Like the whole it, 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 it's, it feels like aliens made it. Mm -hmm. The way that every line is delivered. It's bizarre. Hey, I blew up another ship. Eggman, you're gonna get beaten, bro. Oh. Rosenheimer. Oh, I guess we did it. Sweet. I didn't even have to grab a big hoop. Big old hoop. Um, Thor the Dark World is objectively forgettable. It, it seems that shit tons of people agree that it's really forgettable. It's kind of weird. Yeah. Um, hot take, t-shirt and blazer look really good with cargo shorts, socks, and sandals. Gotta complete the look with a fedora, too. <laughs> ah, yes. I approve. Beautiful. Go as that for Halloween. Not a fedora, it's Bilby. Yeah. Oh my god, it's, it's Team Eggman's fortress. We made it. I think this might be the last level, how exciting. Mm -hmm. I like how the level I just did though was much easier than the fucking Tizmy Halloween level. Ah! Oh, okay. Uh, Rags is Halloween Thief confirmed. He said he likes Trump. Get him, Diabito. Halloween <laughs> Thief? How does that make any sense? The God Emperor protects. Uh, it is a perfectly acceptable fashion for 15-year-olds who need to dress up but don't want to look like they're wearing Dad's suit. Ah. I see. Holy Rhino Milk, you masters are streaming on my uh, day off for once. Bless the dawn... Brim the Ascended, be the long Bilbo Baggins. Uh, oh, that's all the reference games. or two right there. <sighs> Kick rags, please. Damn. 
Such anti-dog sentiment. It's kind of nuts. Yeah, no. I'm unkickable. Uh, watched EFAP 8 today. Is Quentin still scummy? We've not heard from him in a while. Um, I don't know what he's yeah. up to. But uh, I think he's still making videos and stuff. Nothing that we could cover. We, we obviously covered his Rise of Skywalker one last, I think. That was a fun one. It's an interesting fellow, that Quentin. I'm glad the bickering music is back. Oh yeah, I did play some music while you guys were uh, talking about your, your, your While things. I was spitting mad facts? Yeah. Um, about fashion? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rags is objectively correct about t-shirts with blazers. A button-up is needed if you're wearing a suit, coat, or blazer of any kind. Yeah. I mean, if it's the if it's the truth, you know, I wouldn't want to go against it. Lies. Rags, how do you feel about the Virgin Killer sweater? The Virgin Killer sweater? Yeah, is that, I don't know if that's a thing. Uh, let me look. Uh. What the fuck? Um. So, the Virgin Killer sweater is a uh, it is a seductive sweater with an open keyhole back. This sweater has a halter neck and is also known as the sweater that kills virgins. Its seductive design earned it the Japanese phrase "daute wo karosu," which means that it is so sultry it would literally drive a virgin man to death. <laughs> and this is the this is what it is. Uh, uh, there we go. Can't argue with that, Vex, I suppose. Mm -hmm. That. Oh, this drives virgin men to death. So, like, no? <laughs> I mean, it just looks like, especially when you're looking at it from the front, it... I, I don't know. I guess from the back, it, it it's revealing of a of, of woman's back, but a lot of other dresses do that that show more of the chest. I don't know. I I don't think this is very sexy at all, honestly. Especially the neck, like that thick turtley neck. Mm -hmm. That is not sexy at all. Looks weird. Yeah. Rags disapproves. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, I I'm yeah. There's, de there's way sexier things a woman could wear. Uh, old Patty Willems right now. How could I make a fan out of you? Hmm. How could I make a fan? Apparently, ra well, you're not a virgin, Rags. You don't know. Yeah, multiple people. I, I guess, yeah. Um, oh, it doesn't I work guess on people who've had sex. I see. Uh. I, I guess. Yeah, I guess. I, I don't know. I passed Chat, the test tell, try and help us understand. <laughs> also, I am getting very tired, so I shall... Man, I'm, I'm with you. Loom up. Yeah, it's uh, just past 4 a.m. <laughs> Lies. Sure. Well, 20 past 3 for you. Um... Jingleberry. Well, I guess. Yeah, Mel, do you want to tell people about what you've been up to lately? What you're doing in future? What your life plans are and why they should hate you? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm on EFAP. That's enough for hate. Uh, and I will be back. That's that's for the hate part. Oh, you uh, mean to hate The Boys Season 2 because you want to steal people's feelings? Yes, exactly. But I guess that's that's next week then. Yeah, if that, I, I remember that the, correctly. No reason not to say that that's going to be EFAP 105, I imagine. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to spit hot takes all, all over this. Oh, Shisms. It's going to splurge up. Uh, yeah, just uh, actually there's a bunch of EFAP stuff next couple of days. Well, weeks. this whole month. We got stuff. This month. <laughs> you said splattering uh, all over you, innocent viewers. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I I stream in the week still. Uh, I, I I'm trying to get a schedule going, but uh, all this EFAP stuff has kind of quote unquote ruined it. Wow. Uh, but that's all right. We still get to to play the Gorms. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, yeah, might stream tomorrow there, or we do streaming here, or both. Who cares? 
I don't think there's any. Well, yeah, you might stream on your stream tomorrow. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and yeah, when when, when I uh, get the timing uh, again, I guess after all the EPEP stuff is done, I'll, I'll do the John Wick 2 vid hopefully soon. Yeah, so you do uh, know that uh, a lot of people seem to believe you're wrong on John Wick 2. How do you feel about that? Yeah, they're wrong, but that's we shall, we, we, they really are. Yeah, we uh, see. John Wick 2's bad guys. <laughs> the hot takes <laughs> keep on cut. Well, it's just not hot in our circle, but <laughs> to the world. I, I mean, remember, there's only one good John Wick movie, and there's only two good Star Wars movies. Oh, wow. <laughs> DLJ and Rogue. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it. I'll, well, I'll, I'll, I'll see you all later. Good uh, night, yeah. my good good night. And yeah, see you later. Bye. 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 Boy. Bye. Baby. Baby. Uh, how much time have you both got left in you? Uh, I need to get something to eat sometime soon. But other than that, whatever. Um, what about you, Raggy? Rungle. I'm pretty tired. I'm pretty tired. I can go for a while longer, but uh, I'm getting there. Mm-hmm. Hold on. Uh, Friday's uh Friday's a long day, so I'm hanging in there though. But I'm I'm pretty tired. All right. Uh. Okay. Cinema Roberto dresses like that, so it's bad. Oh, he does. Yeah, he does the t-shirt and blazer combo. I think doesn't he? Does he? Uh, uh, I don't remember. So yeah, Almost that, assuredly he does. That guys, that kind of does go in favor to Rax, just saying. Just putting it out there. We need to make sure we tally it up. Because apparently it was it was Shad versus Movie Bob. You know, the good opponent to have since Shad will have weaponry, but Diabeto does have magical powers. So, you need to consider these things. Mm -hmm. What is, what do I do here? Sonic? Oh, here we go. Um... So which one is the negate vote? Oh, is it because they wanted the option to not have to vote on either? I see about the whether or not it was. You can do clothing. that by not voting. Yeah, that seems. Hmm. Yeah, it's genius. You see, weekend just looks like my textbooks. It looks like my textbooks. What's that mean? Uh, does Jay Axie is tired? Yes, I guess uh, Jay was still on the stream at that point. Yeah, we're tired of his shit. <gasps> Molar, um, please, I need you to go to the top of the call. Click on the icon with two people, click on Jay, and then click kick. Also, hi, Rax. I did it. I did <laughs> Hello. It. Click kick. Were, were they hoping that you were following those instructions just blindly? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> like, As you're reading it out? This will help you with your Discord call, I promise. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's a t-shirt with a blazer. Is a bloke loke or a tone loke? I don't know what they're asking with that. I have I have confused. Mm. Uh, Rags, what is your take on socks and sandals? I'm against it. Yeah, I, you would. Do you want your feet covered illegal, or don't right? you? Fucking make up your goddamn mind. You, you you'd make a law against it if you were president, right? No, I oh. wouldn't. No. I had a lot of hope for you, Rex. Well, here's the thing. I want those kinds of people. I you want to be able we to can spot them? more easily identify them yeah. this way. <laughs> Alright, fine. Okay. Oh, I didn't press anything like and my, it led to good things. My my dad's a super boomer. He wears crocs with socks. Oh no. Yeah. So oh, it ugh. happens. Some people are just made victims of He really he really likes his crocs. He says they're super comfortable for his feet, so I'm like, oh well. Yeah. Whatever. What can you do? Right, right. What can you do? Yeah. Um, Either, you can't. You're not gonna change his mind. It's like trying to make your 90 year old great grandmother not racist anymore. <laughs> like you're not gonna be able to do it. So just don't even try. Just accept that's what it is. Allow her to live in her world. I'm still. Oh my god, I'm still alive. You know, sometimes it's funny with Sonic. You don't quite know whether you're supposed to be pressing buttons or just letting it happen. Like, whatever's happening. It's like a roller coaster, but sometimes they're like, also, you have control. And you're like, oh, oh shit, okay. Oh, did I just yeah. die? No, I'm alive. Okay. Oh my god, this is so fucking confusing. Do the thing, Sonic. No, no, the other thing. Okay. Um, you 
could argue a book look is more of a compliment than a good look. I blame Jay either way. Also, hi, John. Yeah. I don't know how you made it book look, but, you know, it just it happens. Oh, good. I didn't fall off the edge. Knuckles did. Uh, does Chad centrism blazer is book look? Hiddle subtleties. Asking the real question. Uh, I'd really like to see you play Doki Doki, but knowing how you usually talk anime, I'm scared you guys will hate it. I have a personal attachment to it. <sighs> guys, you gotta be okay with us not liking the stuff that you like, okay? It's gonna happen. It's going to happen. Can't stop it. That's Remember when everybody liked Mandalorian? Me. Remember that? We had to. We had to. We had to just accept it. It's all right. This, this stuff that Theo doesn't like that he should, right? And we get along, so it's, you know. Yeah. I, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm struggling to name something, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, as you struggle, I'm gonna go top off my beverage. I shall return. Very well. Yeah, yeah um... Who knows if we'll even play this Doki Dokai Literature Club. Do you know what that is? Theo? Yeah, you do, right? Yeah, I'm well aware. Do you give it a thumbs up? Yep. Alright, there you go, guys. It has the Theo stamp of approval, however <laughs> much that may count for. It gets like seven points. Um, I'll take it. Yeah. Does uh, a t-shirt is literally used as an undershirt when dressing formally to only wear the t-shirt is not only lazy, but it's hipster, which is worse. Nobody likes hipsters. Oh, I'm alive. Can this, can this be the end game? I don't know, I feel like I've earned it, sort of. God, what is happening? It's self-destructed, it's blown to pieces, pieces. alright. Hot take, Nostalgia Critic is funnier than Patrick. Could be true. Chat, who's funnier, Patrick Willems or Nostalgia Critic? Let's find out. What are the opinions? Uh, you can pull off casual with blazer, but it should be sleek and complimentary, like a polyvesta v-neck, not a freaking coarse woven striped Hanes. See, this is all just... I I'm just not a fashion man. I just look and go, yeah, that looks neat, or that looks, that looks stupid. Yeah. Um, that one's for rags. Thanks, guys, for all the long content while I work. Also, shoutouts to... Procastitara on her Batwoman reviews as well. Yeah, it seems like a lot of people have been making some good stuff with um, Batwoman reviews. Everyone's looking forward to season two. We're trying to get Az and Jay Longbone to start talking about it in a positive sense, you know? Like, come on. You're excited for Batwoman. Get excited. Tell the people how much you love them. Just hope they don't shit on anything too hard. Funny to watch people fail at making a TV show, but you also want to not... Not like, <clears throat> whenever they bring up a classic villain, or, you know, Batman, that's getting a little, little dodgy. Oh god, this is probably an efficient way of killing this dude. Um, doo -doo -doo. Regarding Doki Doki Literature Club, I have some demands of you Dumbos, I will lay them out in time. The longer you take, the more they will be. I can't say that we're gonna, <laughs> but I mean... What, what's your leverage? <laughs> what? That's a good point. What is your leverage? I'll take care of them. Um, oh, I do it with tails. Hey, there you go. Oh, wait, do I not? Game? Hello? Oh! Okay. There we go. Did it. Happy belated birthday, long man. Also, would you mind washing, wishing my bro and new toxic broodling Alex a happy birthday? Happy birthday, Alex. Hope you have a good one. Have fun with your brother. Play some games. Ah, uh, here I am. Do some activities, that sort of thing. And uh, thank you as well. Rags. Yo. Recommend me a good gaming headset for my big head and with a good mic as well as audio quality. Also, Dia Do It Rags. In what? Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know what that means. I'm going to assume it means hello. And hello to you. Um... So I use uh, an ATH AG1X, little pricey, but I really like the audio quality and the microphone that comes with it is pretty darn good for a, a headset connected microphone. So 
that is what my recommendation would be. That's what I use. Um, there could be other op options out there that are good, but that's one that I can vouch for. I really like it. That's what I'm using right now. Demand one, don't live stream the game to avoid spoils. Uh, this is if we play Doki Doki Literature Club, we're not allowed to live stream it, Rags. What do you think about that? I think if people don't want spoilers, don't watch some, somebody's playthrough of it. No, I'm assuming he's saying that chat will spoil it for us. Oh, I just, I, I'm not, I'm not going to look at chat while I play. Yeah, we'll be all right. I'm going to be playing the game. And I imagine people will be inclined to not spoil it because apparently that's a big appeal for the game. Also, yeah, we could have someone here like Theo to, to be like, oh, don't, well, hmm, <laughs> don't read that one. <laughs> it's a bad one. I would just close the chat. Just ignore them it. completely. Because chats while people are playing through video games, oh, it can get bad. Mm -hmm. Unless you're, like, draconian about it. Can I just ignore this dude? Oh, probably shouldn't, okay. Uh, Patrick is the love child of Ryan Johnson and my dad's hairline. Oh. So is that, are the headphones large? Yeah, they're, I think, by the, by the amount of, um, by the amount that these things stretch, I would imagine they would definitely fit on your head. Like, you'd have to have a shockingly large head for these not to fit on you. sake when you collect all of your stupid golden hoops and then they all get knocked out the second collect the amount you want. Die you stupid transformer. Maybe if Knuckles just break this shit. Oh, there you go. Um erected by Ryan Johnson, Patrick Willems. I'm pretty sure it was directed, but I'd be willing to believe that it was erected too. And they took Luke's character and it was ejected. Mm-hmm. Ooh. I found me a button. That's it's a shame that happen. JJ tried to correct it. True that. Um very The story just didn't feel connected. It was just this very P In noise fact, it weekend. Left me feeling dejected. Looks like we have to activate all three switches. Is there any more? I'm just saying I wish the story had been perfected. I'll stop now. All three switches. There's one, there's two. There's, oh. Hang on, team. I will destroy the other one. Oh, fuck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is very pee noise weekend. Did, did weekend make pee noises? I don't think anyone remembers this. Horrifying, though. Oh, yeah. But I'm so excited to potentially beat this. I'm so tired of reading these super chats. I hate my fans. That's right. I, Mauler of EFAP, despise my audience. Muhahaha. <laughs> Why would I cackle after saying that? That just sounds mean. Okay, Team Blast, fuck them up. Um. I mean, Skywalker Sound is a world class audio house, but that's because of Lucas. Oh, but the praising the elements of the sequel trilogy being like. the sounds. Yeah, that's why we often don't really... We're not surprised that the sound is good, or the visuals are good, or the... The siege or... or... Wait. Is that what I was supposed to do? Oh my god, it was. Is he slowly becoming a bird? Oh, I get it. Because of the nose. I follow. Uh, Rags is such a good, good boy, he just needs a little toy. Is true ranks. I uh, I don't know. I even I feel that Sans toy. I'm still I'm still pretty good. Mm -hmm. I can make my own fun. Uh, we get it. Star Wars and The Last of Us too bad. Please cover something else. Any thoughts on Peaky Blinders or Deadwood? What do you mean? Fucking last stream we did. We covered the uh, the Boys season two. Or that's gonna be next. And then the several tangents we went on in this stream. We were talking about like the mechanics of space battles for a while. Um, the Last of Us 2 one was because Internet's Janitor wanted to be on, and that wasn't even the video coverage of that episode. So some people don't even, like, know what's actually being covered, they just look at the title. They just wish to complain. Yeah. 
like, they're come not on, real man. fans. Can't do that. Oh. Also, isn't, that's never really been what we're about. Like, X thing bad, move on. It's more like talk through all of the discussions that come with thing. Hmm. Oh, there's the switch. How oh, very clever. Hello, Mola. Je te de la entendu par la François et je voulais encore rire de toi. Alors, bon chance. Aussi, bonjour, Rags. Ah, oh, bonjour. I don't know what any of that means, uh, but oui, I appreciate oui, it. it. Maybe. Uh, hello, long man. I just finished your amnesia versus soma dissection. I hate being scared. Self-admitted Chris Noid here, but I've decided to play both. Wish me luck to not close the game every five minutes. Also, hello, Rags. Hello. Um, see. soma isn't as scary as amnesia is it's more haunting um a friend of mine actually played soma for the first time recently and said that it's way scarier than amnesia so i guess it's really down to the piss <laughs> i yeah i guess like soma for me wasn't as scary as amnesia but i it, i think it's better game i think it's more enjoyable i think um, what it achieves is more impressive than amnesia i do think amnesia scarier though yeah Dread is more what I'd associate with Soma. Yeah. Slim distinction that maybe. Yeah. Suspenseful. Um atmospheric. This is cringe. It's, I know the switch works. You have to hold down B there you go, finally. I just did the same thing like fifteen times in a row and only the fifteenth worked. It's like, oh god, kill me. It's okay, Sonic Heroes. Just don't make me repeat this level and maybe I will spare you from my my eye, my stink eye. Why do they send these guys in all the time? Oh no. Oh, almost unlocked. Oh, <laughs> we were close to that one. Don't think I'm not keeping my eye on you, video game. Um, A while ago you answered a super chat about what important lessons you teach your children. Personally, mine would be to always keep learning and to not be fat. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'd say both I of those are pretty good. I mean, that's good, good advice. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Um... Always be learning is like, fuck, that was the thing we didn't even cover about the boys. Wasn't it like, the kid says something about his mum giving him a lesson about how important yeah, learning mom is? Yeah, mum says I could always, I could, I should always keep learning. And Homeland is like, ugh, she has so many of those little sayings, doesn't she? It's like, what do you... <laughs> what do you have? Like, even, like, in your character, what's left of it, what problem do you have with that? <sighs> you should be using that and then teaching him something that you want him to learn. Using that as a way to get him to learn it. Hey, Theo... You watched Game of Thrones, right? <laughs> yeah. Do you remember the scene where, as soon as Joffrey's dead, Tywin starts getting into Tommen's mind? It's like, yep. I want to say it's se season four, right? Yeah. Because yeah, yeah, um, yeah. It's really awesome. <laughs> That's what I was gonna <laughs> say. Everything Tywin says is so. I actually, you know, what? I'm gonna show you that rags once, once, once we have a second. As soon as the stream's over, it's only quick, but no. it's just I've, okay. It's, it's, it's like minutes. Um, All right. Uh, but, well, but, if it's only minutes, I guess I, I guess I can spare minutes. Some um, Tywin talking about how it. Tommen assumes what the most important things are about a leader, and then Tywin gives him a big old lesson about the most important thing, which is going to be pretty hard for anybody to disagree with. It's a really cool little scene of him slowly getting his influence in Tommen already, which. Cersei's against, but it's funny because it's just like, I don't know, if you're going to be influenced by anybody, Tywin's a pretty good one. He knows his shit. Um, but yeah, Homeland is just, again, cartoonish, like, ugh, learning. <laughs> Who needs that? Uh, Kylo is complex like a landfill. Yeah, that can, they can be complex landfills, all kinds of stuff all over the place. Kylo is a landfill, beautiful. Uh, looks like old bitter bald balls can't let it go. Who's the man baby now, Patty Wilmstad? Wilmstad? Um, I'm, I mean, as far as he's concerned, he is and has. We're the ones who have not. So, uh, we'll get there one day. He's he's already made it. He's not bitter at all. I want us to let you know that TLJ is pretty good, because it, it reinvented Star Wars. Oh, that did kill it. Nice. Um, SFO is demon de demonized. Let's get some Fs in chat. Hi, R. 
SFO? Yeah, short fat otaku. Oh. Hopefully he can get remonetized soon. But uh, yeah, that always sucks to hear that someone's been demonetized. It it really fucking sucks. Oh, well, maybe Ethan can help him. He saved uh, Count Dankula, right? There they are. Who knows? Uh, Teal J is surface level pretending to be deep. Flirts with going in a new direction, but we end up back at square one. Rips off both Empire and Jedi. Well, that's what I mean. It's always awkward to listen to um, TLJ fans criticize TROS because they often seem to be saying things that are like applicable to TLJ. You know, it's just like, hmm. The sequel take on the Jedi is literal revisionism. Yeah, and it's really annoying. It comes from Luke of all people. He's like, oh, the Jedi suck. It's like, what the fuck, Luke? Hey, have we uh, have we read the super chats from 103 yet? No. All right. No, we haven't. Um. We'll, we're gonna have to get, this is the thing, the reason why we're having trouble this time around is because we've got loads of things scheduled in a row. Rags and I, contrary to what might have been assumed, aren't actually free for extended periods of time at the exact same time a lot of the time. That was a lot yeah. of Yeah. Um, I, like, we lucked out by, like, the boys last yeah. episode coming out when it did, uh, because I would have been out already if, mm -hmm. uh, if, if, if we would have, if I wasn't able to sleep then this stream wouldn't have... we would have ended already. Because yeah, no. I would have been just fucking dead. I got them hungatisms as well. But, um... You know, we will get to them. I'll just have to look at the calendar and figure out when we can, uh, can do it. Yeah, we got a lot going for this October. It's gonna be fun, but also... Yeah, uh, good stuff. Um, but, busy. yeah, we're busy. Mm. Is it? Theory. F female characters are Mary Sue's because writers fear negative reactions to depicting women suffering and or struggling outside of horror films. I I partially agree to that. Yeah, I think that's yeah. a fair theory, to be honest with you. It's possible, yeah. Um, if being powerful in the Force was all about bloodlines, then arranged marriages to create powerful Force users would exist in this universe. Yeah. Um, well, again... It just doesn't follow. You see the prequel world, and you're like, there's no obsession with bloodlines. Um, there's no, like, we need to get the... Like, Yoda, you need to fuck a whole bunch of bitches. <laughs> yeah, the, the idea that bloodlines are where the Force comes from, and some bloodlines are particularly strong in the Force, there's no fucking way that they'd say, yeah, you can't have kids. It's like astrology, right? It's like astrology. If astrology was real, it would be what our entire society was based around. That would be the core foundation of civilization, would be astrology, if it was actually real. Right? I mean, yeah, if it was fucking real, that'd be crazy. Might be able to even help people out a lot more by going through astro- The whole appeal of that is just, like, you fit your life around whatever it's described as, because it's broad enough. So said no because they would want less force sensitive people. Ugh. What? What? Why? <laughs> it, it, to me, it looks like the Jedi are trying to increase their numbers. Yeah, the the Jedi don't want to not exist. Man, what is he? What is he even stuck on? There's no. He's just in the middle of the fucking arena. You guys seen this? <laughs> Let me click it. Um, he's just standing there, walking in place. <laughs> he's moonwalking. Well, not really, but... <laughs> um... Mola, Solo could have been good just doing the story of meeting Chewbacca or just the castle run, but no, they had to do everything. Gay. Um... I mean, it, surely, theoretically then, if they were going to do everything, it could still be good too need to do it right but uh yeah I, I i mean i agree i think that uh had they taken it carefully it could have been good isn't the point of a hologram that it's blue yet mole's lightsaber and solo was red shake my head um it's a advanced hologram it's a oh well you see the dark side is a pathway to yeah. many abilities that some would consider unnatural is it possible to learn this power not from all of those pussies in the temple. That would be. 
Oh, Sonic just said the word humongous. Sigh, who cares if the Force is genetic or midichlorian based? You are never going to be a Jedi. The Force isn't real. Hi, Wags. Hi. I don't think, I don't think that was ever <laughs> under... <laughs> in, uh... I don't know who brought that up. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure Patrick wants to be a Jedi, though. Uh, what antivirus software do you guys use? Hi, Rex. Hi. Um, um, I think mine is like, uh, uh, it's just the typical Windows security and it's something else. I'd have to double check. It's like WebRoot or something. Yeah, I'd have to check. I can't mine, remember. I don't know what the name of it is. Yeah, I just never think about it. If you're ever in a lot of stress about that, though, just look around for like different. Oh, really? What was I supposed to? Dude, why did the camera not keep up with me so I could even see my death? Was I just not going fast enough? Was that really what that was? Or did I have to use fly? I guess we'll find out next time. Um, but yeah, look around on lots of up-to-date discussions and you'll find uh, best recommendations for whatever programs. I'm assuming that's why you're asking. Um, Misa Banished, a Star Wars story. Oh, I mean, I'd watch it. I want to see what Jar Jar's Yeah. Answer. I want to know what the fuck Jar Jar did to get how, how what did he do that was clumsy that got him banned from a city like I want to know I'm curious how royally did he fuck up poor Jar Jar um Jar Jar boomed de gasa destroyed a bubbles air system crashed de boss hey bibla crashed a vehicle owned by boss nas then banished Destroyed oh. a Bubbles Air system and crashed a vehicle owned by Boss Nass. Oh. Fuck, like, hundreds could have died. Holy fuck. Now I definitely want to see a bunch of... Well, no, because they can breathe water, right? He... Yes, yes, yes. He, he definitely Oh, did. so he just inconvenienced a lot of people. He destroyed a vehicle. And ruined all their paperwork. <laughs> so, all right, yeah. All right, well, that, that's not as metal as I thought it was, but... Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's a clump. That's why they call him clumsy, I guess. Yeah, makes sense. I guess. Uh, Jar Jar Binks is life. True. A good vision of Solo exists. The EU book, The Hunt, The Hut Gambit, was what great and could have been a great movie. Fair enough. That was from Chris Evans. I didn't know he watched this. I like oh, you as wow. Captain America. Rags is just mean to Jar Jar. He deserves love. Eh, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah. Jar Jar certainly deserves something. Okay, do I have to jump now? Please don't kill me. Oh, that worked? Oh, I lost one of them. Oh my god, this is so weird, but okay. Am I at the end? What's happening here? God, this game is strange. Um, the Manchurian Gungan. I want a Jar Jar action, Jar Jar Binks action adventure video game. Yeah, I mean, give it time, maybe. Uh, Sith Hunter Jar Jar. Again, these are all options. We could, we could do them all. What pirate ship do you use to watch movies? If you catch my drift, e words. Uh, that's something. No, I don't know what you're talking about. That you'd have to discover for yourself if you're interested in using a pirate ship to sail the seas. Yeah, I, I don't know if they're. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, most of the time, I use a regular ship to sail the seas. La, la, oh, oh shit! Did I just beat the game? Twenty emblems collected. You can now play battle stages in two-play mode. <laughs> wow! <laughs> thanks, game. Like whoa. Uh, Left 4 Dead 2 for EFAB Gaming Halloween season. If not, then you have chosen death. We've got loads of gaming things to do, okay? All kinds. Uh, for Halloween-tisms. You have to hopefully save some for next year, I guess. Oh, I guess this is the final boss fight. How exciting. Oh my god, it's a giant mech Eggman. It's kind of reminding me of Resident Evil 4. You wouldn't expect me to say that, would you? Um, Bumble... Bumble rags and or Mulris or whatever, whoever is present. What's the best desktop computer for me to buy? Assuming laptops aren't a good choice for my YouTube career and maybe for gaming as well. So that's already a bit of a malformed question. 
like what desktop would be well a desktop is a combination of parts mm -hmm. so um that is a complicated question yeah, that i don't think we can give do uh i it depends on what you want to do it depends on what you want to do with it how much your budget is and how much umph and performance you want out of it because it can be as expensive and amazing or budget and passable as you want it to be um i mean i if you don't i i, I would just like where to begin yeah, i you guess you need a pc parts builder and then it's going to be really based on what you're looking for and how much you're willing to pay it's very complicated yeah well you can you know relatively one good option would be to I mean, you do want to sort of start learning what all the parts do and a little bit about computers. So maybe watch someone put one together. Watch Jay's Two Cents or Gamers Nexus and Linus Tech Tips and uh, stuff like that. Watch channels that uh, talk about what the parts do or uh, a beginner's guide to computer videos and just sort of become mildly acquainted with what the parts are. Um, one option would be to see if someone is just selling one locally because often you could get those super cheap and do you know that they work? Um, there's nothing... Oh, by the way, there's nothing wrong with buying a pre-built PC uh, as long as you just get a good one that's worth the money. Some of them are bad, but a lot of them are good. There's nothing wrong with that. Don't let any elitism get to you if that's still out there for pre-builts. Um, but yeah, just familiarize with yourself with the parts and some of the terminology. Uh, decide kind of what your budget is and what you want to get. Um... Maybe don't go huge right off the bat, but uh, yeah, just 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 familiarize yourself with uh, PC building. Um, I like I put my first computer together like watching a video of someone doing it on YouTube. I think it was Linus, but they just did it, and so I just kind of followed the steps. Um, it's not too complicated, but there is a lot of stuff to know stuff that could potentially go wrong but it's definitely worth it in the end undeniably it is worth it in the end um but yeah i i would say one some good advice would be um check craigslist or something like that and see if someone is just getting rid of an old one uh, that they don't use anymore um because oftentimes they sell it for cheap because they don't have overhead and they just want to get rid of it and you can confirm that it works and uh, a lot of the times, those can be that can be a really good way to get your hands on a PC that's you know parts complete that you can use. And after you get that first computer, and you kind of you know if you're satisfied with what you have, and you can establish a baseline for what's good for you in terms of quality and performance, excellent. If you want to go bigger, like what I did, my first computer was okay, kind of middle of the road. But I fell in love with PC gaming, and so I got a, a much better one next uh, computer I got. And I'm probably going to get another computer next year. Once this new Ryzen set comes out for CPUs and the 30 series cards are more, you know, normalized as well. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah. Just do that. Just, just do research. Learn about stuff. Yeah, it's a complicated uh, question a, to answer in a simple way. Like, uh, what piece yeah, it be really is. Like, well, uh, lots of other questions. Because trying to, yeah, you know, treating it like it's simple would be a disservice to you. Um, mm -hmm. It's not as complicated as you think, but there are a lot of things you should learn about it. And once you do, it's very rewarding, and it'll definitely be worth it. And I highly recommend it. Black Jar Jar Down, Jar Wars a Bink Story, Saving Private Jaren, Jared Genesis, Jar Jar Genesis. The whole world's come undone, Jar Jar's got a gun gun. <laughs> Jaka, <laughs> you forget what you so fucking deserve. <laughs> <laughs> the more he talks about how he doesn't like callbacks or mentioning the older stories just because he wants only new stuff, it sounds like he hates the old. Um... It's the, it's the, you have to do it the perfect kind of way. He likes it being called back in a particular kind of way. Like, like TLJ does it. Who will like that? Come on, Knuckles. You can do it, buddy. 
Reservoir Gungans. Also Heil. Hi. I mean hi, Rags. Hey! I was Mando 3 out of 10 with Tildred 3 out of 10. Mando's better. Um, like I said, Mando can be a strong 3. Tildred can be a weak 3. Simple explanations. Also, die robots, please. Gotta do something about the shield first. Oh my god. What? Oh wait, I've nearly got Team Blast. That'll make me happy. Oh. I will get up eventually. Oh, there we go. Um, have Gungan will travel, saving Mr. Binks, Black Mesa Source, the Binks identity, Stranger Binks, Kick Nass, Jar Apocalypse. Now, the Shore Bink Redemption. Yeah, that's infinite potential. There's some, there were some good ones in there. There were some good ones in there. Don't Bink. We had a good laugh. Lord of the Binks, Misa Robot, the Gung Father. <laughs> uh, Batman, Batwoman is a one, and Ghostbusters, you're being too nice. Ghostbusters isn't that bad. I'm sorry. We, we gotta gotta categorize this right. Ghostbusters 2016 is awful, but you don't understand. It's like if, four. Was it? Is that what we said? It's probably three or four. But like Infinity Tisms, man. Like there's nothing In quite yeah. like it. What are you talking about? Crisis on Infinite Earth? Yeah. yeah, that's like one. Like that. That's it's it's how nonsense. It, like I said before, it checks the box for fulfilling the definition of a story, but mm -hmm. it's so nonsensical that I can't rate it higher than just what's barely necessary, essentially. The oh, so I said an AMD man. No, I actually have an Intel in my computer right now. I have an i9 9900K, um, but. I hear that this next series of AMD CPUs is going to be fucking banger. Um, so I'm very, very curious to see how that's going to be. Uh, so we'll see how the benchmarking is for this next series of uh, AMD chips. CPUs, that is. I'm, I, I, don't have, I don't have any allegiances to really parts and stuff, especially when it comes to CPUs. Um, but I hear Intel's really been dropping the ball lately. Uh, all threes are equal, but some threes are more equal than other threes. So true. Yeah, not all threes are exactly the same. The, the, a, an out of ten system is a super simplified way of just quickly and loosely conveying the quality of something in a broad sense. It shouldn't be used with any super serious level of, you know, adherence. Yeah. Well. Okay, yeah. It should be focusing more on. Make sure I collect my golden hoops. Uh, hi Jay, Rags, you make videos? Uh, yeah, I uh, haven't for a while, but I'm uh, working on one now, and I've got some plans for stuff after that. I'm gonna get back to the swing of things, and it'll be great, and having fun working on this video. Yeah. Me, 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 me. Oh no. The Binks that Gungans forgot. Stop being like IGN by using decimals, it sucks. What, what do you mean? How could you be okay with numbers but not decimals? Like, what? If why? anything, decimals <laughs> would let us be more accurate. Yeah, like, why would you be anti-decimal? At that point, it's like, I'm okay with 1 out of 10s, but I'm not okay with one uh, 10 out of 100s. It's like, why? I don't see... I don't see what the problem with decimals is. Leave decimals alone. Hashtag... Decimals are cool. So I'm saying, if you're upgrading from a 9900K, you're insane. So here's the thing. Um, I've got a 2080 Ti in my computer now. Um, the 30... The 30... Because because of how much I use my computer, especially how much I'm going to use it for, like, video editing and stuff, the 3090 is pretty appealing to me, especially with how much I play games on it. The performance differences, I mean... I'm real. I'm willing to splurge on a computer because I use it all the time, and it's a huge part of work and play and communication and all that sort of thing. Um, so, next year sometime, I'm going to get a computer that will probably have a 3090 in it of some kind, because that's a pretty big bump up for a performance from a 2080 Ti. Um, and I will sell my old computer 
and I'll probably get a decent amount of money for it because it is a really strong computer. And uh, I'll, I'll get a fair amount of it. Like, uh, remember, 2080s didn't magically get less performance somehow. Um, but I'll, I'll get a really, you know, it, I have reasons for doing it. And what uh, the reasons I use don't necessarily have to be yours, you know. Uh, I don't blame people for splurging on stuff, but there are things I splurge on, and a computer is one of them because of how much I use it and how important it is to me. So there you go. And some say upgrading a CPU is not the same ballpark as upgrading a GPU. I know, but if I'm gonna get it, it but I just uh, this is all tentative, of course. However, the new CPUs I hear they're gonna be quite a bump up. So, you know, if I could get a new thing and sell the old thing and only pay the difference between the two, that's an appealing idea for me. Um, especially with how big the jump in performance will be for me, or how much I use it. What's great about PCs is that everyone can make these kind of assessments um, as, they, as they wish. What a wonderful one to next up read. Rags has no standards, he's just justifying his BS. Um, okay. If you didn't specify that he was poorly justifying his BS, instead you just said he's justifying his BS, sounds like his BS is justified. Someone said, someone said Rags, wait till... <laughs> Someone said, "Wait till DDR5, like, you, like memory, because the 3090s use GDDR6X." So I don't know what you're referring to there, unless I'm just oh, not reading God that right. Game, get a grip. Jesus. Someone said, "Buy a 3090, put it in your current PC." Here's the thing with the new CPU stuff. I might not. I'll just make a new one. So that's the thing, like I I'm only paying for the difference in the two because I'm gonna sell the old one, and selling the old one will still get me quite a bit of money. And plus I don't wanna just plop I I, I would really with with the kind of the with the bump that the 3090 is, I'm just gonna probably build a computer that's kinda of dedicated around it, because it's such a big bump up. Oh, Mobo DDR5? Yeah, that's another thing too. Uh but Thought you were talking about. I thought you thought you were talking about GPU memory, and I was like, wait, what? And I had to double check it. But um, no, Dance Dance Revolution Five. <laughs> hey man, don't be. He's talking regular round. I got you. I got you. But yeah, that's why I'm waiting. Like this will be something I do next year, sometime next year. So, so, so you may be better off getting a 38 or 3070. No. I wouldn't. All right then. I don't know. No, I'm not going to get. No, I wouldn't get a 3080. Rags is not going to be getting a, an Xbox or a PlayStation. I don't think. No, no, I have, I have no interest in a console. My previous comment was assuming you're going to build a new PC. Yeah, I will. Yeah, my my new computer will be a new PC. Yeah. So said, stop also trying to get all one. your rings back. My deaths have not been tied to me getting my rings back. I've been insta killed every fucking time. So the game blasts me off the goddamn platforms. If it has anything to do with me, I don't care if you don't like watching me collect my rings. Me dying has been tied specifically to the boosting platforms and this fucker getting in the way and it just like staggers the characters midair and they fall to their deaths. It's really fun. Just saying. <laughs> like me taking Someone's hits at each time like here, I don't actually care that that's me failing so it doesn't lead to my death. Someone said, I mean, you could say you want a Gen 4 PCI Express. So, Gen 4 uh, on the PCI Express slots, um, I think Gamers Nexus did a comparison with, I forget if, I think it was with the 3080, where they compared the performance difference between a PCI Gen 3 and Gen 4, and the difference was like 1, 2%. It was basically nothing. So, those in and of itself, I'm, I don't I don't care about. Um so those those aren't really going to make a difference as far as I know. Die. Get them all back eventually. I'm not even clear on um, what these power-ups do. I just grab them anyway. Also, the... Um... <laughs> it's just constantly getting hit. Hey, my team made it. 
Oh no, they didn't. Oh no, they did. They're still on the track. Apparently, the RTX 3090 has enough GPU memory to install and run Crisis 3. Sweet. This guy installed Crisis 3 onto his graphics card. That is shockingly interesting. Wow. That's kind of crazy. Jawbank, Jawbank, Chapter 2. Jawbank. Oh, I get it. Jobbing Chapter 3 Parabellum. I follow. That's like that movie. Dorn Wimp. Uh, so according to Patrick's argument, TLJ is a bad paint job of Empire and Jedi. Yeah. It all makes sense. It doesn't help that the camera is also ass in games like this. Like when everything's really fast, it's the time where you need the camera to really work with you. Um, I've had this exact conversation. Helmets are hats, but not all hats are helmets. Um, I don't know. I guess it depends. I mean, in a video game, it would probably be in the category of hats or headwear, but that's very loose. Um, I, I wouldn't consider a helmet a hat. Mm -hmm. Like only in the most broad technical sense, but when you say when you say hat, people think of like a trilby or a baseball cap or something of, of like that, right? They don't think about um, a a helmet. And if yeah, that, I think they're different enough. Yeah, I, I wouldn't consider them you know, the same. Only in the most broad sense, which almost to the point of uselessness. Um, if you say TLJ is a 29 out of 100, then it's a high 2, not a low 3. Is that right? No, isn't it? Because the, the threshold would be from 25 to 34 for 30. So it would, st it would be a low 3 if it were 29. Yeah. Um... Avajar, the last air binkler. Binkler's list. <laughs> Binkler's list. Uh, speaking of Ruby Rose's acting, thought she was pretty good in XXX3? Yes, it was a speaking role. She was quite badass. Oh, Triple X. I haven't seen Triple X3. I didn't even know there was a third one. Maybe I did know. Um, she was quite badass and frankly kind of hot. In fact, the movie was the reason for my crush on her until her nonsense on Batwoman as an actor and a person. Um, I haven't seen it, but all right. Also, Team Blast. Fuck you. Uh, so according to him, you can't have any Mandalorian characters or their Boba Fett ripoffs. I mean, yeah, it was really weird for him. To, it felt like he hadn't seen the show for him to say that. It's a yeah. really weird criticism some Very people odd. do bring up. It's just like, oh, fucking Boba Fett with all. It's like, what do you mean? What do you mean? Also, right, it's weird that the, what he was showing while trying to say it's a contrivance, that the character was basically like a Boba Fett ripoff, when Mando was like walking into the same cantina from episode four and the same, like basically the same shot copy was like, you'd think you'd address that? But, uh... Mm -hmm. Wait, did I have a shield? Okay. Ready, go! Uh, Eggman can't even keep up with me, I'm so pro. Oh! Oh, I guess he... He, like, teleported in front of me and it killed me. Cool. So according to him, you can't have... Oh, wait, yeah. Binks on the River Kwai. Jarticus, Inglorious Binksteds, the Jar Jar Duke, Binkler's List, the Gungan Husa Shot Liberty Valance, Husa, <laughs> <laughs> Bink Hawk Down. Uh, plot dot story. I think what they meant it's just plot devices and contrivances instead of actual story. That doesn't quite make sense. Uh, plot devices and contrivances would be a part of the story. What does it mean to have an actual story? Are you referring to, like, character stuff? 
I, I'm just I'm un I'm not clear on that one because like I said, story is, to me has always been a um um an umbrella for the whole thing to me. Yeah, story contains plot and narrative, but neither of those two contain story in its entirety. Is how I see it. That's fine with me. The story is just the whole package of the thing. It's the actual two. Oh, it's gonna knock me out. Don't do it. It didn't. Okay, cool. Killed tails and made weird noises. Remember not to get left behind. Good for you, Knuckles. You're clearly a good one. Hello again, EFAP crew. For the second week in a row, I catch you streaming as I leave work. Thanks for all the wonderful content. It's kept me very entertained as I cut limestone. Also, high rags. Oh, hello! Interesting profession you have there. Yeah, enjoy slicing up that limestone. Fuck it up. Do it. Yeah, f oh, that hurt me? Okay. Excuse me, Eggman, don't hurt me while I collect my hoops. Also, that that robot just kicking all kinds of ass over here. I suppose I shouldn't be too mean to a Sonic game for its AI. It's probably taking harsh shots. No, he means to <laughs> Alright, let's hit him with our thing. And then Team Blast. Yeah. A massive play out of wilds. See, another recommendation? Yeah, we, we kind of get a lot of this. Mm -hmm. Um, I think this video is Pat W's attempt to get on EFAP. I don't think he wants to be anywhere near. He's even slightly interested. Oh, I died. Okay. Um, yeah, I think he would consider it, like, an incredibly bad career move to come on EFAP. Not only because he would struggle to, like, uh, talk about TLJ probably, but also because I think the people he likes would consider it like boosting us or something, and that you shouldn't do that because we're a harassment podcast. Uh, did Thor Skywalker accept his invite on Twitter? Yeah, we're gonna try and set up an episode at some point. Um, boop, boop, boop. Jar Jardians of the Galaxy. Mm, feels good. Rags, guns were mentioned. How did you feel about the veteran who defended himself against rioters clearly in vid, but was forced to face charges? Yeah, I think it's horseshit. I don't know Should about that, that, that kind of thing shouldn't happen. It's a... It's a blatant issue. Uh, I, uh, how that all ended is... Um, is despicable, quite frankly. And it's a tragedy, how that all ended. And it makes me upset to hear about. It shouldn't be like that. It should not be like that at all. Rags, how do I join your Discord? I've been following you since Gamergate. Oh, wow. Um, send me a message on Discord, I guess. No, send you an invite. Rags, hashtag 3000. Stop it with the hot takes. This shit's too funny. Two hours in. Nope. Okay, there's, there's no way we're at two hours on these, because Weekend Warrior and Jay aren't there, I'm pretty sure. So. Lies. Um, my hot take: EFAP is too damn good. Oh, well, that's a that's a good problem. Yeah, that that hot. Isn't it? Yeah. Oh, he's throwing his rockets at me. Um, Muller in the boys finale. Stormfront was lasered away by the kid, but Becca was hurt by Stormfront's hand on her neck. That was pushed away, not laser. What? And she's bleeding. Well, but so. They literally say it was the kid who killed her. Uh, yeah. Homelander says, are you really going to, um, like, protect the kid who killed your wife? Or something like that, and Butcher said, I promised her. So... I don't know. Feels like I'm getting two conflicting stories here. And one of them is from the show, so I'm gonna believe that guy. Um, also, Eggman, come back. Wait, did I even get to Team Blast him yet? I don't even know. Maybe I, te I can team blast him when he runs up to me with his gay charge. Do it. Oh, that was probably too early. Um, Ray Skywalker, then Ray is shot in the face. You killed my husband, now I am all of the Sith, she says as she spins autistically into the sunset. Oh, the old woman? <laughs> <laughs> like Ray killed funny. the old woman's husband at some point, maybe? 
No, the the old woman, I guess, was Palpatine's oh. wife. He's like, oh, you killed my husband. Nah, and then she turns oh, into a super up. evil Sith woman. Sounds great. I love it. I like it. Couldn't have grabbed that one hoop as I ran toward the speed thing. It bounced over my head, I'm pretty sure. That is just some depressing luck right there. Mola, come back. I'm scared. I'm here. Do not panic. You guys should totally cover Hello Future Me's Last of Us 2 vid. He presents new arguments that desperately need the EFAP treatment. Scar e Olsa. Um, like I said, maybe one day. Also, every time you guys tell us that, it's not the case. The amount of times we have to color a, yeah. cover a TLJ video that was considered like a brand new take is going to really make you think. It was like the same shit again and again. So maybe the discourse is close to is premature. Yeah. Everything that could be said has been said. Yeah, we've heard all the shitty arguments. They're all shitty. Goal was old. Fucking Stan Lock. If Patrick was a character, you'd say he's badly written. Yeah, probably. He's acting weird. He has Very inconsistent. Severe cognitive dissonance. That poor man. Uh, dead air cancer is greater than space cancer. I'd say so. That space is cancer serious will kill cancer. You. you wouldn't want to die now, would you? Oh. Die! Alright, please don't kill me. How do I expect anything? Oh! Alive by the... Okay, I went through the floor for a second there, but... I'm alive, that's what's important. Oh, I love it when the game does that. Uh, they're talking about horses having sex? What is this, hoops? I've heard the comedy in that show is is, is very good. Mm. Uh, Chad, I'm the guy writing a fantasy novel with you guys as cameos. Please ask Metal and Jay how they see their YouTube personas as fantasy characters. I'm afraid both of them aren't here right now. But uh, they both stream, so it'll be easy to find their answers. Um, yeah, or t <laughs> ask them on Twitter. That would also work. Um, they're talking about... Oh, wait. Uh, Rags, I will be writing your character in my story as a female bard who tried to seduce the wrong witch and was cursed to be a dog. You haven't bothered to lift the curse because this new form is fine. Oh, well. Must be a <laughs> Neat. pretty great dog. Oh, I'm ahead of him this time. Will you kill me, game? Let's see what you decide. Oh, he didn't. Good job. Um, I feel betrayed. Is this because of Patrick Willems not behaving like Patrick Willems anymore? Moopla. The Russos didn't write any of their films. They had almost no involvement with the writing, so don't get to the... So don't get the to-a-degree thing. You should say that about the actual writers, CM and SM. Yeah, if you follow... Um, all the, the shit that they talk about when it comes to writing creating, it's uh, the team of four is what they say. Is the, the main writing goes to the primary writers, but the Russos have loads of input in how the stories go. Um, same, by the way, with uh, decisions for characters. They, would, they said that they would get input from the people uh, who play the characters. That's actually going to come up in TFA part either four or five. I can't quite remember. So, um, and I think the Russos are credited as... Um, related to the writing, as well as uh, something of McFeely, right? I think they're the writers. Oh my god, this is cringe. Let me just have my hoops, please. But yeah, um, it's rare we'll ever know, as an audience, who exactly wrote what, but if they tell you that these people, you know, were involved, I think it's worth mentioning them. And uh, whenever they're asked questions about Endgame and Infinity War, the Russo's treated as though it was... Uh, Something that they were not only involved in writing with, but approved of. And I think that's important. Because a lot of people try and figure out, is it Kathleen Kennedy's fault that um, TLJ is the way that it is? Or is it Ryan's fault? Or is it both? Who really knows the answer? Oh, you're a... You're a fun robot. Um, Mola, please say... Thanos lines as plut with the gauntlet 
in the motherfucking glove box and force one quarter portion for every meal per person. <sighs> the, th the Thanos lines as plut with the gauntlet in the glove box? And force a quarter portion for every meal per person. I mean, we, we, you know, I think that would be cruel to some people. Some people out there just need, like, way more than that. I'm thinking, like, wouldn't Movie Bob die if we got to the point of only providing a quarter portion to everybody? I don't know. Wouldn't want that. Most people get annoyed when a story lacks character or world consistency. Do you think there'd be a way to write a story with deliberately inconsistent characters or world, and how would you judge it? I'd need an I'm example of impossible. what that concept exactly is. Deliberately inconsistent. Like, what What does that entail? What are we thinking about here? Yeah, uh, I'm not saying definitively it's not possible, but I couldn't think off the top of my head of a good way to do it. I'd have to think about it. Like, maybe... Like, maybe someone can spot inconsistencies in a world and that world isn't real like they're in some sort of a Truman show a simulation Matrix. and they and they spot inconsistencies and that's how that's what clues them in or maybe it's like a parody yeah but at that point is that breaking the requirement because that all is contextualizing it to make sense I want, because I, I, yeah, this is why I want examples, just to know what they're thinking about when they say it. If it is something like the Matrix having inconsistencies, I'd be like, oh, well, yeah, but that's explained by it being the Matrix. Yeah, I, I'm not sure, um, but, like, if it's supposed to be, like, real-world stuff, but it's good, I just don't know. I can't think of any off the top of my head, but I'm not going to say that it definitely isn't possible. Um... Like someone has bipolar. Like I said, inconsistent or unreliable narrator is another thing as well. But again, that's like a way to justify how things aren't making sense. It's, uh, so then they make sense. If you if you get what I'm saying. So I just I'm looking for a different kind of example than that. Okay. Lightsabers. Lightsaber blockers were in the prequels. Yeah, the Magna Guards, right? They had little staffs. Yeah. Yep. Could new technology be referring to filming tech? Um, from George, maybe? Yeah, someone said, do you think George is referring to make filmmaking technology? Maybe. I'm sure they have tech that they didn't have 20 years ago. And in that case, is he just... He just wasn't wowed by it, I don't know. Makes it kind of a weird comment. Yeah. Be curious, what are you to be expecting in terms of new filmmaking stuff that would wow him? Yeah. And the rest of the stuff on that list was in universe. I assume that the technology part was also in the universe as well. Mm. Like new characters. That's one word. The rule of cool is the most important part of Star Wars. That was the original Clone Wars animated series in a nutshell. Fuck the rule of cool. I don't like it. Every time someone brings up the rule of cool, it seems to be in relation to excuse this being stupid. It's cool. Yeah. We can have we cool didn't stuff have the while making to make sense, this make people. sense. Oh. Cool stuff is in Earth. Okay. It's not hard to make stuff make sense and be cool. Ooh. Unless you just mean we need to have the presence of cool stuff. Then I guess that just creates a challenge, doesn't it? It's like, can we have a good movie? Well, no cool stuff, is it? It <laughs> just be like, um... yeah, uh, we watched one, and you're never. Uh, I'm thinking of ending things. Uh, no cool stuff in that at all. It was cold. Yeah. In parts of it, that counts, right? Just trying to wonder what I'm supposed to do to escape that move. It's certainly not supposed to tank it, I don't think. Oh, that kind of blocked it, if the camera had shown me what I even did. Oh. Oh, there's all my hoops gone. Give me another one. That'll... Oh, God, camera, please, I beg you. Am I going backwards right now? Yeah, I am. Okay. Oh, there goes Knuckles. Uh, 
God damn it, Jay, you're justifying why spaceships don't know which way is up. Uh, well, partially the reason is the lack of war. It was explained that each time there was a war, technology would increase. Ten, uh, One thousand years of peace would lead, would cause a stagnant for a time. Legends, by the way. I don't think we would stop innovating if there were no war. And if you want to argue that that's just what the Star Wars universe did, I'd be like, uh, a bit weird. War. Yeah. War drives innovation. It doesn't. It doesn't mean it's the only time it happens. I mean, I'm. I. It's theoretically possible that a society gets to a point where they sort of plateau in their technology and they don't discover anything new or revolutionary. They just super refine the stuff that they know and understand, and just make that as good as it could kind of get. I guess it's theoretically possible. Yeah. Um, but otherwise, uh, yeah, I mean, I, it's possible. Honestly, it doesn't create a much of an issue for me. Um, mm -hmm. it, it's not like impossible. Uh, I'd say it's probably unlikely, but I can believe that a certain universe like has that thing where they plateau in their technology. Um, so yeah, I, it, it, it depends on the era too. Um, like, it, it, it's easier for me to believe that a, a spacefaring civilization is at the limits of what is, what is what is possible for them to do than it is for me to believe that a society with, uh, I guess, like, medieval technology would never improve on anything. But that's just me, and neither of those things bug me. So I don't really worry about it, and I think that... Yeah, I don't think it, I don't think it would bug too many people, mm -hmm. but um, or, or try to find a lore reason. Try to find a lore reason why technology is stagnating, why technology never goes past a certain point. Like, is there some is there some supernatural force that prevents people from having ingenuity that would like that would that would let them harness electricity and gunpowder is there some kind of a mental phenomenon that stops people from being able to learn how to split atoms or things like that? i don't i don't know it's um now it, does, is there a religious reason uh, like is there a is is the is a civilization dominated by a cult or by a religion that actively works against technological progress for some reason. Like the Mechanicus uh, or something? Yeah, yeah. Uh, kind of like Warhammer. Uh, so, you know, is, is there some kind of great cataclysm uh, that prevents people from learning technology and it sort of like hits the reset button on things? I, it, it's up to you, I guess. It's where a lot of the, you know, talent and writing comes in. Is like, how do we make these ideas work and function? How do I... How do I get the thing I want in a way that sort of uh, makes sense and is believable? But you got options. You've yeah, got options. Yeah. Uh, do you have any more Vaughn Fry videos lined up? He's a he's the bad stand-up comedian with dick sex marketing to protect him. He was so cringe and would love to see more. <laughs> no, we, we we don't. But I mean, you know, who knows what the future holds? I suppose. Um, someone asked, don't you guys stay away from arguments like it doesn't bug me? Um, so that's not why it would be okay. Like, I already, I, I expressed in that spiel why it's okay in universe. Uh, because it's totally possible that it happens. It doesn't break its own rules. Um, it doesn't, like, for instance, the, the progression of technology in a fantasy world does not have to exactly match our own. Um... And if you, and it and it doesn't bother me to examine it super closely, um, if it it if it doesn't break its own rules. Um, but there there are plenty of I believe there are pr plenty of lore friendly in universe reasons why you could have a technological s uh, stagnation in different societies and cultures, and I assume that's what happens. And I think it's reasonable to assume that there is an in universe reason for a lot of this stuff. Um, be it just like uh, you know some of the things that I mentioned, like I, I don't consider it. It's not an objective flaw, and I can't justify it being an objective flaw with the fact that 
you know, after 3,000 years, people in Lord of the Rings are still using swords and bows and arrows and things. Um, there we go. We already orient on arbitrary des designations on Earth. North, South, East, West are completely arbitrary and there's no reason they couldn't be projected indefinitely into space. Um, I don't yeah, know. you just... you you All you would have to do is, like, you could use, like, the positioning of stars and the galaxy, or we, everyone agrees on a fixed, quote-unquote, North Star or some navigational point that's the reference for everything, and then you just create a grid system built off of that, and you're good. Like, I don't think it would be... I, I, th it would, I think it would be extremely easy for... Uh, that to be done. I think the hard uh, for uh, for spacefaring civilizations. I think the difficult part would be on them deciding what the standardization is. Um, standard is yeah. The standardization is um, de getting everybody to come and agree on what it is they're agreeing on. As odd as that sounds, um, but yeah, in and of itself, technologically, I don't think it'd be an issue at all. What do you think about a review where you analyze each character individually, actions, motives, etc., instead of analyzing the media chronologically? Love to hear your opinion on it. You think it could work? Um, I don't see why not. I'm assuming you take one, yeah. one at a time and go through their sort of journey in the thing. Um, and then maybe have yeah, overall thoughts I... once you're done. Yeah, it could work. Yeah, I think you could do that. Absolutely. I generally prefer chronologically for the story. Um, with with tangents here and there based on um where you think it's most appropriate like i decided to talk about in my mando review the the fobs require their own full discussion and i get that out of the way kind of early because it is going to have a lot of lasting impacts and stuff like that that i'm going to be calling back to um so it's up to you. Both can work. Uh, I just have my preference. It's easy to follow for me. Yeah, I've I've always liked chronological. I've always, uh, and uh, it kind of kills an extra bird too of uh, someone who's not experienced the content whatsoever. When you go chronological, they can follow along. They can be like, even if I'm not invested or know nothing about this thing, it's like, oh, I understand. This character is doing this thing. I see. Um. So to the problem with stars is that they don't stay in the same place forever. So that's not a problem because we know that. Um, as hard as this is to believe, we are, our society already operates under this system. Um, Polaris, for instance, is our North Star. It won't always be our North Star, and it hasn't always been our North Star. Uh, the ancient Egyptians, for instance, uh, when they used their North Star to build their pyramids and navigate and everything like that, their North Star was Thuban. Um, so yeah, eventually... Uh, stars do move slowly but surely but it is extremely slow to the point where we, we know what like we know what upcoming North Stars will be and uh, we know what the old ones were as well. Um, that would not be any problem for a spacefaring uh, civilization to calculate because we're literally doing that right now with our stars. Patrick is changing his spots for money, nothing more. He wants on EFAP because his base left him. He wants us because he saw the tonal video redemption. It's a trap. <laughs> I'm gonna wow. guess that's not the case. But as always, yeah, Patrick would probably be more not than welcome. Okay. I love the idea that Patrick saw the, the tonal EFAP and was like, you know what? <laughs> it, it would take a tonal to have Yeah. What's the thing? I'm sure there's a real human being uh, under Patrick's insanity. It's just um, going to be difficult to be able to crack through to it. You know, he's going to be like, "No, you guys, are the are the problem with the fan base." We'll be like, "All right." Yeah. Right. He just chose like the worst possible profession for him to have. <laughs> uh, Wombo, didn't think you literally meant the Russos were the writers, as someone decided to point out. Just thought we should pin the blame slash praise on writers Christopher Marcus and Stephen McFeely. Yeah, Marcus and McFeely. That's the. The two. Um, the Russos, I, I always think a director should be getting uh, praise or blame for the overall project anyway. And uh, yeah, I, I, uh, their writing input was in all of the films with those two writers as well. But those two are the main writers, true. Regals are great, you pretentious, balding beanhead. Oh my god. I'm sorry. No. Regals are not great. Um. 
they're, they're not. not. Yeah, the prequels are bad. I can appreciate them for what they did, but uh, they're not good. Hot take, Muller is actually a little devil person. Oh, Ooh, what a oh, throwback wow. reference to EFAP movies Wish Upon. Do you remember Someone Rex? mentioned the ancient Chinese death box in the Milan comments. <laughs> Milan movie comments, and I'm like, that's an old reference, and I like it. Yeah, man. Wish Upon, if it got a sequel, we would jump on that shit. We're big fans of incredible, excellent content. You know, that's just us. Also, God, this camera actually makes me want to kill myself. What is it doing right now? Oh. Like, it's bad enough when you have to deal with the clunky-ass controls of everything and how everything works, but when you have a camera that is almost like... What's the opposite of cheerleading? Um... Being a I'm trying to think of something that rhymes leading. something super clever. Um... Naysaying? Kind of, yeah, I think that applies. Booing. That's the that's the way to translate my idea really fast. Yeah. It doesn't really have a ring. Instead of leading cheer, you're saying nay. Mm-hmm. There you go. That was the clever way of putting it. Fear leading? Take this. Take this. Take this. Such a cool badman. Oh, Eggman. Dude, why do the coins lead to that? Ugh. To awkwardly walk back. Aha, I was too fast for him to m fucking... Oh, I wasn't even. Oh, God. Um... So in EFAP 101, you guys were discussing the ranking system, and you mentioned that you were unsure that any movie was a perfect 10. I'm just a little curious, but you wouldn't rank Lord of the Rings, Civil War, Joker, Prestige, or Infinity War as 10? I Rex. No. I don't um, think so. Um, I think there's probably... Remember, any flaw, no matter how small, means it can't be a 10. 10 is perfect. 12 Angry Men might be able to do it. Um, yeah. All my other ones... I, I, I absolutely believe that there are probably 10 out of 10 movies that legit do not have any flaws. Um, in fact, it would it would be super easy to make an objectively perfect movie. We use the the um, the example of just a chair in a room... Just a chair in a room for, like... A, fuck it, 90 minutes. Objectively, there's nothing wrong there. It, it's perfect. It's just super boring. There's no point in doing it. Um, but it does adhere to the rules, which is why, you know, we always talk about subjective and objective stuff. And Yeah, we like to know, talk about why it makes us feel certain ways and why it's yeah. worthwhile trying to avoid making your audience feel certain ways. For yeah, example, like we, these are things we talk about. If you like, want to make Luke a coward, it's like, is that possible? It's like, yes, but I don't yeah. know why you would want to do that. Yeah, Seems like um, it's going to bring up some issues with uh, the audience, for sure. Yeah, but I, I don't think there can be a zero, because it, it wouldn't qualify as a film to be even in the ranking. Um, but I think it's a... You know, it, it, it's like it's like Kelvin. You can't have zero Kelvin, but you can just keep going hotter and hotter and hotter. Oh my god, he didn't teleport in front of me. It was only after. <laughs> Eggman, you've been foiled. Patrick should just pretend so, he likes Tross. Someone says 10 is perfect, in which case nothing is perfect as humans can't make something perfect. I do not agree with that. Depending on the standard, of course they can. I mean, like, especially, yeah, with, like, standards and definitions and mathematics and things like that, yeah. Um, a like human you, can you do make perfect a 90 degree angle you know, equation. It's like, well, yeah, uh, like, it's yeah. real. yeah, you can do things that are perfect. Oftentimes, they're simple, um, but, yeah, um, humans can definitely do things perfectly. Oh, I got team blast, sweet. Uh... Like, for instance, there is a, um, like, in speedrunning, there are perfect speedruns that you can do. Um, there, where there's literal limits to how fast a game can go based on its coding and its mechanics. Um, and you can get a perfect speed run and it is impossible to do any better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I said, it's always going to be in reference to something else. Oh, Eggman, you're so annoying. Someone said, wouldn't the heat death of the universe lead to a zero Kelvin? No, it means that the universe has reached a state of entropy and the temperature is exactly the same everywhere. 
uh, but it would be spread out across all the universe. So it, it wouldn't be that because zero Kelvin basically isn't possible because there would be no like atomic activity whatsoever. So there wouldn't be a thing to measure through Kelvin. As far as I know, I might be wrong, but I think that's how it works. Um, if I'm wrong, uh, do correct me. But I, I think that is the case that you can't have something with like literally no atomic movement whatsoever. Um, but things can keep getting hotter and hotter and hotter, but there is a limit to how cold things can get. Oh my god. However, how cool I can be is limitless. <laughs> so. Eggman, open up your chest so I don't fuck up Team Blast. Hey, oh no, 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 you're leaving. Eggman, why? Alright, well, I'm gonna try and use Team Blast when he fucking charges at me anyway, because I feel like I gotta use it. Okay, guys. Oh god, here comes. Can't Q just add more heat? Yes, he can. Let's hope he does. But I don't think it's a problem that any of us are gonna have to worry about. Oh, the camera makes me want to die. Um. Oh. Spider Man Sins Past is a really horrific story, the only right thing Patrick said, though you can adapt it to be a good story, similar to Civil War. Oof. I'll have you know that many people think the Civil War comic is very good, so careful with your hot take accidental there. Um. But yeah. It didn't it didn't seem like there's a lot of hope for that Sins Past thing. Looked like looked like a weird man. Patrick is one percent cinematography, ninety-nine percent pretentious. He does like his cinematography, that's true. Tismatography. Tismatography. Nice one. I'm clear on exactly when this is. That wasn't the safe time. Please, game, have some mercy on me. This is probably the closest I've gotten. Like, Bowser is such a nice man compared to this Eggman. Bowser's a fucking Chad. Yep. I'd suck Bowser's cock. I wouldn't suck Eggman's cock. Like, yeah. Eggman's a weirdo. I'm gonna say it. Yeah, he's a fucking freak. He's ugly. Bowser, I feel like you could have a drink with Bowser. Talk about Mario being a prick. Um, kill Patrick's hair right now? Oh my god. Do you guys think this is his worst video? No, I think that that video was actually probably one of his better ones. I'm trying to remember. Really? It's been so long since we've covered Patrick. Well, yeah, but he's the one who... He made you shut up about bad? plot holes. Do you remember shut up about plot holes? I remember that, yeah. Yeah, that was episode, like, two or something. That was fucking terrible. Four? Surely he's done better than... <laughs> well, wait, this. I haven't seen all of his videos. I'm just talking about the EFAP covered Yeah, one. true. I guess, yeah. He's, um... Yeah, he has some interesting things that he does. Can I have Team Blast now, please, 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 please? Laughing at me, Eggman. I find it rude. Oh, he's running away. Stop it. Okay, maybe if... I'm gonna bait this charge out of him. Oh, oh that didn't work out. In conclusion, Star Wars fans... Oh, in conclusion, Star Wars fans want is more Star Wars, and that's a bad, but what Patrick wants Star Wars to not be Star Wars, and that's good? Listen. Uh, Sounds about right to me. Star Wars needs to evolve, alright? Once it evolves, it'll be safe from the evil clutches of the fans that are trying to keep it the way it is. Thank you, Eggman. Very kind of you. Also, I have Team Bless this time, okay? We're gonna be great. Mm. I'll take, but I think in Spider-Man 2, I like hentai. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. Well, you can't argue, can argue with that. Probably yeah. because I don't know what to argue with. Yeah, we, we, <laughs> you know, we welcome the hot takes, and that was one of them. Shadow uses a gun because unlike Sonic, he kills his enemies. It's consistent with his character. Shadow using a gun is objectively good writing. <laughs> Uh-huh. Don't know if troll? <laughs> oh, it's a good meme, I'm sure. Uh, hey you massives. Hi, Rags. 
Hello. Hello. Have you watched Cowboy Bebop? It's definitely among the best media out there. Great writing, animation, music, and everything. I have watched Cowboy Bebop, and it is very excellent. I do like it quite a lot. I mm. have not. But I've had it recommended. Someone make it watch it. I think people recommend Fringy a lot because he likes his bounty hunters, and that's what is it's about, right? Oh yeah, you you definitely get more space bounty hunting in Cowboy Bebop than you do in you know Mandalorian, which has sure. practically none. <laughs> as we as we discovered in Attack of the Clones, Anakin does more searching for people than Mando ever does. Yeah, unironically, he does more investigative work um, than Mando does. Mando just follows the fucking beeps. Yeah, man, he's a legendary bounty hunter, and that's what they do. Legendary. God, look how long Eggman exploded for. What the fuck? <laughs> Damn. Oh, sweet, I got an E. Uh, use Team Rose to get all emeralds for true ending. I'm okay. I'm probably not gonna do that. Shadow rides a motorcycle because bikes are cool, and one of his most iconic one-liners is I'm the coolest. It makes sense he would ride a bike. You know what? It's yeah, hard to disagree. Got it. it's you, got it. you guys, they got this figured out. Yeah, I was gonna say. I'm the coolest. Great. I'm the coolest. That is a, pr that is a pretty cool catchphrase, I'm the coolest. It's, I'm telling you, he's a cool dude. Super cool. Um, did anyone tell Theo about the mother after his totally legitimate hot take on Star Wars The Clone Wars? Because boy howdy, is that a trip and a half. The mother? Don't know what that is. The mother. I... Oh my god, the game ends with Rose trying to rape Sonic. What the fuck? Really? Hashtag me too. <laughs> Hashtag run Sonic. Oh my god, this is the credits. I did it. Sonic Heroes, everyone. A great game. Everyone should check it out. Sounded like you had a lot of fun. Oh, yes. Yeah. Sonic is my baby. I love the Sonic games. I don't find them cringy as hell and mechanically <laughs> stunted to the point of feeling like I'm, I shouldn't even be there. Sometimes I just hold forward and press A randomly and hope for the best. It's not like I often compare it to Mario where they're mechanically tight as fuck and so satisfying and it doesn't even matter what the paint job is because Mario's mechanics are glorious. It's not that that's the case whatsoever. Shut up, all of you. Watching Sonic's eyeballs float around in his white eyes are... It's really unsettling. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know what's going on exactly. It's uh, kind of creepy. He's got giant eyeballs. So did you not unlock the 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 true, like, piss on the moon ending? Yeah, I, I think you have to get all of the Chaos Emeralds to get the true ending. Um, the Chaos Emeralds. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking classic. Shut up, Rags. You don't appreciate <laughs> fantastic gaming. Sonic. Chaos Emeralds, I love it so much. Um... Thank you for procrastinating for weeks and hiring a script consultant, Pat. I have been in a bad place lately and your video is so crap and set the bar so low it's given me new confidence to face life. Aww. I was actually going to say, you know, um, despite the production value being Garbador in terms of uh, the script for, for Pat, I still think uh, Shut Up About Plot Holes is probably his worst video. And, like, it'll be funny to maybe in the fifth year of EFAP to cover that video again as a throwback. That'll be fun. It was um, diabolical. It's so awful. <laughs> diabolical. We 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 covered that like a day or two after it came out. It was interestingly timed. I think that's. I still. I talk about this like it's it's part of what possibly made EFAP happen because I was like, oh, we should do what we did last time, but with this video. So that, thank you, Patrick. Yeah, that was. Oh, what, what a gold mine Patrick is. Mm -hmm. Anyways, guys, no dino fun facts for you until you read the list I on the catch up. You'll see soon. So that's my last super chat for today. See you, boys. Thank you very much. You know, speaking of fun facts, my grandfather has this book called Who Knew? Things You Didn't Know About Things You Know Well by David Hoffman. He gave me this because he knows that I like little fun facts and stuff. Um, so maybe every once in a while, I will read from this book. Um... So, 
and, 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 and we'll slowly but surely learn a, a, a wide variety of very interesting facts that you can use to wow your friends and to pacify your enemies. And um, So I'm going to open this up. I've just opened it to page 101. This is a random fact. Uh, remember to vote this to memory. Uh-huh. Um, despite its 216-minute running time, Lawrence of Arabia has no women in speaking roles. All right. So no okay. wonder it's regarded as a classic of cinema and one of the yeah, greatest yeah, movies yeah, yeah. ever Oops. created. Uh, there you go. That's the... There you go. When you finish this game, it says, try another story. So no. I was half expecting <laughs> Rags to say his Gramps has the Necronomicon. No, but he is uh, he is hanging in there, so maybe. Uh, let's see. Um... Oh, his is fun. Because the studio expected it to bomb, the budget of Casablanca was so low that the plane used in the background of the final scene was a small cardboard cutout. To give it the illusion of being full-sized, the producers hired midgets to portray the crew preparing it for takeoff. Wow. The more you know. Oh, someone said I should read page 104 because of... um. Um, uh, because it's, you know, for some reason, 104 is appropriate. Um, is it Oscar song? winner Tommy Lee Jones was the college roommate of Vice President Al Gore. Cool. Yeah. Harvard, class of 1969. Um, well, yeah, that's Sonic Heroes. <laughs> Everyone people like, clap. People, they like, do Team Chaotix, do Team Rose. Like, no. <laughs> this was oh, horrible. Team names. Ah, hey. Uh, team Dark. Hey, they're the Dark team. There's a bat. Joan there's a Bear, could you tell? Dude, Shadow looks so cool. He's got red streaks in his black hair. How cool is that? Yeah. Sonic is lame compared. Um... Yeah, I don't know if should we should we treat that as a as a good place to stop, or do you guys want to carry on? What, what, how are we looking? I think I, think I could jump. Up uh, now. I can go on for a little bit longer. Very well. Oh, wait, so Theo, you want to jump out? Do you? Yeah, I need to go and get something to eat, and then go die. Very well. Uh, talk about your channel. Why do you always do this? <laughs> you know what I'm gonna say. It'll eventually convince you to make something. I swear. <laughs> There's a channel, don't subscribe to it, there's nothing on it, there might be something on it eventually, hopefully. There we go. Oh wow, if you type in Theo D Tree, you actually come up uh, your channel and then the EFAP that we're doing right now. Oh, really? Oh, how, wow. is that, how is that possible? Like, That's what... an extensive repertoire. Yeah. But like, how is it tagged? I haven't got your... I guess you're in the title as Theo, but not Theo D Tree. How is that, how is that I happening? I have no idea. Maybe it's the 565 subscribers I've accrued sitting on my ass. <laughs> Watch I don't know. all of the videos. Mola smart. <laughs> <laughs> Do yeah, it. Yeah, well, your extensive list of content. Yeah. Uh, but thanks for having me on and stuff. It's good fun. Absolutely. It, it has yeah. been. You survived the Willems. <laughs> Just two, about. Two doses of Willems. That's about all I need for a lifetime, I guess. Uh, yeah. Good night. Enjoy the rest Nighty of the night. night. I nearly said evening. Bye bye. Um. Hmm. Right. Uh, how dare you disrespect the FNT? Is that a type of gun? Friday night tights? Oh. The F do they refer to Friday Night Tights as the Friday Night Tights? The FNT? I, I don't know. Sounds like I, I, someone else. I guess I'm not sure. Let me let me double check. Let me type it in and see. FNT. Uh Flint Bishop Airport. Yeah. <laughs> uh. How dare you disrespect the Flint Bishop Airport? Son of a whore. Um, can you guys explain to me why you guys think John Wick is so good? I thought it was meh. It was the really awesome. One? Yeah, it was really awesome watching someone who is considered competent be competent. It's really cool. All yes. The, 
little things he does with the guns, all for the sake of realism. I love the world. I like the idea that there's loads of assassins and that they, they have like this underground sort of understanding and even the currency system. Yeah, there's system rules and... that they follow. I think that is very, very interesting. And how, like, principally, if you steal from me, beat me up, and kill my dog, you're done. Like, there's no way out of it. And the whole film is like trying to stop the unstoppable force that is John Wick. It's a really cool little movie. And I wish they'd stopped at one. Yeah. John Wick doesn't start out as the incompetent buffoon idiot that is constantly saved by plot armor that he is in the second and third films. Yeah. He wasn't always like that. I liked him when he wasn't. Uh, today is not my birthday, so happy unbirthday to me and all the massive little clown boys out there. Yeah. Happy birthday, all of you. Uh, random thought. Tross says the ships can't go up, but as spaceships, if they went forward in a straight line, they would still leave the planet. That's true. Yeah. There's many ways for this. To yeah, <laughs> if you travel, yeah, that's right. If you travel horizontally, you will eventually leave the atmosphere. Not if you travel level, though, because level does not mean horizontal, and level mm. is not the same as flat. And yeah, like, again, you just need someone to go, hey, the floor is there. So, <laughs> if if we go the other direction, we should be alright. Uh, Mola, hold the jump button after you homing attack between the enemies and move forward in the air to get more distance. Oh, I, I got through it eventually. Um, it just didn't work every time, which is really, really fun. It's all good. All cut up now on the boys. Why do all the writers of all things of media feel the need to cram their hatred of Donald Trump into everything? I get it, show. I voted for Trump and you think I'm a Nazgul. Frick's sake. <laughs> Nazgul. Frick's sake. To be honest with you, I'm surprised they didn't have more overt references to Trump, like some character who was, you know... Uh, Trump, basically. Yeah, yeah, just like a, a caricature sort of thing. I'm waiting for it, though. I mean, fucking give it, next give it season, a chance. Man. Season three, yeah. They 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 talk about a president in um, the boys season two, but they don't show him, do they? So um, maybe season three we'll we'll get our Trump, or maybe they're waiting to see who wins the the election before they decide on what kind of president will be in the show. Who knows? Uh, Sonic friends get along like a house on fire. It's a very wholesome little group. I will agree with that. I love me some anime, but even then I agree with Theo, the Clone Wars is not good. P.S. Mecha anime is the best anime, also High Rags and Theo. Hello! Um, mecha anime. Does Code Geass come under mecha anime? I assume it does. I'm not sure. Uh, hey, Theo, opinions on Made in Abyss? Love that show. Well, if Theo is in chat, I will read out what he says. If not, try and catch him another time, perhaps. Uh, practically all anime is used toilet paper. Like all good Jews, I discourage people from watching it. What does that even mean? <laughs> what? Uh, also, the Mulan EFAP edits were hilarious. Yeah, I'd hope so. Uh, Desk Bullshit did a really good job. Yeah, he did. That was fantastic. How dare you stream on Friday? I can't watch you live now. Re oh, don't worry. It'll be it'll be uploaded on probably Saturday. Depends on uh, how long every all the processing takes. Yeah. Um. So Theo, when Maul ended up taking over the Mandalore by undermining Vizsla and the rulers of the Mando Mandalorians, was it? It was bad. Everything he did a logical through line. Um. Again, I don't I don't see Theo in chat. I'm assuming he's not able to respond. Why do we get two things directed at Theo as soon as he left? Once he leaves, yeah. I guess, like, like sir, he said he could, he'd talk about it in the Discord. Take that super chat that you asked. Yeah, and just, just ping him, him in Discord. At him. Uh, Harass him. Mola, did you see Code Geass? I did. I watched all of it. Or at least the all of it that was there at the time. I don't know if there's more now. There might be. Uh, Mola, I just bought a little a bottle of Welsh whiskey in your honor. Pendarin, if you know of it. Um... I've not drank it myself, but good stuff. Hope you enjoy. Welsh whiskey? Welsh whiskey. Interesting. Hi, Rags. Hey! Wondering what you guys think of Red Dead 2, if you've played it. Personally, I think the story is really good with good characters. I've not. I've only I heard have good things. 
Yeah, I've not played it. I hear the single player is good. I hear the online is not so much. I know Fringy loves it. At least I think he does. Um, what did you say about Bojack Mola? I stopped watching after season four because I felt that it was a good time to end it. Oh, well, season four is the mum season, right? Uh, uh, I just I thought Bojack was shit. Is is my take? Um, uh, I don't. Yeah, I, I think most people would recommend you carry on. Best episode is the penultimate one. It's probably worth seeing if you liked Bojack at all. Have any of you seen the DHMIS series? If so, what do you think of it? Also, high rags or rye hags? Oh, rye. Um. The DHMIS series. Let's have a Google. Dragon Hunter. Oh, don't hug me, I'm scared. Don't hug me, I'm scared. Oh, that's the I don't YouTube even know series that that's basically like it's a good children's show, but it's everything is just not quite right and it's terrifying at certain points. Oh. It's kind of funny. <laughs> um, I think I only watched one of them and I was sufficiently freaked out by it. For genres like horror or soft fantasy, I'd follow Sanderson's first law. An author's ability to solve conflict with magic is directly proportional to how well the reader understands said magic. I think that's fair, yeah. Of course you can have vagaries when it comes to magic to a degree, but I think the better we understand the abilities of a character, the, the, the easier to understand the stakes would be, right? That goes for like... Not just magic, but, um, you know, some guy is holding a sword. To us, we're like, I guess he's got a sword. He can do that. And it's like, this is a veteran of 30 years. He's one of the best warriors in the world. You're like, oh, all right. This is, this guy has never used a sword before. He just picked it up. It's like, those two are already better than not knowing that. You know what I mean? It's just, the more, the more we know, the more we understand the stakes. Um, love you guys. Also, hi, Rags. Oh, Hi. Clone Wars had one good moment. Theo, is your last name Taxon Willems or Genesis? Oh my god. Uh oh. Mola, for the love of god, use your team blast when fighting the giant. It's blinking yellow in the top right corner. I did, uh, it was it was using it from the Halloween levels, so this must have come in after that. I, you have to use it at the right time. You can't just use it willy nilly. You gotta, you gotta figure out when the best moment is, you know? It's like an ulti. Catching up on EFAP, just so put, just, uh, so just popped in pooped in to say good job and keep up the good work lads also if you ever want to burn the internet down you should critique undertale got extra letters so hi rags oh hi critique undertale i never actually played it did you i have not i just apparently it's very beloved and yeah. it's uh, great and amazing people love that shit uh rags have you heard of the chinese battle of su yang 30,000 civilians no. were eaten the oh fuck? fuck yeah the chinese will eat anything what? They ate them? Okay. Why haven't I not heard of that before? That <laughs> sounds like something that everyone would probably talk about. Okay, all right. Um, tried out the new Terminator game yet? No, I still haven't, even though a lot of people did talk about it. Maybe I could stream that at some point? Um, lot, lots of things up in the air right now in terms of also things to do. Also, I'm, I'm not playing a game just because I figure that it's probably not worth starting one right now when um, we've got... We might be able to get to the Super Chats end within uh, half an hour-ish. At least for this episode. Um, I did not realize that BoJack was supposed to be a comedy until you guys mentioned it on EFAP. Probably says more about me than the show, but still. Yeah, most people don't remember it as a comedy. Um, even though a shit ton of time is devoted to comedy and not drama. Uh, Fringy was slowly realizing that as we were watching it. He was, uh, it's not quite as he remembered. Muller is Henry Cavill FNT one hour fifty minutes. Huh? Oh, in Friday Night Tights at one hour fifty minutes, they someone said something about this. I'm I'm not him, by the way. I am not Superman. Are they on right now? It would make sense since it's Friday night. Oh, yeah, it is Friday night. Friday Night Tights. Uh, oh, he's not live right now. I can't see him. Oh, did we did we start before them and have st kept going after they're done? That might have happened. Ah, uh, maybe. Our refaps are what some people consider to be long. Um, I don't know if you knew about this. Do, do, do. 
two. One half? Oh, sorry, right, I had said. I got into an argument with my friend about this, and I'm petty, so party A is claiming that minor and mild are on the same level. Party B is claiming that minor is lesser than mild, e.g. a minor inconvenience is less than a mild one. Hmm. I think I'd probably agree with that colloquially on the second one. I th if you tell me something is minor versus mild, I think I consider mild to be more significant than minor. What are you, are you, Rage? Um... I'm kind of lost. About what? Just everything. Right now. Oh, you like big tiredisms? No, um... Oh yeah, but what... Wait, what was the question? Um... Well, let me let me ask you it in, in the way that kind of answers it. So oh. if, I, if, if you found out something bad has happened, and I came to you and said, something minor has happened, or something mild has happened. Which one do you think I'm telling you? Which one of those, where do they rank on a scale of good, uh, badness? Something mild has happened? Um, I think if you said, yeah, if you said mild has happened, I'd be confused because that's odd terminology to use. Um, True. So I don't even know how I would rank mild. Uh, minor, I'd, I'd rank that pretty low though. Yeah, I've always minor, minor and major are like two opposites of a of a scale. While mild yeah. sits somewhere between, if it was on a one to ten scale, mild is like three four, while minor is like one two. Yeah, there is my answer. <laughs> like something minor is would be like an inconvenience, while mild is like you chose that word, so it means to me that it's not easy, might not be easily solvable. It might be something to it that's a little more annoying than usual than a small thing. Like, slightly versus barely. Yeah, I think slightly is worse than barely. Barely is like hardly anything, I'd... right? Yeah. Um, just letting everyone know, uh, with a VPN set to Ukraine and incognito mode, you can buy BG3 or other games on GOG for $30. Interesting. Hmm. Started reading Berserk for the first time. Really good horror action manga. Anyone read or watched it? Uh, no. I, I saw I'm not familiar with it. it. It It's pretty cool and it gets kind of fucking nuts in the finale. It involves <sighs> demons and shit. At one Whoa. point, I think. If I remember correctly. Um, the CCP should Minecraft themselves for the world's benefit. Also, you guys should read Berserk and My Hero Academia is garbage. Finally, Hail Rags. Oh! Hail! Yeah, we got all kinds of uh, all kinds of references to anime all over the place. You just never know with our audience, or I guess you do kind of know. Rags, I always appreciate your RLM references, even if no one else ever seems to notice them. I mean, oh, I don't. I usually catch them because I've seen all of Red Light Media's catalog. So, but yeah, maybe, uh, uh, they're like the only channel that I've pretty much watched everything that they've done. Yeah, they're just they're so, funny. <laughs> like that's yeah, the, they're the funny, extremely thing. entertaining, and I rewatch their stuff constantly. Uh, watching you fail at this game is starting to hurt. When you use the homing attack, you have to aim it at the enemy, hold A to get more time, and move forward in the air to get more distance. Yep, I know all of that. Fucking doesn't work all the time. You even would have seen it. Um, there were several times where I would home onto an enemy, and then Sonic would like struggle and fall over instead of bouncing. So, um, Sonic autistic. It's not his fault. <laughs> I, I feel like that last battle really subbed it up. Whatever I go on like a jump pad, and Eggbad like swoops back into me because he's getting pulled back because he's too far in front, and it just like hits me and then counters me and I just die. It's just like yay! I am tired. Here's money. Thank you very much. Uh, Bob hasn't been banned because leftists don't get banned. Even if they dox, harass people, or threaten to commit violence, if you lean any further right than Antifa, you get banned for almost anything. Like I said, it's weird that he hasn't been banned. Even if yeah. some lefties get banned uh, here and there, I'm just surprised. Yeah, they gotta try him. hard, though. I feel like he's 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 done what he needed to do. <laughs> it's weird. I feel, I feel, the 75% deserved Corona thing, I feel like that's enough, but uh, what do I know? Uh, Bob hasn't been banned because Twitter is the Florida of the internet. <laughs> uh, Mola, will you check out Stargate? It's pretty tizzy, but fun. 
Um, possibly someday. I've got, I've got. It's not really high on my list right now of uh, new shit to go over. Money to support my best friends Mola and Rag. Can't wait for us to hang out later. Oh no. Oh my goodness. I think that's a reference. Oh no. no. Oh. Where am I going here? You are my capitalist friends. Aw. Aw. You guys ever played Jade Empire? It's KOTOR with better gameplay, old school Bioware at their very best. I've heard it's very good, but I have not played it. I have not played it either. Um, slightly disagree with Rags' Dragon Age take. Attributes are well tooltipped, and you're encouraged to spec trees correctly for good abilities. It's mostly idiot proof. Uh, I, I can't think of a game that encourages you to not spec correctly. Um, but the game's mechanics and how difficult some of the encounters are and how depending on which pathways you choose and in what order can substantially affect how difficult things can get. Um, like, I, I, I definitely think that you can... A, a, a reasonable gamer, I think, can still get stymied by that game and they have to sort of, like, learn it. Um, but uh, I... I th I enjoy its difficulty. I think that's one of its strong points. Um, is that it's something to learn? But I, I, I think that it is. It, it is easy to kind of almost soft lock yourself in a in a sense. Um, have you seen The Godfather? If so, thoughts. Uh, it makes sense. It's considered one of the greatest movies of all time. It's like excellent execution, pretty awesome, an interesting story, but. Um, I never cared about it that much. It's it's a weird sort of anomaly, and it happens every once in a while where I'm just um, I'm appreciating the craft, but it's just not getting to me on the emotional tisms, unfortunately. <gasps> have you seen it, Rex? No, I have not seen The Godfather. No. Mm. I'm assuming you know about the memes about the third one being terrible. Uh, no, I I'm I'm not actually aware of that. Oh another one of them trilogies. People always reference the third in a trilogy as bad and Godfather is uh, one, that, one of the primary references. But then Lord of the Rings smashed it all because the third one is cool. Half-Life 2 has a mod called M-Mod, which enhances the guns and makes the combat challenging by improving the AI. It makes a 16-year-old game extremely fun. Um, yeah, I mean... That would be pretty good to check out if you guys want to play Half-Life 2 again, but maybe uh, go for it. <laughs> it insists upon itself. I, it's one of the one of the better Family Guy jokes, that whole, that whole bit. It's good shit. Uh, congrats, Molly. You finally did it. You absolute massive. I think that's in reference to me beating the Sanic game. You did it. Yay. Rip Eddie Van Halen. Um, so funny thing about that, that was said in... Um, in like well, I read that out in one of the I think it was the amnesia stream and um I thought it was just like some kind of random comment I didn't actually realize no, he, he died. died yeah I I I, yeah, he, I never uh, registered died, that uh, shit cancer. yeah yeah sucks um I noticed yeah I noticed uh, that when when we got that comment the first time you you took it uh, pretty well so I'm like oh, I right. thought it was just like a weird comment for some reason my brain didn't even think it was like a possibility I don't know why um, but yeah, I saw her on Twitter and I was like, oh shit, he actually died. Oh, that makes sense now. Um, I guess with this sort of thing, you usually expect there to be like lots of messages about it instead of just like one. We get weird ones sometimes, okay? All right? That's my. That's, that's the yeah, reasoning. like. We, we're, like Wilford Brimley passing away, ascending, is going to be way more of a big deal than, you know, Eddie Van Halen. Exactly. Um. Outstanding and brave decision, Mola. I agree. EFAP 166 is perfect to cover Plinkett's reviews. Oh, because of Order 66? What did we do for the first EFAP 66? Was that the Tross? I think that was the Rise of Skywalker. Because well, we called it Order 66, yeah. Fucking hell. Uh, let me double check. Oh, yeah, because it was around Christmas time. It would have been almost we're coming up to a year ago. 116 would be the equivalent, right? For a year? EFAP 66. Yeah, EFAP Order 66. Full breakdown review of Star Wars Episode 9, The Rise of Skywalker. That is sitting at 607,000 views. 
Yeah, people like that one. <laughs> what, what was that our was cast for that? One. It was like, was it eight man, seven man? That was. Um, we've got Jay Shad, uh, Metal Fringy Drinker, you and I. Damn. That was oof. Uh, because I can't super chat on PC. Here is my hot take. Cha Cha is not a bad character and could have been good if left to develop. I'm assuming they're referring to Jar Jar. Um, I feel like any character could be good, you know? And I, uh, I agree with Jay. Give us the reins. We will try and make Jar Jar into a character you actually want to see. Uh, we, we take the challenge. Uh, we are with you, Mauler and Rags. Go ahead and cover Plinket Reviews in 166. Brave of you boys. <laughs> hey man, maybe one day. Maybe one day we'll have a look at Plinket Reviews, okay? Theo, are you watching the storm that is approaching? Um, is, is Britain getting a storm? Oh no. Storms Rag are coming. Rags. I'm glad that people grew up with Minecraft. Fans, if story-driven game intensifies heart attacks. The... Okay. Um, I'll just I'll just post it to you. I'm not sure how to better. No, like it. I I get it. I just. Like, those aren't- they're not at odds with each other? What? Minecraft- Like, I know it's a little bit cliche, but Minecraft really is a do-your-own-thing kind of game. Um, it really is just- it, it, it's imagination just crack, really. Um, but you can still play story in the uh, story-driven games, you know? Could like, Hitler, they never went away. So was like, could Hitler be a good character? It didn't mean morally good, I just meant- well written. Oh, well, I was. Uh, well. Also, they Maybe. said hitter. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe they're referring to someone else. Maybe the Jews really were up to something. <gasps> Maybe they were demons from the underground. <gasps> oh my goodness. Hi, John. He, he would have been happy to say hi. Don't let the haters get you, you son. Go ahead and do what you want. The most cover Plinket reviews on 166. This is all from the same person, by the way. They really want us to cover Plinket reviews. Wow. Uh, maybe. I'm not against the idea. Yeah, well, maybe one day. The hedgehog mass grave is growing. True. All those bodies that fell off all those different areas, they're all collecting up like that Flash Kids video. Ragu. Fallout 76 has more interesting skills. Maps better. You can play each faction. Fallout 4 maps boring. Skills bad. Faction missions overlap. I'm usually... You can play each faction in 76? Hello. I guess so. The skills are more interesting in 76? No, I think skills are one of the biggest weaknesses in that game. I think I think that's a really poorly done mechanic. Like, there's just... It's one of those things where there's... you. It's technically choice, but there's just obviously some best choices for it. That could be quite potent. Um, yeah, I, I don't agree. I'd much rather play Fallout 4 than Fallout 76. I mean, Fallout 76 is just fundamentally just broken on so many levels. It's got... Horrible gunplay, and it's 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 awful. Like the servers in Fallout seventy six would be so bad, enemies would just instantly regenerate faster than you could kill them with a minigun. Like it could be it could be horrendous. Yeah, I just I only ever watched your video, so I wasn't gonna touch Fallout seventy six. You'd have to throw me into a Fallout seventy six. Themed hell, I guess. A genie will grant you three wishes, but first you must travel back in time and survive fighting in a war. Which war and role would you pick, and why? Uh, I would the want... Cold War. I would want to fly with the RAF in the Battle of Britain. So if I get to choose my role and the war, I'm going to basically find out which is the most likely I'll survive, because I, I guess surviving would be incredibly important if I get to grant three wishes, which is going to change the world forever. Yeah. So like me being um... alive is the most important thing. Yeah, assuming the Cold War meme answer isn't good. Um, it'd be like the, what was that, the Falklands War or something like that? Yeah. Some I've, uh... some super short war um, or a non-combat position in a war. Um, I would say, uh, yeah, I, I don't know, probably like that. Um, let's see, just a second. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see. Let's 
Let's see. Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to think. Like, I'm sure there's some some very very safe wars that happened. Yeah, that's. I mean, my answer is a little bit of a cop out, but I would just look for that basically, whatever it is. Yeah, essentially, yeah. Um, the emu war does that count? <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Uh, war with lowest casualty count. Um, to do. Yeah, I'm gonna just. Yeah, I I just to just I I don't know any off the top of my head, but I would it it'd be like a I'd be a I don't know like a mechanic or something like that or a radio mm -hmm. operator. I I would be some non combat position to ensure that I survive to ensure that I get to get the three wishes because I have to survive because three wishes. You could do some crazy good with three wishes. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, who's the best character in The Simpsons? There is a correct answer. It's Groundskeeper Willie. Um, I mean, my favorite is probably Homer. It's, uh, it's, a, it's an answer, but he's just uh, so much bloody fun. Um, but I do like Willie. That's, that's a good answer, too. Willie. Willie. There's no such thing as Scotch-toberfest. Yeah, you're the space getter. Uh, mole body. Oh wait, I read that already. Wait, that's the second vision of it. All right, mole bodies for the hedgehog grave. Um, Baldur's Gate is good. Recommend the originals. Oh, I've never played them. Are they good? Someone said, "Why not the Vietnam War rags?" Because I, I think I can come up with safer answers than that. Yeah. Like I want to be really sure I pick something good because I gotta survive to get these three wishes. Because the amount of goods you could do with three wishes is insane. I mean, it would be stuff like, um, I'd probably have my first wish would probably be, like, uh, a like clean, renewable, efficient energy source. You know, a, 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 a an absurdly efficient, perfectly well, clean. 100% green renewable energy source that everyone has access to. The problem with right? this is the first thought I would have is like, what's the ultimate wish? And it's like for everybody to indefinitely exist in a state of pure bliss or something. And um, with that, at that point, maybe the genie would be like, you're not allowed to do stuff like that. Or would it be one of those monkey paw things? Where it's like, oh, sure, but you're all in the matrix. Yeah. Yeah. Um, for me, I'd. Um... Yeah, it'd be like I I didn't I'd ensure that the energy source for all mankind. Um I'd probably uh like intergalactic travel I would wish for. Um and then something like um like a cure to disease and stuff of that nature. Um but I would I would wanna set us up because cause like if cause you wanna set yourself up for like you want to think long term. You want to set humanity up so that we could, you know, get to other galaxies and get to other planets and spread across the galaxy and survive in that way so that all of our, you know, eggs aren't in one basket here on Earth and things of that nature. Because, like, one of the things was, yeah, like, if, if all you do is, um, like people live really, really long. No one dies from diseases and stuff like that. Then you could get problems with overpopulation and things of that nature, which would still probably be worth it. But I would still want to set up a system that would allow going forward us to like expand and get out there and basically ensure that we could do things that I'm not sure we could actually do. Because I think it's more likely that we get around to curing a, a lot of diseases, almost if not all diseases. I'm more confident of that than us getting, like, to be able to travel to other galaxies, you know? So I would want to take care of those things that are potentially impossible. 
Can I can I highlight something? Yeah. Um, I turned on my phone because I had a, a notification. Sometimes it just throws random comments from videos on my on my front page. And yeah. This started with "It amazes me that Mola missed," and I was like, "All right, that's enough oh. for me to be curious." And I hit it, and it goes, "Mola missed three payoffs in one scene and chalks it up to lazy writing." Literally, Butcher revealed where he was staying because he was taking her there. He revealed that before she told him she wasn't going because she realized there was no intention of taking his son with him. Um, wasn't my whole point that Butcher clunkily saying exactly where his hideout is was really bad to do in that place? It has nothing to do with whether or not he's taking her there. Yeah. So Why he would reveal that is... Mm, like to, in the way to, he did it. I feel like sometimes people just don't want to engage with what I say, like, in good faith. <laughs> just like, wah, wah. It's like, it's got nothing to do with my point, so... Bye. Um... EFAP Aladdin animated and Aladdin live action. Hmm. Are there songs in both the original and the new one? Because the songs gave Das Bullshit a fucking nightmare to deal with for copyright. And I think they are in both versions. It's possible, though. I feel like uh, watching... The only way I'm going to ever watch the Disney remakes is if, if we're doing it for EFAP movies. Because, my god, save it for the boys' stream. I know. Mola, play the Warhammer game Space Marine. I want you to I wanna watch you converse with the vile green skin as you should understand them. Hail Imperial Doggo. Hail, and um yeah, Space Marine is a fun game. I really liked Space Marine. You should play it. That'd be fun. What do you think about EFAPing Aladdin, the two versions? Um I haven't seen the new one. I don't know anything about it. It's probably shit though. Um, oh, I'm assuming this they're suggesting it because of Mulan. Went well I mean, I'm well. fine with it myself, but yeah, I'm fine with that. Hmm. Uh, if you want also, women, what is this? If you want women really good hot takes, get Razor Fist on. He's very interested in the show, but says he hasn't been reached out to. I tried to find an email for him, and it didn't work. Um, but if he said he's interested, yeah, I just I'm pretty sure he's. I'm he... not sure I can PM him on Twitter either. Maybe spoiler. Um. Maybe. Well. <laughs> He has Twitter, right? Tell him to if someone can has in any way got his attention. Uh, tell him to DM me if he's if he's if he's interested. I'll, we'll we'll set someone up for sure. Um, do do. Atlanta gun guy here. Hi rags. Please introduce Mola to forty k law. I'd like to see Mola react to it. Also, what is your favorite faction and why? Um, so I don't know that much about forty k. I know some stuff. I have a casual understanding of some things um for favorite faction i don't know enough about them I, I really like the aesthetics of the tau though the way that their armor and their battle suits look i i think that they just look really really nifty and really interesting um so i i i'd probably go with them in terms of aesthetics uh probably they're up there with uh you know the imperium of man they got some cool stuff going on there as well but um, yeah, don't don't have really an investment in any of them or a, a, a huge interest. But I do find 40k interesting. Um, what I do know and what I do read, um, and Vermintide is one of my favorite games, and I've played that quite a bit. So that's a nifty foray into the lore of the end time stuff. Also, the um, because I, I was curious if they did actually stream today. They did Friday Night Tights. Um, in their title, it says uh, Henry Cavill is is not in the lead in Witcher Two. Interesting. Really? Yeah. Don't know what's going on there. Um, oh, they had literature double on too. Satan making the rounds. Um, but, but ignore the women part of my last chat. Autocorrect. Oh, I was gonna say it was it was it was odd. Uh, hot take from the audience. I don't know if it's hot, but the Witcher TV series is ducking shit. Characters are stupid and the world building is stupid. Another story is broken too. Oh, and the story is broken too. Uh, we never watched that, did we? Which show? Uh, the Witcher show. Yeah, we haven't. Um, by the way, with the, yeah, he's Henry Cavill is returning as Geralt, so... Is he not in the lead, don't though? Don't know where they got that. It looks like... Uh, yeah, well, so yeah. in the same sense that um, what they said about Mandalorian, right? That 
he's gonna slowly not be the main character or some shit. Like, I wonder... I don't know what they mean by not the lead in Witcher 2 exactly. Or it says the Witcher... I'm assuming that means Witcher Season 2. Yeah, um, I don't know. It's just the title is interesting. Um... There's a lot of stuff talking about will Mark Hamill play as Vesemir, which I think would be interesting. I think he'd make a really good Vesemir. Hmm. Top 10 favorite waifus, Theo. Well, again, just couldn't answer that question. Oh, apparently they have casted Kim Bog uh, Kim Bodnia? Uh, I'm, I don't recognize that name. Me neither. But, yeah. It, it, uh... um, boom, boom. Rags, do you think you're clever with that wordplay? Because you are. Good boy, Rags. No, oh, thank you. Babu Frick, same voice actor as HP's Moaning Myrtle. Yep. It's uh, the, also the girl with the face in the slab of concrete that we talked about from Doctor Who. So much has happened over EFAP. So much. Uh, Rags, fuck, marry, kill, a cat from Cats, Green Goblin from Spider-Man Musical, and Genie from Live Action Aladdin. All right. Give those options one more time. I'm going to post them in there for you. All right, excellent. Uh, Spider-Man musical, Spider Green musical? Goblin. Uh, let me just paste that into Google. That's oddly specific. Wow, that is very specific. Um, let me get you a picture. Man. Uh, so uh, before I even read the second ones, uh, kill cats from cats. <laughs> uh, marry Green Goblin and fuck Genie. There you go. Being married to the Green Goblin will be weird, but at least he's on your team, right? I mean, he's rich, isn't he? I think so. He has powers. Yeah, he's rich. He's heading up a big mega corporation. He clearly cares about his family. Yeah, he'd he'd make good. I mean, he'd he'd make good uh, husband of material. I do bet. You know how much he sacrificed? Like it's it's pretty yeah. crazy. In Legends, the Jedi and Sith did have families. A civil war within the Jedi caused the No Family Clause. It was about two hundred years before the Clone Wars. All right. I just joined the stream. Why is Sonic Heroes playing and no one is mentioning it? Am I having a stroke? <laughs> um, Sonic Heroes happened. We, we don't talk about Sonic Heroes. <laughs> <laughs> this might be the EFAP where I finally stay up longer than you massives. In case I don't manage to catch the end of this, I just want to say hi, Rags. Oh, hello. Star Wars. Um, I'm getting quite tired, by the way, so very soon. Got After like that. four or five left before we manage to square off this EFAP. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Star Wars tech is not stagnated, just to Star Wars fighters. Clone Arc 170 is precursor to the Z95, which preceded the X-Wing. Clone V-Wing is precursor to the Y-Wing. Republic Cruisers are clear precursors to Star Destroyers. So, when I said stagnation, it's like the progress and efficiency and new developments in technology. Um, coming up with different fighters that do essentially the same thing in terms of their roles and their capabilities, that's that's still a stagnation in technology. It's the same but different. Um, so, like, something eventually becoming another thing when they do the same things is... Yeah, that falls under the category that I'm talking about. Um, and I'd have to know their... I, and I don't know which one's better. Um, so I, I don't... Like, I'd have to know wh whether they're good or not. Um, I mean, I, I don't know enough about the, the capabilities of them. They seem to fulfill the same roles. Uh, so that seems to be a lateral move because, you know, it, especially when it comes to military technology and weapon design, like everything's a trade off. So, um, you know, think, things are built for purpose and uh, there's trade offs in size and speed and maneuverability and armor and weapons and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, I don't know. So fighters couldn't, they couldn't light speed in the prequels, and they can in the sequels. Are you sure? 
Um, Obi-Wan like the Jedi to... Starfighter has the little thingy it latches onto. Yeah. But the idea that a fighter couldn't, like, it's not so big that you couldn't put one of those onto a fighter. We will. I feel... Him being attached to it could be the fighter, right? Like that. Yeah, and Slave oh. One could hyperspace. True. So yeah, that's not the case at all. Hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't be able. To but be maybe able. not all of them can, and it makes sense that not every ship could. Like some, like it's like remember, it, it, if you just want to stay within a system, uh, like a local system of planets, or if you just want to stay around a planet, then a, a lot of ships will just be made for that, going from continent to continent, in you know within the same planet, which is definitely you know a thing that still happens, you know. Uh, I'm fine with having the hot take on the Civil War comic. Fuck the comics. The film is superior, but don't mind uh, having the comics remade again with all the heroes, so it would be an actual big war. So, they're like, Slave 1 is a patrol boat. It's different. It's like, that's the same. <laughs> Shut up, Rags. It's a patrol boat. Uh... But yeah, um, I, I, they might do a Civil War too, and maybe we'll have a whole big tism and, and we can finally have all the heroes defeat Captain Marvel. Uh, thought I should super chat since 104 is my favorite number. That's a fair reason too, thank you very much. Uh, Code Geass is a mecha anime disguised as a political drama. The fact that people got confused about this means the show did its job. Fair enough. Like I said, I, I assumed it would be considered a mecha anime with the amount of fucking mechs in it. Pumpkin pie must have cool whip, whipped cream on top. What do you think, Rex? That's Pumpkin good pie. stuff. Yeah, 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 that's very good. All right. Um, I think Onward might make an interesting EFAP movies. You'll get to see how bad Pixar have fallen. Oh. Oh, by the way, that the ARC one seventies they did have hyperdrives, so. Oh my God! You using you using Wikipedia against them? Yeah. My God. If they're gonna if they're gonna pull this, ooh, it's 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 a, it's a what do they say it's uh it's it's not a fighter, it's a patrol boat. Then yeah, I can Wikipedia this shit. <laughs> He's using it against you, chat. Run. Like I, I totally believe that not a lot of fighters need to. Like a lot of them probably didn't have it because they don't need to. If you have a fighter ship, it's supposed to. It's probably going to be a like it. It's it's going to be attached to larger ships. Like, it's going to complement a series of capital ships or corvette ships, or it's going to work as a um, a, a guard detail. It doesn't need to be able to have hyperdrive. Um, it, it's going to be docked until it's needed. Um, it, and not all fighters have the same roles, either. Like, the ARC-17, 170 is a, you know, designed to have long-range attack capabilities, which is why it has a hyperdrive, and another ship, might not because it's not supposed to have long range like like remember what i just said about how especially in military technology everything is a trade-off with the roles things are built for and the, the the pros and cons of all the stuff that you have to have on it to make that happen and also it's like yeah three-man fighter it's like yeah the con it's literally dudes. called the arc 170 starfighters you think having three people in it magically makes it not a fighter well so isn't there space for two in a TIE fighter? I can't yeah, yeah, in the new ones, yeah. I think in the old... I thought in the originals the TIE fighters were a single oh. person in there. I, I Were TIE bombers? I could believe those had at least oh, two yeah, people Oh yeah, TIE it. bombers must have space for... Well, let me, maybe. Let me check. Uh, TIE bomber. I'm not sure though, but it, it makes sense. Um... Do, do, do. Why people Army say crew? No, it says Tie Bombers had a crew of one. So, huh. yeah, interesting. You'd think that, yeah, they'd have two, but I guess not. Um, but yeah, that's that's it. We managed to get through them, and I think it's about time that I eat something. I'm I'm getting them hunger hunger signals. My brain is like, hey, put something in there, otherwise you're gonna fall over. And I was like, all right, jeez. <clears throat> But uh, yeah, that, that, that's the, the complete coverage of Patrick Willems. He has once again made it back into the EFAP lore. He's an interesting man. He has interesting opinions. And uh, I, I'm, I'm glad we explored it. EFAP 105 will return 
more than likely Saturday of next week, unless something is to come up. And it's going to be about The Boys Season 2. We're going to go through the whole thing with Fringold and Metal and possibly someone else, depending on how things go. Um, and the the video I'm thinking of working on is actually on The Boys Season 2 because I feel like there's a shit ton amount that's wrong with that season. We're going to go through it on that EFAP. And uh, if things are going the way I want to, I would, I would, I would like to. And I've um, made a lot of progress with The Last of Us 2. It'll just, it'll be paused, much like many other things are. Uh, all in script form is, is, is where each of these projects are landing. Um, but uh, I, I've been sufficiently annoyed with the boys. And uh, when, when going through pieces and, and bits and bobs of it, and collecting up all my notes, I'm tempted to make a video that is uh, just, just going to summarize all of my issues and possibly go through it a little chronologically. Who knows? Um, but as per usual, work continues, and so does the, the things happening for EFAB. We're recording something tomorrow, or rather, well, it's my today. It's Rags tomorrow for another two hours, 20 minutes, I think. Um, uh, yeah, that's correct. It'll be tomorrow in 19 minutes. And, yeah, more things are on the way. And we've got more EFAB gaming horror-related stuff to happen. And the 20th is when Amnesia's coming out. So, uh, lots of things to get excited for. Thank you all for um, hanging out with us. It's been fun. Thanks to the guests. Um, the the catch-up for EFAB 103. Uh, like I said, Rags and I will try and find a spot to do that with. Other than that, is there anything else, Mr. Ragu? You know, that about covers it for me, too. I am uh, I am all set. All right, then. Uh, thanks for, 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 uh, for, for, for hanging out, like I said. And we'll see you next time, folks. Good night. Bye-bye, everybody. See you soon.